Cloud City. The Emperor Hotel. Tonight, the Su family, one of the famous gates of Yunchinch, hosted a dinner here. Although the Chiao family fell, Chiao Mian Mian accompanied her fiancé Su Ziyi to attend the banquet. Midsummer. Downstairs, the gardenias bloomed just right, the breeze blew past, and there was a burst of floral fragrance. Drinking a little too much, Chiao Mian Mian stood on the balcony outside the hall, blowing the wind for a while, before feeling his head dizzy. When returning to the lobby, Chiao Mian Mian did not see Su so Ziren. Chiao An, who followed them, disappeared. She searched everywhere and took out her mobile phone to make a call to Su so Ziyi. It rang for a long time and Su so Ziyi did not answer. It took a long time for Zhou to reassure his phone but no one answered it. Chiao Mian Mian looked down at the phone, his face slightly changed. She suddenly remembered that Su Ziyi came to Chiao's house to pick her up tonight. She changed her clothes upstairs and saw Su Ziyi and Chiao Angzan sitting on the sofa talking. The two were very close, and their gestures were very close. Chiao Angzan also reached out to hug Su Ziyi's arm. Thinking of this, she looked pale. She asked a waiter and asked, Excuse me, did you see my fiancé? His surname is Su, this is his photo. Chiao Mian Mian turned the photo taken on Su Ziyi of the phone to the waiter. The waiter glanced at her, and when she looked up at her, her eyes were a little strange, and there seemed to be some sympathy in her eyes, You said this gentleman? I just saw him seem to be walking over there. Asterisk in the hotel courtyard. Under a big tree by the swimming pool. The warm colored lights fell on the ground in a shallow layer, and a pair of familiar figures under the tree hugged together. Brother Azer. The woman's voice was soft and charming, a pair of white and tender hands around the man's neck, and the bird leaned on her arms like a human. The man seemed scrupulous, looked around and reached out to push her away. The woman immediately entangled again. Brother Aze, why are you pushing away? When Su so Ziyi looked over to Jiao Mian Mian, Jiao Mian Mian immediately flashed behind a cover. She heard Su so Ziyi said, Relax, you just said to surprise me, what's the matter? Jiao Angzan's voice was as sweet as honey, and it seemed to be a bit coy, and said softly, Brother Azer, I am pregnant. In a flash, Jiao Mian Mian was struck by lightning. Her eyes widened in amazement, her face pale as white as an instant. What? Su so Ziyi was also surprised. What did you say about you? Brother Azer, I'm pregnant. Joan plunged into his arms and hugged him with a happy expression. I'm pregnant with our baby. You can be a father soon, are you happy? Su so Ziyi bowed his head, his face full of consternation, and frowned gently, when is this happening? Just a month ago. Chiao Angzan leaned back in Su so Ziyi's arms, raised his head slightly, and looked at the place where Chiao Mian Mian was hiding. She hooked her lips, her eyes flashed a bit of coolness, and the grin on her lips showed a little provocation, that day, my sister went to the crew to film, the time we did it on the bay window of your house. When she went to film a month ago. Chiao Mian Mian shook his body, dizzy for a while. Susie's bay window. She used to love reading while lying on it. Thinking of this, her stomach churned. Chiao Angzan said something again, but Chiao Mian Mian didn't hear a word. There was a blank in her brain. After a while, she suddenly heard So Ziyi said, Let's go, it's time to go back. We have been out for too long, she will be suspicious. The two finished warm, turned around and walked back to the hall. Chiao Mian Mian was pale, and his heart seemed to be torn open. She looked up with red eyes and saw Su so Ziyi walking towards her with arms around Chiao's heart. Seeing that the two were getting closer and closer, she panicked and turned and ran away. Asterisk. Chiao Mian Mian was awkward all over, and I wondered if the stamina of the wine was coming out, and she began to feel dizzy. During the run, she saw a few black men walking across the street. She accidentally hit one of them. He was about to apologize, but was grabbed by the man and heard him saying, It's her. 
the man found it and took it away. What is she? Did they find the wrong person? Xiaomi and Mian struggled twice, trying to resist, but had no strength at all. The head is getting dizzy, and the consciousness is gradually blurred. Asterisk. Presidential suite floor. Hotel elevator doors open. A group of bodyguards and hotel staff gathered around a man with an outstanding appearance. The masculine field is extremely powerful, the facial features are cold and exquisite, and every part of the face is delicate and perfect that is difficult to describe with pen and ink. The height of at least 1 meter 8 or 6 is better than the supermodel of the T stage. He wore a tailor-made tailored suit with exquisite fit. The platinum buttons on the cuffs and chest were illuminated by crystal lights, reflecting the dazzling light. The black suit pants wrapped the man's long, slender legs. He walked gracefully and walked outside a room. The bodyguard stepped forward and opened the door. The man walked into the room, reached for the tie around his neck, and threw it into the closet. He had just walked in two steps, and his body suddenly burst into an unusually hot heat. With a click, the door was locked from the outside. He froze, frowned, and turned to stride to the door, reaching for the door. Can't pull open. After two more pulls, it still didn't work. The man's face sank and the ringtone of the mobile phone rang. Caller ID, Yan Xiaoqing. Just after connecting, there was a voice of a man laughing and laughing, Second brother, you just returned to our country, we specially prepared a gift for you. Have you seen it? Like it or not? There was a trace of anger on the handsome man's face, eyes narrowed, and a low magnetic voice wrapped in cold air, what the hell? Open the door. That wouldn't work. Brother, I and the eldest of them tonight bet. If you just came out like this, I would lose even wearing underwear. Another cheap voice came over, second brother, I bet you can keep the boy who has been standing for 25 years, don't let me down. Men's faces are getting darker. He he, it's worth a thousand dollars, and we won't disturb your second brother to enjoy the beauty. This time, this beauty will be the best in terms of body and appearance, I believe you will be satisfied. After that, I hung up the phone over there. Hit it again, prompting that the other party has shut down. Asterisk. Moyesi stood sullenly outside the bathroom. In the bathroom, there was a sound of water flowing, and there was someone inside. He pressed a cold arc around his mouth, and after a moment, he reached out and pushed open the door. The white smoke from the hot air diffused out, and some women whispered, suppressing the pain-like cry, again and again, just like the sound of a kitten. When he stepped in, he felt that the cry was sultry and hooked. The smoke spread, and the scene in front of me gradually became clear. There was a woman in the bathtub. The red dress on the woman's body was wet with water and clung tightly to her creamy white tender snow muscles. The clothes soaked in water were equivalent to transparency, and her curvaceous body was so unobstructedly displayed under his eyelids. She has a beautiful face that can be called awesome. Her eyebrows are picturesque, her facial features are exquisite, her lips are a touch of cherry blossoms, and her pink lips are glowing with lustrous water, which is attractive to her. A pair of eyes are as bright as stars, and their eyes seem to be rubbed into countless fine stars, and their eyes are amazing. The wet, long hair resembles seaweed and floats gently in the water. Rao was acquainted with Mo Yesi, who was accustomed to beauty, and was also shocked for a moment. This is the beauty that Yan Xiaoqing gave them? This woman is indeed very beautiful, but it is a pity that he is not interested in any beautiful woman. He stood next to the bathtub for a while, with a sneer in the corner of his mouth, and said in a cold voice to the woman in the bathtub, Go out, I will give you a minute to disappear from my room. Hearing his voice, the woman in the bathtub raised her head. Xiaome frowned first, staring at him for a while, then, with a clatter, slowly crawled out of the bathtub. After crawling out of the bathtub, Mo Yesi hugged his thigh before he could react. Mo Yesi's body instantly became stiff and his whole body was tense. He thought he would vomit immediately, or itchy, allergic, 
but he waited for a while, but the imagined rejection did not happen. The woman hugged his leg and rubbed it on his leg at once. Her eyes were wet, her small face was crumpled, and she whispered in a low voice, Help me, Wu, I'm so uncomfortable, I'm so hot and thirsty, am I dying? Mo Yesi has misogyny. Except for his relatives, no woman can get close to him. The last woman who tried to seduce him like this was thrown from the fourth floor by his bodyguard. Although it hit the swimming pool without hurting his life, he was also frightened by half of his life. But he suddenly discovered that he did not reject the woman's approach. His body did not produce any adverse reactions. He was shocked in situ. The woman at her feet first hugged his leg and rubbed it for a while, and seemed to feel that it was not enough. He got up and hugged him again, and started rubbing on his chest. The soft little hands reached into his shirt very uncomfortably. M.O. Yesi lowered his head and stared at her stunned, the man's deep dark eyes with shock and surprise. He let the woman's soft, hot little hands caress him, and even pampered in his eyes. It seems to want to confirm something in this way. The girl's pink and seductive little face was stained with a magnificent crimson color. She twisted unconsciously in his arms. She didn't know what to do but driven the tiptoe by instinct and kissed man with thin lips. The man's lips are cold and cold, and there is a nice smell of mint on his lips. His body is also cold and cold, very comfortable against him. She feels less hot, but somewhere in her body, she wants more. She didn't seem to know what to do next, and she was about to cry in a hurry, a painful moan in her throat. The man's breath suddenly rushed, his deep dark eyes were stained with intensive dark colors, and his strong arms finally wrapped around her waist, pressing her heart against herself, think clearly. Provoking me, in the future will never give you the opportunity to regret again. The woman looked at him confusedly and answered him with the tender cherry lips she kissed again. Asterisk. There was a sweet smell of love in the air. On the carpet, on the sofa, on the windowsill there were traces of men and women entangled violently last night. The big white bed was messy and messy. Xiaomi and Mian woke up, leaving her alone on the bed, but the sound of water flowing from the bathroom. She grabbed the quilt and sat on the head of the bed, her mind was blank for a few seconds. After a few seconds, all her memories returned. Thinking of the confusion and fierceness of last night, the man's heavy breathing, hot body, strong and domineering aggression and possession. She turned pale. In contemplation, the sound of water in the bathroom stopped. Xiaomi and Mian didn't think much anymore, she jumped out of bed with the discomfort of her body, quickly picked up the clothes on the ground and put them on, and turned to leave quietly. Asterisk. Xiaomi and Mian had just left her forefoot, and with a click, the bathroom door opened. M.O. Yesi came out of the bathroom. He was only surrounded by a bath towel, wide shoulders, muscular strong chest, narrow waist, two long legs against the sky, drops of water dripped from the muscles of his chest, hiding the two mermaids in line. A short, moist, and messy hair creates an uninhibited sense of randomness. He glanced casually into the room, and when he saw that the messy big bed was empty, he was stunned and then he walked slightly to the bedside. He called Lu Rao, and soon, a lazy voice came over, as, what kind of wind is blowing today, you will take the initiative to call me. Mo Yesi ignored his ridicule and directly said, I touched a woman last night. There was a moment of silence. Cough cough cough. The man on the other side of the phone seemed to be choked and coughed abruptly. You, what are you talking about? ACI, what do you mean by touch, does it mean what I understand? M.O. Yesi, well, we are asleep. Cough cough cough. The man was coughing again, as shocked as seeing the sun rising from the west, fuck, don't you hate women touching you? Once a woman accidentally touched you, I remember you immediately washed your hands ten times. Okay. But the woman last night, he did not reject at all. Not only does it not exclude, but also like the faint fragrance of her body. 
can't help but want to get close to her. He called Liu Rao just to understand what happened to him? You want to tell me that your problem is all right suddenly? I don't know. Mo Yesi remained silent for a few seconds, frowning gently. She doesn't seem to be the same as other women. My body won't repel her, and she likes being close to me. Last night, he indulged himself and asked her again and again. It seems that it will never be enough. For now, as soon as he remembered the intense entanglements last night, he immediately responded. There has never been such a phenomenon. Also. M.O. Yesi looked down at the messy big bed, white sheets, a bright red exceptional item. It is not difficult to see how fierce the men and women are on this big bed last night. After a few seconds of silence, he said in a deep voice, I slept for six hours last night. I didn't wake up halfway, nor did I have that nightmare. L.U. Rao over there was very surprised, what's the situation? M.O. Yesi narrowed his eyes stretched his hands to rub his eyebrows, and indulged in a night, his voice was hoarse, if I knew, I wouldn't call you. I was thinking, will it be related to her? L.U. Rao, the woman who broke your boy's body. M.O. Yesi. L.U. Rao skinned for a moment, and quickly put away the joke, and said seriously, do you want to know if it has something to do with her? It's very simple. It's not clear if you sleep with her again. M.O. Yesi. L.U. Rao, as, I'm not kidding. If it's really because of her, then this woman is your savior. Savior? His world has been murky for two decades, and he thought he was used to darkness. If he had never felt light and warmth, he would continue to get used to it. However, after being exposed to such beauty, he no longer wanted to return to the darkness. If she is really his savior, this woman will get it anyway. Asterisk. Chiao Mi and Mian dragged his exhausted body out of the hotel. As soon as he left the door, he received a phone call from Zhou Angzen. Sister. At the other end of the phone, Zhou Angzen's voice was soft and soft, let's talk. Chiao Mi and Mian squeezed the phone tightly and took a deep breath, said coldly, I have nothing to talk to you about. Really? Chiao and smiled softly. If it's something related to Chiao Chen, wouldn't the sister want to talk about it? Chiao Chen? Chiao Mian Mian's face suddenly changed, and he gritted his teeth and said, Zhou is at ease, what do you mean? Chiao Angzen answered what she didn't ask, she said with a chuckle, Sister, I'm waiting for you at Minjiao Hotel. Asterisk. When Chiao Mian Mian arrived at the restaurant, Chiao Angzen was already sitting in the box waiting for her. She has a delicate makeup on her face, wearing a small black dress with a very obvious figure, her hair slightly curled, and in her hand, a faint fragrance of perfume permeates from her. When she saw Chiao Mian Mian, she smiled slightly and said softly, Sister is here. Sit down. Chiao Mian Mian stood at the table and looked at her coldly. Joan didn't mind. She took a check out of her bag calmly and elegantly, and put it on the table. Sister, here is ten million. I believe this money is enough for you to worry about food and clothing for the rest of your life. She raised her head, with a bit of arrogance in her eyebrows, and a sense of superiority, I know that Jiao Chen's illness cost a lot of money. Now you can only rely on the crew to make money, it is very hard. Of. With this money, you and Chiao Chen can both live a little easier. Chiao Mian Mian looked at the check on the table with no expression on his face. Sister, let's open the skylight to speak brightly, let's not turn around. Chiao and hooked his lips, reached out and touched his stomach, and then said, Last night, you must have heard it. I was pregnant with brother Azer. Child, this child, I plan to be born. Before that, you have to dissolve your marriage with Brother Azer. Otherwise, my son and I may not be right. You also know that Brother Azer is about to take over Suze. At this juncture, he can't make any mistakes. So, I hope you can take the initiative to go to Suze's house and propose to dissolve the marriage contract. 
Xiaomian Mian didn't even feel particularly angry when she said such shameless words. Probably, all emotions were vented last night. When she heard these words again, she only felt ridiculous and ironic. She teased her lips sarcastically, Joe feels relieved, do you know what Su so Zi did? Last night, Xiao Angzen said she was pregnant, and Su so Zi did not seem very pleased. Obviously, this child was an accident for him. He will soon take over the Su family, before this, he will certainly not disclose his relationship with Xiao Angzen. After all, this matter is disgraceful and will affect his personal reputation. When Xiao Angzen finds her privately, Su so Zi must be unaware of it. Sure enough, Xiao Angzen's face changed suddenly, and there was a look of anger in his face, Xiao Mian Mian, please let go. Brother Aze likes me. He doesn't love you anymore. If it weren't for him you must fulfill the marriage contract that the two have made since childhood. Do you think he will choose you? Xiao Mian Mian, you dominate a man who doesn't love you, is that interesting? Xiao Mian Mian's expression was faint, and when she heard these shameless words, she calmed down, it's still not your turn to intervene in the matter between me and Suzi. The expression on Joan's face stiffened, and his face went dark. She bit her lip tightly, so, won't you take the initiative to dissolve the marriage contract? Xiao Mian Mian sneered, if you look for me you just want to tell me about it, I'm not interested. After talking, she turned around and was ready to leave. Stop. Xiao Angzen stood up and grabbed her hand tightly, Xiao Mian Mian, how much do you need to leave brother Azer? How about 10 million, how about 15 million? Don't be too dark, I give the prices enough. Snapped. Xiao Mian Mian could not bear it. She turned and slapped her. Her slap fell and Xiao Angzen's sweet little face instantly showed five bright red fingerprints. This slap made Zhou feel at ease. She covered her face, her face was unbelievable, and after reacting, she raised her hand and wanted to return the slap. Suddenly, she glanced at a familiar figure outside the door. Her face suddenly changed, and she immediately withdrew her hand. She stumbled back two steps. Before Xiao Mian Mian responded, she saw that she was frightened, her face was horrified, her face pale and shouted, Sister, I'm sorry, I know I'm wrong. But I can't help it. For my feelings, I really love Brother Azer. Please forgive me, sister, please don't hurt my children. Seeing that she was about to fall to the ground. With a bang, the door was pushed open, and a slender figure rushed in quickly, Reassure. The white figure flew by in front of Jiao Mian Mian's eyes, and rushed to Jiao An's heart like lightning, holding her tightly. Relax, are you okay? The person who rushed in was Su so Zi. Jiao An leaned weakly on him, raised his head, his eyes filled with tears, and cried pitifully, Brother Azer. I'm so scared. Just now, our baby was almost. She said, her body shivered and tears fell on her pale face, Brother Azer, I know I'm sorry sister, I don't dare to ask her for forgiveness. She beat me to scold me yes, this is what I owe her. But our baby is innocent, how can she? Xiao Angzen just got slapped, and his face was still swollen. The fingerprints on it have not faded. The tearful eyes are also red and swollen. She also had a fearful expression on her face, as if frightened and her weak body shivered in his arms. So Zi looked at her like this, more and more pity. When he looked at Xiao Mian Mian again, his eyes became more and more hazy, and even with deep disappointment and disgust in his eyes, Xiao Mian Mian, the child in the stomach is more than a month, now is the most unstable period. You know the moment you just pushed, what would happen if she really fell to the ground? I thought you have always been kind and gentle, how can you become so venomous now? Am I poisoned? Xiao Mian Mian shook his body and looked at the man standing in front of him in disbelief. He was dressed in white clothes and white trousers, with a handsome appearance and a warm temperament, just like the handsome nobleman from the ancient family. She has loved this face for many years. 
but at this moment, looking at this face again, she actually felt unprecedentedly strange. She is his fiancé. They have known each other for ten years. But he chose to believe in Joe's peace of mind for the first time. Ten years of feelings, did he trust her like this? In his Suzi's eyes, Shi Chiaomian Mian turned out to be a heartfelt woman. Watching him hold him extremely in his arms, but when facing her, her eyes were full of accusations and haze. Her heart cooled from inch to inch, and her eyes were full of mockery and disappointment, Suzi, you are didn't you forget who your fiancé is? Also forget who is the woman in your arms. Suzi froze for a few seconds. He met Jiao Mianmian's mocking and sad eyes, his brows tightened, and finally there was a trace of guilt in his eyes, but he still hugged the woman in his arms tightly, I'm sorry, Mian. I am at ease with my child, I must be responsible to her. Ha! Huh. Jiao Mianmian felt he heard a big joke. You must be responsible for her? What about me? Suzi, what am I? Suzi squeezed his lips tightly. He looked down at his pale, scared face, and his body was still shaking. Joe's heart was still tight, and his arms were tight again, holding her firmly in his arms. Chiao Angzan also reached out and hugged him, attached to him very much, and shouted softly, Brother Azer. Suzi reached out and touched her head, then raised her head to look at Chiao Mian Mian. After a long silence, she said in a dumb voice, Mian Mian, I'm sorry. The person I love is at ease. I can't deceive myself nor want to deceive you. Sorry for hearing this sentence after sentence, Chiao Mian Mian was extremely cold and disappointed. Now she just wants to laugh. Because she thinks all this is a joke. At the beginning, it was he who said that he would spend his life with her and never let her down. He insisted on fulfilling their marriage contract, saying that he liked her and wanted to marry her home to be his wife. It was also him who said that Suzi would only love her in his life. But now, what is all this? He actually said that he fell in love with Zhou. Chiao Mian Mian's lips twitched a little sarcastically, and he laughed, but his eyes were sad, you said you fell in love with Zhou. Suzi's eyes flickered, his eyes full of guilt and he didn't dare to look at her again. He lowered his eyes and said, Yes. In his arms, Chiaoan turned around his face and bent his lips a little, revealing the smile of the winner. Her lips moved, and there was no sound in her mouth, but Chiao Mian Mian understood her lips. She was saying, Sister, I won again. Chiao Mian Mian looked at the two hugging each other, and the disappointment and sadness in his eyes faded away. After a moment, she nodded, okay, Suzi. She looked at the familiar but unfamiliar face in front of her, with no emotion in her eyes except her indifference, saying one by one, as you wish, we will dissolve the engagement. Suzi Meng raised his head, Mian Mian. Shut up. Chiao Mian Mian looked at him indifferently, and there was no slight temperature in his eyes, Suzi, from this moment on we will return to the bridge and return to the road. When we meet again later, we will be strangers. To meet her cold eyes like a stranger, Suzi was in a panic for no reason. It seems, at this moment, he lost something very important. Somewhere in my heart, there is also a free space. His heart bluntly hurt. Chiao Mian Mian didn't look at him again, turned and walked out of the box. The pace is absolutely decisive, without leaving the slightest nostalgia. Suzi didn't have time to think about why he felt heartache. His body had taken his brain a step further and pulled his leg up to catch up. Mian Mian. Brother Azer. At this moment, I heard Joe's painful moaning behind me, my stomach suddenly hurts. Suzi's face changed, he turned around quickly, and walked quickly to her. He supported her, relax, what's wrong with you? Chiao Angzan covered his stomach with one hand, frowning frowning, the stomach suddenly feels uncomfortable and hurts. Brother Ace, won't it be our baby? As soon as he heard something about the baby, Suzi's entire attention was put on Chiao Angzan. 
never thought about Jiao Mian and Mian and again. He said nervously, No, absolutely not. Reassure, don't think about it, our baby must be healthy and healthy. I will take you to the hospital immediately. Jiao Mian and Mian walked to the door. Hearing the movement behind him, his steps stopped. But soon, she pushed the door and went out. Asterisk. Chiao Mian Mian walked out of the restaurant and received a call from the hospital. She quickly picked up, hey. A few seconds later, her already pale face became even paler. Asterisk. After getting out of the taxi, Chiao Mian Mian ran to the hospital. She ran too fast and too fast, and almost fell to the ground when she went up the hospital ladder. On a black Rolls Royce parked not far away, the driver saw her rush into the hospital and thought about it, picked up her phone and dialed a call. After the call, the driver called out respectfully, M.O. Zone. What's the matter? On the other end of the phone, the man's voice was deep, cold and full of texture, like a low-melted cello. I have followed the lady as directed by President M.O. It seems that something has happened to her family. She just drove to the hospital. I don't think she looks very good. She looks worried. There are acquaintances in the hospital. Do you want to talk to them? Call. If it is changed to usual, the driver will definitely not dare to do much business. This is the first time that President M.O. has asked him to follow others, and it is still a woman. This woman came out of President Mo's room this morning. Based on this alone, she has an extraordinary meaning for President M.O. Before this, there was not even a woman's shadow next to them. The man over there remained silent for a few seconds, let's go and see. Yes, President M.O. Asterisk. Hospital, emergency room outdoor. When Chiao Mian Mian arrived, Chiao Chen was still in the rescue. After she waited for more than an hour out of nowhere, the closed door of the operating room finally opened. The doctors came out one after another. Chiao Mian Mian hurriedly walked over, holding the first doctor who came out and asked anxiously, Doctor, how is my brother? The doctor took off his mask, the patient's vital signs have stabilized and there is no danger of life. Chiao Mian Mian burst into tears, so, my brother is safe now, right? Is such that? Thank you doctor, thank you doctor. She was ecstatic, tears falling on the pale cheeks one by one. Asterisk. Hawaiing International. CEO's Office. Mr. Emo, this is the information of the lady who entered your room last night. Assistant President Wei Zhang placed the information he just investigated on the desk, and then respectfully retreated to the side. A man sat at the black desk. The man was wearing a black shirt, the buttons on the cuffs and neckline were loosened, the buttons on the chest were loosened, revealing a and delicate collarbone, and then down, you could see a more and attractive chest muscle. He lowered his head, reading through the pile of materials that Wei Zheng had just given him. Under the drooping angle, the handsome face of the is still deep and charming. Whether it is a tall three-dimensional nose bridge or a tight crimson thin lips, Every place on his face is the best among the best. Absolutely charm capital. The drooping eyes can see the long, thick and curled eyelashes, which is the effect that many women can't get by how many layers of mascara. Wei Zheng secretly glanced at his boss, and then could not help swallowing. Even if he was a man, he was sometimes surprised by the beauty of his boss. After a moment. After reading the information, the man raised his head. The beautiful face on that incredible face was very weak, and his eyes were very cold. Second brother, you come to me. At this time, the door of the office was pushed open and a man walked in. The man who came in was wearing a pink shirt, wearing a dirty braid that was popular now, and wearing a shiny black diamond ear stud on both the left and right ears. There was a hint of nervousness on the handsome man's face, a very disturbed look. After entering the door, he walked a few steps forward, and he dared not continue to move forward. He bowed his head and stood five or six meters away from M.O. Yesi, his hands folded in front of him, 
like a pupil who did something wrong, waiting for criticism from the teacher, second brother, I am wrong, I am I was blinded by lard and only did that kind of thing last night. Second brother, you have to fight or scold, but you must not send me back to the old man. M.O. Yesi raised his head and sneered silently, yes, you are brave enough. It is cheaper for you to do what you did last night. It is not enough for you to die a hundred times. Second brother, I really knew what I was wrong. Yan Xiaoqing was so scared that his face was pale. He walked to M.O. Yesi and fell to the ground with a sudden jerk. He hugged his thigh with a shameless cry. Second brother, I won't dare any more, you're going to ignore adults, and forgive me this time, okay? Besides, not to mention last night, you didn't have any. M.O. Yesi gave him a disgusted look and kicked him away, Xiao Ziyasen, you'd better explain everything about that matter last night, otherwise, I will let you walk in and lie down. Yan Xiaoqing shuddered, and continued to cry, and then snotted and snorted to explain everything. After talking, Porli said, Second brother, look at that beautiful woman in the middle of a car accident, you will spare me this time. I swear, I will never dare to do this again. M.O. Yesi's complexion changed suddenly, and a strange flash of light flashed through his eyes, you said, she had a car accident. Yes, yes. Yan Xiaoqing wished to explain his 18 generations of his ancestors clearly at this time, it's still lying in the hospital at this time. M.O. Yesi's seemingly calm surface has made waves in his heart. Yan Ziyasen should have no courage to lie again. So, if the woman they arranged had a car accident and appeared in his room last night, who was the woman who had been with him all night? He frowned tightly. Upon seeing this, Yan Xiaoqing was terrified and scared, and he cried again, Second brother, second brother, I've finished my explanation. I swear, all I say is true, a word of falsehood in my mouth nothing. M.O. Yesi lowered his eyes, staring at him sharply for a while, and kicked him on the leg again, disgusted, go away. Yan Xiaoqing jumped from the ground as if he had escaped from death, and turned and pulled his legs and slipped, okay, okay, brother, I'll get out of here, get out. In a blink of an eye, his figure disappeared without a trace. Wei Zheng. He really didn't know how brave Yan Xiao was, how dare to count the President M.O. last night. However, as soon as I heard that, I said that the woman who went to the Mozambican room last night was not someone they arranged, but someone else? Wei Zheng was pondering this question, and a low, cold voice rang in his ears, Check it out now, what happened to the woman who appeared in my room last night? Yes, President M.O. Asterisk. Hospital. Chiao Chen woke up, Chiao Mian Mian held his hand, looked at his pale and haggard face, and said, Chen Chen, how are you feeling? Do you want the doctor to come over and show you? Sister, I'm fine. Chiao Chen's voice was hoarse and he spoke a little hard, you don't have to worry about me. Chiao Mian Mian pressed his lips tightly. How could it not be worried? Chiao Chen is her only loved one in this world. Originally, everything was fine. But at the sports meeting of Chiao Chen's senior year, he suddenly fainted while running. Then he was checked out and he had congenital heart disease. This disease is very dangerous once it strikes. He was directly shocked today. He was almost unable to rescue him. Chiao Chen saw her worry, pale lips evoked a light smile, reached out and patted on the back of her hand, pretending to relax easily, I'm really okay, don't you think I am good now? Chen Chen, you. Chiao Mian Mian's eyes were red, and he was about to say something. The door of the ward was pushed open. A group of doctors and nurses came in. The one headed by Chiao Mian Mian was the vice president of the hospital. She looked at the group of people coming in, froze for a moment, frowning gently, You. Miss Chiao, we are here to change Mr. Chiao's ward. The deputy dean was very polite and even brought a little respect. Chiao Mian Mian was stunned again. With a chuckle in her heart, her complexion changed, changed to a ward? 
where to go. It seems that the Chiao family already knew about the split between her and Su Zi. Chiao's father was unwilling to treat Chiao Chen. He thought that his illness could not be cured. It was a waste of money to spend so much money in the hospital. But she was afraid that she had a marriage contract with Su Zi, and she dared not do things too ugly. Now that she and Su Zi have broken up, there is no need to worry about anything. Oh, it's really real. Chiao Mian Mian was angry and sad at times. Sometimes, she really doubted whether she and Chiao Chen were picked up from the outside. Chiao Angzhen was Chiao's true daughter. The deputy dean said politely, Mr. Chiao lived here before and wronged him. We will immediately change him to the VIP ward, and then arrange the most professional medical team to treat Mr. Chiao. After talking, the deputy dean commanded, hurry to send Mr. Chiao to the VIP ward. Chiao Mian Mian didn't expect this to be the case. She widened her eyes in surprise and stared at the vice president in a daze. Chiao Chen lying on the hospital bed was also puzzled and asked in a low voice, Sister, this, what's going on? Chiao Mian Mian blinked, his face stunned, I don't know. Asterisk. The condition of the VIP ward is n times better than that of the ordinary ward. One person per room, not to mention, and it is a set of wards. There is a bedroom, living room, kitchen, and bathroom in the ward, which can be described as fully furnished. Opening the window, there is a large green scenery outside. The air is filled with not a pungent smell of disinfectant, but a pleasant light fragrance of flowers. Miss Chiao, Mr. Chiao. Are you satisfied? The deputy dean lowered his head and respectfully said, If there is any dissatisfaction, we will revise it immediately. Chiao Mian Mian, very satisfied, thank you. The deputy dean looked relieved, that's good, we won't disturb the rest of the two. If you need to press the service bell, someone will come to serve you immediately. After the deputy dean took a group of doctors and nurses away, Chiao Chen looked around and was surprised, Sister, why did they change me to such a good ward? Was it arranged by the brother-in-law? Chiao Chen did not know that Chiao Mian Mian and Su Zi had broken up. Not him. Chiao Mian Mian frowned in confusion, and was confused about the situation. Su Zi broke up with her and could not have been so kind. Father Chiao is even more impossible. This VIP ward looks very advanced. Staying here, do nothing for a day, and have to spend a lot of money. No one from the Chiao family gave up the money. Who is that? Who is so kind and will help their sisters and brothers for no reason? Chiao Mian Mian was puzzled. Knock. The knock on the door suddenly sounded. Chiao Mian Mian walked over and opened the door. A little nurse stood outside, met her, and said with a smile, Miss Chiao. Our dean wants to talk to you about your brother's condition. Please go with me. Chiao Mian Mian stunned, his eyes showing surprise, the dean looking for me. Yes. Asterisk. Director's office. The little nurse led her out of the door and reached out and knocked gently on the door. The door of the office was not completely closed, half covered. There was a nice voice inside, and it was also very young, come in. Chiao Mian Mian was a little startled when he heard such a young voice at first. She reached out and pushed open the door gently. When I walked in, I saw a pretty young man sitting at the desk. I was about 25 years old, with a clean and gentle look, a pair of gold glasses on the bridge of my nose, and a gentleman. This is... Dean? Chiao Mian Mian's eyes revealed unsurprising surprise and surprise. Is the Dean so young? She thought that at least fifty or sixty years old. Miss Zhou, hello. Please sit down. When Chiao Mian Mian looked at Landing Rao in surprise, Liu Rao also raised his head and looked at her with some interest. This is the little girl who had a spring breeze with Mo Yesi? Not to mention anything else, this face is pretty good, even if it looks like a clear soup noodle, it can't hide her original beauty. Looking at the little girl in her early twenties, the facial features are exquisite and her skin is white and shiny. 
even he who has seen many beauties also felt quite stunning. After looking around for a moment, he said with a smile, Miss Chiao does not have to be restrained, everyone is a young man, and you should be an ordinary friend. With this smile, Chiao Mian Mian felt relaxed. She nodded and sat down with a smile. President, I heard that you wanted to talk to me about my brother's condition. Chiao Mian Mian didn't turn around and asked directly, Is there any change in Chen's condition? L. Yu Rao picked up the coffee on the table and sipped, It's a little changed. Chiao Mian Mian immediately became nervous, I don't know. The sooner your brother's disease is, the better the surgery effect. Because of this attack, he has actually missed the best surgery period. Chiao Mian Mian's face suddenly changed, and his voice almost shivered, what does it mean to miss the best period of surgery? Can't I have surgery later? It's not impossible to operate, it's not so good after the operation. Miss Chiao, your brother's operation can't be delayed any longer. I know. Chiao Mian Mian clenched his fists, I, I will find a way to let him perform surgery as soon as possible. It's just that you just said that he is performing surgery now, and the post-operative effect will not be too good. It depends on who will perform the operation on him. L. Yu Rao pretended to inadvertently say, I know a person, but he is very good at this kind of operation. If you can let him come forward, your brother's cure rate can be as high as 100%. 90. But. The cure rate is as high as 90%. Chiao Mian Mian's sinking heart instantly ignited hope, and she immediately asked, But what? Dean, is this person you know a doctor in this hospital? No. L. Yu Rao shook his head. He is a businessman and has not been in medicine for many years. So I said that he might not help this. A glimmer of hope at the bottom of my heart fell down again. Have not been in medical practice for many years? Will he still perform surgery on Chiao Chen? But. Even if there is only 1% hope, she can't give up. Chiao Chen is her only loved one in this world. No matter what method is used, she will fight for him. Director, you, can you give me that person's contact information? After a moment of contemplation, Chiao Mian Mian looked at L. Yu Rao with a request and a little nervousness and nervousness. I want to find him talk. Lu Rao's eyes flashed a hint of fine light very quickly, but on the face he appeared embarrassed. After he was silent for a few seconds, he nodded and said, Well, I will give you his contact information and address. But when you meet him, don't let him know that I asked you to find him. Chiao Mian Mian's cheeks showed, Thank you, Dean. Asterisk. Mose. Looking at the towering building in front of the sky, Chiao Mian Mian was standing timidly outside the revolving glass door. But when she thought of Chiao Chen, she gathered courage again. After taking a deep breath, he walked in. As soon as she reached the front desk, she was stopped. The female employees at the front desk are two beautiful women with good figure, exquisite makeup on their faces, and several pieces of luxury jewelry. At first glance, the temperament is like that of a rich family. One of the female employees saw Chiao Mian Mian look pretty, and she felt a bit hostile. I also saw her dressed in ordinary clothes, and her attitude was extremely arrogant, this lady, you need to register to find someone. Who are you looking for? Chiao Mian Mian hesitated and said the name Lu Rao gave her, Hello, I want to find Mo Yesi, is he here? As soon as her words fell, she heard two inspiratory sounds. The female employee who was not very good in attitude was even more hostile in her eyes, almost staring at her, Who are you, even calling the name of President Mo? You need to make an appointment to find President Mo, do you have an appointment? President Mo? Chiao Mian froze for a moment. Is the man named Mo Yesi the top executive of this company? Judging from the reactions of the two front desk employees, the position should not be low. She told the truth, no appointments. Oh. The female employee sneered when she heard that she didn't make an appointment. Mo Zong is not just anyone. 
You don't have an appointment and you want to see Mr. Mo? Some women have thick skin these years. I want to climb the dragon and the phoenix with a certain degree of appearance. President Mo can also think of it casually. Xiaomian Mian frowned. She patiently explained, I think you misunderstood, I did not. But before the words were finished, the female employee was interrupted impatiently, What do you think we are not interested in listening? In short, Mo will never see you without an appointment, let's go. Xiaomi and Mian originally thought that Mo Yesi was an ordinary employee. Unexpectedly, it would be so difficult to meet him. She has already come here, and if she has not seen anyone, she will definitely not leave. She didn't say anything to the front desk staff anymore. When she saw a rest area, she walked over to sit down and planned to wait for Mo Yesi to get off work. Seeing that she didn't mean to leave, the two female employees gathered a bunch of sneers and sneered. It's so thick-skinned that he refuses to leave. President Mo is pure-hearted and not close to women's colors. Even if she looks a little bit beautiful, President Mo will not be interested in women like her. Asterisk. Wei Zheng went downstairs to work. After passing the front desk, was stopped by a female employee. White Zhu, a poor woman came and said that she was looking for President Mo. We told her that President Mo would not see her without an appointment, but she still refused to leave. She had already sat in the rest area for two. It's an hour, we are worried that she will affect the company's image. Do you want people to drive her away? The female employee said while looking at Xiaomi and Mian. All eyes are jealous. Although the woman was poor and sour, she had a long face. Make her look extremely unpleasant. Someone looking for President Mo. Wei Zheng looked at the rest area curiously. When his eyes fell on Xiaomi and Mian, he was stunned. Then, a look of surprise appeared in his eyes. That woman, isn't that Miss Jiao who Mr. Mo asked him to investigate before? Why is she here? When the front desk staff saw Wei Zheng's face change, he thought that he was also dissatisfied. Xiao Mian Lei I refused to leave here, and the tone became more disdainful, I have never seen such a shameless face. Wei Zheng looked at it for a few seconds and walked over to the rest area. He took out his phone and made a call. After connecting, respectfully said, Mr. Mo, that Miss Jiao has come to the company and said that he was looking for you. A low, cold voice from the man came on the phone, which Miss Jiao. Jiao Mian Mian. She. Mo Yesi seemed a little surprised. Yes, President Mo wants to see her. I heard that she has been waiting for two hours. After a few seconds of silence. Bring her up. Yes, President Mo. Hanging up the phone, Wei Zheng walked to Jiao Mian Mian. He politely called. Miss Jiao. Jiao Mian Mian looked up and saw a man with a handsome look, a man in a suit and leather shoes standing in front of her. She froze, you are. Wei Zheng said, I am the assistant of President Mo, just heard that Miss Jiao is looking for our President Mo. Jiao Mian Mian stood up suddenly, yes, I want to find Mo Yesi. No, it's President Mo talking about one thing. Can you take me to see him? With a request in her eyes, she was afraid that he would refuse, and immediately added another sentence, I only need ten minutes, no, five minutes. I will not delay him for a long time. Wei Zheng nodded and smiled, President Mo agreed to see you, please ask Miss Jiao to come with me. Asterisk. The moment the Jiao Mian Mian was taken into the elevator by Wei Zheng, the two front office staff members who were still arrogant just changed their faces. What's the matter, don't you want to chase her away? Why Zhu actually took her up? Is it true that she really knows President Mo? The two thought of 10,000 possibilities, and the expression on their faces was not very good looking. Asterisk. The elevator goes directly to the 37th floor. Outside the president's office. Wei Zheng knocked on the door. Xiao Mian Mian heard a low, cold voice coming from inside, full of magnetism, and brought a bit of the majesty of the superior. 
just listening to this sound makes people feel that people inside are not close. She followed Wei Zheng into the office in a distraught mood. Mr. Mo, Miss Chiao is here. After Wei Zheng finished speaking, he turned and left. The door of the room was covered slightly. For a time, only the man in the large office was Chiao Mian Mian and the man sitting at the desk and reading documents. This is a masculine office, most of the furniture is black, otherwise it is grey. The colour is very monotonous and a little dull. Only a few pots placed slightly eased the monotonous colour of the interior. The man buried in front of the black desk. Chiao Mian Mian glanced peepingly, and felt the powerful aura on the other side. He was in good shape, wearing a black shirt and two buttons on his chest, revealing his collarbone and looming muscles. It looks, very sexy. He lowered his head, and Chiao Mian Mian could only see a rough outline. But it can still be seen that his facial features are deep and three-dimensional. Just as her eyes continued to linger on him, the man suddenly looked up. Chiao Mian Mian crashed into a pair of deep and cold eyes. When she stared at the handsome and deep face of the man for a moment, her heartbeat suddenly missed two beats. She had never seen such a handsome man. The man's face was as if it had been sculpted by a ghost, and every part and every line of his face was so perfect that he couldn't pick out any flaws. His facial features are very three-dimensional, very deep, with a pair of cold star-like cold deep eyes, the nose bridge is tall and three-dimensional, and the tight thin lips are and charming. The temperament is noble and unmatched, and there is a breath of abstinence all over him. There was no expression on his face, and his brows were cold. Even at a distance, Chiao Mian Mian could feel the cold air coming from him. When the cold star-like eyes looked at her, she had stopped breathing for several seconds. She stared at him froze, for a time, her brain was blank. Until there was a cold and magnetic voice in the ear, Miss Chiao. Chiao Mian Mian recovered. Recalling that she was staring at him like a just now, her face was hot, she bit her lip, and she was a little flustered, you, hello, Mr. Mo. Mo Yesi looked at the blush rising from her face, remembering that she was also blushing when she was under him last night. His eyes darkened uncontrollably. Opening again, the voice was slightly hoarse, I don't know what happened to Miss Chiao looking for me. Chiao Mian Mian seemed to have recovered. Hearing this question, I remembered her purpose of coming here today. She suppressed the strange emotion in her heart, sorted out her thoughts, and said, Mr. Mo, I want to ask you to do me a favor. Mo Yesi raised his eyebrows. Chiao Mian Mian also knew that it was a very strange thing that she suddenly asked for help from a stranger, but for Chiao Chen, she could not care so much. After being silent for a few seconds, she said, My brother has a heart attack and needs an operation immediately. I heard that Mr. Mo used to be an authority in the relevant field. I hope, hope. Hopefully I can help your brother with this operation. Looking at her swollen blushing face, Mo Yesi said the next hard words for her. Yes. Chiao Mian Mian exhaled and looked at him pleadingly. Please ask Mr. Mo to help my younger brother. He is only 19 years old and still very young. Mo Yesi raised her hand and interrupted her. Since Miss Chiao has come to see me, she should know that I have not been a doctor for many years. I know. Chiao Mian Mian nodded. But I believe Mr. Mo is a good person and will not die. Good man. Mo Yesi seemed to hear something interesting, and he smiled. He put down a document in his hand, stood up, and walked slowly towards Chiao Mian Mian. He came to her and stopped. Chiao Mian Mian found out that this man's figure was also very good, he was very tall, with a visual inspection of about 188. Because she has 165, this height is not too short among women, but standing in front of him, it barely reached the height of his neck. She needs to look up when he looks at him. Closer. The scent of the man's good smell came into his nose, and he was full of alluring male hormones. Chiao Mian Mian glanced at him and blushed. She couldn't help but take a step back. Blushing, biting his lip, 
Mr. Mo. Miss Chiao, I am a businessman. Mo Yesi looked at her with a thin lip raised, in business talk. Since Miss Chiao wants me to help you, what benefits are you going to give me? Chiao Mian Mong stunned. Benefit? He looks like a man who lacks nothing. What benefits can she give him? Mr. Mo, I don't know what you want. Mo Yesi looked at her delicate and pleasant little face, one word at a time, and said with certain points, if I said, I want a wife. Is Miss Chiao willing to give it? What? Chiao Mian Mian looked up in amazement. Mo Yesi looked calm and said lightly, there is no free lunch in the world. Miss Chiao, I can agree to your request and help your brother undergo surgery. However, the premise is that you have to marry me. This time, Chiao Mian Mian was sure that he really did not hear it wrong. She was shocked to no avail. In any case, I did not expect that his request would be to marry him. This is too, ridiculous. She was unbelievable, Mr. Mo, are you serious? Mo Yesi raised his eyebrows and asked, Do you think I'm kidding? Why? His condition is so good, can't he find his wife? He wanted a woman who met him for the first time to marry him? Or is there anything unspeakable about him? She looked involuntarily at him. Mo Yesi noticed that after guessing what she was thinking, she frowned, and her face was a little dark. He was funny again, and he stretched out his hand to pull her over. Ah! Chiao Mian Mian bumped into his arms, his head hitting his warm, strong chest, feeling like he had hit a rock, and his nose was red. Before the reaction came, one hand was pulled down by the man and moved down. Over his head, his sexy, low voice brought a little playfulness, Miss Chiao does not have to worry about being a widow after marriage, you can check it now and see if I am normal. Chiao Mian Mian was flushed with shame, and pushed him away in a hurry. Mr. Mo, please, please take care of yourself. She didn't expect this man who looked cold and abstinent, to be a rogue against her. Mo Yesi looked at her blushing face, and his eyes deepened. She seemed to love blushing very much, and it was the same last night. She cried and begged for mercy under him, her white skin was alluring pink. Recalling last night, he watched her eyes become hot. Chiao Mian Mian met his eyes, and his heart beat faster, panicking for no reason. The man's eyes were filled with obvious and possession, as if she were already in his pocket. Even, she had the illusion that he had long been in control, and knew that she would come to him today. Mr. Mo. She bit her lip, remained silent for a moment, then looked at him and said, I can do anything else except marry you. Before she finished talking, he said coldly, then we have nothing to talk about. Let's go. Chiao Mian Mian clenched his fists. She stood still. Mo Yesi did not drive her away. Both are silent. After a moment, Chiao Mian Mian took a deep breath, and his voice trembled softly, I married you, will you help Chen Chen to have an operation? Mo Yesi narrowed his eyes, you agree? Chiao Mian Mian smiled bitterly, isn't that what Mr. Mo requested? As long as you can cure Chen Chen, I... I'm willing to marry you. Looking at her bitter and helpless smile, Mo Yesi frowned, showing an unhappy expression on his face. He approached her. Reaching out, gently pressing her hands on her weak shoulders, the deep black eyes carry a rare serious, word by word, like a promise, like a promise, marry me, I promise you will not regret, I will do everything I can to give you all the pampering you want, and since then, we will share in common. Asterisk. Get a marriage certificate very quickly. When they arrived at the Civil Affairs Bureau, there were people waiting to receive them early. There is a dedicated service, but within a few minutes, the marriage certificate is ready. Get out of the Civil Affairs Bureau. Chiao Mian Mian looked at the small red book in his hand, and the whole person was in a trance. As if dreaming. Did she, just get married? She fantasies thousands of times, and expects things that are over ten million times, but it will be done under such circumstances. 
asterisk. After getting in the car, Xiao Mian Mian was still dreaming, with a dazed expression. Beside her, her new husband Mo Yesi turned her head and glanced at her, Xiao Mian Mian, don't look like you are losing money. You are married with a rich and beautiful face, and will do everything for you in the future. Husband, you don't suffer. Although this marriage was obviously made by him deliberately, he was still very uncomfortable looking at her lost face. Xiao Mian Mian listened to his words and turned his head. The man's profile is also extremely beautiful. His eyes are half squinted. The black shirt collar of the superior texture is unbuttoned to reveal the collarbone. In the backlight, his handsome facial features became more and more deep and three-dimensional, the rolling throat became sexy, but it was a strong abstinence. I have to say that he looks really good. Moreover, he is also very rich. At first, she thought he was a senior of Mo's. But now, she realized that his identity was much more prominent than she thought. He is the president of Mo's and the only heir to the top Mo's. The Sua family is also regarded as a famous city in Yunchenj, but the ten Sua families are no match for one Mo family. Objectively speaking, in this marriage, she was the one who took advantage of it. The disparity between them is too great, it should be two classes who will have no contact at all. Ordinary people. Thinking of this, Xiao Mian Mian pursed her lips and said nothing. Master, Mrs. Young. Are you going back to the company? The driver has changed his voice and no longer calls her Miss Chiao. Are you going to the hospital to see your brother? Mo Yesi's cold eyes fell on her face. Hey. Xiao Mian Mian nodded. Mo Yesi said, go to the hospital first. Xiao Mian Mian stunned and said, I'll take a taxi myself. She knew he was busy. When he left Mo just now, he still had a very high stack of documents on his desk. Although the two are already married, it is not because they love each other. Xiao Mian Mian didn't really treat him as a husband, so he didn't want to trouble him too much. Mo Yesi ignored her and said directly to the driver, go to the hospital. He insisted this way that Xiao Mian Mian would not be able to refuse again. She remained silent for a few seconds, pursed her lips, and then said quietly, thank you. As soon as the words fell, Mo Yesi's dark and deep eyes covered her. He curled his eyebrows and didn't look very happy, I need to be so polite with my husband? Xiao Mian Mian I don't care if you haven't yet adapted to our relationship, but in the future, I don't want to hear these two words from your mouth. When he said this, he was full of low air pressure. The space in the carriage seems to be forced. Xiao Mian Mian was overwhelmed by this powerful aura. She swallowed and unknowingly shrank back, whispering back, I see. It seemed to her that she suddenly realized that the husband she married was very rich and handsome but she had a bad temper. Sure enough, no one is perfect. Asterisk. To the hospital. The driver got out of the car, walked to the rear compartment and pulled the door, and then retreated aside respectfully. Xiao Mian Mian thought Mo Yesi just sent her over. She took the bag, got out of the car, and waved at the people in the car, then I will go first, you, you, be careful on the road. She is really uncomfortable with her relationship with Mo Yesi now. The first two seconds were strangers who didn't know each other. Now, this man has become her husband. After she finished speaking, she turned to leave. But heard a cold and magnetic voice behind him, What's the hurry, who told you that I'm going back to the company? Xiao Mian Mian turned around. Seeing Mo Yesi also got out of the car, he managed the button on the cufflinks and walked towards her slowly. You. She was stunned. Mo Yesi walked to her. She stretched her long arms and took her into her arms. Surrounded by the warm and seductive breath of the man, his big hot hands were still tied to her waist, and Xiao Mian Mian blushed suddenly. Just about to push him away, I heard his cold test say, Xiao Mian Mian, I want you to marry me not to be a fake couple with you. Since we are already married, I should go to see you two family. 
Xiao Mi and Mian stiffened. She naturally knows. Before they went to get a marriage certificate, he said that he wanted to be a real couple with her. So any physical contact is normal. She, should not be pushed away. She froze in his arms for a few seconds and no longer struggled. Moyesi's lips were satisfied, and the hand that embraced her soft waist was slightly tighter, come on, I'll see my uncle. Chiao Mian Mian's body was stiff again after hearing him use the term little uncle. He hugged her and walked into the hospital door. Wait, I have something to say. Chiao Mian Mian dragged his sleeve and stopped. Mo Yesi stopped. He looked down and frowned at her, what else do you have? She bit her lips and remained silent for a while, as if thinking about something. After a moment, she said to him in a negotiated tone, can we get married before we make it public? As soon as I finished speaking, I felt that the air pressure on the man was down again. Chiao Mian Mian swallowed and darted not to look up at him. Chen Chen didn't know that I broke up with my ex-boyfriend. If I suddenly told him I was married to you, he would be scared. In fact, this is only one consideration. On the other hand, Chiao Mian Mian felt that her marriage with Mo Yesi would not last long. He might have been on a whim, maybe after a while, he felt bored, and he divorced her. When she was replaced by someone else, she didn't care if anyone knew she was married. But Jiao Chen. This is the person she cares most about. The girl is young and can't hide any thoughts. Mo Yesi immediately guessed what she was thinking. The handsome man's face was shrouded in a gloomy color, and his body released a chill, you mean? You want to marry me in secret. He Mosasi has not been considered as such. Other women who want to have a little relationship with him, want to declare the world. But this woman. She is so afraid of others knowing their relationship, is she still pretending to be someone? She still misses her former fiancé? Thinking of this, Mosasi's face grew darker, and his eyes were so cold that a layer of ice was about to condense. I. Chiao Mian Mian met his gloomy eyes, scared to be speechless. Chiao Mian Mian. The man's slender, cool fingers pinched her jaw, her eyes cold and sharp, saying one by one, You are my woman. In the future, you can only think of me alone. I did not intend to marry you in secret. There won't be any future. His fingers tightened slightly, and his tone was very domineering, You must not have such thoughts. Have you heard? His eyes were full of possessiveness. Looking at her eyes is looking at a prey locked by him. This prey belongs to him alone. No one should be half-fingered. Chiao Mian Mian was a little scared. For the first time, she met a man as domineering and strong as him. He seemed to eat and wipe her clean at any time. Asterisk. Go outside the ward. Chiao Mian Mian was a little hesitant but Mo Yesi had reached out and pushed the door open, and led her directly into it. Chiao Chen is holding a book and reading it. Hearing the noise, he raised his head. Chiao Chen's eyes widened in surprise when he saw his sister walked in by a tall, handsome, noble man with arms around her waist, and all the books in her hand fell to the ground. He was dumbfounded, sister, you. Chiao Chen also grew up with Suzi so and Chiao Mian Mian. The relationship between the three is good. So when he was very young, Chiao Chen knew that his sister would marry his brother Su in the future. Su Zi has always been good to him, and Chiao Chen is also very satisfied with this future brother-in-law. In his heart, Su Zi is already his brother-in-law. Chiao Chen couldn't believe his eyes when he saw other men and Chiao Mian Mian being so close. He, who is he? Sister, you. Chen Chen, he. While Chiao Mian Mian was still hesitating about how to introduce, Mo Yesi led her to the bed, looked down at the bed, apparently shocked Chiao Chen, directly said, I am your brother in law. Chiao Mian Mian. She twitched at the corner of her mouth, not daring to think about what Zhou Chen would have reacted to. Why, what? Chiao Chen stunned again, his eyes almost coming out, Are you my brother in law? 
he looked at Chiao Mian Mian in confusion and confusion, like a child lost at the crossroads, sister, what the is going on? Isn't my brother-in-law Zij? How could he be replaced? Mo Yesi heard his mention of Su Zi, his face became heavy. When he sinks his face, the aura is very scary. Chiao Chen was shocked directly, and the whole person shivered. Chiao Mian Mian loved him the most, and when he was so scared, he glared at Mo Yesi, Why are you scaring Chen Chen, he is still a patient? What should you do if you scare him? At this time, I was not so afraid of Mo Yesi. Mo Yesi looked at her picture of protecting the calf and disagreed and said, As a boy, you are so timid, are you used to it? Are you too scary? Chiao Mian Mian in calf protection mode, with a lot of courage, choked back with him, Chen Chen is usually not so small. Bed. Chiao Chen slowly recovered from the shock just now. He looked at Chiao Mian Mian, then turned his head to look at Mo Yesi who was standing beside her, and still found it difficult to accept the fact, Sister, is he really my brother-in-law? Chiao Chen had just asked, and behind her there was a strong eye on her back. She remained silent for a few seconds and nodded, Uh. Chiao Chen. Then you and Zij. As soon as he mentioned Su Zi, his scary brother-in-law was staring at him again. Chiao Chen was so scared that he spoke halfway, and he dared not continue. Mentioning Su Zi, the expression on Chiao Mian Mian's face was cold, and she said lightly, I have broken up with him. Chiao Chen froze, why? He glanced at Mo Yesi secretly, and suddenly thought of a possibility, the whole person was not good. This man, who claimed to be his brother-in-law, was obviously not at the same level as Su Zi. He is much more handsome than Su Zi, and his temperament is more distinguished and distinguished, especially the powerful and invincible aura that Su Zi can never match. Without comparison, Su Zi's conditions are considered very good. But comparing with this man is like a difference between heaven and earth. One is the young master of the ordinary family, and the other is the elite of the emperor's family, which is completely incomparable. Chiao Chen felt that his sister, should not be cheating. He is absolutely contemptuous of things such as cheating and derailing morals. But Chiao Mian Mian is his sister. If she really did such a thing as cheating, what should he do? Just when Chiao Chen had various brain supplements and struggled to choose forgiveness, he heard Chiao Mian Mian whispered, he and Chiao are at ease. Chiao Chen was quiet for two seconds, and then, his eyes widened in exasperation, is he splitting his legs? He is actually at ease with Zhou? How can they treat you like this? There was no expression on Chiao Mian Mian's face, in short, I have nothing to do with Su Zi in the future. Well, your sister has nothing to do with him in the future. The man who has something to do with her is me. Mo Yesi walked over and put a hand on Chiao Mian Mian's shoulder, holding her gently. Chiao Mian Mian Chiao Chen. After knowing that Su Zi was derailed by Chiao An, Chiao Chen was not so uncomfortable with this sudden brother-in-law. He even felt relieved. This brother-in-law is many times better than Su Zi in every aspect. Su Zi does not know how to cherish his sister. Someone will always cherish it. In the future, he will definitely regret it. Chiao Chen looked at Mo Yesi and shouted properly, brother-in-law. This brother-in-law made Mo Yesi very satisfied. He directly took off a watch worn on his wrist and handed it to Jiao Chen, I decided to come here today, but I didn't have time to prepare. I will accept this face-to-face -face gift first. Jiao Chen looked at it and took a breath in surprise. It was a Patek Philippe diamond mechanical watch, which cost more than two million pieces. Millions of things, so he just gave it away? How rich is his brother-in-law? Chiao Mian Mian was also taken aback, no, no, this watch is too expensive to be collected by Chen Chen. I said I could receive it, I could receive it. Mo Yesi put the watch into Chiao Chen's hands, and the sharp black eyes narrowed, and said with a strong tone that he could not refuse, the gift I sent out was never received. Come back. 
you can do whatever you want. Chiao Chen was calmed by his aura. I didn't dare not accept it, but I felt that this meeting was too expensive, and he was too expensive to accept it. Sister. He had to look at Chiao Mian Mian with help. At this moment, Mo Yesi's cell phone suddenly rang. He took it out, looked at it, and picked it up. After a few seconds, he hung up the phone. There is something wrong with the company. I have to rush to deal with it. He said to Chiao Mian Mian, dine together at night. When the time comes, I will let the driver come to pick you up. After that, he looked at Chiao Chen again, relax and recuperate. I will take care of your sister and brother in future. Mo Yesi's promise is so precious, they don't know. It is also unclear what the promise given by a man standing at the top of power means. Asterisk. Soon, Mo Yesi left. Chiao Chen looked at the expensive watch in his hand and was curious, Sister, who is the brother-in-law, is he rich? Even so Zee couldn't just give away a watch worth more than 2 million yuan. Well, it's rich. The Mo family, the head of the rich and powerful in Yunchinch, is rich in the enemy. Not only rich, but also not rich in general. This watch. Chiao Chen grimaced, not knowing what to do. Leave it to me. Chiao Mian Mian thought about it and held out his hand. This watch is too expensive for us to accept. I will find a way to return it to him. Chiao Chen nodded and handed his watch to Chiao Mian Mian. This meeting is too expensive. Even if he received it, it would be useless, and he had to return it. Sister, how did you know your brother-in-law and how long have you been in contact? Chiao Chen was full of curiosity about this handsome brother-in-law who was very handsome and rich enough to make money. Chiao Mian Mian is cutting fruit for him. Hearing this, hesitated, and then handed him a slice of the cut apple, Chen Chen, I am with him, we are married. Chiao Chen looked at her in shock. Are you married? Okay. When did this happen? Just today, come and see the marriage certificate you got before. She wanted to hide Chiao Chen from the beginning, but since Mo Yesi had no plans to hide her marriage, she couldn't hide it anymore. Cough cough cough. Chiao Chen was choked with his saliva. He felt incredible, like a fantasy. Sister, what the is going on? Are you flash marriage? He was a little worried whether Chiao Mian Mian was stimulated by Su Zi's betrayal, so he just found a man to marry. But. His brother-in-law does not seem to be a man who can be hooked up casually. Chen Chen, you don't care about the rest. For me, the most important thing now is to cure your disease. Your brother-in-law, he is an authoritative expert in cardiovascular and cerebrovascular surgery. He has the surgery for you, you the cure rate of this disease is very high. Chiao Chen heard everything here and understood everything. Sister. His eyes suddenly turned red. You married him because of me? Is this the case? He did not expect that in order to cure his illness, his sister would trade in the happiness of her life. Even if his illness is cured, he will feel very guilty. Chen Chen. Chiao Mian Mian sighed gently. She put down the fruit knife, wiped her hands with a tissue, and then gently held Chiao Chen's hand. Actually, I didn't feel sad and wronged. Your brother-in-law it's not the old, bald, and ugly man. The women who want to marry him don't know how many. Speaking of it, I can take advantage of being able to marry him. Sister. Do you think he has better conditions than Su Zi? When? Of course, brother-in-law. That's not right. Chiao Mian Mian pulled out a tissue, wiped the tears in the corner of his eyes, and said with a smile, I found a better man than Su Zi, you should be happy for me. Otherwise, you isn't it terrible that my sister is now abandoned and still alone? Asterisk. Outside the door. The siblings did not know that their conversation was sent to Mo Yesi by someone without changing the word. Mos. Mo Yesi is holding a high-level meeting. The mobile phone must be turned on during the meeting, 
so when you hear the vibration of the mobile phone, the people in the conference room are all looking at me. I look at you, looking for the source of the sound. After a few seconds, I saw President Mo sitting in the position of President picking up the phone and watching. A group of senior officials. Meow meow, when President Mo met in a meeting, didn't he never read the phone information? More bizarre things are yet to come. They even saw that Mo, who had always been unsmiling, seemed to smile. Although the smile was short, they really saw it. Mo Yesi was watching WeChat sent by Lu Rao. Lu Rao. I just heard that little girl said you are married, don't tell me, it's true. Lu Rao, what did you do to give her brother an operation to intimidate the tempting family to get a certificate with you? I didn't expect you to be such a person. Lu Rao, that little girl actually said to marry you, she also took advantage. Lu Rao, she also said that you are better than her predecessor. No, she asked her brother what she said. After reading all the WeChat messages sent by Lu Rao, Mo Yesi licked his lips. He returned Lu Rao a word, um. Lu Rao seconds back, what does it mean? Really intimidating the attractive people? Mo Yesi, I am better than her predecessor. Lu Rao. After a few seconds, Lu Rao sent another, really married? Mo Yesi, can marriage still have fakes? Lu Rao, lying. Asterisk. 6 p.m. Mo Yesi's driver arrived at the hospital on time. The driver was extremely respectful. When he saw Chiao Mian Mian, he called out respectfully, young lady. Chiao Mian Mian nodded gently towards him. She is not very used to the term young lady, and it always feels weird to hear others call her. The driver opened the rear door and waited for Chiao Mian Mian to get on the bus before going back to the driver's seat. After getting in the car, Chiao Mian Mian found that Mo Yesi was not in the car. She asked casually, are you young masters still busy? The driver replied, sometimes someone asks the young master to talk about things. He asked me to come and pick you up first. Oh. Asterisk. On the road. Chiao Mian Mian felt that the driver was peeking at her. She didn't care about it before, but the other party's peeking was more frequent, and she was a little uneasy. While waiting for the red light at the intersection, she noticed that the driver was peeking again. She couldn't help but ask, that, you've been watching me, do you think I'm wrong? Ah. The driver was stunned by her question, and then said a little nervously, young lady, don't get me wrong, I don't mean anything else. I am, just curious. Curious. Chiao Mai and me I frowned in doubt. What is he curious about? Yeah, okay curious. The driver glanced in the rearview mirror again, and then said, before the young lady, the young man had never been with other women. He never even had a relationship. The lady introduced him. He hasn't looked at countless celebrities. For this reason, both the old man and his wife are anxious. Chiao Mian Mian was surprised, no? You said he hadn't even talked about a relationship. Men of that kind of condition will have attracted attention from the opposite since childhood. How could it never be in love? The driver looked at her in surprise from the rearview mirror and sighed, You don't know, Mrs. Young, our young master has misogyny. Female misogyny. Chiao Mian Wang froze for a few seconds. What is this disease? The driver explained, It means to hate women and not want to be in contact with women. In addition to the wife and the old lady, the young master is away from other women. This is also the reason why the young master is so good, but has always been single. Young master's disease is very rare. I don't see as many doctors as possible. So I will be surprised when I know that master is married to you. Chiao Mian Mian was very shocked. He was stunned for a while before he asked in doubt, what if he contacts a woman? What will happen? The driver's expression immediately became solemn, one by one, and said very seriously, the young man will have a very serious allergic reaction. 
In mild cases, there will be a red rash on the body, severe vomiting, cold body, and even syncope. Chiao Mian Mian. Nanny? Is there such a magical disease? But it's wrong. He had taken the initiative to hug her before, but he didn't see any allergic reaction. It seemed to guess what Chiao Mian Mian was thinking, and the driver said again, Young master does not seem to have an allergic reaction to you. He thought that this is why the young master would suddenly get married. Moreover, this young lady looks pretty, even he looks like it. Just. The wife and the old man should not know about the young master's marriage, and the wife has always wanted to match the young master and Miss Gurubiao together. Once you know this, you don't know what will happen. Asterisk. The driver drove the car to a mall. After getting off the bus, he said to Chiao Mian Mian, the young master said that Mrs. Young would come to the mall first. This mall is its own, you can take it back directly if you like. Chiao Mian Mian. Very good, domineering. Her husband is really rich. A and D. The driver took out a black card from the bag and handed it to her, this is what the young master asked me to give you. This card is an attached card of the young master, you can swipe it casually. It's for me. Chiao Mian Mian looked at the card he handed in, froze for a moment, frowned, no, I don't need it. She has no habit of spending money on men. Even though this man is now her nominal husband. But in Chiao Mian Mian's heart, she didn't really treat him as her husband. Mrs. Young Master, if I don't do well, he will scold me. The driver seems to be asking her, if Mrs. Young does not accept this card, I will not be able to pay the master's side. Looking at the driver's embarrassment, Chiao Mian Mian hesitated for a few seconds and took it over. However, she never thought about using it. When she saw Mo Yesi, she returned the card with the watch. Asterisk. Upstairs, someone came out to meet. Is the top of several shopping malls. Bai Jing Mian respectfully followed Chiao Mian Mian. Chiao Mian Mian walked around for a while and was not used to the fact that there were always a few people behind him, and he said to them, Don't follow me, I want to go shopping alone. A few people looked at me, I looked at you, hesitated for a while, and all withdrew. This mall is focused on high end brands. A whole building, all sold are luxury brands. When the Chiao family hadn't fallen, Chiao Mian Mian would occasionally buy some luxury goods and go back. After the Chiao family fell, she hadn't visited such a place for a long time. She casually walked into a women's clothing store. The clerk saw that she was dressed in ordinary clothes. She didn't even greet her. She only looked at her lightly and went to greet other guests. Chiao Mian Mian didn't mind, he went shopping. She hadn't thought about what to buy, just to just hang out and pass the time before waiting for Mo Yesi. After a moment, she was just about to leave, but heard a familiar voice behind her. The woman's voice was charming, and when she heard it, she was coquettish with the man, Brother Z, do I look good in this skirt? Chiao Mian Mian stiffened. She turned around slowly, looked up, and saw a young couple standing in front of the dressing mirror opposite. One is her former fiancé, and the other is her stepsister. Chiao Angzhen just tried a skirt, stood in front of the fitting mirror and turned around, then smiled and looked up at the man beside her. Well, it looks good. The man's handsome face had a gentle look, and the voice was also very gentle. He reached out and touched her head. My baby wears everything beautifully. The indulgent baby shouted enviously from the shop assistants around him. A clerk said flatly, Yeah, Miss Chiao is beautiful, she has such a good figure, she looks good in everything she wears. Mr. Su is also a talented person, and she is very handsome. Miss Chiao and Mr. Su are really good looking and gifted couples. The smile on Chiao Angzhen's face was even brighter, and she looked at Su Zi sweetly, Brother Zi, you can see that they really talk. It makes me embarrassed not to buy this skirt. Where is it? The clerk said sweetly, we are also telling the truth. 
Miss Chiao is a recognized beauty in the entertainment industry, and your beauty is well known. Su Zi heard a look of pride. Chiao Angzhen is indeed beautiful and a famous actress. Such a girlfriend takes face everywhere. Although the Chiao family is not good now. But Chiao Angzhen has developed very well in the entertainment industry. When she mixed up with a little flower, he just married home and would not have any opinions at home. Then buy it. Su Zi looked at the envious expressions of several shop assistants and felt very helpful. He said, if you want to see if there are other favorite ones, pick up the purchase together. Wow! Chiao An's face was full of joy, and he tipped his toes around his neck and kissed him on the lips. Brother Zi, how good you are! The clerk who entertained them looked at Zhou with envy and longing. Chiao Angzhen is really a winner in life. He is beautiful and has a good career. He also found a boyfriend who is so good and generous to her. It is really enviable. A few hundred thousand skirts, said to buy it. Gee, how can such a rich and handsome man not meet them? After Chiao and kissed Su Zi, he turned happily and turned to pick other clothes. In the waiting room, Su Zi was led by the clerk to the rest area. But in the moment of turning around, he saw a familiar figure. Mian Mian. A trace of surprise flashed on his handsome and gentle face, and he stopped. Then frowned, why are you here? He was astonished as if Chiao Mian Mian shouldn't have appeared in such a place at all. Chiao Angzhen, who was choosing clothes, immediately turned around when he heard the movement. When she saw Chiao Mian Mian, she was stunned, and then subconsciously went to see Su Zi's reaction. Seeing Su Zi staring at Chiao Mian Mian without blinking her eyes, her face sank instantly. Chiao Mian Mian wore a white tee with a pair of light blue cropped trousers and a pair of white shoes on his feet. Her black and soft hair was scattered, and her face was lightly makeup, and the whole person was very clean and fresh. But even if she dressed simply, the delicate and beautiful face was still striking. The more Joan feels jealous, the heavier he is. Chiao Mian Mian, this shameless little bitch, is she deliberately seduce Su Zi? Sister, what are you doing here? Chiao An was full of hostility in his eyes and walked to Su Zi to block him, looking like an anti-thief, full of alertness. Looking at her picture, Chiao Mian Mian only felt ridiculous. It seems that every woman who has done the third major change will forget that she was a thief. Now Zhou is at ease. Looking at the pair of obscene men and women in front of her, she didn't even speak. He glanced at the two expressionlessly and turned to leave. Sister. Chiao Angzhen stopped her, and asked, as if in doubt, since I came here to buy clothes, why didn't I pick one and leave? Having said that, before Chiao Mian Mian spoke, she suddenly realized that the general self asked and answered, Oh, I remembered. There haven't been many filmings during this time, and you have nowhere to run. The brother Chiao Chen is sick again. When you are in the hospital, you have to collect medical expenses for him. When several shop clerks heard that Chiao Mian Mian was just an outlier, his eyes were full of disdain. No wonder there is a poor look. It turned out that it was really no money. When Chiao Angzhen called her sister just now, his eyes were even more disdainful. This is the old Miss Chiao family who has been married to Su Xiao since her childhood. What a shame! The clerk saw that Chiao Angzhen didn't like her sister, so she said with frustration and bitterness, Miss Chiao, is this poor and sour woman your sister? The sister is a big star, but the sister is just a trick. Miss Chiao, did you admit the wrong person? Yet, yeah, Miss Chiao, you are so good, how can there be such a bad sister? Hey, since there is no money to buy clothes, what else do we go to our shop? Is it because of the air conditioning? I think she looks sneaky, isn't she trying to steal something? Chiao Angzhen listened to the clerk ridicule Chiao Mian Mian, not knowing how happy she was. On the face, he looked unhappy and frowned, don't talk nonsense, sister is not such a person. After finishing talking, he looked at Chiao Mian Mian again, sister, don't be angry. They don't understand you. 
they would say that. Chiao Mian Mian sneered. Originally, she didn't want to ignore Zhou's peace of mind. She didn't plan to ignore the clerks who looked at people with low eyes. But now. Now that everyone is riding on her head to bully her, wouldn't it be too soft if she didn't fight back? This is not her Chiao Mian Mian character. If you don't understand me, you can talk nonsense. She looked coldly at the shop assistants, then do they know that it costs you to frame people? When the pair of star-eyed eyes stared at the shop assistants, they were stunned, and they all felt a trace of fear. I can imagine that Jiao Mian Mian was just a slapstick, and he was arrogant again. Oh! A clerk sneered. Framed? We didn't frame you. Dare to visit luxury brand stores without money? You didn't want to steal anything, what could you do? Yeah, obviously a thief, and his face threatens us. Saying that he is awesome, we still have to pay the price, who do you think you are? Ahoy, uh -huh, we're so scared. Ask for the price. Sister. Chiao Engzen frowned softly. If you have difficulty, you can tell me and brother Azer. Her sentence was equivalent to admitting the words of those shop assistants in disguise. I think Xiao Mian Mian came here to steal things. Su so Zi also frowned lightly and looked at Xiao Mian Mian deeply, Xiao Mian Mian, are you so short of money? Seeing that Xiao Mian Mian had been so grievous after breaking up with him, he couldn't even afford to buy a piece of clothing, Su so Zi felt distressed. With a bit of pain and pity in his eyes, he said, if you really lack money, you can tell me. After all, me and you. I will help you anyway. Hearing So Zi's words, Chiao Mian Mian felt that he knew another layer of him. The feelings of the past ten years really fed the dog. Chiao and framed her heart, she can understand. But he. Does he even think that she will do things like stealing things? She looked at him with a stupid look, without saying a word turned around and walked out of the shop. Is she guilty? Was she really here to steal? It's shameless. It looks like a thief. Asterisk. Chiao Mian Mian walked out of the store. The driver who accompanied her to see her came out empty-handed and stepped forward and asked, Did Mrs. Madam not see her favorite clothes? Uncle Li. Chiao Mian Mian didn't answer his question, but turned his head and asked him, do you know Mo Yesi's mobile phone number? Uncle Lee was shocked, no. Well, then show me. Uncle Lee. Does Mrs. Xiao not even have Master's mobile phone number? Despite my doubts, he quickly took out his mobile phone and turned over Mo Yesi's mobile phone number. Chiao Mian Mian glanced over and directly called Mo Yesi. It rang for a long time before it was connected there. Hey. A cold and low voice came over, bringing a little alienation from the cold. Chiao Mian Mian remained silent for a few seconds before speaking, I am Chiao Mian Mian. Mo Yesi remained quiet for a second, is this your mobile phone number? I don't know if it was Chiao Mian Mian's illusion. After she reported her name, she felt Mo Yesi's tone was not so cold. It seems to be a little milder. Uh. She nodded. Mo Yesi was quiet for a while. After a few seconds, he said again, I saved it. You also save my mobile phone number. Okay, I will. Chiao Mian Mian squeezed the phone tightly. The previous impulse had faded a lot, and she regretted making the call. They just got married less than a day. Moreover, although he is already her husband in name, it is only in name. She asked him for help in this way, would it make him feel troublesome? However, she was really angry. She has not been described as a thief. If this breath cannot be vented today, she thinks she will suffocate to death. How do you think of calling me? Miss me. The man's low, tempting voice came into her ears, as if talking against her ears, and Chiao Mian's heartbeat with a sultry voice suddenly accelerated. His face suddenly turned red. She was. How should she answer this? Mr. Mo. Call me by name, or call my husband. 
I don't want to hear Mr. Mo's name like this anymore. The man's tone was strong and hegemonic, and she simply couldn't let her refuse. Chiao Mian Mian. Mo Yesi, I'm on the road, and I'll be there for you in about 20 minutes. If you're hungry, you can order something to eat without waiting for me. Well, I know. Chiao Mian Mian. Mo Yesi suddenly shouted her name. What? Do you have anything to tell me? Chiao Mian Mian hesitated for a few seconds and asked softly, I'm in Shengdong department store. I heard Uncle Lee say that this mall is owned by Mo's, is that true? Mo Yesi, well. So say that. Okay. Chiao Mian Mian, am I the boss of this mall? After she said this, she felt her face hot. Mo Yesi seemed a little surprised that she would say something like this. After a few seconds of silence, he chuckled softly, of course. Then, if the boss lady feels that the quality of the employees is not good and the work attitude is too bad, can they be fired? Chiao Mian Mian was a little nervous. She waited nervously. She was afraid that Mo Yesi would reject her. Then she was too faceless and too embarrassed. After a few seconds of silence, the man spoke again, and his tone suddenly became colder. He asked in a deep voice, Are you bullied? I. No matter what Jiao Mian Mian said, his tone grew colder and colder, You are Mrs. Mo's president, of course you have such power. What do employees who don't have long eyes keep doing? Jiao Mian Mian's eyes lit up, so, did you agree? Jiao Mian Mian, you are my Mo Yesi woman. If someone dares to let you be wronged, you will tell me, no matter who the other person is, I will be angry for you. You remember, marry me, you want to act arbitrarily, you want to act arbitrarily, I will take care of everything for you. On the phone, the man's low, arrogant voice gently penetrated into her ears. He said, Chiao Mian Mian, marry me, whatever you want to do is just wanton, just let me do everything for you. At this moment, a warm current gently flowed through her heart. In all the years she can only rely on herself, forcing herself to become independent and strong in these years, the people she can rely on have always been only herself. But now. Suddenly there was a person who told her that she could rely on him. No matter what happens, he will take her for her. Regardless of the moment, he was sincere when he said these words. She was grateful. Her eyes were a little wet, and she took a deep breath and whispered, OK. Asterisk. After Chiao Mian Mian made this call to Mo Yesi, soon, the senior of the mall came over. She returned to the store again. Chiao Angzhen chose the clothes and took Su Zi to the checkout counter. When Chiao Mian Mian walked into the store, a clerk saw her and immediately dropped her face. Then she sneered coldly and said, Yo, haven't you already gone? Why are you back? Should you still want to steal something in our store? Another clerk also saw her, and said bitterly, I said you should not do these things that are mischievous to Miss Chiao. You are shameless, she still has a face. What happened? Chiao Angzen turned around and she froze when she saw Chiao Mian Mian. Miss Chiao, your sister who is a thief is back. One of the shop assistants looked at Chiao Mian Mian with disdain, and then greeted several other shop assistants. She must be stubborn. Everyone pay more attention to it, so don't let her steal it. Something. Chiao Angzen stared at Chiao Mian Mian for a few seconds, frowning slightly. Sister. Her face was embarrassed, biting the corner of her lips and said softly, do you like the clothes in this shop? If you really like it, Brother Azer and I can buy one for you, you really don't have to. Speaking of which, the brow frowned again. As if the next words are hard to tell. Several shop assistants were holding Jiao Angzen and praised, Miss Jiao, are you too kind to your thief and sister? Why should you give her such expensive clothes in vain? That's it. Is it appropriate for her to buy such expensive clothes? The clothes in our store are only suitable for noble and elegant women like Miss Chiao. Miss Chiao is really kind. 
she has intervened in your relationship with Mr. Su, forcing a couple you love so hard to separate for many years. Such a shameless woman, Miss Jiao, you don't need to treat her at all. So good. Some people really have no self-knowledge and don't look at themselves. Can you compare with Miss Jiao? Jiao Mian Mian looked at the couple who held Jiao Angzan to heaven and demoted himself to the clerk in the mud pond, with a sneer on his lips. She is not uncomfortable when she sees things that are inferior. However, snobbish eyes became like this, she was the first time she met. Since Mo Yesi said that she is the wife of Mo's president and has the power to expel any employee of Mo's, she will never let these disgusting dogs stay here unobtrusive. Behind her. After hearing how the shop assistants ridiculed and scorned Jiao Mian Mian, the senior management of the mall scared cold sweat from his forehead. These few things that do not know the height of the sky and the earth are really dying. Although he still does not know what the relationship between Miss Jiao and President Mo is. However, Wei Tae Wo personally called to explain to the people that they must be well received, absolutely they can not offend. Not to mention a few small employees. The people of President Mo have been bullied in their shopping malls. If this matter is not resolved, he might be fired. Thinking of this, the high-level face suddenly changed. What are you talking about? He walked out from behind Jiao Mian Mian, and turned to the shop assistants with a pale face, Miss Jiao is a valuable customer in our mall. How dare you treat her like this? Chen, President Chen. Seeing the mall boss coming, the attitude of several people immediately became respectful. Mr. Chen, have you misunderstood? A clerk glanced at Jiao Mian Mian, still with disdain and contempt in her eyes, we did not disrespect Miss Jiao, but Miss Jiao is a VIP card customer in our store, we how could it be slandering her? Mr. Chen scolded, I heard something in my ear just now, is it wrong? You are the wrong person. The clerk looked at Jiao Mian Mian, still looking disdainful, the distinguished customer in our store is Miss Jiao Angzan but this is not a thief named Jiao Mian Mian. Mr. Chen, you came exactly, we think this Jiao Mian Mian's trace is suspicious. She must have stolen something in the shopping mall. President Chen, you should have someone search her body immediately, and she should not be allowed to take the shopping mall stuff out. Yes, President Chen, she must have stolen something. The police should let the police take her away, the thief is the most disgusting. Mr. Chen listened to these words and sweated more on his forehead. A hundred idiots have been scolded in my heart. If you're stupid, you'll have to hurt him. Who recruited this kind of idiot? Enough. At this time, Su Zi, who had been silent, came over, his face sullen and sullenly said, Mian Mian is not such a person, I believe her. Don't make trouble anymore. After finishing talking, he looked at Jiao Mian Mian again with his eyebrows twisted in his eyes. He said, Mian Mian, if you want to buy clothes, tell me, I. Before he could finish talking, Jiao Mian Mian turned around. She never looked at him from beginning to end. Mr. Chen, what should you do? Jiao Mian Mian was very impressed in front of Mr. Chen, and said coldly, if the mall later recruits this kind of low-key staff, the personnel department employees can also be changed. Yes, what Miss Jiao learned is that this is indeed a dereliction of duty in the personnel department. Looking back, I must train them hard. Miss Jiao, please get angry, these few employees who slammed you, I will dismiss them immediately. And, this mall will never hire them again. Mr. Chen was extremely respectful, bowing almost 90 degrees in front of Jiao Mian Mian and the extremely flattering gesture of nodding and bowing saw a sudden change in the face of several shop assistants. How is this going? Why is President Chen so respectful to this woman? Isn't she just a poor woman running around? Also, Mr. Chen just said they want to fire them. A few seconds ago, the people were still arrogant, and they looked very reasonable. At this time, his face was white, and all of them showed a panic look. Mr. Chen, we. Several people were afraid to explain. 
You guys, get out of me right now. Mr. Chen was so angry that his usual literacy demeanor disappeared. His fingers were almost poked on the noses of several people. His face was black and he yelled, Our mall is not as low as you. Quality staff. Mr. Chen, we didn't do it on purpose. Please give us another chance. Yes, Mr. Chen, we don't want to leave here. We have been working in this mall for five or six years. We are very satisfied with everything here. Please don't fire us. We really can't do without this job. Several people whispered in a low voice and refused to leave. In all industries under Moss, employee benefits are far superior to other enterprises. They have also worked in other shopping malls before. But the treatment is not comparable to this mall, if they leave here, where can they find such a good job? Because of their stupid behavior, Mr. Chen was afraid that he would be involved, and no matter how much they cried, they were indifferent. Insist on firing them. The shop assistants begged for a while, but when they saw no effect, they glanced at Chiao Mian Mian, who stood aside, and his eyes suddenly lighted up. There was hope in his eyes. Although they still don't know why Chiao Mian Mian can make President Chen so valued, it can even be said that President Chen is in a pleasing posture in front of her. However, since they were fired because they offended her, if they can be forgiven, can they continue to stay? Several people swept the previous arrogance and walked up to Jiao Mian Mian, crying and begging her for forgiveness. Miss Jiao, we are wrong. Please forgive us this time, and we will never dare again. Miss Jiao, I'm sorry, but our dog's eyes are low. You don't want to see us in general. Give us a chance to change it, please. Miss Jiao, you have a lot of adults, forgive us. Looking at this group of people crying and begging for painful changes, Chiao Mian Mian did not have any fluctuations in his heart. She is not a white lotus. Being insulted and ridiculed by these people again and again, now they can still forgive them. If she forgives them, she is a fool herself. Moreover, she knows such people too well. Zhang Shan is easy to change and its nature is difficult to change. It is snobbish in its bones. How can it really be changed? She looked at them indifferently, I won't forgive you. The lesson I gave you today is to let you know that people should never look at the surface. After she finished speaking, she no longer ignored the shop assistants, turned around, and said to President Chen who was still standing behind her with a look of panic, Mr. Chen, I will leave it to you here. Okay, okay. President Chen nodded, Miss Jiao, don't worry, I will give you a satisfactory explanation. Chiao Mian Mian nodded gently and was ready to leave. Several shop assistants saw that it was useless to beg her, and her face became very ugly. At this moment, their intestines are regretful. I thought this Chiao Mian Mian was a good soft persimmon. But who can think of her as having a background? The thought of why they would fall so badly was because they wanted to please Zhou, and a few people put the last trace of hope on Zhou. Miss Chiao, we just offended your sister just because we spoke for you. You can't ignore us. That's right, Miss Chiao, you help us to say a few good words to your sister. The clerk was crying and crying asking Zhou to calm down and help them plead. Looking at Chiao Mian Mian, who turned away, Chiao Angzen was completely stunned. She was stunned with amazement, and gripped Su Zi's arm inconceivably, Brother Ace, what the is going on? Originally, she wanted to show superiority in front of Chiao Mian Mian and took the opportunity to suppress and humiliate her. But now, she found that the limelight person became Chiao Mian Mian. Chiao Angzen couldn't accept such a reversal. For a time, her face became a little ugly, how can the boss of that mall treat her sister so politely? For the sake of Chiao Mian Mian, he even fired several shop assistants. Why can Chiao Mian Mian have such a big face? Su so Zi was also surprised. He stared at Chiao Mian Mian and walked to the door of the store, thinking of some possibility, his face became ugly. Miss Chiao help us. Several shop assistants are still crying and begging for help. 
Chiaoan was bothered by the harassment, and immediately froze his face and said impatiently, You are fired, what's the matter with me? Don't trouble me again, I can't help you. Ask her to ask Xiaomian Mian? It is impossible in this life. These shop assistants pleased Zhou at ease at the time, because Chiao Angzhen was a VIP customer of their shop and often patronized their business. But now, they are going to be fired, and Zhou Angzhen refuses to help them, and a few people will naturally not be polite to her. Several people angrily said, Miss Chiao, how can you do this? You are crossing the river to demolish the bridge. Miss Chiao, I didn't expect you to be such a person. Zhou feels relieved that you must give us a statement today. Chiao Angzhen is the flowers growing in the greenhouse, very charming. She was surrounded by several shop clerks, some of them fierce, and scared her into Suzy's arms, brother Azer. Suzy was afraid that the clerk would be too excited, and hurt the child in her stomach. She immediately reached out to protect her firmly in her arms, coldly looked down, and looked at the clerk with a glance, you are fired, and you have peace of mind. What does it matter? Did she ask you to do this? If you harass her like this, I'm welcome. So Zee's face sank, and the aura was still a little scary. The clerk was afraid of thinking about his identity. Several people glared at Joe with revenge. A few of you are still stunned, let's go. President Chen pointed at several shop assistants and said indignantly, I have notified the finance department, you will go to settle the salary and leave. Mr. Chen. It's useless to call Dad, who made you dare to offend Miss Chiao. It's hard to know what to do. Let me go. Asterisk. The clerk left in dismay. President Chen looked at Suzi so and Chiao who were still standing in the shop, and quietly lighted a candle to both of them. He knows Su so Dong. Speaking of it, it can be considered a personal thing. It's just that such a character is simply not enough to compare with M.O. Not even qualified to mention it. Although he and the woman next to him did not directly frame Miss Chiao, they were not much better. They offended Miss Chiao this way. If Miss Chiao had to worry about it, so would be out of luck. President Chen looked at the two sympathetically and turned to leave. Mr. Chen. But I heard a charming voice from behind. President Chen looked back and saw that the woman in So Zi's arms was calling him. He froze, is there anything else with this lady? Chiao Angzhen withdrew from So Zi's arms. She took So Zi's arm and asked softly, I'm Chiao Mianmian's sister. President Chen just picked up some unclear shop assistance for my sister. Say thanks to President Chen for my sister. President Chen was stunned again, frowning. It's my honor to be able to do things for Miss Chiao Mian Mian. How dare I ask her to thank me? Chiao Angzhen was a bit ugly when he heard this. She Chiao Mian Mian, in the end is what a great person. This general manager Chen was so humble and respectful to such a point. She felt extremely uncomfortable and bit her lip, is President Chen and my sister very well connected? I don't know how you met each other. President Chen only realized her intention at this moment. He heard what she was exploring in the name of gratitude. Suddenly, a little displeasure appeared on the face. When he spoke again, his attitude was a little cold, it has nothing to do with you. But since you are her sister, I can advise you. Miss Chiao Mian Mian is not someone you can offend. You will be kind to her in the future. After dropping this sentence, President Chen turned and left. Joan's face was blue with anger. She gritted her teeth and said with an expression of anger, Brother Ace, did you hear what he said just now? You said, is there a rich man in the neighborhood? Impossible. So Zi pulled it off at once, Mian Mian is not such a vain admirer. She will not do such a thing. But. Chiao Angzhen wanted to say something. So Zi looked back suddenly at her, relax, I have known Mian Mian for ten years. I know her too well, and she can never do such a thing. She has never taken the initiative to ask me if we have been together for so many years. Whatever. I will give her a more expensive gift, 
and she will feel distressed that I spend more money. When Xiaoan saw Su so Zi talking about these things, his eyes showed nostalgia. The jealousy in her heart instantly ignited. Su so Zi kept saying that she loved her, but when she talked about Jiao Mian Mian, she still felt unwilling in her eyes. Also, what did he just mean? Xiao Mian Mian did not take the initiative to ask him for money, Xiao Mian Mian could not bear him to spend money, so Xiao Mian Mian was not a woman who admired vanity. And she? She often asked him for gifts, and every time he asked for a gift, it was worth a lot. Is he turning around to say that she worships gold and vanity? With such a thought, Xiao An's face was even worse, and he couldn't be more angry. He didn't dare to attack in front of Su Zi. Let's go, don't you mean you want to go to the restaurant on the top floor of the Global Center for Western Food? Su Zi probably also realized that he hadn't said the right thing, and then he spoke, and his voice was much softer. Go shopping in the jewelry store. Didn't you like a necklace before? Go and buy it later. Joan's face looked better. She looked up and looked at Su Zi's young and beautiful face, and the displeasure in her heart finally dissipated. What if Xiao Mian Mian really got close to the rich? She must be an old man beside her. And Su Zi is young, rich, and handsome, and gentle and generous to her, where is that kind of bad old man comparable? Just when she had a sense of superiority again, the other two shop assistants in the store came over and said apologetically, Sorry, Miss Chiao, Mr. Su. The clothes in our store cannot be sold to you, Mr. Su card. We haven't moved the money in there, and now we will return the card to you. Su so Zi was stunned for a while. Then, his brow furrowed tightly, and he lowered his face and said, What can't we sell to us? We also received the above notice. The clerk looked at him innocently. If Mr. Su has any questions, we can go to our leader. Another clerk was sorting out the clothes they had just bought, took the clothes out of the packing bag, and hung them back in the window. When Xiao Angzen saw this scene, his face was extremely ugly, and he felt particularly embarrassed and particularly lacking in face. Her face was green, and she looked very wronged, Red Eyes said, Brother Azer, does this mean sister? We kindly want to help her, how can she? You also said that you know her and she won't do that kind of thing. But if she doesn't know a very powerful person, how can she have such a great right? Brother Aze, it's not that I'm saying bad things about my sister, Chen Chen is still here she was hospitalized. She hasn't received any job recently. You are now breaking up with her again. She will inevitably be nervous. She is short of money now. Speaking of which, Xiao Angzen stopped talking down. Su so Zi's lips tightened, and his face was so dull. Asterisk. After Xiao Mian Mian came out of the women's clothing store, she was not in a mood to go shopping elsewhere. Mrs. Xiao, aren't you going shopping? The driver escorted beside her and asked respectfully. Xiao Mian Mian shook his head. She felt that she was unlucky. There are so many stores in the mall, why did she enter a store where Joan Xian and Su Zi are also? Now she was disgusted by the two and the clerks, and even had no appetite for dinner. At this time, the phone rang. She picked it up and saw it from Mo Yesi. She had just stored Mo Yesi's mobile phone number in her address book, and the caller ID was his name. Hey! Xiao Mian Mian picked up. The man's low magnetic sultry voice penetrated her ear, still shopping. No. Xiao Mian Mian curled his lips, his voice a little stuffy. Unhappy. No. Mo Yesi suddenly said, it seems that the person in charge of the mall should be changed. Chen Hui's service is so unreliable, and his CEO of Shengdong department store does not need to stay in Mo's. Mr. Chen? Mr. Chen, who helped her out earlier. Xiao Mian Mian was surprised, why should we replace President Chen? Mo Yesi said in a cool voice, he did not work well, he didn't make the lady boss feel satisfied, but she still kept what she was doing. Xiao Mian Mian. Her face was slightly hot, 
cough, it's not Mr. Chen's business. He handled it very well, and I'm not dissatisfied. Then why are you still unhappy? It might be hungry. Chiao Mian and Mian and couldn't help it, he just thought of a reason. I heard a man on the other end of the phone smile lowly, it turns out that way. Sorry, things are a little bit more today, and I have to get off work for a while. In the future, I will try to come home from work as early as possible to accompany you. Chiao Mian Mian, cough cough cough. She, didn't mean that. I've arrived. Mo Yesi paused and said, should I go up to you, or? I'll go find you. Before he finished, Chiao Mian Mian said first, I'll go down immediately. The appearance of Mo Yesi. She was worried that if he came up in a while, it would attract all kinds of attention. She still thinks it is better to be low-key. Asterisk. To the underground parking lot. A black Bentley flashed double. As soon as Chiao Mian Mian walked over, the door of the rear compartment opened. Inside the carriage. The man was holding a thin laptop in his hand. He was a bit lazy in his sitting posture, his cold and deep eyes swept the computer screen, and then he looked up and looked directly at Chiao Mian Mian. Eyes are opposite. His eyes were as deep as a secluded pool, and her shadow reflected in the dark eyes. The underground parking lot is a bit dark. The lights are on in the car. He sat in the warm light, his beautiful face was covered with a soft luster and the lines of his face appeared very soft. Even his eyes seemed to soften. Chiao Mian Mian stunned, suddenly missed a beat. Mo Yesi and her looked at each other for a few seconds, and turned their heads back, what are you doing, standing up? Oh! Chiao Mian Mian took a deep breath, touched a little hot cheek, and stooped into the car. Asterisk. The door closed. The space seemed to narrow down at once. There is a faint scent in the carriage, which is not as pungent as the ordinary car perfume, it is a very elegant fragrance. Chiao Mian Mian's heart beats a bit fast. Because she felt that after she got on the car, she had eyes on her all the time. The man next to him looked at her without hesitation. Chiao Mian Mian was uncomfortable. Just when he wanted to speak, the man's deep and sultry voice rang in his ears, Why didn't you buy anything? Did Lee give you that card? Here. When he talked about the card, Chiao Mian Mian remembered that she had to return the card and the watch to him. Why didn't you buy anything? Didn't you like it? Mo Yesi frowned. It seemed as if she was dissatisfied with her not spending a penny on him. Chiao Mian Mian. She took out the black card from the bag and his more than two million watches, and handed it to him, Mo Yesi give it back to you. These things are too expensive, and Chen Chen and I can't received. Mo Yesi's frowned eyebrows became tighter and deeper when she saw what she handed over. The expression on his face was not very good, Chiao Mian Mian, what do you mean? Chiao Mian Mian was a little scared when his face fell. She is not that kind of timid person. However, the masculine aura sitting next to her is too powerful. Chiao Mian Mian was really surprised. Under the gaze of the men's extremely oppressive and terrifying eyes, Chiao Mian Mian swallowed nervously, Mo Yesi, although we are already married, but I don't think I'm well adapted to this relationship. I hope you can give me some buffer time. You are very good to Chen Chen, I am very grateful. However, this watch is really not suitable for him. Even if you force him to accept it he usually dare not wear it. If you really want to send him a gift, you can send a less expensive one. As for this card. She hesitated before saying, I can make a little money myself now, I. Before he finished speaking, he was interrupted by the cold voice of the man, I can temporarily withdraw the watch and wait until the day he is suitable to wear it, then give it to him. But you must hold this card. I. If it is known that my wife of M.O. Yesi still needs to make money on her own, do you want me to wipe my face? I do not have. M.O. Yesi raised her hand again to interrupt her. He squinted slightly, squinting halfway, and his voice was a bit chilly, 
Chiao Mian Mian, did you resist using Su Zi's money like this before? Chiao Mian Mong froze. She pursed her lips and was silent. She spent Su Zi's money, of course, not so resistant. But can this be the same? She and Su Zi had known each other for so many years, and he, had less than a day. Her silence made the aura around him even colder. Driving Position Uncle Lee saw from the rearview mirror that the atmosphere between them was wrong and summoned the courage to say, Young Master, Madam, where are you going to eat? Chiao Mian Mian pressed his lips tightly and said nothing. She was scared by Mo Yesi now, and was a little angry with him. She didn't think she was wrong. What if she married him? They just didn't know the time of the day. For her, his so-called husband is no different from a stranger. How could she be used to spending a stranger's money so quickly? When Chiao Mian Mian was angry, his face bulged, his eyes were round, and he likes to turn his head to one side and ignore him. Looking at her awkward look, Mo Yesi felt the stagnation in her heart dissipate. He chuckled with a chuck and pressed a hand on her shoulder, pulling her body towards herself, angry. Chiao Mian pressed his lips tightly, lowered his eyes, and refused to speak. Mo Yesi raised his eyebrows, and the smile on his lips deepened, Sorry, I apologize to you. I just had a bad attitude. I shouldn't have talked to you like that. Did it scare you? The girl's eyelashes twitched slightly, her teeth clenched tightly on her pink lips, her face still bulging. Mo Yesi looked down at her for a moment, and her fingers pinched her jaw, raising her head. He lowered his voice and stared at him deeply, Mian Mian, don't breathe with me. Hmm. You can understand the behavior just now that I am jealous. I just, a little jealous of Su Zi. Cool fingers clasped her jaw. As he approached, the enchanting breath of his body penetrated into Jiao Mian Mian's nose. The sound of Mian Mian, which seemed to contain her earlobe, instantly made Jiao Mian Mian's ears crisp. Even the heart trembles. The light ending of the man was more like a bit of temptation, making Chiao Mian Mian's heart tremble. Her face was hot again, at that moment I still remembered whether I was angry. She raised her eyes and met his deep eyes, her tremor trembling again, her blushing heartbeat. This man's face is too beautiful and charming. His eyes were deeply charmed. If people are not careful, they will indulge in the vast ocean of his eyes. Me. I am not angry. Chiao Mian blushed, and as he drew closer, she felt a little difficult to breathe. Is it? Mo Yesi was two centimeters closer to her, and the warm breath he exhaled spilled on her lips. Her fingertips pressed her jaw, rubbing gently. Then you kiss me, I believe you if. Why, what? Chiao Mian Mian's eyes widened in shock. Mo Yesi looked at her slightly opened pink lips. Her eyes narrowed, and her eyes became dark. Her lips taste very beautiful. It is very sweet. That night, he tasted many times. His eyes darkened as he remembered the night. Confronted with his burning eyes, Chiao Mian panicked and stretched his hand away. She moved aside twice, and after a distance from him, she blushed and said to him, Mo Yesi, are you serious? In this way, she was really panicked. There is an urge to escape. She was like a frightened bunny, her ears stood up in fright. Not only did she blush, but even those white and tender ears glowed with attractive pale pink. Mo Yesi resisted the urge to reach out and saw that she was so shy that she decided to let her go temporarily. After all, he and his little wife had just been married for less than a day. He didn't want to scare her now. Hey. Mo Yesi straightened his body and stretched his hands to straighten the buttons on the cufflinks of his shirt. He said seriously, go to dinner first. Do not do serious things until we are full. Boom. Chiao Mian Mian's face was instantly rosy like blood. The whole face seems to be burning. Mo Yesi, the man, looks so cold and abstinent. But why is it so bad in the bones? Is he the same in front of others? Driving position. Uncle Lee, 
who heard the conversation between the two, couldn't help but blush his old face. Mother, I didn't expect that the young master would be able to tease the little girl like this. He thought that the young master did not understand how to get along with the young lady. Now it seems that he is worried. Asterisk. The place to eat is a very high-end revolving restaurant. Upstairs on the 68th floor. The best location of the restaurant has always been reserved for M.O. Yesi. The manager came out to greet people and met M.O. Yesi. Bai Gong shouted respectfully, M.O. Xiao. Hey. M.O. Yesi nodded lightly. The manager looked at Chiao Mian Mian who came out of the elevator with him, looked at her as a student, and froze for a moment, wondering, M.O. Xiao, this is. I. Chiao Mian Mian just said a word, and the man's arm was wrapped around her waist, and she embraced her possessively, this is my wife. M.O., Mrs. M.O. The manager was stunned and shocked. He looked at Chiao Mian Mian with unbelievable eyes. The shocked look was more exaggerated than hearing the end of the world coming soon. After a few seconds, he finally recovered, and quickly bowed to Chiao Mian Mian, Mrs. M.O. Xiao, good evening. Cough, good evening. Said hello by such a deep bow, Chiao Mian Mian enjoyed such treatment for the first time. She seemed a little uncomfortable. M.O. Yesi looked down at her, hooked her lips, and walked forward with her slender and soft waist. After walking a few steps, Chiao Mian Mian suddenly felt a warm breath spilling into her ears, and the gentle fragrance of the man's body also hit her nose. His low, sultry voice penetrated her ears, Don't feel uncomfortable. You are my wife of M.O. Yesi. This respect and respect is what you deserve. Later, you will find that Mrs. Mo's identity belt the benefits for you are much more than that. Soon, you will get used to being treated like this. He stayed close. Chiao Mian Mian can feel it until recently, when he talks, the warm and soft lips will rub her earlobe from time to time. The nose is full of the smell of his body, and the breath is full of intoxicating hormones. I don't know what perfume he used. The smell is unexpectedly good. Breathing the breath of the man, listening to his low, sultry voice ringing in her ears, Chiao Mian Mian's heartbeat could not be controlled faster, the heart beat too violently, and the entire chest was shaking. Such a distance, too close. Except for Su Zi, she has not been so intimate with other men. M.O. Yesi. She turned her head, trying not to get him too close, who knows, with this twist of her head his soft and lips rubbed her cheeks. For a time, both were stunned. Chiao Mian looked at him staring blankly, a few seconds later, his face was stained with a thin layer of blush. She clenched her lips, her eyes flickered, and her ears were all red. Mo Yesi also froze for a few seconds. Seeing her cheeks flushed with shyness, the man's eyes were dark, and there was a glimmer of fire passing under his eyes. Aside. The restaurant manager looked at the scene, and his mouth was surprised again. Oh my! It is said that M.O. Xiaoqing has few desires and is not close to women. No matter how beautiful and the hot woman came to him, he would not look at it again, nor would he show a trace of interest. I heard that there was a hot female star who tried to hook him up, so he managed to slip into the room where he stayed. Then he stripped off his clothes and hid in the quilt. That's a pretty hot actress who has always taken the route. The final result was that the hooking was unsuccessful. Instead, M.O. Yesi's bodyguard was thrown out of the room. After that, it was blocked. Since then, many women who were still tempted to hook up with him have been scared to act rashly. Through that incident, everyone knows that M.O. Xiao can only look at it from a distance and cannot touch it. No matter how greedy his woman is, he dare not easily approach him. But. If he was right, the one who took the initiative, but M.O. Xiao. Instead, Mrs. M.O. wanted to avoid him, but she was a little dare. He was so flushed by him. This is really strange. It turned out that M.O. Xiao likes this kind of student girl who looks pure and pure. No wonder the actress failed before. Asterisk. 
Until he was seated, the blush on Xiao Mianmian's face had not faded. As soon as she thought of the inadvertent kiss, her heartbeat would speed up again. Mo Yesi's eyes were always following her. The man's eyes were burning, and when he looked at her, he brought an unabashed in it. Xiao Mianmian didn't dare to look up at him. But she didn't look, she could still feel that warm and direct eyes had never moved away from her. She felt inexplicably flustered. She had never been with Su Ziyi before. But Mo Yesi. As soon as she saw the man, she became panicked and uncomfortable. There is a sense of cramps that do not know where to put it. The waiter brought the menu. Mo Yesi turned over and asked her, What do you like to eat? I also can. Not picky eaters. Not picky eaters. His throat not rolled gently, and a low-pitched laugh came out of his throat, Well, it's good not to be picky eaters, it's good to raise. I like not to be picky eaters. Chiao Mian Mian. Why does she feel that this man is licking him all the time? Her heart was beating fast enough. If you go on quickly, she can't bear it. M.O. Yesi. She took a deep breath and raised her head, blushing, can I ask you a question? Hey? You said. Opposite, the man's face was so beautiful and suffocating that he didn't dare to stare at him for too long. After only a few seconds, Chiao Mian Mian blushed again, why me? She was puzzled and puzzled in her eyes, depending on your conditions, there are many choices. Why is she? He picks a celebrity casually, which is better than her. Chiao Mian Mian knew she had an advantage in appearance, but she was not narcissistic enough to think that Mo Yesi had taken a fancy to her beauty and fell in love with her at first sight. Objectively speaking, if a man like Mo Yesi grows like this, can he lack beauty around him? What kind of stunning beauty have never seen? Mo Yesi raised his eyebrow gently, want to know. Okay. Maybe it's because you are the only woman who won't let me reject it. Mo Yesi didn't plan to lie to her, and honestly said, except for you, other women approaching me, I will be very uncomfortable. I think we can living together for a while will help me find the reason. After hearing his answer, Chiao Mian Mian was silent for a while. Before, Uncle Li told her about it. She didn't really believe it. But now, when he heard his words, she felt that he did not need to lie to her. So, does she really have an allergic reaction to other women? There is no need to get married. She frowned gently, you should find a woman you like. Even if you don't have one now, you'll always encounter it in the future. Like. His deep eyes narrowed. What is like? Like, when you can't see a person, you will miss her very much. After seeing her, you will be very happy and contented. And you will want to be close to her and want to do some intimate things with her. You are happy I want to share with him when I am unhappy, and I want to talk to him when I am unhappy. If you like someone, you will blush when you see him, your heartbeat will speed up, you will. Cough cough. As he said, Chiao Mianmian's voice stopped abruptly, and his face flushed. She, she, what was she talking about? When she saw Mo Yesi, wouldn't she blush, her heart beat faster, and then she would feel uncomfortable. Does she like Mo Yesi? How can this be? She lifted a pair of coughing eyes and saw the man's extremely handsome face, and her heart beat faster again. Thinking of what she had just said, she panicked, I, I am also talking nonsense. Mo Yesi looked at her thoughtfully. After a moment, his expression seriously asked, Do you like only two of the conditions? Ah. Chiao Mian Mian blinked. He pursed his lips, and then said seriously, when I can't see you, I have thought about you. When I see you, I want to be close to you and want to do something intimate with you. Mian Mian, is this like it? Chiao Mian froze for a few seconds, his face flushed. Her face was so hot, like a fire was burning, Mo Yesi, you, don't make jokes like this with me. It's not a joke. The man looked directly at her eyes, his eyes showing an unabashed, 
Mian Mian, I really want you. You. Xiao Mian Mian faced the deep scorching eyes, panicked, and wanted to run. She was blushing and she stood up in a panic, I'm going to the bathroom. Leaving this sentence, she almost fled. Asterisk. It took a long time for the cold water to rinse his face, and Xiao Mian Mian felt that his face was not so hot. The beating heart slowly calmed down. But at the thought of what the man just said, her heartbeat would speed up again. He said, Mian Mian, I really want you. The low, voice seemed to ring in his ear again. Xiao Mian Mian stretched out his hand to cover his still hot face. He just wanted to go out of the bathroom and heard a familiar voice behind him. Sister? Is that you? Xiao Mian Mian. Is she really unlucky today? Otherwise, how could she meet Zhou at this restaurant again? Before she spoke, she heard Zhou Angzen's voice rang again, It turns out that you really are. Why did you come to this restaurant, did you make an appointment with someone? Xiao Mian Mian turned around. Seeing Zhou Angzen's annoying face, she couldn't get upset and didn't give her a good face, Why am I coming to this restaurant, is it about you? Give it away, don't block the road. Xiao Angzen stood still. She took a look in her eyes, Sister, this restaurant is the most high-end western restaurant in Yunchenj. You have to book here at least half a month in advance. Moreover, the minimum single consumption will not be lower than five figures. According to the current economic situation of your sister, you are afraid that you can't afford such a place. Xiao Mian Mian looked at her coldly, Oh, is it? So. Xiao and bit the corner of her lower lip with a soft voice, Sister, I know that after Brother Azer and you have disengaged from your engagement, you have been greatly affected. After all, you have known each other for so many years, even if there is no love, there our family is there. Losing him, you will definitely be in pain. However, you can't fall for it. Our Chiao family also has a certain position in Yunchenj. If you let others know that you went to the big money, this matter will be very unpleasant. When the time comes, you let us Chiao. How does the family face others? If my sister wants to find another boyfriend again, there are a lot of unmarried young men in Azer's company. At that time, my brother and I can help you choose a reliable one. Sister, you. Joan, don't you say enough. Xiao Mian Mian was disgusted and spit out almost overnight last night, and interrupted her unbearably. Sister. Xiao and bit her lips and looked at her sadly. I'm all for you. I really don't want to see you continue to fall. Oh, depraved. Xiao Mian Mian only felt ridiculous. She squinted, her eyes cold and ridiculous, and her gaze, without any temperature, fell on the soft and pleasant face of Zhou Angzen. She took a step forward. Sister, what do you want to do? Xiao Angzen immediately covered his face and hurriedly took a step back. She had only slapped Zhou before. Up to now, the face has not completely swollen. In a few days, she had to go to the crew to film the film, and there must be no more injuries on her face. Xiao Mian Mian's height is 168, which is much higher than Xiao's only 163. When she looked down at Xiao Angzen, the cold color between her eyebrows frightened him and took two steps back. Looking at the fearful look of Xiao Angzen, Xiao Mian Mian lifted his jaw and said coldly, Joan Angzen, you have a hobby like recycling garbage. Don't think that everyone else is the same as you. But I don't want it man, you picked it up like a leak, it's worth being so happy, so proud. In the early years, in order to resources, the gold master changed one after another, and finally climbed up to today's position. Now the scars are forgotten, the pain is forgotten, and the past is forgotten? If I had you like this, thoughts, what do you think is still there for you, Joe? Sunda money. When these words were spoken, Xiao Mian Mian showed disdain in his eyes, and his eyes were full of pride. That's your hobby, not mine. Xiao Mian Mian, you. Joan's face went dark. 
the soft and hypocritical disguise on his face finally torn off. She bit her lip and resented, do you know where you hate the most? It's your self-righteous and self-proclaimed look. What are you still holding on to, Brother A's knows you again for a long time, no matter how deep the feelings are. He is not in love with me now. Chiao Mian Mian, you can't even tie the hearts of the men around you, don't you think you have failed as a man? Chiao and hissed and exhausted, his eyes full of resentment. She really hates Chiao Mian Mian. From small to big, I hated her. As long as Chiao Mian was there, her aura would be taken away. Chiao Mian Mian's face is really annoying, but any man who sees her will be fascinated by it. It took her five years to rob Su Zi. But even so, she dared not take it lightly now. Because she can feel that Su Zi still has feelings for Chiao Mian Mian. If it wasn't for her that she was pregnant, and she broke the relationship with Su Zi without permission, Chiao Mian Mian knew that Su Zi would terminate the marriage contract so soon. Moreover, Chiao Mian Mian offered to even dissolve the marriage contract. Thinking of this, Chiao An felt even more resentful, with jealousy and hatred in his eyes, Chiao Mian Mian, I tell you, I will not only take away your man, I will take away everything you care about. Don't you like acting very much? One day when I am in the entertainment world, you don't want to get a chance. Looking at her madness, Chiao Mian Mian just gently hooked the corner of her lower lip, without much emotional fluctuations on her face, Zhou is at ease, do you really think you can cover the sky with one hand? What can you say? Forget it. She was so arrogant that she was relying on Su Zi. If she had to fight backstage, would she be afraid? In the ear, the words that Mo Yesi said to her suddenly sounded, Marry me, do whatever you want, just do what you want. I will take care of everything for you. Her heart settled in a flash. That man. Even if she didn't know him too well, she knew that he was never a person who would promise others. With his promise, she still has something terrible. Really. Chiao An hated her so much that she didn't seem to care about anything. She gritted her teeth and threatened, then give it a try. Chiao Mian Mian, don't you like running suits? Then you run running suits for life right? I'm going to see how powerful that gold master behind you can be. Can you make you red? The Sua family in Yunjinj did not say that they could cover the sky with one hand. However, the influence of the Sua family is definitely not comparable to a few rich upstarts. Chiao Mian Mian, even if she is close to a rich gold owner. No matter how powerful her gold master is, could he ever be better than Brother Azer? Looking at her madness, Chiao Mian Mian only looked at the joke, pursed her lips, and wrote lightly, Okay, I will accompany you in the end. I also want to see it, so Zi can hold you what kind of position. She is not a person who will take the initiative to pick things up. But she was not afraid of being challenged. After saying this, she reached out and pushed Zhou away, and walked past her. Chiao Angzen looked at the back of her leaving, clenched her lips, and shouted angrily, Chiao Mian Mian, you will come back to beg me. I'm waiting. Chiao Mian Mian walked straight out of the bathroom without any response. Asterisk. As soon as I went out, I saw a familiar figure standing against the wall, as if waiting for someone. The man is one meter tall and 188, his long legs against the sky are randomly overlapping, one hand is in the black suit trousers pocket, standing lazily. He lowered his head, his forehead bangs dropped a little, the tall nose bridge and the cold mandible arc were very sexy, the tight thin lips were light water red, and the lips were full and moist, showing a layer of tempting water light. Even if he lowered his head, he couldn't see all of his face, and this part of the facial outline revealed was enough to attract people. The women who passed by him were secretly watching him. All blush and heartbeat, the girl looks like Chun Chun. A bold, red face approached him, looking up at him sheepishly, handsome, can you know me? M.O. Yesi raised his eyes, his eyes were cold, and his voice was also cold, revealing the alienation that was thousands of miles away, no. 
Xiaomian Mian. Xiaomian Mian felt embarrassed for seeing the woman's face flushed instantly. She knows that men like Mo Yesi will attract the opposite wherever they go. He looks good, has a good figure, and has first-class temperament. He is a so-called walking male hormone. It is normal for a woman to talk to him. However, seeing how he was accosted by a woman, and how indifferent he refused others, Xiao Mian Mian felt that her new husband was really soft. Even if he talked to him as a great beauty, he refused indifferently and left no face. In this comparison, Xiao Mian Mian suddenly found that Mo Yesi's attitude towards her was so much better. The woman who was rejected by her for a moment was stunned and embarrassed. Afterwards, she even asked in a heartless manner, why? Xiao Mian Mian blinked and raised his ears, and wanted to hear what he would answer. Seeing Mo Yesi suddenly raised his head, the man's deep, enchanting eyes could see the dark eyes indulging him. Xiao Mian froze for a moment when his eyes met. The handsome man's lips gently hooked. The layer of coldness and alienation looming over him faded instantly, and he slowly straightened up, stepped on the long legs of the sky, and walked towards Xiao Mian Mian step by step in the woman's amazed gaze. Before Xiao Mian Mian recovered, a strong arm was wrapped around his waist. The man took her into his arms, bowed his head, kissed gently between her foreheads, and his voice was low and charming, Baby, how did you go to the last bathroom for so long? If you don't come out again, I have to go in and find someone. Not far away. When the woman who talked to her saw this scene, what else did she not understand? Envious and unwilling to look at Chiao Mian Mian, he turned away awkwardly. In Mo Yesi's arms, Xiao Mian could not be caught in a man's arms. Her head was against his warm and strong chest, and he could clearly hear his heartbeat. His heartbeat was so strong that he throbbed gently in his chest. In the breath, all belonged to his breath. It's an intoxicating, dizzying breath. The moment his warm, wet lips fell, Xiao Mian froze. She looked like a fool, her expression was dull, her eyes wide and round. Mo Yesi looked down at the girl in her arms with her eyes wide open, her lips curled up with a charming arc, and her low voice was more and attractive, Mian Mian, if you look at me like this, I will kiss you. Chiao Mian Mian's eyes opened more roundly, and his face was quickly stained with a pale crimson color. Like a frightened bunny, she pushed him away in a panic. Mo Yesi, you. Chiao Mian Mian glared at him with some embarrassment. She really doubted that the man who just saw her indifferently refused others was the same man who flirted with her and flirted with her in front of her. The difference is too big. Mo Yesi stepped forward, grabbed her white and tender little hands, and pulled her into her arms again, shy. We are husband and wife, it is normal to do intimate things again. What are you so shy about? His little wife is so thin-skinned. Just kiss her forehead, she was so shy. If you let her know that he and her have done even the closest things, I don't know how she will react. That night, did she really have no impression of him? Mo Yesi, don't do this. Xiao Mian Mian bit his lips tightly, and his face was hot. People in the past are watching them. She felt uncomfortable. Mo Yesi is very indifferent, completely unaffected by anything around him. Everything around him was automatically blocked by him. In his eyes, only one Xiao Mian Mian could be seen. Mian Mian. The man called her name in a dull voice, gently stroked her cheek with one hand, and rubbed her palm gently on her tender cheek twice, You look so cute, let me bear can't help thinking of doing something bad to you. Xiao Mian Mian missed two beats, raised his eyes to the man's deep dark eyes, and his breathing was chaotic. She was so hot that the man in front of her face could not stop her face, and her heart beat for a while, and she was about to have a heart attack. M.O. Yesi, I'm hungry. I didn't dare to stare at the man for too long. After a few seconds, Xiao Mian Mian looked away in a panic, almost begging him, and said softly, Can we go to dinner? Hungry. Okay. Okay. The man finally nodded compassionately and released her a little. Go to dinner first. 
but the strong arm was still possessively clasped on her waist. Asterisk. Not long after Chiao Mian Mian and Mo Yesi turned and left, Chiao Angzan also came out of the bathroom. It happened that Chiao Mian Mian and Mo Yesi disappeared in the corner of the corridor. Although it was only a quick glance, it was enough for her to see clearly. The man who embraced Chiao Mian Mian was definitely not a chubby old man. It was a tall man with a good figure and well dressed. Even if he didn't see what he looked like, just with that back view, Chiao Angzan felt a speeding heart. Because she was too surprised, she froze in place, and for a while, she never recovered. Until there was a voice in my ear, relax, what's wrong with you? Chiao An's heart regained his soul, and her loose eyes regained focus. She blinked, and her eyes fell on Su Zi's warm and beautiful face, whispering in a low voice, Brother A's, I just saw my sister. Mian Mian. Su Zi's face changed slightly, you mean, Mian Mian has also come here to eat. Su so Zi's consumption of this restaurant is naturally clear. He is also very clear that Jiao Mian Mian is in a tight economy now, and he has no money to consume in such a place. She will appear here, there is only one possibility. That's what others brought her. Jiao Angzan took Su so Zi's every response into her eyes. She was silent for a few seconds. A flash of strange color flashed in her eyes and frowned. Well. I saw my sister and a man walking together. They looked. It seems intimate. Brother Azer, the sister didn't break up with you anytime soon, so quickly, have a new destination again. Chiao Angzan's words meant something. Sure enough, Su so Zi listened, his face became difficult to look. He clenched his fists, are you sure that the person you saw was her? I'm sure. Chiao Angzan said with certainty. I just ran into my sister in the bathroom, and I greeted her. My sister is still blaming me, and she still refuses to forgive me. She now resents me deeply. Just now, she also threatened me. Speaking of which, Chiaoan bit the corner of his lip with a bit of grievance. Threat you? What did she threaten you? Chiaoan lowered her eyes, and looked very pitiful. I see that she has recently been economically tense and wanted to introduce her to some work, but she refused her. She said that she wouldn't need us to manage her affairs in the future. She likes to recycle garbage, and picks up the man she doesn't want as a baby. So Zi's complexion, have she really said that? Brother A's, I lied to you. I listened to my sister's tone, as if I had planned to break up with you. Brother Azer. Chiao Angzan took Su Zi's arm in a soft and weak tone, a very uneasy and anxious look, did her sister really know something extraordinary? She thinks I and you have betrayed her, so, want to use the man's power to deal with us. Su Zi's face became more and more ugly, with a haze in his eyes. There was anger in his eyes, and there was a feeling of being green by Zhou. Even if he and Chiao Mian Mian had already dismissed the marriage contract, in his heart, he felt that Jiao Mian Mian was still his Su Zi woman. At least, he absolutely can't accept it, they just broke up, and she was with other men. Their feelings for so many years, there must be his in her heart. Relax, do you see what the man with Mian Mian looks like? Su Zi now only wants to understand this matter. He even wants to ask Jiao Mian Mian to ask. No. Jiao An shook her head heartily and her eyes flickered, thinking of the slender and tall figure with extraordinary temperament, she lied maliciously, however, looking at the back seems to be a bit old. Dressed but it's very stylish, it is very rich at a glance. After Su so Zi listened, his face was blue. His eyes were filled with anger, she would rather talk to an old man than ask me for help? Does she hate me that way? Brother A's, don't you not know your sister's temperament? Chiao Angzan was on the fire at the right time. She has always been arrogant, letting her ask for others is more difficult than letting her die. Moreover, she hates it now. For us, it is even less likely to ask us for help. Even if you have this heart, she will not accept it. With that, Chiao Angzan sighed softly, 
very worried. I really can't bear to see my sister ruining herself like this. We have to find a way to prevent her from continuing to fall. Su Zi looked sullen and frowned, you just said that she didn't want to accept our help. What else can you do? Chiao Angzen rolled his eyes and walked over to gently hold Su Zi's arm, Brother Ace, I remember that Su Senior has not yet married. We can introduce my sister to him. You mean Manager Yang? Su Zi frowned, Manager Yang is unsuitable. He's in his forties, he's over twenty years old. Older, but older men only know how to hurt women. Chiao Angzen said sincerely for Chiao Mian's good tone, he is over twenty years old and will be with his sister later I can treat my sister like my daughter. Furthermore, we know the people of your company, they are more reliable than those outside who don't know the details. Moreover, Manager Yang is excellent in other aspects except his older age. His annual salary is millions. This income can give his sister a good life. Anyway, it is better than the man the sister is looking for now. Be strong. But in fact, that manager Yang Jiao felt comfortable seeing it once. Not only old, but also bald and blessed, with a height of only about 165. Apart from a good income, everything else is very ordinary. Su Zi also remembered the look of manager Yang, his eyebrows tightened even more, his lips closed silently. Brother Ace. Chiao Angzen's soft and soft voice rang in his ears, and said softly, in terms of appearance, manager Yang is not good enough for her sister. However, looking for the other half of the appearance is second only to character. The most important thing. I think they can meet them first. Su Zi was silent for a long time. He naturally felt that manager Yang was not worthy of Jiao Mian Mian. But it was also a good idea to think of Zhou Angzen, and he couldn't bear to live up to it. After a moment, he finally nodded, OK, I'll ask manager Yang what I mean when tomorrow. Asterisk. Restaurants with five-digit per capita consumption are still very different. The dinner was very delicious. Chiao Mian Mian ate almost all the food on the table in a non-wasteful manner. After eating, she couldn't hold her stomach. The man sitting opposite her wiped the corners of her lips gracefully. The waiter swiped the card, holding the card in both hands, and bent down to hand the black card, which symbolizes the identity, to him. M.O. Yes he took it. He raised his eyes and looked at Chiao Mian Mian who was touching his stomach, and he tickled the corner of his lips, you have a good appetite tonight, it seems that the dishes here are suitable for your taste. If you like to eat, we can come here every day in the future. Cough. Chiao Mian Mian was drinking water and was choked. Her face was a little hot, and it felt strange. Is this euphemistically saying that she eats more? Tonight, she seems to be eating a lot. At a table, she ate at least two-thirds of the food. In contrast, M.O. Yesi was a big man, but she ate like a girl. Well, the food here is delicious, but the price is too expensive. Come every day to eat, it is too extravagant. You just like it. M.O. Yesi's deep eyes looked at her with a charming smile on her lips. What's more, you have to believe in your husband's economic strength even if you come to eat three times a day and eat for a lifetime and can't eat me poor. Chiao Mian Mian. Okay. She knew he was rich. A tens of thousands of yuan for a meal is very luxurious for her. In his eyes, it is estimated that it is the same as an ordinary person eating a meal of tens of dollars. When she claimed to be her husband just now, Chiao Mian Mian's heartbeat couldn't help but accelerate. She was worried that if the heartbeat is so frequent, will myocardial infarction really happen? Asterisk. After leaving the restaurant, Chiao Mian Mian will go to the hospital to see Chiao Chen. Mo Yesi is fine at night, so she will naturally accompany her. Knowing that Chiao Mian Mian attaches importance to Chiao Chen, of course he has to go to the little uncle to brush his favor. Master, young lady. After seeing the two come out, Li Xu, who was waiting outside, called out respectfully and reached for the door. After getting on the bus, 
Uncle Lee asked the location and led the car to the direction of the hospital. The luxurious Rolls Royce Phantom had just opened, and Chiao Angzen and Su Ziyi came out of the revolving glass door and stopped at the same time. Joan looked at the black Rolls Royce that had been driving into the traffic, his expression stiffened for a moment, and there was an unbelievable flash in his eyes. Chiao Mian Mian, sit in that car? Is her gold owner the owner of that car? How expensive that Rolls Royce is, Joan is very clear. She has a deep research on all kinds of luxury brands. Whether it is bags, clothes and jewelry, or luxury cars, she has a certain understanding. It was a Rolls Royce with a global limited edition. Starting at least 20 million. These are not the most important. The most important point is that the license plate number of that car turned out to be 48s, and there are only a few people who can afford this license plate number. At first, she thought that Chiao Mian Mian was just next to a rich man. But now, the 48s stinged her eyes and aroused the jealousy in her heart. With that license plate number alone, Chiao Angzen knew that the identity of the people in the car was definitely not simple. Brother Azer, is the woman sitting in that Rolls Royce a sister? Joan bit his lip tightly, watching the luxury Rolls Royce drive farther and farther, until he couldn't see it. So Zee's lips tightened and she didn't speak, but her face was ugly. Rolls Royce's windows are open. Just now, he saw Chiao Mian Mian sitting in that car with his own eyes. Asterisk. To the hospital. Chiao Chen finished his meal and was watching TV. Seeing Chiao Mian Mian coming, he was very happy, and he shouted intimately, Sister. Well. Chiao Mian Mian looked at him with energy and was much better than when he just came out of the emergency room. He was relieved, what did you eat at night? How are you feeling now? In the evening, my brother-in-law sent me dinner, which was much tastier than the meal in the hospital cafeteria. I ate all of it. The brother-in-law asked people to buy a lot of expensive and expensive supplements for me. Chiao Chen finished, turned his eyes to Mo Yesi, said a little shyly, Thank you brother-in-law. Mo Yesi gave a lightly. Chiao Mian Mian only saw that there were a lot of bags piled on the side coffee table and the sofa. All kinds of expensive supplements. All the flowers in the ward have been changed to the freshest bouquets. She froze for a few seconds and turned her head, with gratitude in her eyes, M.O. Yesi, thank you. She didn't expect that this man would be so attentive about Jiao Chen's affairs. He said that he would take good care of their sisters in the future, and he was not talking empty words. M.O. Yesi's dark eyes narrowed, and her eyes narrowed, her voice low, thank me to thank you. Forget how I told you before. Chiao stunned, his eyelashes quivered slightly, remembering what he had said to her before. He said that he didn't want to hear the word thank you from her mouth anymore. However, at this moment, besides expressing her gratitude with these two words, she did not know what to say. Sister, brother-in-law. Chiao Chen's black eyes, almost identical to Chiao Mian Mian's eyes, glanced back and forth between the two, curiously, what are you talking about? ER, nothing. Chiao Mian Mian avoided Mo Yesi's gaze, walked quickly to the bed, and took out an orange from the fruit basket. Chen Chen, do you eat oranges? I'll peel one for you. Chiao Chen blinked and looked at Mo Yesi again. After a few seconds of thoughtful thought, he shook his head and said, I don't want to eat oranges. Sister, I suddenly want to eat soup dumplings at the door of the hospital. Can you buy some buns for me? Do you want to eat steamed buns? It's rare to hear Chiao Chen say that he has something he wants to eat. Of course, Chiao Mian Mian agreed in one bite, okay, I'll buy it for you. Mo Yesi was just about to ask his bodyguard to buy it, and suddenly it happened that Chiao Chen intentionally took Chiao Mian Mian away. His little uncle seemed to have something to say to him. Asterisk. After Chiao Mian Mian left, Mo Yesi pulled a chair and sat down, his slender legs overlapped at random, and looked up at the embarrassed Chiao Chen. 
Looking at the nervous and disturbed look of the delicate-looking teenager on the bed, M.O. Yesi gently raised his lips, something to tell me. His little uncle is like his sister. They are all timid and shy. In front of the sisters, M.O. Yesi's patience and temper will be much better. When he talked to Jiao Chen, his attitude was already very gentle. However, for Jiao Chen, he did not feel much gentleness. He felt that his brother-in-law's gas field was too strong, and any random one was an emperor gas field. Chiao Chen felt particularly stressed when staying in a room with him alone. He had enough courage to dare to raise his head and stare at M.O. Yesi, brother, can I ask you a question? The voice of the beautiful and beautiful young boy is a little timid. M.O. Yesi nodded, well, you ask. Chiao Chen hesitated, brother-in-law. Do you really like my sister? M.O. Yesi stunned slightly, but did not expect him to ask this. Are you worried that I am not sincere to your sister? He asked unanswered. Chiao Chen hesitated again, and then said in a huff, Brother-in-law is in good condition, there must be many women who like you. Although the elder sister is very beautiful, but I think there is no shortage of beautiful women around her husband. Brother Z. So Zi and my sister have known each other for ten years, but he was finally derailed. My sister has been hurt by him once, and I don't want her to be hurt anymore. Although Jiao Chen was a little afraid of Mo Yesi, he still suffocated for Chiao Mian happiness. He squeezed his fist at Mo Yesi and gritted his teeth, If you dare to fail my sister, I will not let you go. Mo Yesi. He was threatened for the first time in his life. He was threatened by his youngest uncle. But M.O. Yesi was not angry. He knew that his sister and brother had a good relationship. Such behaviors of Jiao Chen also cared about his sister, for fear that Jiao Mian Mian was deceived. After a moment of silence, he hooked his lips and said, Do you want to hear the truth? The beautiful boy on the bed clenched his fists, of course. M.O. Yesi smiled again, and then said, my sister and I did not come together because of feelings, so you ask me if I like her, I can't answer you. Chiao Chen frowned, looking a little angry, you. Is it important to like it or not? M.O. Yesi raised an eyebrow. You also said just now that her ten-year relationship with So Zi has not been let down. You broke up with your sister and asked me so much, not only worried that I would be the same as So Zi, I can't assure you that I will love her, but since I chose her, I will not let her down. Chiao Chen was stunned for a moment, and there was a trace of confusion in his eyes, you mean. I can't guarantee something emotionally. However, what you worry about will never happen. Looking at the young man's still confused face, M.O. Yesi got up and walked to the bed, extended his hand, and patted him on his weak shoulder, Chiao Chen. Your sister is very special to me. You can also say, she is unique to me. The woman who will accompany me for the rest of my life will only be her, and there will be no other woman except her. Asterisk. Chiao Mian Mian bought the buns and came back. Chiao Chen ate one and said that he had no appetite. The sister and brother chatted for a while, until Chiao Chen's face showed fatigue and Chiao Mian Mian got up and left the hospital after watching him fall asleep. The night wind blows cool on the face, very comfortable. It takes a few minutes to walk from the inpatient department to the entrance of the hospital. Quietly around. Chiao Mian Mian looked down at the shadow on the ground. The figure of the man is more slender and can completely cover her shadow. Chiao Mian Mian looked a little fascinated. Without paying attention, he stepped on a small stone. Her feet slipped and her body fell forward. What? She whispered and saw that she was about to fall to the ground. A strong arm wrapped around her waist pulled her firmly. Chiao Mian Mian bumped into the man's warm and strong chest. Over his head, there was a low, teasing smile, My shadow is so beautiful. It looks better than mine. Chiao Mian Mian was ridiculed and flushed. After standing firm, he reached out in a hurry and pushed away. Was actually found. What a shame. 
she bit her lip and was so scared to look at him that she blushed and said, Just now, thank you. Thank you. M.O. Yes he stopped. The man turned around, covered with a slender figure, and a large shadow fell to completely cover the petite figure in front of him. His eyes were drooping, and two beautiful thick brows frowned, you just like to say thank you so much? In your eyes, am I still just an outsider? Xiaomian Mian blinked, I. Just saying a word, the man reached out his hand and pulled her into his arms again. The sturdy arm, domineering and possessive, was tightly wrapped around her waist. The other hand pinched her small jaw and raised it slightly, forcing her to look at him. A glance into the dark bottomless eyes, Chiao Mianmian's eyes showed a trace of panic, M.O. Yesi. The slender fingers squeezed on her jaw, and the slightly rough fingertips slowly moved upwards, pressing lightly on her pink and soft lips. In her arms, the woman's delicate body shivered gently. M.O. Yesi. M.O. Yesi narrowed his eyes, his eyes fell on her pink and seductive lips, and the gloom of her eyes deepened a little. He spoke in a low voice, Chiao Mian Mian, I am your husband, you must get used to me as soon as possible. I will give you a week to adapt. If you still can't adapt after a week, I will follow my own way deal with our relationship. When the words fell, he breathed closer, and in Chiao Mian Mian's amazed eyes, he bowed his lips and kissed her. Between the lips and teeth, there was a contented sigh in his throat. Her lips are as sweet as she remembers. Once tasted, it becomes addictive. When Xiao Mian Mian kissed him, his body froze, and his brain was blank for a few seconds. She opened her eyes wide and looked at the handsome face in front of her for a few seconds, her head was dizzy. The heartbeat is unreasonable, the entire chest is shaking, as if the heart will pop out of the throat in the next second. You have to close your eyes while kissing. The man gnawed her lips gently, the warm and dry palms covered her eyes, the other hand clasped on her back, and pressed her gently against herself. This will allow him to kiss deeper. Chiao Mian Mian was kissed so soft that her cheeks were flushed, and M.O. Yesi slowly ended the kiss when she felt that she was going to faint because of hypoxia. He reluctantly bit her corner of the lips before letting her go. Chiao was soft in his arms, breathing heavily. Looking at her red cheeks, her eyes blurred, and her lips swollen by her own kiss, M.O. Yesi's eyes flickered with a burning fire, and her voice was dumb and unreasonable, I don't know how to breathe? Didn't the former fiancé teach you? Her jerky exceeded his expectations. Whether it was jerky that night or at the moment, he was very surprised. He remembered that night, it was her first time. She has been in contact with So Zee for so many years, how can she still be so jerky in matters between men and women? He wanted to hold back from touching her, he felt very difficult, he did not believe that So Zee could be a Lu Ziyawai. Chiao Mian Mian finally took a breath, raised his head and stared at him with a pair of dark black water eyes that were still confused, how can you? Of course I can. M.O. Yesi stretched out his hand and closed a strand of hair in front of her forehead to her ear, and then gently pinched on her earlobe, her thin lips lightly hooked, I am your husband, I will not only kiss you in the future, I will also you do more intimate things. So, Chiao Mian Mian, you'd better adapt to me as soon as possible. My patience is also limited, you know, at... Chiao Mian Mian watched the man's extremely handsome face suddenly magnify in front of her eyes, and when his warm and wet breath spilled on her lips, her heart beat again. Asterisk. Chiao Mian Mian is still a student, and he is about to enter the internship period in his second year. She usually lives on campus. The two-day holiday ends on the weekend, and classes will begin again tomorrow. After getting in the car, she thought that kiss just now. Her heart was still chaotic, and she couldn't calm down for a long time. Men's kisses are too hot and too domineering. Seems to her soul away. Where did Jiao Mian Mian experience such a strong kiss? When So Zee kissed her before, she was very gentle. She was a little scared. For a time, I didn't know how to face the man beside me. Panicked, 
he heard Uncle Lee in the driver's seat asking, Master, do you go directly? Mo Yesi looked at a little woman with a red face beside her eyes, and said lightly, Well. When Uncle Lee asked clearly, he would drive away. Chiao Mian Mian suddenly recovered, turning his head to look at Mo Yesi, Where are we going now? Mo Yesi opened the notebook and briefly returned two words, Go home. Chiao Mian Mian's face changed, Go home? Who's home? What do you say? As if she thought this question was funny, Mo Yesi looked up at her and hooked her lips. Why, we are all married, you never thought you would live with me in the future. Chiao Mian Mian. She really hadn't thought about this problem. Suddenly she heard him saying that she wanted to live together, and she was a little panicked. But, I'm still in school. She said in a panic. I have to live in school. Our school has rules that it is not allowed to rent a house outside. At the beginning, I thought that she was still studying and usually lived in school. They would not have much time to meet. Therefore, she was relieved to sign her name on the marriage application. She thought that he would be on a whim for her, and if she would not meet often in the future, she might soon forget her. M.O. Yesi didn't speak, and those dark and deep eyes stared at her for a few seconds her thin lips gently hooked. He seemed to see through her careful thought. The notebook he just opened was closed by him, his long arms stretched out, and he held the petite woman beside him on his lap. The other hand, holding Chiao Mian Min's jaw, approached her and said, If I remember correctly, today is the weekend. You will go to school tomorrow, eh? The woman in her arms was a small one, holding it soft and fragrant, Mo Yesi bowed her head and sniffed the faint fragrance in her hair, her voice sultry, follow me at night, I will send you tomorrow school. Suddenly hugged in his arms like this, and sitting on him in this posture, Chiao Mian Mian blushed instantly. She reached out and pushed him, Mo Yesi, you let me go. The little hand was held by him. He squeezed gently in her palm and chuckled, I said, you must get used to me as soon as possible. Mian Mian, I am your husband, and it is normal for me to do any intimate things to you. I like it you will be like this to you. The girl has a nice girlish smell, and the slightly opened pink lips are exuding a tantalizing sweet fragrance, as if silently sending him some kind of invitation. Mo Yesi's eyes darkened. Buckled her jaw, leaned down slightly, and kissed her again in her amazed and panicked eyes. Well... Chiao Mian Mian's exclamation was completely blocked by the man. He kissed an overbearing kiss, pressed her against her head and pressed her towards herself. First, she gnawed the corners of her lips gently, sketched her lips carefully, and then opened her lips and teeth and turned into a deep kiss. In a panic, Chiao Mian Mian continued to dodge. He was chasing after him, hooking her lilac tongue and robbing it. Entangled Room the breath of each other is intertwined. Mo Yesi's breathing became tighter, the arm around her waist tightened, and she kissed her deeply while whispering her name, Mian Mian. Between the breath, between the lips and the teeth, it was all the domineering charm of the man. Under his strong and fierce attack, Chiao Mian Mian was kissed to be soft and trembling with his heart. Um, don't. Chiao Mian Mian struggled weakly, and the soft resistance of her who was kissed by the distracted love, was more like coquetry. This soft and charming don't, in exchange for men to pass by more powerful. Inside the cabin, the temperature gradually climbed. In the front driver's seat, Uncle Lee blushed his old face when he saw this sweet scene in the rearview mirror. Master! This is too unbearable. It seems that the young lady bullied by him seems to be crying. I didn't expect that the young master would have such a warm side. Who said that the young man is pure and unwilling, does not like female sex, and is not interested in women? This is obviously quite interested, okay. Oops, it's really gratifying. I used to worry about whether master's sexual orientation was wrong. Now, I can finally feel relieved. Seeing that the relationship between the young master and the young lady is so good, I am not sure, and soon, the young master will fall. 
You can usually live in school and go to me after the holiday. Hum. Mo Chiao finally ended the kiss when Chiao Mian Mian was about to faint again because of hypoxia. The man pressed her forehead and gasped lightly, her hoarse voice extremely sexy. The Om character at the end has a slightly increased tone, and it is even more inspiring. Chiao Mian Mian's eyes were lying on his chest, his breath was not stable, and his chest was up and down quickly. As if bullied by him, when she looked up at him, her eyes were covered with mist. The pink lips were kissed red and swollen, which at first glance was ruined. Mo Yesi held the pink face of the girl in her arms and rubbed her forehead gently, her voice deepening and charming, Mian Mian, do not refuse me. Go to my house tonight. Facing his eyes darker than the night, Chiao Mian Mian seemed to be bewitched. If he refused, he couldn't say it at all, but, but, I didn't bring any clothes for changing. Ah. Mo Yesi gave a low, laugh in her throat, and rubbed it lightly on her forehead again. Her eyes looked like thick ink that couldn't be melted. She looked down at her and said, All your daily necessities, I everyone is ready. You will say something missing at that time, and someone will prepare it for you. Chiao Mian Mian. Everything is ready? How did she feel, he thought about letting her go to his house early in the morning. Chiao Mian Min's heart panicked at the thought of his fiery enthusiasm when he kissed her, and his deep eyes filled with fiery. Asterisk. The car drove halfway. Chiao Mian Mian couldn't bear the sleepiness and fell asleep in the car. She leaned her head against the car window, probably because of the uncomfortable sleep in this posture, her eyebrows tightened from time to time during her sleep. On several occasions, his head slammed onto the glass window and made a boom sound. Mo Yesi is holding a notebook while processing several emails. Before I finished it, I heard the movement beside me and turned my head to take a look. Looking at the girl who was still frowning while sleeping, she closed her notebook, reached out and rubbed her eyebrows, and whispered, Uncle Lee, drive slowly. Yes, young master. Mo Yesi put the notebook aside and the sleeping young girl stretched her hand over, adjusted her sleeping position, and let her lie on his lap. Then he took off the blazer and took it lightly on her. There was a chance that the bangs would slip and cover her eyes. He flicked away gently, looked down at her for a few seconds, and dropped a hand on her pink cheek, gently stroking it twice. Mian Mian. He whispered softly, Are you really my savior? Uncle Lee just saw this tender scene in his eyes. His shocked hands shook, and the black Rolls Royce instantly shifted his direction, almost hitting the side railing. Frightened, Uncle Lee hurriedly straightened the steering wheel, sweating wildly on his forehead. M.O. Yesi raised his head, his cold eyes narrowed, and said in a deep voice, Be careful. Yes, yes, young master. Uncle Lee didn't dare to be distracted anymore wiped the cold sweat on his forehead, and concentrated on it. Asterisk. After an hour. The black Rolls Royce drove into a luxurious manner halfway up the hillside. The thick carved copper door slowly opened, and in the security room at the door, the security guard stood up and bowed to the people in the car to salute. Tall sycamore trees were planted on both sides of the road, and the extensive green lawn was trimmed neatly. Rolls Royce opened for a while, and finally stopped by a fountain pool. The car stopped steadily. After Uncle Lee got out of the car, he walked to the rear compartment and opened the door. M.O. Yesi got out of the car, and the manor housekeeper Ren immediately stepped forward and bowed 90 degrees, respectfully saying, Master, good evening. Okay. M.O. Yesi nodded his head slightly, bent down into the car and reached out to hug Chiao Mian, who was sleeping soundly. When he took Chiao Mian Mian out of the car again, Ren's eyes widened in shock. As if he heard that the end of the world is coming, he has an incredible look on his face. Is he blind? What the young master holds in her arms, is it a woman? He felt that he was terrified. Immediately turned his head and asked Uncle Lee what was going on. Uncle Lee also gave him a look, well, that's what you see. Ren. 
he felt that the whole person was a little bit better. Was frightened. He received a call from the young master this afternoon and ordered him to buy some female daily necessities. At that time, he didn't think much about it, thinking about whether his wife or old lady would come to live for a while. But who knows, that woman is neither a lady nor an old lady, but this woman in the arms of the young master. Master, isn't he not close to female sex? Isn't he allergic to women? Doesn't he treat women as poison? Regarding M.O. Yesi's strange problems, Ren was the first to see if he had an allergic reaction. After not seeing any abnormalities, he still asked in peace, Master, do you need to call Mr. L.U. immediately? Come here. Master's strange problem has always been that Dr. L.U. is treating him, and only Dr. L.U. knows his physical condition best. M.O. Yesi glanced at him, his eyes cold, no. But Master, your body. No problem. Ryan opened his eyes again, already surprised to speak. What does Master mean by anyway? Isn't he allergic to the woman in his arms? God, if it's true, isn't this a big joy worth celebrating? But before waiting for Ryan to return to normal from this shock, M.O. Yesi dropped the sentence lightly, this is Mrs. Young, and in the future, she will be the mistress of Mazai. No one should be wrong if he is instructed to continue. Madam, it's rude to see her as if I saw her. After talking, he walked into the white building in front of him holding Xiaomian Mian. Watching his young master leave the young lady who suddenly bounced out, Ren was still stunned in the wind. The sixty-year-old uncle was looking at Uncle Li with suspicion of life. Lao Li, what the is going on? Is that really Mrs. Young? Uncle Li was also inexplicable, well, she and the young master went to the Civil Affairs Bureau to obtain the certificate, or I took them with them. Ren, have you got the certificate? Do the master and his wife know about this? Uncle Li shook his head. The expression on Ren's face became subtle, I don't think it's easy. The Lord is fortunate to say, where is my wife, I'm just afraid. Uncle Lee and he thought about going to the same point, and both frowned. Mo's door is not so easy to enter. Asterisk. M.O. Yesi walked into the hall holding Xiaomi and Mian. When all the maids saw that their young master who had never been close to a woman's color actually carried a woman back, her surprised eyes fell to the ground. Wait until M.O. Yesi went upstairs. A group of people put up a bunch of discussions as they couldn't bear it. Did I just dazzle? I actually saw the young master holding a woman. You're blind, I saw it too. Isn't the young master allergic to a woman? Why can you hug her? Who is she? The young master even took her back to Mazai. At this time, another maid ran downstairs. Because he ran too fast and too fast, he almost fell. She covered her mouth and was amazed, oh my god. I told you that I just saw the young master holding a woman into his bedroom. Can you believe it? Tell me, I'm not hallucinating. The other women looked at each other and were shocked to know what to say. Because she was allergic to women, the young master who was never close to women suddenly took a woman back and took the woman into his bedroom. No one knows that master's bedroom is a forbidden place up and down the Mazai mansion. Even his wife cannot enter the master's bedroom casually. They didn't even have the qualification to take a step. The hygiene of the master's bedroom was cleaned by the housekeeper Ren. What does it mean that the young master let a woman into his bedroom? Master just brought a woman in, did you all see it? Just as everyone was wondering what Xiaomian Mian was, Ren walked in. When the maids saw him, they respectfully called, Ryan Butler. Ren nodded, and swept his eyes sharply into the crowd, and said with a solemn voice, that is Mrs. Young, and she will be our hostess in the future. If any of you dare to be a little disrespectful to Mrs. Young, you will leave. Did you hear clearly? The maid's eyes widened in shock, and their faces were incredible. After a few seconds, I replied in unison, yes, I see. After Ren left. A group of people exclaimed repeatedly. God, is that the young lady? So, 
did Master suddenly get married? Who am I, where am I, what have I experienced? Asterisk. Chiao Mian Mian slept deeply. Mo Yesi took her into the bedroom and put her on the bed. On the way, she didn't wake up. The girl's petite body was lying on the soft and wide bed, and it seemed that she became more and more petite and thin. A small one, just as soon as he got into bed, his body curled up like a cute and soft kitten. The shoulder-length hair spread out, covering half of her face, and the other half of the face exposed was quiet and clever, soft and soft and lovely. Mo Yesi sat by the bed, reached out and touched her soft face, stared at her quietly for a moment, then bowed her head and printed a soft kiss on her lips. The young girl's lips were soft and sweet, and the seductive breath between her lips and teeth taught him some emotion. Just a shallow kiss, he had the urge to want her. Before her, he never knew that his self-control ability was so bad that she didn't even tempt him, and he responded easily. He underestimated her attractiveness to herself. Perhaps this woman is really his savior. He resisted all women, but he did not resist her. I have to say that it was like God had arranged it deliberately, arranged that he could not accept other women, and arranged that she became his only exception. Chiao Mian Mian. The man's voice was low. In such a quiet night, it seemed to have some kind of confusion, if you are arranged by God, then stay with me forever, stay with me forever, don't leave me. I won't let you go again. Asterisk. Waking up the next day, Chiao Mian Mian found her lying on a strange bed. The bedroom is large and luxurious, and any decoration in the room can be seen as expensive. On a large black bed, the sheets are black and the quilt is black. Even the lampshade of the wall lamp on the wall is black. This is a room full of masculinity. Her clothes have been changed, wearing a light purple silk pajamas, soft and silky texture, expensive at first glance. She sat up holding the quilt, stunned against the head of the bed for several seconds before she suddenly recovered. When I found the phone, I opened it and watched the time. His face changed again, and he immediately jumped out of bed. After washing and packing as quickly as possible, she rushed out of the room and ran downstairs. Asterisk. When I rushed downstairs, I saw a man in his fifties in a black uniform. Seeing her, the man took a step back and made a deep bow of ninety degrees. Bai Gong called out with respect, Good morning, Mrs. Young. Chiao Mian Mian froze. She opened her eyes wide, a little scared, and took a step back, Are you? Ryan smiled and looked at the young and young lady, who was not yet twenty years old, and said warmly, I am Ren, the housekeeper of Mazai. The young man is dining in the dining room. Does Mrs. Xiao have breakfast now? Mazai. Chiao Mian Mian was in a trance for a moment, then turned around and looked around, looking at the luxurious luxury and nonsensical mansion in front of him. This turned out to be Mo Yesi's home. At first, she thought it was a villa. But now. She only knew that poverty really limited her imagination. This house is as big as the old castle, but it is much bigger than the villa. Is Mo Yesi still at home? After just looking at the time, she thought he had already gone to Mo Shi. When she called Mo Yesi's name straight, Ryan froze, but she soon returned to her normal expression on her face and nodded, Yes, Master is at home. Oh. Chiao Mian Mian nodded and said, Then I'll go find him and trouble you to lead the way. Ren hurriedly said, Young lady is welcome. Asterisk. When Chiao Mian Mian walked for a few minutes before finally reaching the dining room, she felt she really needed rain to bring her over. Otherwise, she will definitely get lost herself. At a few meters long white carved dining table, the man wore a loose and casual home service, took a cup of coffee, and took a sip of grace. Hearing the footsteps, he raised his head. The deep black eyes fell on Chiao Mian Mian. After watching for a few seconds, the man's beautiful thick eyebrows gently frowned. As soon as he frowned, Chiao Mian Mian couldn't help getting nervous. I always feel that I have made something wrong. After a moment, 
Moyesi raised his arm and waved at her, Come here. The man's voice is as strong as before, with the majesty of the longtime superior, as if ordering her. Chiaomian Mian walked over. About one meter away from him, he stopped. She looked down at the man's handsome to evil face, and her heartbeat was uncontrollably quickened. After taking a deep breath, she slowly calmed down. She frowned and said anxiously, M.O. Yesi, I have something to tell you. The man looked like he was not in a hurry, glanced at her, and said lightly, Sit down and eat first. I will talk about something later. No. Chiao Mian Min anxiously said, I don't have time for breakfast. Can you have someone send me to school right away? There is a very important class today. I can't miss it. What class? What time does it start? The man's voice was still faint, not anxious. Performance class. Chiao Mian Mian took out his mobile phone and looked at the time again, more anxiously. Ten o'clock class. Less than an hour left. Hey. M.O. Yesi nodded, saying he knew it all. Then, there was nothing more to say. His attitude made Chiao Mian's anxiety impossible. M.O. Yesi, you said you would send me to school last night. You can't say without words. What anxious, it is not that you are not allowed to go. M.O. Yesi reached out and gently tapped on the table, motioned her to sit down, first eat. Where can Chiao Mian Mian eat? I. Mian Mian, obedient. The man's voice was low for two points, with a gentle taste, like coaxing a child, I will help you deal with the class, you don't have to worry. No matter how anxious, breakfast is also necessary eat and don't go to school on an empty stomach. When he was finished, he took out his mobile phone and dialed a call to go out. Soon, Chiao Mian Mian heard him say to the person on the other end of the mobile phone with the tone of the commander, there is a performance class at 10 a.m. in the art performance department of the Yunchinch Film Academy. Please find someone to change the time. Well, change to the afternoon. Within a minute, he hung up the phone. Put down the phone and look up at Chiao Mian Mian, the class time has changed to the afternoon. Now, can you eat with peace of mind? Chiao Mian Mian? Meow Meow, can I still do this? He passed by a phone call and said to change the time. She seems to marry a very good husband. Although, she knows that M.O. Yesi's identity is indeed very good, but she always thinks that he is very good at making money. Now that she thinks about it carefully, her husband is more than just making money. The Mahists are not only prosperous but also prominent in politics. I heard that the next presidential candidate is the Mo's young master, M.O. Shixiu. Therefore, the M.O. family is not only rich, but also quite powerful. At this moment, Chiao Mian Mian suddenly realized that she was married into a terrific family. She also suddenly realized how good the man she married was. His distinguished identity and handsome appearance, he has stood at the top of the business empire at a young age, and has become a legend that countless people want to worship. He is the best partner in the hearts of many ladies. Such a man originally belonged to two classes with her. Under normal circumstances, they will not have the possibility of intersection in their lifetime. But now. He actually became her husband. Even herself, she felt incredible. If it weren't for her particularity to him, he wouldn't look down on her on his terms. Thinking of this, Chiao Mian Mian felt that she really took advantage of this marriage. Come. Seeing that she was still standing there, M.O. Yesi frowned with a little dissatisfaction, what are you still doing there? Oh. Chiao Mian Mian pushed away a chair beside him, and before sitting down, he saw M.O. Yesi frowning again. The man's slender fingers tapped the table next to him, a tone that he couldn't refuse, sit next to me. Chiao Mian Mian glanced at the position beside him, hesitated for a few seconds, and sat down. Before sitting down, M.O. Yesi's long arm stretched out, hugged her around her waist, and hugged the man into her arms. Chiao Mian Mian sat on his lap, the man's strong arm wrapped around her waist, 
and gently pinched the soft flesh around her waist. The girl is in her arms and her nose is full of fragrance. He took a deep breath in her hair, and the expression on his face was a little drunk. What kind of perfume do you usually use, and why is it so fragrant? Why does her breath smell so good? As soon as she approached him, he had an unspeakable comfort. It seemed that every cell in my body was relaxed. After last night, he had determined that she was the man he was destined to. Last night, he slept very well, just like last time, he slept till dawn. Not only did he sleep for seven hours without waking up halfway, but he didn't have that nightmare anymore. These things, which are sparse and ordinary for others, are extravagant expectations for him. Her appearance lit the lamp in his dark world. From then on, he saw the light. She would not know how important she is to him. I, I don't use any perfume. Chiao Mi and Mian couldn't help getting hot in his arms so tightly, he said shyly, M.O. Yesi, you let me go. Several maids stood in the dining room. Seeing this scene, I was surprised and envious and jealous. This unidentified young lady seems to be very fond of the young master. Although it looks very beautiful, it looks a bit young, I heard that it is still a student, I really did not expect that the young master would like this kind of young girl. M.O. Yesi not only did not release her, but also provoked her jaw and kissed her lips, her voice was low and said, Last night I held me to sleep all night, now I will not hug. Chiao Mian Mian opened his eyes wide, I held you all night to sleep. Hey! M.O. Yesi kissed her lips and whispered softly, like the octopus, tightly wrapped around me. You are comfortable, I haven't slept all night. Chiao Mian Mian blushed even more. She was too tired yesterday and fell asleep in his car. After that, I don't remember anything. Thinking of the two people sleeping in the same bed for a night, their faces grew hotter. She is now glad that she fell asleep earlier, so she doesn't have to face the embarrassment of sleeping in the same bed. She blushed and asked, the clothes on me. Of course I will change it for you. M.O. Yesi said, his voice became low and mute and her hot lips licked her soft cheeks, my woman, the body can only show me alone. Last night, he almost didn't hold it. Almost, she wanted her to be desperate. It was just that he was too anxious and would scare her. This little thing is timid and thin-skinned, so she has to take it slowly step by step. Anyway, she has already married him, and in the future, they will have time. You. Did you change it for me? Chiao Mian Mian's eyes widened, his face seemed to be burning, and his entire face was red. She changed her clothes. So, isn't he? Thinking of this, her face grew hotter, and the shameful wanted to dig a hole to hide herself. Ah, it's really shameful. Shy again. Mo Yeji squeezed her jaw and looked at her coy face, her eyes darkened. How can it be so shy? Baby, I'm your husband, and your body doesn't show me, to whom look. M.O. Yesi, don't say anything. Chiao Mian Mian's blush was about to bleed as he said these shameful words. Especially the baby he shouted, like a bewitching, made her heart shattered. At this moment, Chiao Mian Mian seriously doubted whether the words Uncle Lee told her were true. Did M.O. Yesi ever really fall in love? Then why is he so sultry? She is a woman who has had a love experience, and all his heartbeats are accelerated by him, and she can't help herself. Baby, do you know how tempting you look now? M.O. Yesi stepped a little closer, and the warm breath spilled into her ear, and she blew softly against her, I don't want to eat breakfast, I want to eat you. Chiao Mian Mian was so heartbroken that his heart was about to burst. She looked up in tears, M.O. Yesi, I am hungry, and I want to have breakfast. At this time, the maid brought Jiao Mian's breakfast up. There are Chinese food, Western food, and a variety of cakes and fruits, in short, it is very rich. M.O. Yesi did not mean to let go of her. He held her in one hand and picked up a glass of milk on the table with one hand and fed it to her mouth, come on, 
drink some milk first. Chiao Mian Mian. Can I myself? Hey. The man raised his eyebrows. Jun Mi brought a smile of evil charm to the evil face. Don't like this way? Want me to feed you mouth to mouth? Chiao Mian Mian cried, no matter how dare to ask any more requests, blushing in the man's hand, drinking milk bit by bit. The mates behind were so envious that they were about to cry. Oh, Mrs. Young is too happy. There is no regret in this life to get such a favor from the young master. At the same time, several people knew more clearly what position Chiao Mian Mian occupied in Mo Yesi's heart. This young lady is very fond of the young master, they must be treated with respect. Asterisk. At breakfast, Chiao Mian Mian's heartbeat accelerated. Mo Yesi seemed to feed her addictively, and this meal, Chiao Mian Mian had never done it himself. After eating, Mo Yesi went upstairs to change clothes, Chiao Mian Mian sat in the living room waiting for him. More than ten minutes later, Mo Yesi changed clothes and went downstairs. The moment he saw him, Chiao Mian collapsed. Jiading's handmade suits are very suitable for his wide shoulders, narrow waists, and long legs which makes him good enough to complete the supermodel's perfect body and make it more eye-catching. The pair of long, straight legs are powerful and visually striking. His temperament in suits and leathers was cold and arrogant, and his whole body was filled with a strong sense of abstinence. Looking at his handsome and deep face, Chiao Mian Mian's heart beat suddenly two beats. Master, the car is ready. Ren went over, respectfully. Hey. Mo Yesi arranged the buttons on his sleeves and walked towards Chiao Mian Mian, come on, take you to school. Asterisk. I don't know if Mo Yesi really didn't sleep well last night, and he rested with his eyes closed along the way. It is only at this time that Chiao Mian Mian will be bolder. While he was asleep, she would turn her head from time to time to peek at him. As soon as he thought of the intimate actions he had done to himself before, her face was hot. The heartbeat is also very fast. Near the school, Chiao Mian Mian let Uncle Lee stop the car in a less conspicuous place. Although she has married Mo Yesi, she still doesn't want to let too many people know about the marriage. Uncle Lee parked the car. Chiao Mian Mian was thinking about whether to say hello to Mo Yesi, and the man next to him slowly opened his eyes. Those eyes that were darker than the night looked at her and he spoke with a hoarse voice, Are you at school? Well. Chiao Mian Mian nodded. I'm getting off. That, goodbye another day. After talking, Chiao Mian Mian opened the door and was ready to get off. I allow you to go. Behind him, the man's voice was soft, but Chiao Mian Mian was about to get off the train. She turned her head, Is there anything else? The Gigi handsome man frowned and said with dissatisfaction, Come here. Chiao Mian Mian hesitated and moved his body. As soon as he approached, Mo Yesi was pulled into his arms, and the man's hot kiss fell down before he could react. Asterisk. When getting off, Chiao Mian Mian's legs were still soft. The girl's cheeks were flushed, her eyes blurred, and her lips were red and swollen. It seems very attractive. Covering her hot cheeks, she waited with a shame and annoyance before turning around and leaving. In the rear compartment, the handsome man looked at her slowly as she walked away, gently hooking her lips. Master, are you going to the company now? Well, let's go. Asterisk. As soon as Chiao Mian Mian walked under the bedroom building, he received a call from his fellow bedroom friend Zhang Luli. Mian Mian. Why haven't you come to school yet? Come back quickly. I'm already downstairs in the bedroom, what's wrong? Shen Yuiyu said she was not used to sleeping on the bunk, and wanted to change the bed with you. At this time, you are throwing your things to the ground. What? When Chiao Mian Mian heard it, he suddenly became very hot. Hanged up the phone and flew upstairs. The bedroom was on the third floor. She ran up all the way, pushed open the door of the false room, walked in, and saw that Shen Yuiyu took her quilt and dropped it to the ground. 
not just quilts. Many things on her bed have been thrown to the ground. What are you doing, you can't do this. Why are you throwing things away? Zhang Luli was trying to stop it, but it was useless. Shen Yuiyu pushed her impatiently and said angrily, Get out of it, I'm throwing Jiao's stuff at you. What's wrong with you? You think you can still lick her now is there any benefit? Su Xiao broke up with her, and she was a fart without a backer. As she said, she also dropped Jiao Mianmian's other things onto the ground. Seeing this scene, Jiao Mian was so angry that he twitched his fists. At this time, someone found her, froze for a while, and pulled the sleeves of Shen Yuiyu, Yuiyu, Jiao Mian Mian is back. Shen Yuiyu didn't panic at all, turned around in a hurry. When she saw Jiao Mian Mian, a scornful smile appeared on her lips, Jiao Mian Mian, you can count back. Then I will tell you now, I want your bed, you move to the upper bunk. Chiao Mian Mian looked at the clothes, quilts and various books that had been thrown to the ground. She raised her head, her face was blue and her voice was so cold that she had frozen a layer of ice, is everything on my bed thrown on the ground? Yet. Yeah. Shen Yui raised her arms and raised her chin, an expression that didn't even put her in her eyes, and arrogantly said, who made you come back so late? I have to help you get out of the bed now. Now that you have returned, the rest of the things, you move it yourself. As soon as her voice fell, she snapped with a slap. Immediately he was beaten to the side and his face swelled immediately. What? Chiao Mian Mian slapped, and a girl with Shen Yuiyu stood yelling, pointing at her and shouting, Chiao Mian Mian, why do you hit someone? Shen Yuiyu was directly blinded by this slap. It took a few seconds to recover. Chiao Mian Mian, you dare to hit me. Shen Yuiyu covered her face in disbelief. Chiao Mian Mian looked at her coldly, this slap you asked for. You dare to touch something on my bed again, I will hit you. Shen Yuiyu and her have always been rivals. The two also had a good relationship, but since a boy like Shen Yuiyu publicly pursued her, the former good girlfriends became enemies. But before, even if Shen Yuiyu hated her and disliked her, she would never dare to do it. Now, nothing more than know that she broke up with Suzi. Feeling that she didn't have a backstage, she began to count the old and new hatreds together. Shen Yuiyu covered her face, her expression was grim, and she gritted her teeth and said, I used to tolerate you everywhere because you were dealing with Su Xiao. Now, you all broke up with Su Xiao. Do you think I will be afraid of you? Without Su Xiao, what kind of thing are you? I will teach you a little today. With that, she raised her hand and hit Jiao Mian Mian's face. Jiao Mian Mian sneered, stood there, did not hide, grabbed her hand and pushed hard, and only heard Shen Yuiyu scream, and the man fell to the ground. She fell and her head touched the iron of the canopy bed, and a small mouth was hit on her forehead. Ah, Yuiyu, you have bleeding on your forehead. Zhao Wanting exclaimed as if she had stepped on her tail. A total of six people lived in the bedroom, but they were divided into three small factions. Chiao Mian Mian and Zhang Luo leave the school, Shen Yuiyu and Zhao Wanting, the remaining two are neutral. Seeing that Shen Yuiyu was injured, Zhao Wanting glared at Chiao Mian Mian, raised her hand and rushed towards her, Bitch, Su Xiao broke up with you, you are still so crazy. You dare to hurt Yuiyu, I fight with you. Chiao Mian Mian looked coldly. When Zhao Wanting was about to rush to her, she stretched out a foot. Ah! There was another scream. Zhao Wanting also fell heavily on the ground, falling into a four-footed, embarrassed posture. Her nose touched the hard floor, and she burst into tears with pain. Chiao Mian Mian, you bitch! You dare to treat me and Yuiyu like this! We won't let you go. Shen Yuiyu was dizzy with this fall, and it took a while before she recovered. She reached out and touched the blood on her forehead, and was immediately scared to be pale. Chiao Mian Mian, how dare you? She gritted her teeth, her eyes cracked, and she was extremely angry. Bitch, do you think Su Xiao will still protect you now? 
How dare you treat me like this, you wait for me. Chiao Mian Mian, you wait. We want you to look good. The two climbed up from the ground and ran out of the dormitory after letting go. Asterisk. Mian Mian, what should I do? Zhang Luli worried, Shen Yuyu and Zhao wanting recognized a dry brother, a wealthy and powerful second generation, or a bastard. They must have gone to him. Otherwise, you must find a place to hide. Avoid this first. Although Jiao Mian Mian's approach was very popular, she is easily bullied by Su Zi now. Shen Yuyu's dry brother, she had heard that it was a ruthless character. Zhang Luli became more and more worried, Mian Mian, please hurry up. Don't go to class today, I will help you take a day off. The other two roommates in the dormitory also persuaded, Shen Yuyu's brother is indeed a ruthless character, and once abandoned another person's leg. You better avoid it first. Yeah, Mian Mian, go quickly. Zhang Luli said while pushing her towards the door. When pushed to the door, Chiao Mian Mian reached out to grab Zhang Luli's arm and shook her head at her, Lolo, I won't go. Don't you go. Zhang Luli broke his heart. Baby, I know that you have a strong fighting ability, and you never lose a fight with someone. However, no matter how strong you are, you can't be stronger than a group of men. It's all the time, don't be brave. Go away. Chiao Mian Mian still shook his head. After she was silent for a while, she took out her mobile phone and made a placating gesture toward Zhang Luli, afraid of something, didn't she just go and find someone to help? Luo Luo, she moved the rescuers, and I also moved. You can rest assured, I will not let myself suffer. After she finished, she slowly walked out of the bedroom in Zhang Luli's confused expression. Asterisk. Chiao Mian Mian stood in the corridor outside and called Mo Yesi. There was only a half bang, and the other side picked it up. Just after a while, did you miss me? The man's magnetic sultry voice came into his ears, as if carrying radio waves, and Chiao Mian Mian's heart trembles. She was blushed and heartbeat by the other party's mode of conversation that opened at once. Is there something to do with me? Fortunately, Mo Yesi didn't continue to tease her. The man heard the sound of his ears softly ringing, Is there any trouble, do you need me to help you? Er. Chiao Mian Mian was embarrassed to hear him say that. He only troubled him yesterday, and today. She herself felt that she was particularly troublesome. As if guessing what she was thinking now, Mo Yesi continued, Tell me directly if you have anything, don't feel embarrassed. Chiao Mian Mian, I am your husband, you can let me do anything for you. Of. Every word spoken by the man was like a pair of warm hands, gently touching Chiao Mian Mian's heart. Her heart is warm. With these words of him, without hesitation, directly said, Well, I need your help. Can you call a few bodyguards to come to me? It takes about four or five people. What's going on? Mo Yesi's tone became solemn. Even, a bit cold. Chiao Mian Mian thought that the two are now a husband and wife relationship, and in a sense, Mo Yesi is also her relative. There was no concealment from him. She told him of her conflict with Shen Yuyu, and at the end, she concluded, in short, she feels that I have robbed her man, so she has always been holding a grudge against me. Now I feel that I have no one to rely on, so I want to clean up. Chiao Mian Mian didn't realize that when she said these words to Mo Yesi, her tone was wronged, like she was complaining to him coquettishly. After listening to Mo Yesi, after a moment of silence, he said, You didn't tell her, your husband is more powerful than a hundred Suzi. Offended you, she won't be able to walk around. Chiao Mian Mian where did she think about it at the time? Originally, she did not want to let too many people know that she was married. She was only 19 years old and married so early, it was not her life plan. She always felt it was a shame to let others know that she got married so early. Her ideal age for marriage is 28. Besides, 
even if she really said this to Shen Yuyu, the other party would certainly not believe it. You will feel that she is bragging. Relax, I'm here. No one can hurt you. After a few seconds, the man came down with a gentle voice, Mian Mian, I won't let anyone hurt you. The man's soft and low voice fell into his ears, as if a string was gently flicking on Chiao Mian Mian's heart. It made her unable to calm down again. At this moment, Chiao Mian Mian felt that it was really good to have someone to rely on. She seemed to have found a harbor that could be sheltered from the wind, so she didn't have to worry about the wind and rain. Heart, unprecedented tranquility and stability. Asterisk. Hanging up the phone, Chiao Mian Mian put away her phone and walked into the bedroom. Shen Yui lost her things, she had to clean up. Seeing her come in, the other two roommates looked at each other for a moment, and couldn't help asking, Mian Mian, don't you really avoid it? Zhang Luli also worried, baby, you are still too late now. Chiao Mian Mian squatted on the ground, taking things one by one to the bed. She said to Zhang Luli very calmly, Lolo, when have you seen me lose money? Zhang Luli thought about it for a while, as if it really didn't. Chiao Mian Mian looks like a very soft and beautiful girl, giving people the illusion that her character is also soft and cute, and is easily bullied. But everyone who knows her knows that soft cuteness is just an appearance. Otherwise, she would not cry Shen Yu Yu and Zhao wanting just now. But. Baby, Shen Yu Yu's dry brother is really not easy to mess with. It is said that it is still black, you really don't want to be brave. He's not easy to mess with, nor am I good to mess with. With Mo Yesi's personal guarantee, she was not afraid. Her husband is also very good, okay. Ten in a hundred Shen Yuyu's dry brothers combined are not as good as that. Zhang Luli. Relax, Lolo. Chiao Mian Mian stood up slowly, reached out and took a picture on her shoulder, I'm not stupid, I also moved rescuers. Shen Yuyu and they can't take advantage of it. You also moved rescuers. Zhang Luli remembered the phone call she just made, and her eyes were full of curiosity. So, you just called to find someone to help? Who are you looking for? Is it reliable? Very reliable, there is no one more reliable than him. Zhang Luli looked at her without worry, and wanted to ask if she had just called Su Zi. If it is Su Zi, then there is no need to worry about anything. Shen Yuyu's dry brother's family is still no match for Su Zi. Anyway, the Su family is also one of the ten famous names in Yunchenj. But she felt unlikely. With Jiao's temper, Su Zi betrayed her, and she couldn't ask him for help anymore. Who is that? Asterisk. Mo's. In the large meeting room. The seniors were trembling with fear, and they were too scared to breathe. Just now, President Mozambique rejected a plan for them, but that plan was hard for the team to work overtime until midnight, and it took a month to finalize it. But Mo has watched it for less than a minute. Before reading all the content, they will be rejected. Rejected it. The seniors wanted to cry. Do they have to work overtime for another month? After working overtime like this, the few hairs on their heads had to be lost. But Mr. M.O. said no, that is no. No one dared to refute any more. For this young executive who has just turned 25, even the old man who has been in the company for decades has not dared to underestimate him. This is the idea that you have been thinking for a month, come up with this? This is nothing new, just find a few college students can come up with something. You are also sorry to show me. It seems that Mo has raised too many idlers, and it is time for a large number of layoffs. As soon as this was said, all the high-level faces in the meeting room were scared. Toot toot. At this moment, Mo Yesi's mobile phone resting on the table vibrated. In the past, he would not glance at his mobile phone almost the whole time. He lowered his head and picked up the mobile phone immediately. Then connect in seconds. After answering the phone, he said nothing and got up and walked outside the conference room. After he went out, 
a group of high-level leaders said in horror, who made a call to President Mo? He answered so fast. Don't you remember that President Mo did the same at the last meeting? Did President Mo have a relationship? How is this possible, President Mo has always been innocent and has no interest in women. If he is in a relationship, can he show no signs of turbulence? Asterisk. Meeting outdoor. Mo Yesi answered Jiao Mianmian's phone and called Wei Zheng. Mr. Mo. Mo Yesi pulled off the tie around his neck and turned to walk towards the elevator, you will help me preside over the next meeting. I'm going out. What? Wei Zheng was dumbfounded. Such a high-level meeting, he is a little assistant, where can he preside over? In addition, President Mo will have a good drive. Why should he suddenly leave? This is a very important meeting. Wei Zheng immediately chased the past. President Mo, I can't do it. He summoned his courage, and then he suffocated. It's all the company executives sitting inside. I will give them a meeting. This is not good. Mo Yesi hurriedly paced. Go to the elevator and press down the elevator, I said yes, that's all. Don't talk nonsense, this is also one of your own jobs. If you don't do it right away, leave me immediately. The elevator door opens. After dropping this sentence, Mo Yesi went in and pressed the elevator door. Wei Zheng. He was threatened to fire this quid. How dare he have any opinions? Far dare not put another one. The world is big and the boss is the biggest. No matter how difficult or arduous the task is, he has to complete it. Thinking of facing so many high-level officials in a while, Wei Zheng felt the pressure. How did he feel that President Mo has become more and more self-willed these days? When you go to work and say you leave early, you leave early, and half an important meeting says you leave. Obviously, he was not like this before. Asterisk. Chiao Mian Mian just made the bed, and heard the noise from downstairs. There was a lot of movement, and several people in the bedroom ran out to watch. She and Zhang Luli also went out. Looking downstairs, I saw a group of men dressed in sociable manners going into the girls' dormitory, and the Aunt Suguan stopped them from coming in. Aunt Suguan is more than 50 years old, and naturally not an opponent of that group of men. If you want to stop it, you can't stop it. An impatient look appeared on one of the men's face, and he stepped forward and pushed her, pushing the Aunt Suguan directly to the ground. Lying trough, they are too much. Here is the school, they dare to be so arrogant. Zhang Luo was terribly angry. Chiao Mianmian's face also sank, and her lips tightened, Shen Yuiyu even brought this group of men to school, she is also brave enough. If this matter is investigated by the school, Shen Yuiyu will definitely be punished. This point, Shen Yuiyu is also very clear. The reason why she dared to do this, in addition to the so-called Gao Fu handsome brother, there must be other backstage behind. Not daring, she dared not be so fearless. Chiao Mian Mian suddenly thought of her breaking up with Su Zi, she didn't tell anyone. But why did Shen Yuiyu and everyone else in the bedroom know? Lolo, I want to ask you something. Chiao Mian Lin's eyes sank, his eyes cold for two points. In my heart, there has been some speculation. What's the matter? Zhang Luli watched the group of young people in the girls' dormitory, so anxious, baby, why don't you come to the rescue? Chiao Mian Mian was silent, and asked, who told you about the breakup between me and Su Zi? What? Zhang Luo froze for a while, and then said, you said this? Shen Yuiyu said. As soon as she returned to school, she told us this matter with special pride, saying that you cheated someone else. So Su Xiao doesn't want you anymore. Chiao Mian Mian, I didn't chew. Damn. Obviously, this pair of scum men cheated on her, okay? Baby, of course I believe you. Zhang Luli frowned softly. Who are you, I don't know yet. Shen Yuiyu's mouth is really too bad, she intentionally wanted to ruin your reputation. 
Obviously Su Jie Kai fell in love with you at first sight and actively pursued you, but he wasn't the one you deliberately hooked up. Why does Shen Yui you think you robbed her man? Xiao Mian Mian pursed her lips and said nothing. She felt that Shen Yui you did not do this, but someone else. It is impossible for Su Zi to talk about the things they broke up, not to tell Shen Yui you about it. So, the only possibility is that Zhou Angzen said the breakup. She deliberately disclosed this matter to Shen Yui Yu, what kind of heart is peaceful, it is self-evident. Thinking of this, Xiao Mian Mian's eyes were cold for another two points. Zhou feels at ease. There were cluttered footsteps. Zhang Luli opened his eyes wide and panicked, Mian Mian, they came up. Xiao Mian Mian slowly raised his head and saw Shen Yui Yu and Zhao wanting walking in front, followed by seven or eight social youths. Shen Yui Yu held her head and chin high, like a proud peacock, and slowly walked to Xiao Mian Mian. Xiao Mian Mian, she said with a hazy face. If you kneel now and give me three bangs, and then go to the campus broadcasting room to apologize to me, I may be able to forgive you this time. That's right. Zhao Wanting clutched her nose, hatefully, you apologize to us immediately. If you have a good attitude, for the sake of the same bedroom, we will spare you once. Otherwise, you just wait for the beating. You two are too much. Zhang Luli said angrily, obviously you bully people first, why should I apologize to you? Zhang Luli, you shut up. You help Jiao Mian Mian again, don't blame us even for you. You guys. Lolo, it's none of your business. Jiao Mian Mian stretched out his hand and pulled Zhang Luli behind her, raised her head, and looked down at the arrogant to the extreme. Kneel with you? I only kneel to my parents and heaven and earth, what do you count? It's you who are guilty of wanting to provoke me first, and I have taught you that you are asking for it. Apologies? Oh, it's impossible to apologize in this life. You. Shen Yui was so angry that her face was blue, and she gritted her teeth and said, Xiao Mian Mian, so, do you refuse to apologize? Xiao Mian Mian looked at her like an idiot, did I just say that? Hearing is so bad at a young age. Shen Yui Yu, I suggest you go to the hospital to see it early, otherwise you don't know what is going on. Bitch. Because there was too much movement here, many people walked out of the bedroom to see the excitement. As soon as Xiao Mian Mian finished speaking, there was a burst of laughter around him. All are laughing at Shen Yui Yu. Shen Yui Yu felt that she had lost her face, and when she raised her hand, she wanted to slap Xiao Mian Mian. Xiao Mian Mian didn't hide while standing, just sneered, Why, do you want to fall again? Before falling, Shen Yui Yu already had a shadow in his heart. She didn't expect Xiao Mian Mian to look bully, but she didn't expect that the fighting power was so strong. Shen Yui Yu Yang hesitated in the midair, and when she met Xiao Mian Mian's cold eyes, she felt a trace of fear in her heart. Instinctively, I want to go backwards. But the thought of having so many people watching her around her, she gritted her teeth and scolded resentfully, bitch. Then he hit it on Xiao Mian Mian's face. How could Xiao Mian Mian let her fight, Shen Yui Yu's slap hadn't come down, she was intercepted by her in the air. Ah, pain, bitch, you let go. At the moment when the wrist was pinched, Shen Yui Yu's face was crumpled into pain, and she struggled hard, trying to free her hand. Xiao Mian Mian has great strength. Even if the man breaks her wrist, she can't break her. Not to mention a spoiled Shen Yui Yu. She only exerted a little force, Shen Yui Yu's face flushed with pain, shouting regardless of the image, Xiao Mian Mian, bitch, you let me go. I will fight with you. Oh, okay. Xiao Mian Mian nodded, pursed his lips and smiled, and really let go. However, Shen Yui Yu, who was still struggling hard, did not stand still, and she fell to the ground in public. In a kneeling posture, he fell to Jiao Mian Mian's feet. Pooh. Jiao Mian Mian couldn't hold back and smiled. She shook her head and sighed again, 
then looked down at Shen Yuiyu, Oh, Shen Yuiyu, what can you do for me with such a big gift, I can't bear it. The onlookers looked at Shen Yuiyu's embarrassed look and laughed again. Why is Shen Yuiyu so dare to dare to provoke Xiao Mian Mian? Isn't she afraid of Su Xiao packing her up? I heard that Su Xiao and Xiao Mian Mian broke up. What? My finally broke up with this little goblin, Xiao Mian Mian? Is the news reliable? Didn't Su Xiao like her so much, why did she break up suddenly? I heard it was Xiao Mian Mian's cheating. With a boyfriend as good as Su Xiao, she still has to split her legs? Su Xiao is so good to her, does this woman have a conscience? A group of people you talk about me sentence by sentence. Shen Yui was ugly in public, and her nose and eyes were off. She gritted her teeth and shouted at the young people in the society, You are still stunned, don't hurry up to clean up this bitch. Xiao Mian Mian, you are too much. Zhao Wanting turned around, pretending to be very wronged, and said softly to a man beside him, Brother Du Zi, you see it with your own eyes, Zhou Shi is really too much. You must help me and Yu Yu get angry. The man named Du Zi held a cigarette in his mouth, squinting halfway, and glanced at Xiao Mian Mian gloomily and arrogantly. Then, there was a wicked smile on the corner of lips. Are you Xiao Mian Mian? He asked with unpretentious stunning and coveted interest. The girl in front of her is very ordinary, and it is the dress of a normal student, but that face is really beautiful and enchanting. The dark and soft eyes are brighter than the stars, and the facial features are so delicate that they can't pick up any flaws. Especially the white shiny skin, tender as if gently pinched, can pinch out of water. Chiao Mian, a man like Du Zi, is much better. Before Su Zi, there were also many rich second generations who had pursued her. She knew too well the thoughts of these men. But because she looks beautiful, she develops possessiveness, and once she catches her hand, she will throw it away for a while. None of this group of people is sincere. She hated such a casual man. So he didn't give Du Zi any good looks and said coldly, Sorry, I don't have time. Also, I'm not interested in eating with you. Rejected by the public, the expression on Du Zi's face was a little unsightly. He glanced down, then spoke again, and his voice was cold for two points, Don't you know Shengui group? Chiao Mian Mian smiled coldly and spread his hands, Well, I don't know. What's wrong, is it famous? Anyway, I haven't heard of it. Du Zi's face was refuted again and Du Zi's complexion dimmed. The rich second generation like him, the group of friends of the fox friends who are making friends usually hold him all kinds, pursuing women and they can also easily get it. For the first time, a woman dared not to face him again and again and refused him. He couldn't come up and down, he was angry and sullen, threatening with a somber face, smelly girl, don't give your face shame. I'll ask you again, are you going? Here, Shen Yuiyu and Zhao Wanting were annoyed to see Du Zi, and they were finally comfortable. Xiao Mian Mian is really a shame. While Du Zi is getting angry, she must be cured. The two of them poured oil on the fire and said, Xiao Mian Mian, brother Du Zi can see you, it is a blessing from your last life. What are you, dare to refuse him? Brother Du this kind of woman who doesn't know what to do, should teach her well. Zhang Luli looked at the situation right now, and Xiao Mian Mian said that the rescue did not see the shadow at all. She was afraid that Xiao Mian Mian would lose money for a while, hesitating again and again, quietly touched the phone and sent a text message to Su Zi. Zhang Luli, Mian Mian was troubled by a few bastards, Su Xiao, can you come over and rescue her? Zhang Luli felt that although Xiao Mian Mian and Su Zi had already broken up. However, Su Zi couldn't ignore her for so many years. Now, the only person who can help her is Su Zi. After the news was sent, Su Zi seconds back, what is the matter, where is Mian Mian now? Zhang Luli, school girl dormitory, Su Xiao, please come over quickly. Otherwise, Mian Mian will be bullied. Su Zi, 
I'm near the school, I'll come over immediately. Seeing Su Zi's reply, Zhang Luli was slightly relieved. Near the school, Suzy could be over soon. Just after Zhang Luli had just finished sending the message, he saw Du Zi upset and grabbed someone, source bitch, give you some color, and really take yourself seriously. Today you have to go if you don't want to go, I have to force Lao Tzu to be rough. Look like you, I've seen more. I don't always sell it. I have money, one million a night is enough. I don't have enough money to add money. Du Zizi swept the ground, revealing his true face. He grabbed Jiao's long hands, pulled out a stack of banknotes from his wallet, and smashed her into the face. While smashing, he scolded loudly, pretending to be your mother's clothes, they are all ruined by others. Just follow me and follow me, otherwise, I want you to look good. Mian Mian. You let go of Mian Mian. Zhang Luo stepped forward and wanted to help. Several other men stepped forward and grabbed her. Doesn't that Jiao Mian Mian and Su Zi have broken up? Is it possible that Su Zi is nostalgic and still has feelings for her, so she found someone to help her, regardless of her suspicions? Zhang Luli also thought it was Su Zi who shouted. She patted her chest and relieved that Su Zi was not too bad, at least for this moment, because of his timely help, she avoided a disaster. Otherwise, the consequences are unbearable. She walked up to Jiao Mian Mian, reached out to support her, and looked at her worriedly, Mian Mian, are you okay? Jiao Mian Mian shook his head. Opposite, Shen Yuyu and Du Zi were shocked. Looking at the few people who were still wailing on the ground, Shen Yuyu was so scared that her face was pale and her lips could not help shaking, You, who are you? No one expected that this group of people came to help Jiao Mian Mian. Shen Yuyi was even more surprised. Jiao Angzhen didn't tell her that Su Zi and Jiao Mian Mian had broken up, so that she could deal with Jiao Mian Mian casually. What happened to this group of people? In addition to relying on a Su Zi, can Jiao Mian Mian have anyone else to rely on? Is it that Jiao Angzhen is lying to her? For a time, Shen Yuyu's face turned pale and white, which was extremely ugly. A man in black glanced at her coldly and said, Are you a classmate of Miss Jiao? Did you bring this group of people to school to find Miss Jiao in trouble? I, I am. You, what do you want? After seeing these bodyguards, Shen Yui was scared and took a step back towards Du Zi. Du Zi was also frightened by this sudden variable, but he insisted, made a vicious look, gritted his teeth and said, Damn, where did you come from? Dare to move Lao Tzu people. You do you know who I am? I'm not interested in knowing who you are. But you dare to find Miss Jiao's trouble, that is, you are looking for death. After that, the man who spoke said a few waves to the other bodyguards. All the men broke their legs, the women's belts go. You dare. Lao Tzu is the only son of the chairman of Shengui Group. If you dare to move me, my dad won't let you go. The bodyguard headed by Shengui Group. Sneered with disdain. It's just a small character that doesn't make a big deal. I don't know what the sky is thick and thick. Today is here to interrupt your legs. Your dad will not dare to put a fart. Shengui Group is a well-known medium-sized enterprise in Yunchenge. Speaking of, it is also a little famous. But compared with Mo's, that's not even qualified to wipe the feet of Mo. This kind of arrogance has been used to, and I don't even know what a few pounds or two idiots are, and I don't even know what kind of disaster he has brought to his family because of his stupidity. Just breaking his leg is cheap for him. President Mo is not such a kind person. I am afraid that Chengui Group will disappear from Yunchenj soon. Two bodyguards stepped forward to catch him. He waved the dagger in his hand and said fiercely, Go away with me, otherwise I'm welcome. Dare you move me, I want you. Du Zi's scolding voice stopped abruptly. The next second turned into a pig-like howl, Ah, my legs, my legs. The bodyguard easily snatched the knife in his hand and grabbed him. 
then he kicked it on his knee. Du Zi's face instantly turned pale as a ghost, and with a snap, he kneeled down on the ground and wailed with pain holding his leg. He was so painful that he was rolling on the ground, and his mouth was still scolding, you stuff like a bitch, I will kill you, kill you. Just after scolding, he also got a kick on the other leg. This time, the pain passed out directly. Seeing this scene, Shen Yui was so scared that her legs were soft and she could not stand. When the bodyguard caught her in the past, she had no strength on her body, her face was frightened, and she begged constantly, No, don't break my leg, don't. Zhao Wanting was also scared to the ground, his face pale. They are still students. Even though I usually arrogant and arrogant, I have seen such a violent picture. Now watching Du Zi was broken by people's legs and fainted, they were already scared to tears and shivered. Miss Jiao, are these two of your classmates? How does Miss Jiao want us to deal with them? The bodyguard headed up to Jiao Mian Mian, first bent down and bowed to her with an extremely respectful attitude. Mian Mian, we are wrong, please forgive us. Mian Mian, because we are in the same bedroom, you can forgive us this time. Thinking of the fear of breaking the legs, the two trembling even more, they couldn't help begging for mercy with Jiao Mian Mian, crying and snotting. Float out. At this moment, the two seem to be embarrassed, and there will be embarrassment. Jiao Mian Mian looked at them coldly. Mian Mian. Zhang Luo said angrily, you can't easily forgive them. They were just too much just now. If it were not for Su Zi's support. I don't know what the result would be. Thinking of this, Zhang Luli looked around, still puzzled. What about Su Zi? Why didn't you see others? Was it because he was inconvenient to come forward, so he didn't come? Lolo, rest assured, I'm not the virgin. Xiao Mian Mian gave her a relaxed look, then turned to look at Shen Yuyu and Zhao Wanting, who were crying, and thought for a while, then said, just follow normal procedures, what to do, what to do. Shen Yuiyu and their behavior will be severely punished by the school. For a college student who is already in junior year and has one year to graduate, there is no punishment more serious than dropping out. Although this is a ruinous prospect, don't blame her for being injustice since they are not benevolent first. The bodyguard nodded clearly, yes, I know what Miss Jiao means. After he finished speaking, he waved his hand and said, Take them away first. Shen Yui heard Jiao Mian Mian say this and panicked, Mian Mian, we really knew what we were wrong. You give us a chance to correct it. Yeah, we are good friends in the same bedroom for three years. Can't you forgive us once? Jiao Mian Mian stepped forward to the two people step by step. They looked at them condescendingly and said coldly, You are wrong and you and I have never been good friends. Also, I will only forgive people who truly regret it, like you who have different opinions, I will not give another chance. Seeing that it was useless to ask her, the two who said that they would change later immediately changed their faces and rolled their faces, Chiao Mian Mian, you are a vicious woman. You are like this to a friend who has lived with you for three years cold-hearted and ruthless you are so inhumane and will not have good results in the future. No wonder Su Shaiwai will break up with you, a woman like you, no man will like it. Chiao Mian Mian, you are a bitch. Chiao Mian Mian was expressionless as he listened to the curse words. Zhang Luli was a little worried about her, afraid that those words would stimulate her. After all, she didn't break up with Su Zi soon. After thinking for a while, Zhang Luli was about to comfort her, but he heard a cry of exclamation and an excited scream from the crowd. Wow, who is that man, so handsome? He's so tall, he has 188 visual observations, and his figure is super good. Wearing a black shirt really feels ascetic. I'm leaning. Isn't it handsome? Okay. I feel that our school grass is not as good as his. Zhang Luo froze for a moment and looked at the other's eyes. When she saw the slender black figure not far in front, she was stunned for a moment, her eyes widened in shock. 
Hearing the movement, Xiao Mian Mian also turned his head and looked at it. At this look, the whole person was dumbfounded. The man who was walking slowly towards her had a beautiful and godly face, noble and distinguished temperament, deep and sharp eyebrows, and the pure black shirt and trousers highlighted the cold abstinence of his body. Intensely. He seemed to have a flash of light on his body, and in a flash, he could attract everyone's attention. Beside him, Zhang Luo looked straight from his eyes. Grabbing her arm excitedly, she said excitedly to her, I'm leaning on it, Mian Mian, do you see it? There is a super handsome guy in front. Xiao Mian Mian opened his mouth and could not say a word. He heard Zhang Luli screaming more excitedly, Ah, Mian Mian, he came towards us. I feel like he is looking at us. No, no, I'm so excited. You tell me, this is not my illusion, the big handsome guy is really watching us, right? Xiao Mian Mian. Looking at her excited sister who was going crazy, she twitched her lips and was a little speechless. Zhang Luli is a full-face dog. It is the kind of senior-face dog who walks on the street and sees the handsome guy who whistles toward the other party. The extent to which she commits is determined by her face value. This is the first time Jiao Mian Mian has seen her as a nympho. I'm so excited that I'm about to lose my mind. But Zhang Luo was not the only one who lost his sanity on the spot. The other girls also screamed, and in an instant, all of them turned into nymphos. The girls behind Jiao Mian Mian couldn't be more excited, and the screams that suppressed the excitement and joy had never stopped, he came towards us. Is he coming to find us? Ah, I feel like I'm going to suffocate. It's really handsome. He is not a student of our school, he looks quite mature in his clothes. The appearance of the men caused the girls on this floor to boil. The only person who looks normal and does not have much mood swings is Chiao Mian Mian. But she is just calm. The moment she saw Mo Yesi, she had set off a storm in her heart. Why did he appear here? Isn't he going to work? Suddenly seeing him in school or in a place like a girl's dormitory, Chiao Mian Mian felt dazed, with a feeling of not real. She stared blankly at Mo Yesi approaching her step by step. The distance between the two is getting closer. Ah, Mian Mian, he's here, I'm so nervous. You said we should take the initiative to say hello to him, but what should I say? Zhang Luli was a nympho, possessing a shy and expectant look emoji. Chiao Mian Mian. She is also struggling with this issue. After a while, do you want to say hello to Mo Yesi? Or, pretend not to know? She pondered carefully, feeling that if he chose the latter, he would definitely be angry. Before I even figured out what to do, I felt a shadow fall in front of my eyes. Looking up, I saw a handsome face with a deep outline. The dark, cold eyes of the man stared at her for a few seconds, then stretched out his hand, and his long, cool fingers fell on her cheek. His voice was cold, and there seemed to be a hint of anger, what's wrong here? Are you hurt? I. Chiao Mian Mian opened his mouth. Before he said anything, he saw the man's eyes cold for another two points, grabbed her by one arm, and said coldly, Here's also injured. His handsome face was instantly covered with a layer of frost, and then he spoke. The deep voice seemed to be wrapped in ice, which made people shudder, Who made these wounds on you? The manhood is strong. The irritating question made everyone present have a trace of fear. Even the girls who just fooled him just now were frightened by the coldness emanating from him, so they dared not speak again. Chiao Mian Mian was also a little scared. She bit her lips and remained silent for a few seconds before saying weakly, I'm fine, only some minor injuries. Mo Yesi squeezed her lips, glared at her, reached out and hugged her across. A burst of gas blew out. Are you mistaken, this big handsome guy actually came to Jiao Mian Mian? I rely on, this is not Jiao Mian Mian's new boyfriend, right? She broke up with Suzi, and immediately found another one so handsome. So, the group of people was not called by Suzi just now, but by this man. 
It is said that Jiao Mian Mian was dumped by Su Ziyi because of the cheating. Was it the man she was cheating? To tell the truth, in terms of temperament, this man is indeed much better than Su Ziyi. The two are not at the same level. When watching Mo Yesi hold Jiao Mian Mian in his arms in a princess hug, everyone was not calm. There was a heated discussion. Zhang Luli was even more stunned, looking at his good sister, and Mo Yesi, with a look of consternation, Baby, this, what's going on? Why is this super handsome guy and her baby together? Being embraced by a princess like Mo Yesi in public, Jiao Mian Mian blushed like a cooked shrimp. She had just struggled twice, the man's arms around her waist tightened more, and she looked down at her and yelled softly, Don't move, would you like me to kiss you in public again? Chiao Mian Mian Thanks to the fact that other people say that he is an ascetic guy, he is completely unworthy of it, okay? Where is his abstinence from head to toe? From time to time, I have to take advantage of her, and it is obvious that she is a rogue. Mo Yesi, you let me go. Chiao Mian Mian's cheeks were hot and he threw a hand on his chest to give him a light beat. He was ashamed and annoyed. So many people are watching, what are you doing? Someone looks at it. Mo Yesi disagreed and lowered his voice. The low in voice made Chiao Mian Mian's ears numb. You are my wife. I don't hold you, who do I hold? But... I can go by myself. This sound can hear the spoiled good and makes Jiao Mian Mian's face burn a little bit. She didn't know why she blushed so easily in front of Mo Yesi. He teased her casually and she would blush. There was constant discussion around. Shen Yuyu and Zhao Wanting, both being imprisoned, had shocked expressions on their faces. It seemed as if they saw the sun rising to the west and their faces were incredible. Then. Deep jealousy appeared in the eyes. At first, they all thought that the group of people in black was called by Su Ziyi to help. But now, it is clearly not the case. The group of people in black was called by the handsome and distinguished man in front of him. Even if I don't know what the identity of this man is, but both can see that his identity must be extraordinary. The kind of powerful aura like emperor like noble domineering which makes people feel adoration and awe, is definitely not what ordinary people can have. This is a kind of aura for those who have long been in high positions and are used to giving orders. Shen Yuiyu has sharp eyes. At a glance, I saw the watch worn by Mo Yesi's wrist. At this point, his face could not help but change again, the jealousy in his eyes deepened. She had seen the watch at a luxury exhibition. It's a world-limited watch. The price is extremely high, at least more than 5 million. And people with insufficient status can't buy it. Because there are only three in the world. In other words, even Su Ziyi is not eligible to buy it. So, is this man's true identity even more prominent than Su Ziyi? But why is this face so strange? If he really is a distinguished person, why haven't he seen him before? Shen Yuiyu did not know that Mo Yesi had been abroad before, and had just returned to China this year. Because he doesn't like being too high profile and seldom discloses his identity to the outside world, domestic news about him is rarely reported. There are more people who do not know his identity. But even in this case, Shen Yuiyu was still jealous. Chiao Mian Mian, this little bitch, why is there a better man than one? So Zi used to be jealous enough, and now there is a man who is likely to be many times better than So Zi. Bitch. The men under the world let her go all out. Why don't such shameless die? When Shen Yui looked at Jiao Mian Mian with jealousy and vicious eyes, Mo Yesi's cold eyes also fell on her. Shen Yui suddenly felt a chill. There was a chill in her heart that made her uncontrollable. It was like being stared at by death. Her body shivered involuntarily, and when she looked up, she met a pair of sharp cold eyes that seemed to be ice quenched. In an instant, her whole body was surrounded by this cold air, and her body shook even more. In front of this emperor-like noble and powerful man, her legs were soft and could not stop, almost kneeling on the ground. The man said nothing, 
just looked at her for a few seconds, then turned his head. But for a few seconds, it seemed to her that she had made a circle around the ghost gate. Shen Yuiyu's forehead burst out with a thin layer of cold sweat, and he couldn't stop panting. Are you a good friend? Mo Yesi withdrew his gaze from Shen Yuiyu, turned his head to look at Zhang Luli, who was still looking at them with coercion. Ah! Oh, I am, I am. Zhang Luli was still stunned. After a few seconds, he realized that Mo Yesi was talking to her, and then he recovered. Mo Yesi tickled her lower lip and said softly, Mian Mian was injured. I will take her to the hospital to see it. She may return to school later in the afternoon. If she is too late to go to class, you will ask her to take a leave. Oh, okay, okay. Zhang Luli looked at Mo Yesi's handsome face to an unbelievable face, and his nervous speech stuttered. In peacetime, she is a very different woman with different styles. She even blushed. Seeing this scene, Xiao Mian Mian had to sigh once again that Mo Yesi's face was too lethal. When did you see Zhang Luli talking to other boys and blushed? Mo Yesi tickled his lower lip again, then trouble you. Zhang Luli blushed even more, fainted by his smile, yes, it should be. No. You're welcome. Mo Yesi glanced at the other two girls in the same bedroom as Chiao Mian Mian, it's a special situation today. I'll invite you to dinner another day. After saying this, he turned and left Chiao Mian Mian. Just minutes after Mo Yesi left, a group of police came. Then, on the charge of provoking trouble, all the young people brought by Du Zi and him were arrested. Shen Yuiyu and Zhao Wanting were crying and were taken away by the police. In an instant, the scene was quiet. It's as if nothing has happened. But anyone who has witnessed the whole process knows what happened. Who is that man? It seems very powerful. Shen Yuiyu thought that Jiao Mian Mian and So Ziyi broke up and there would be no one to rely on. This time she kicked the iron plate. On the ability to find men, I only serve Jiao Mian Mian. The men I look for are better than one. Capital admiration. Asterisk. Xiao Mian Mian was held down by Mo Yesi, during which she struggled several times, and Mo Yesi refused to let her down. He hugged her and calmly shuttled around the campus. On the way, I got countless curious eyes. Xiao Mian Mian was so embarrassed that he buried his head deeply in his arms, covering his face. The man's black shirt had a nice smell and his breath and his nose were full of his body. Full of tempting hormones. Her ears were attached to his heart, and he could clearly hear his strong heartbeat. Suddenly, it seemed to be hitting her chest, and her heartbeat could not be suppressed. To the parking lot. Seeing them, Uncle Lee called out respectfully, Young master, young lady. Then bent down to open the door of the rear compartment. Mo Yesi hugged her into the car. The door closed, and after he sat down, Xiao Mian Mian was embraced by him, and the whole person was circled by him. Mo Yesi, you. Xiao Mian Mian wanted him to let her go. As soon as he opened his mouth, the man fell hot with a hot kiss. He kissed overbearingly and eagerly, her breath was taken away, and his body softened into his arms. Uncle Li got in the car. Seeing this scene from the rear view mirror, the old face couldn't stop being hot again, and then he was very pleased to open the shutter. Uncle Lee started the car while thinking happily, according to this trend, the M.O. family will soon have a young master or a young lady. Well, very good, very good. On the back seat. Xiao Mian Mian was almost fainted by the man's unusually hot and overbearing deep kiss. Her petite and bright little face swelled with redness and her tender white hands weakly thumped gently on his chest, well, ink, M.O. Yesi, let me go. The man's kiss was too domineering, too strong, she felt like she was fainting. M.O. Yesi opened his eyes. The dark, hot eyes turned to the girl who was kissed in his arms until his face was flushed, but he couldn't breathe, and he had to end the kiss that he never felt. His breath was disordered, holding her hot cheeks, and after a moment of gasping on her forehead, 
his breath slowly calmed down. I want her to be very strong. Every time I approached her, I couldn't help doing something intimate to her. I want to hug her, kiss her, and want her hard. I wanted her to keep asking him as much as he did that night, and finally weeping softly under him begging for mercy. As soon as the night flashed through my mind, there was a reaction somewhere that I couldn't control. Only she will make him so out of control. She was so special to him. Before, he never believed in any destiny. Until I met her. He couldn't stand any woman's approach, but he didn't exclude her. If she wasn't the one he was destined for, who would it be? Baby. The man's voice was low, hoarse, and he became very after being contaminated. You said, did you purposely arrange it for me? He lifted her jaw and stared at her deeply, otherwise, why would I not reject you? Why would I feel unprecedented relaxation with you? Why do I approach you, I just want you so much? Why? He reached out and caressed her tender and delicate little face, whispering like he was talking to himself, you just happen to be what I like? Is it doomed, you will be my M.O. Yesy woman? From the moment they met, they were doomed. When he said that he wanted her, Joe's white ear lobes were stained with a pale color. This man. In front of her, he made no secret of his, every time he said he wanted her, he said so directly. He and Suzie are completely different. Suzie is always gentle and gentleman in front of her. She never tells her such a shameful word, nor does she ever move her foot casually. However, she didn't seem to hate him for treating herself like this. When he hugs her and kisses her, she will not be disgusted or repelled, but will become very nervous, very shy, and her heartbeat will accelerate. M.O. Yesi, can you please let me go? Xiao Mian blushed in his arms with a blush, his voice was thin, weak, like a pitiful. Such she makes M.O. Yesi want to bully her more. The man's kiss fell on her lips again, this time just a slight peck and then backed away. There was a low, laugh in his throat, sorry, no. Xiao Mian Mian. She looked up, her eyes were foggy, her eyes were a little bit grudge, pitiful and small. Baby. M.O. Yesi's eyes sank deep, squeezing her jaw and sighed. With a forebear in his eyes, don't look at me like this, otherwise, I want to bully you again. Chiao Mian Mian sat on his lap and felt the change in his body, shy and panicky again, don't do this. Asterisk. On the way to the hospital, M.O. Yesi called L.U. Rao. It took a while for L.U. Rao to pick it up, and his voice was feeble, young master M.O. If it is a consultation about your emotions, let's talk another day. Or you may let me sleep for a few hours before you come to me. M.O. Yesi touched the soft hair of the young girl in her arms and snorted, Why, overworked last night. L.U. Rao, fuck your uncle. I just came out of the operating room. How do you feel about trying to perform the operation for ten hours in a row? I am all tired now as a dog, no, no. The dogs are not as tired as me. Listening to the complaints of good brothers full of grievances, M.O. Yesi had no fluctuations in his heart. I don't care whether you are tired into a dog or something else, you have to spare an hour for me. I now take me and me into the hospital and it will be up to ten minutes. She was injured and you show her look. Joe me and me and nestled in his arms. She would like to say that her little injury is not called injury at all, okay. Mian Mian. L.U. Rao suddenly heard M.O. Yesi call such a girl intimately, and it didn't react for a while. After a few seconds, she suddenly realized, you mean your little wife? She was injured. What? She was hurt? Is it serious? Hey. M.O. Yesi glanced at the girl's bruises on her arms and legs, her face darkened, and she frowned. You've been injured on your hands and legs. You will give her a good check later, otherwise I'm worried. L.U. Rao really thought that Jiao Mian Mian had suffered some serious injuries, and he didn't refuse now, and immediately responded, Okay, when you get to the hospital, you will immediately notify me, that, does she need a stretcher? 
Can she go by herself? M.O. Yesi. After a few seconds, he gritted his teeth and said coldly, No need. Hang up, I will contact you later. Asterisk. To the hospital. After getting off the car, Chiao Mian Mian was picked up by M.O. Yesi. Although the princess is very romantic, she said helplessly, I can go by myself. She was just bruised, not broken. But the man didn't mean to let her go, so she took her straight into the hospital. Along the way, I gained a lot of eyes. Chiao Mian Mian was so embarrassed that he buried his head in his chest again. M.O. Yesi hugged her and went directly to L.U. Rao's office. Come here, let me see, where did the little girl hurt? Just after coming out of the operating room, L.U. Rao's face was obviously tired, but when Chiao Mian Mian was held in by M.O. Yesi, he still she looked at her very carefully. Then he looked dumbfounded. He blinked and asked M.O. Yesi, as, where did the little girl hurt? Chiao Mian Mian had no obvious wounds. Is it an internal injury? L.U. Rao thought about it, and then looked at her again carefully, and found that she was ruddy and full of energy, and she didn't look like she was seriously injured. M.O. Yesi gently put Chiao Mian Mian on the sofa. Then he looked back to L.U. Rao's words, You have poor eyesight? She has so many bruises on her body that you can't see. L.U. Rao? M. Don't tell him, this girl's words are so serious. You have to let him personally show the little girl, is this Bruce? Thinking of this possibility, L.U. Rao's whole person is not good. So, you said the little girl was injured, do you mean these scratches? M.O. Yesi expressionless, said coldly, is there a problem? L.U. Rao. So M.O. Yesi, who had been doing surgery for ten hours in spite of him, had to let him personally show his wife the wound, really a Bruce? Is he still human? Is he still personal? This guy with opposite and no humanity. He's too much a man, there will be no friends in the future. L.U. Rao frantically said, Do you know how tired it is to have the operation for ten hours in a row? M.O. Yesi glanced at him and said lightly, I have done fifteen consecutive hours of surgery. I don't think it's a problem. L.U. Rao. How are you? You are an iron man, it does not mean that other people are also feeding you. M.O. Yesi didn't feel any guilt at all. Looking at his straightforward look, L.U. Rao was so angry that he wanted to deal with him like that. He groaned angrily, I said President M.O., Master M.O., you have also been a doctor for several years, your wife's injury is not serious, can't you see it? She doesn't need to come to the hospital for this bruise. Good or not? M.O. Yesi, let's go back. Chiao Mian Mian jumped off the sofa awkwardly. She walked in front of L.U. Rao and blushed and said, Dean, I'm sorry to disturb you. You don't care about him, I'm okay, I don't need to check, you go back and rest. She didn't know how M.O. Yesi was so kind. She just scratched her skin, so that the dean of a dazzling person personally examined her. Isn't this a waste of talent? Moreover, she was even more embarrassed when she knew L.U. Rao had not been out of the operating room for long. Even she felt that M.O. Yesi was really too much. If she had this kind of friend, she would definitely have lost it. Chiao Mian Mian finished, turned, and walked out the door. Just two steps later, he was caught by M.O. Yesi. The man pulled her back strongly, hugged her arms, lowered her head, bit her ear and whispered, if you don't let him check you, then I have to do it myself. Then, I will send you check it carefully inside and out. Baby, if you like me to check it for you, let's go now. Chiao Mian Mian froze. He looked up and gave him a shy and annoyed look. This rogue. M.O. Yesi looked at her round eyes and blushed cheeks, and chuckled from the throat, are you thinking about it? Does he check it, or do I check it? Asterisk. Under the insistence of M.O. Yesi, Chiao Mian Mian made a comprehensive and careful inspection. The inspection results came out, except for minor scratches, there is no problem in other aspects. L.U. Rao opened a bottle of iota 4, 
plus a bottle of Yunnan Bio. Mr. Mo, Master Mo, do you feel relieved now? He gave his teeth to Mo Yesi, saying one word after another. Mo Yesi took it over, read the instructions, and then turned and walked towards Xiaomian Mian. He opened the iota for, dipped it with a cotton swab a little, and lifted Xiao Mian's broken arm, it may be a little painful, you can bear it. I'll do it myself. Xiao Mian Mian was embarrassed to feel that there was a bitter look beside him looking at them. If it weren't for her, L. Yu Rao would have gone home and rested. Don't move. Mo Yesi held her and disinfected her bruises with iota for. Xiao Mian Mian gave a sigh of pain, and his small face wrinkled. Mo Yesi immediately stopped, it hurts. Xiao Mian Mian just opened her mouth and didn't say anything. He heard L. Yu Rao's tumbling tumbling sigh, little girl, I'm telling you, this is the first time that ACI is waiting for others. If you don't see it yourself, I don't even believe it. Even Miss Shen, who grew up with him, never received such treatment. As soon as L. Yu Rao's words fell, he felt a cold back, as if a cold rushed into his body. His goosebumps were cold all over. As soon as he looked up, Mo Yesi narrowed his eyes, his eyes cold, and looked at him with a warning in his eyes. L. Yu Rao froze for a few seconds before he realized that he seemed to be wrong. He hurriedly explained, Little girl, don't get me wrong. ACI and Miss Shen are pure friendships that are so pure that they can no longer be pure. They have known each other for so many years. If there is something, they will have been together for a long time. Xiao Mian Mian looked at L. Yu Rao dumbfounded. She didn't seem to say anything just now? Really, he and Miss Shen are just like brothers and sisters. Don't worry about it. L. Yu Rao seemed to be afraid of her unbelief and added another sentence. These two sentences made Xiao Mian Mian even more intimidating. Mo Yesi's face became darker and darker, and his eyes became colder and colder. L. Yu Rao suddenly discovered that he seemed to be darker and darker. He didn't explain what was going on. When he explained it, he made Mo Yesi look like Miss Shen. Seeing Mo Yesi's face getting more and more ugly, he held the thought that his life was important, and quickly got up and walked towards the door, well, there shouldn't be anything wrong with me here. I'm going, let's go to the sky and eat together, ha ha ha. After he finished speaking, he swept away his previous fatigue, and his feet seemed to be greased. In a blink of an eye, the man had already rushed out. Asterisk. After L. Yu Rao left. In the large dean's office, only Chiao Mian Mian and Mo Yesi were left. He continued to disinfect her wounds. When he started, he moved a lot softer than before. After wiping all the places where he fell, he sprayed Yunnan Bio again. When he wiped the wound on her leg, he squatted at her feet and gently lifted her calf. Warm breathing sprinkled on her lap from time to time. Some are wet and itchy. Xiao Mian Mian looked down at how he was seriously applying her medicine, and her heart beat suddenly. Probably because he was a doctor before, he seemed familiar with these things. After dealing with the abrasions on her body, Mo Yesi pressed her shoulder and carefully checked it to make sure there were no omissions before releasing her. Although it's only a slight bruise, you should pay attention. He reached out and put a strand of hair in front of her to the ear. After going back, remember to apply the medicine on time, don't forget. Well, I know. Xiao Mian Mian nodded obediently, and she still remembered to go back to school earlier, and then said, Can I go back to school now? Mo Yesi nodded. He lifted his watch and looked at the time, he should return to the company. There are still many things in the company that he has to deal with in person. This trip can be regarded as a busy time. Then let's go. Xiao Mian Mian has always been a good baby at school, and he has never skipped classes and left early. This afternoon's acting class was a tutor she liked very much, and she didn't want to miss it. Wait. Mo Yesi reached out and held her shoulder, her lips moved, as if to say something. Xiao Mian Mian blinked, is there anything else? He frowned lightly, 
a little hesitation flashed in his eyes, waited for a while, and said, I can explain to you the thing Liu Rao said just now. Chiao Mian and Mian and black question mark face. She was stunned for a while, explain, what do you mean? Mo Yesi's deep and charming dark colored eyes stared at her for a while, and his expression seriously said, the Miss Shen that Liu Rao said is called Shen Ro. It's a Shen consortium. I was with her since childhood. Growing up. My grandfather Shen and my grandfather are friends, so our relationship has always been good. In the past, the two people had plans to marry, but neither Shen Ro nor I had any meaning in this regard. Just do it. Mian Mian, Shen Ro is two years younger than me. In my heart, she is the same as my sister. So, you don't mind her presence. Chiao Mian Mian. She, don't mind. She didn't seem to say that she minded. Why did he and Liu Rao think they would misunderstand it? She really did not misunderstand, and did not think too much, okay. Moreover, even if he really had anything with Miss Shen, she would not mind. His marriage with her is just to get what he needs, and there is no element of love. She needed him to perform surgery for Chiao Chen. He chose her because she was the only woman who would not let him reject. If she does not have such particularity, he cannot choose a woman like her to marry. Chiao Mian Mian is very self-knowledge, knowing his position, he will not be jealous. However, in view of Mo Yesi's careful explanation, she responded, Well, I understand. You can rest assured, I won't mind her. Mo Yesi looked at her for a moment, really don't mind. Really? She focused on her head. Did you just say that, you think she is a sister? I believe you. Well, don't be cranky. Mo Yesi reached out and touched her head her lips chuckling lightly, okay, let's go, I will send you back to school. Asterisk. The other side. After Zhang Luli sent a text message to Su Ziyi, Su Ziyi received the text message and immediately went to Jiao Mian Mian. Zhou Angzhen was with him. The two are choosing jewelry in a jewelry store. Brother Azer, do I wear this necklace to look good? Jiao Angzhen was trying a pink diamond necklace. After she put it on, she looked at Suzi with a charming smile. Suzi glanced at her, absent-minded. He hesitated for two seconds, drew a black card from the bag, handed it to Zhou Angzen, and said softly, Baby, I'm in a hurry, I can't stay with you anymore. Just buy whatever you like, wait for me come back with you when you're done, will you? When he heard that he was leaving, Zhou felt dissatisfied and said, What's the hurry? You said you would accompany me today. Before Su Ziyi opened his mouth, Chiao Angzen looked down at the phone he pinched in his hand and doubted, Brother Aze, who did you chat with just now? I. Su Ziyi looked at her, hesitated, and told the truth, reassure, the girl in the same bedroom as Mian Mian just texted me that Mian Mian was in trouble and let me pass. She seemed anxious, and I was worried that Mian Mian would be hurt. Hearing something related to Jiao Mian Mian, Jiao An's face suddenly changed. Her eyes were deep, and when she looked up at Su Ziyi, she was worried and asked anxiously, What's wrong with my sister? I don't know. Su Ziyi frowned. But if it's not a very troublesome thing, Zhang Luli won't come to me. So. I understand what you mean. Jiao An calmly patted Su Ziyi's hand on the back of his hand, empathizing. If my sister is really in trouble, we will of course help her. But, in before that, I think I still understand what happened, and then make a decision, what do you think? What do you mean? I have a school with my sister. I also have many friends in the school. So, I will call my friend now and let her know what is going on. If my sister is really in trouble, my friend will not will sit and watch. Letting her help her sister is also much faster than we are now, isn't it? So Ziyi thought for a while and thought her words made sense, then nodded and said, Okay, then please call and ask. After a minute, Chiao Angzen hung up the phone. 
She smiled and said to Suzi, It is clear that it is a small dispute between the students, it does not matter. Suzi was stunned, just a small dispute between classmates. What did Zhang Luli say seriously? Yet. Xiaoan held his arm and leaned on him with a rather helpless tone. I lied to you. That's my sister. If she is really bullied, can I not worry about her? But. Brother Azer. Xiao Ang's inside again, his voice quietly, I have a word, I don't know if I should say it. Su so Zi looked down at her, what is it? Xiao An bit the corner of her lips with a bit of grudge, I think my sister is still thinking about you. Brother Aze, you are so good, she must not be reconciled to separate you like that. She is now making excuses to let you see you. She was. Otherwise, I really don't understand, it's just a small quarrel between classmates, why did she let you go? Su so Zi froze. I don't know why, after hearing Chiao Angzen say this, he felt a guilty joy in his heart. Does Chiao Mian Mian still miss him? Does this also mean that she still has feelings for him and can't forget him? Her previous indifference and alienation were pretended. Yes, it must be. She has always been an arrogant girl. When she encountered his betrayal, how could she not be angry, complain, or hate? But this does not mean that she does not love him anymore. How could their feelings for so many years be forgotten, they can be forgotten. Thinking of this, Su so Zi became all happy. He hid the hint of joy in his heart and reached out to hug Chiao Angzen into his arms, Baby, are you jealous? I am now with you now only you are in my heart. No matter what Mian Mian thinks, it is impossible for me and her. Brother Azer Chiaoan bitterly grieved her lips and reached out to hug him. I know you are the only one in my heart, but I'm still scared. What are you afraid of? Looking at the red corners of her arms, the pitiful little man, Suzuxin felt pity, bowed her head to kiss her forehead, and said softly, My people and my heart are yours, you what else are you afraid of? Not to mention expelling the problematic student, he can even replace the principal in one sentence. But Chen Gui's. Wei Zheng thought about it and said the truth, M.O. Zone, Shen Gui is a well-known medium-sized enterprise, the scale is not small, and there is no problem in terms of revenue. Suddenly talk to them about acquisitions, I am afraid that Chen Gui is unwilling. M.O. Yesi raised his head, and when those cold eyes looked at Wei Zheng, Wei Zheng dared not speak. As you say, Mo wants to buy a company but also depends on the other party's willingness to decide whether to accept the acquisition. As soon as Wei Zheng heard this, he was terrified, and he hurriedly said, M.O. Zong, I don't mean that. M.O. Yeji narrowed his eyes, smashing the document on the table with a slap, and said coldly, if you don't want to, then short Chen Chen's stock market, directly let Chen Gui go bankrupt. By then, they only will beg M.O. Shi to buy. Wei Zheng's eyes showed surprise. Shorting Shen Gui's stock market? You have to spend a lot of money in it. Although Mo's money is not lacking, the original intention of the acquisition is to make a profit. But if President Mo is doing this, he is not going to make money at all. This is to lose money. He has been with Mozambique for several years, but he has never seen Mozambique doing business at a loss. This is really the first time. Wei Zheng felt that all the abnormal things that President Mo has done recently seem to be related to Mrs. Xiao. This time, is it not related to Mrs. Young again? Yes, President Mo. Although Wei Zheng was in doubt, the boss had spoken. In addition to following the orders, did he dare to ask one more question? President Mo said that if Shen Gui was to go bankrupt, then Shen Gui would have to go bankrupt regardless of whether it is cold or not. Asterisk. The next day. Xiao Mian Mian heard about Shen Yuyu and Zhao wanting being expelled from school. Because the nature is bad, the school reports. At the same time. In the afternoon of that day, the major financial news channels were reporting Shen Gui Group's bankruptcy overnight, saying that Shen Gui's stock price fell into a dog overnight 
and there was no chance of saving. Shengui is also a well-known local enterprise. It has been in business for more than 20 years and has not experienced any economic crisis. In just one night, the property suddenly broke, which surprised all the people who ate melons. Everyone speculated about the reason for Shengui's bankruptcy. Some people say that Shengui had a problem internally, but it has been concealed from the outside world. It is now unsustainable and finally exposed. Others said that Shengui's boss offended someone, and someone deliberately wanted to kill Shengui. If it is the latter, Shenghui can be finished overnight, one can imagine how amazing the other party's power and financial resources are. When everyone guessed, Gu Xiaonian was surprised when he heard the news. She texted Mo Yesi, Shengui's bankruptcy, did you do it? Mo Yesi returned quickly, um. Seeing her reply, Xiao Mian froze for two seconds. She asked again, is it because of me? Mo Yesi, yes. Xiao Mian Mian. Even if she doesn't know much about these things in business, she understands that it is definitely not a simple matter to let a small company go bankrupt overnight. She never thought that Mo Yesi would do this for her. In fact, she didn't suffer any losses yesterday. Speaking, it was Shen Yuyu and her group who suffered the losses. She thought that beating the group of people and letting them go into the game, the punishment was enough. Who would have thought that Mo Yesi even made Du's company bankrupt? Isn't it too domineering to say bankruptcy? After a while, Mo Yesi sent her another text message. No class now? Xiao Mian Mian recovered from his days and replied to him, Well, this morning the class is over. There are two classes in the afternoon. Mo Yesi, come down. Xiao Mian Mian looked at the text message from him, froze for two seconds, and replied dumbly, Come down? What do you mean? As soon as her text message was sent, Mo Yesi's call came. Connected. The man's low magnetic voice came into his ears, I'm downstairs in your dormitory, come down. Xiao Mian Mian. She was terrified. Mo Yesi came to their school again? And, now downstairs in the girl's dormitory? Xiao Mian Mian opened the door and walked out of the bedroom, and saw a crowd of people in the corridor, all looking downstairs with excitement and excitement. Wow, there is a handsome man standing downstairs. Isn't that the handsome guy who took Xiao Mian Mian away yesterday, he is here again. Xiao Mian Mian is too happy, just broke up with Su Zi, and found a high-profile handsome boyfriend. Cut, is it not necessarily a boyfriend? It may be the man who supported her. No, such a handsome man still needs to support a woman? Even if it is really a support, don't you want to be supported by such a man? Anyway. I really think about it, I don't want to give me money, I am willing. After listening to the discussion, Xiao Mian Mian twitched her lips and glanced down at the probe. At a glance, she saw the man standing long under the tree. The sunlight fell through the gaps between the leaves, and the mottled light shone on his handsome three-dimensional face, as if coating his deep features with a light golden halo. He wore a suit and leather shoes. A hand-cut black suit was properly worn on him, and called his perfect proportion. The long legs of the sky wrapped in suit pants are extremely eye-catching. And that cold temperament made him hormonal burst. All the girls passing by him blushed. A few girls thought about going to talk and just walked towards him for two steps, but they were repelled by his indifferent vision that had no trace of temperature. He seemed to be full of the words don't be close to others. Xiao Mian Mian once again deeply felt that the misogyny of Mo Yesi really existed. Except for her, he was really repulsive and cold to other women. The woman's proactive approach really disgusted him. Seemingly aware of her gaze, Mo Yesi suddenly looked up. She looked straight at her. The sight of the two collided in midair, and the moment she saw her, the indifference and alienation in the man's eyes went away and the coldness and displeasure in the eyes disappeared instantly. The pair of eyes that were originally only cold and dark, there was a touch of soft light. At this moment, Xiao Mian Mian's heart thumped fiercely. Asterisk. 
Xiaomi and Mian trot downstairs. As soon as she walked in front of Mo Yesi, the man spread his arms, stretched out his hand and pulled her into his arms, hugging him hard. He hugged very tightly. Like he wished to embed her in his body, buried her head in her hair, took a deep breath, and said hoarsely, Mian Mian, do you miss me? Xiao Mian Mian felt his body stiff and cold when he was embraced by Mo Yesi. But soon, his stiff body slowly relaxed, and his arms gradually warmed up. His cool lips stuck to her earlobe, kissed, and continued to ask in a low, hoarse voice, Do you miss me? Hmm. There are several sensitive areas on Xiao Mian Mian's body, and the earlobe is one of them. The man still rubbed her earlobe with her wet lips from time to time and the feeling of numbness spread all over her body, and her body suddenly softened with no effort. The whole person, lying weak in his arms. M.O. Yesi. Thinking that it was downstairs in the girl's dormitory, so many people were watching, she blushed and gasped softly, Don't be here. Baby, don't move. M.O. Yesi tightened his arms and kissed her hair with her head down, a trace of tiredness revealed in her low, hoarse voice. I'm so tired, you just let me hug me for a minute. Just a minute it is good. Hearing the tiredness in his voice, he felt as if he was really tired. Chiao Mian Mian hesitated, and he obediently nestled in his arms, letting him hug himself. Countless unknown eyes fell on the two. Looking at the man who was cold to the other woman in the previous second, the next second, he was so tender and lingering to the girl in her arms and the envy and jealous eyes appeared in the eyes of many onlookers. I wish I could immediately replace Xiao Mian Mian's position, and experience what it's like to be held in the arms of such a great guy. After a minute, Mo Yesi was like a well-supported lion, and finally released Xiao Mian Mian. The man's deep, three-dimensional handsome face disappeared a lot from his tiredness. As if in a minute, a lot of energy was restored. When I spoke again, my voice was not so tired. Have you ever had lunch? Xiao Mian Mian looked at him in a daze, shook his head, no. She was about to eat, but he came. You, why are you here? Xiao Mian Mian was a little dizzy. For two days, he ran to school to find her during working hours. Eh, does he work leisurely? She knows that he is a big boss and he has free working hours and is not subject to the restrictions of 9 to 5. However, she felt that at first glance he was the kind of person with a very self-discipline in life, whether it was work or other aspects, it should be arranged regularly and planned. It's not like his style in the middle. Mo Yesi's dark eyes stared at her, and there seemed to be thick ink that could not be melted, I want to see you, so I'm here. ER being accidentally stunned, Xiao Mian Mian's small heart thumped. The man's eyes were deep, and there was a black shadow under his eyes, you were absent last night, and I lost sleep. Xiao Mian Mian. She didn't know about Mo Yesi's poor sleep. Just thought he was teasing her again. His face couldn't help being hot, and the small heart thumped faster. But the fact is that Mo Yesi really didn't sleep well last night. After sleeping for two or three hours intermittently, I woke up several times in the middle. Even if I fell asleep, it was a nightmare. The nightmare that accompanied him for twenty years, haunted him like a devil. Once he fell asleep, he would torture him in his dream. He could only breathe when she was there. Xiao Mian Mian blushed, looked up at him, and saw his eyes covered with red blood. It seems that there is indeed no rest. His warm and humid breath sprayed on her face, and the thin, lips pressed down. Soon, he was about to kiss her. Xiao Mian Mian's heart was beating wildly, his eyelashes fluttered, and his eyes closed in a panic. Waiting. One second passed, two seconds passed. The man's hot and hot lips did not fall on her lips. Xiao Mian Mian opened his eyes suspiciously, but saw Mo Yesi bowing his seat belt. She was? So, just now she was making love for herself? She thought people wanted to kiss her, only to help her fasten her seat belt. For a time, 
Chiao Mian Mian was so embarrassed that he wanted to dig a hole and drill in. Just now, she even gave a little anticipation to that kiss. Eh, really? Asterisk. Chiao Mian Mian's face was still hot until he reached the place to eat. She dare not look at Mo Yesi directly. The place where Mo Yesi brought her was naturally a variety of tall people. The restaurant owner personally came out to greet him, and took the two into the VIP box in the backyard with respect. The decoration style of the restaurant is very classical, like the aristocratic mansion in ancient times. After taking the menu, Mo Yesi didn't read it and handed it directly to Chiao Mian Mian, order what you like to eat. Oh. Chiao Mian Mian took it over, and turned to read a page, and was shocked by the high price. I went, did you make a mistake? A crab tofu actually costs thousands of pieces? Moreover, this is still a very cheap dish. For other seafood, or shanzhen, any dish will cost tens of thousands. She feels that Mo Yesi brought her to this place, which is much more expensive than the last rotating restaurant consumption. Chiao Mian Mian turned over for a long time, and finally got a cheapest fried cabbage. But a plate of fried cabbage actually costs a few hundred pieces. I've finished ordering. You can order other dishes. She handed the hot menu to Mo Yesi. Mo Yesi took over and turned, then asked the waiter, how many dishes did we order? The waiter respectfully said, Mr. Huey Mo, you only ordered one dish. Mo Yesi froze, only one dish was ordered? What dish? Waiter, garlic cabbage. Mo Yesi. His eyebrows twitched fiercely, and he looked up at Chiao Mian Mian, you ordered a little cabbage. This is to let people know that he Mo Yesi took a woman out for dinner, the other party only ordered the cheapest fried cabbage, do not know what he would be laughed at. Yeah, what's the matter? Don't you like cabbage? Chiao Mian Mian blinked innocently. No. Forget it, let me order it. For the first time in his life, he met a woman who wanted to save him money. Mo Yesi had a very complicated heart. Isn't this little thing unclear how rich her husband is? Otherwise, how could you think of saving him money? He sighed lightly, as though he was helpless, picked up the pen, scrubbed some of the most expensive dishes, and then ordered Chiao Mian Mian an ice cream after dinner. The last time I took her to the revolving restaurant, she seemed to like ice cream. After the waiter leaves, Mo Yesi reached out and put Chiao Mian Mong, who was sitting beside him, into his arms. He squeezed her jaw and leaned over the corner of her lips and kissed it gently, not that I told you, don't save me money. I'm not too poor to let you eat little cabbage. Baby, your husband is very I have money, and I can't spend it in my life. What I want to see is not how you save money for me. I hope you can be a prodigal prodigal woman who spends every day outside. Chiao Mian Mian only reacted at this moment. It turned out that Mo Yesi said that sleeping was simply referring to the literal meaning. She actually wanted to be crooked again? Thinking of the various brain supplements she had just made, she was guilty of cancer. Ah, she just thought people were shameless, she was a big bad wolf, and she didn't respect her enough. It turned out that she wanted to be dirty. The kiss at the beginning, and now, it was all her passions. When did her thinking become so dirty? Fortunately, Mo Yesi had fallen asleep, and did not know that she wanted to distort it, otherwise, she was really embarrassed and burst. Chiao Mian Mian's face was hot and hot, and every pore seemed to radiate heat. No need to look, she knew her face must be red. The man's slender, tall body pressed against her, motionless, and Chiao Mian Mian under him looked particularly petite and the whole person was covered by him. Her face, facing his jaw, moved her head a little, and she would touch his throat. In the breath, it was all the clear and charming breath of the man. His warm and moist breath was on her neck, and every time he breathed, Chiao Mian Mian felt itchy on her neck. The room is quiet enough for each other's breath to be heard clearly. The sunlight fell from the window and shone on the wooden floor, 
and a clear and sweet bird cry came from the courtyard. M.O. Yesi. Chiao Mian Mian whispered, couldn't believe he just fell asleep. Is this the speed of falling asleep too fast? Less than two minutes before lying on her body, did she fall asleep? Didn't he say that every time he couldn't sleep, he wouldn't be sleepy? The man was silent, still motionless. M.O. Yesi? Are you really asleep? Chiao Mian Mian called him softly again, pressed by such a tall and tall man, she felt that she was about to be crushed. In particular, M.O. Yesi still has a strong and muscular body. After being so heavily pressed, she really feels that she will be squashed. The man still didn't respond. Obviously, he has fallen asleep. Moreover, he slept deeply. Chiao Mian Mian pressed to the point of being unable to move. What is his sleeping position? Did he sleep on others like this? How tall and how heavy is he, can he press on her, he has no point in his heart. She's really, fast, want, pant, no, ever, get angry. Chiao Mian Mian wanted to kick him off with a kick, but when he thought of the words he had said before, he felt an unbearable heart. Forget it. He finally fell asleep, and after seeing him help her so many times and treat her well, she just, try to be patient. Asterisk. I don't know if it was influenced by M.O. Yesi. Within a few minutes, Chiao Mian Mian was also a little sleepy. When she woke up again, she found her in the car. She was wearing M.O. Yesi's suit jacket, and the man who was sleeping on her was sitting in the driver's seat, driving the car intently. As soon as she opened her eyes, she heard his voice beside her, Wake up! Did you sleep well? Chiao Mian Mian rubbed his eyes, How come I fell asleep? She was completely unclear when she fell asleep and when he got into the car. Obviously she accompanied him to sleep. In the end, it made her awake for a long time. M.O. Yesi gently lifted his lips, Then you have to ask yourself. When I woke up, you were already asleep and slept very deeply. I called you and you didn't wake up. I just had to you got in the car. E.R. Chiao Mian Mian stretched his hand to touch his face, a little embarrassed. She slept very well last night, and she didn't know how she got stuck like this at noon today. Then did you sleep well? Chiao Mian Mian turned his head and looked at him. He felt that his mental state seemed to be much better and he looked less tired. Ah, very good. M.O. Yesi mouth happily raised, Mian Mian, thank you. Even if it was only a short hour, his physical and mental relief was much better. The quality of sleep that hour was much better than the three or four hours he had at night. I didn't wake up halfway, nor did I have a nightmare. Wake up and feel like a rebirth. Thank me. Chiao Mian Mian looked at him suspiciously, Thank me for what? A red light was on in front. M.O. Yesi stopped the car, turned his head, and stared at her deeply, Thank you for sleeping with me. This hour, I slept very comfortably. Cough cough cough. Chiao Mian Mian coughed violently. What does he say, should it be so ambiguous? She coughed and burst into tears, gasping for a few breaths, looking at him with accusations in her eyes. M.O. Yesi, can you speak more normally? What does it mean to thank her for sleeping with him? What's more comfortable to sleep? Anyone who hears this will think more. Hey? What's wrong? M.O. Yesi looked at the girl's delicate cheeks with a blush, tears in her dark and vigorous eyes, and stared at him with accusations. Very compassionate. How cute you really are. Maybe she didn't know herself. When she was angry and glaring, she was not fierce at all, but rather a very soft and cute look. Look at the milk fierce milk fierce. Much like a little milk dog or a little milk cat, the more fierce, the more people want to tease. You ask for it. Chiao Mian Mian growled angrily. M.O. Yesi was confused and raised his eyebrows, you don't say, how do I know? Do you mean to accompany me to sleep or sleep comfortably? If these two sentences, I really don't understand we're not normal. 
After finishing speaking, before Chiao Mian Mian spoke, he raised his eyebrows again, and humorously raised the corner of his lips, Baby, wouldn't you want to be crooked? I thought I meant, going to bed with you? Although I am I thought about it, but if I want to, I will not wrong you in that place. When his last voice fell, he saw the girl next to him quickly covered with blush, and the white and delicate little face instantly turned into a gorgeous crimson. You. I won't tell you any more. Chiao Mian Mian was teasing and was about to blow out. He simply turned his head to stop looking at him, and he didn't want to say another word to him. M.O. Yesi this man is really abominable. Did he tease her when she was a cat, dog, or dog he raised? He's really terrible. From now on, she should never say another word to him. No way. Asterisk. Chiao Mian Mian said that. Until M.O. Yesi sent her to school, she didn't say a word to him. After she parked the car, she unfastened her seat belt and dropped a sentence of goodbye before she got off. Click. She reached out to pull the door, but heard the door locked. Beside him, the man smiled lowly, still angry with me? Baby, I just made a joke with you. Are you planning to ignore me in the future? Chiao Mian Mian didn't pull the door, turned his head angrily, glared at him with a lip corner, you open the door, I'm going down. M.O. Yes he hooked his lips, then you kiss me, I will let you get off. She was annoyed by him and angrily said, I don't. Before the last word was spoken, the man stretched his hand into his arms. Um. M.O. Yes he bowed his head and kissed deeply, holding her jaw to lift her face, wantonly plundering the sweet breath between her lips and teeth. The taste of the girl in her arms is too beautiful. At first, I just wanted to taste a little bit, kissed and kissed, and I was a little out of control. The gentle shallow kiss became a hot deep kiss that almost sucked away all human souls. Inside the cabin, the temperature is increasing. The air was filled with ambiguous breath. The subtle noise between the lips and teeth made people blush and heartbeat. The petite person in his arms softened into a puddle of water. The white and tender little hands pulled the buttons of his shirt weakly. His breathing was disordered and his red face was like a peach blossom in March. M.O. Yesi was moved by this kiss. The arm around the girl's thin waist couldn't help but penetrate into her dress. Um, don't. Suddenly the chest was cold, and Chiao Mian Mian suddenly recovered from the confusion, and reached out with a red face and pushed him away. M.O. Yesi was a little refreshed by her push. He raised his head, his dark and hot eyes looked at the girl who was flushed with his kiss. His hot eyes fell on the girl's red, swollen, and delicate lips. After a few seconds, he moved away. His breath was a little quick, and his voice was hoarse and unreasonable, Baby, what should I do? Chiao Mian Mian's blushing horse and his fast-beating horse didn't dare to look at him at all, What should I do? M.O. Yesi looked at her with a fixed gaze, his eyes dark as the deep sea, I'm hungry. Are you hungry? Chiao Mian Mian hadn't reacted for a while, and wondered, it's not because I didn't eat lunch too much. The last word, after feeling something abnormal in the man, shyly and panicked it back. M.O. Yesi. Chiao Mian Mian was really panicked. She reached out and pushed on the man's sturdy chest. The tone was weak, with a request, I want to get off, you let me go. Baby. M.O. Yesi's hands around her waist were tight, and her low, hoarse voice was forbearing, Don't be afraid, I like you so I can react to you like this. Be a little bit, don't move, otherwise I can't guarantee that I'll get you out of control. When Chiao Mian Mian heard this, he suddenly dared not move. She sat stiff in his arms. M.O. Yesi's body was also tight, he hugged her tightly, gasping for a few quick breaths on her shoulder. After a few minutes, his breath slowly calmed down. Chiao Mian Mian bit her lip and cried, You, are you better? Can you let me go? For these few minutes, for her, it was so hot. M.O. Yesi reached out and touched her head, squeezed her jaw and kissed her, dumb throat said, Well, go, I will take you downstairs. 
No, I'm still. Xiaomian Mian instinctively wanted to refuse, before the words were finished, he felt the man's face dimmed, his eyes cold, I don't want me to send you? I don't think I can take it, I don't want people to know you are with me. No. Xiao Mian froze for a moment and immediately shook his head to deny it. How could he not take it? He is like this, it is quite handy. It was because she was so good that she did not want him to give it away. He frequently ran to school these past two days, and has already drawn a lot of hatred for her. Moyesi opened the door of the car and said in a strong tone that she could not refuse, then I will send you and get off. Asterisk. After getting off the car, Moyesi took her hand. His palms were very white and warm, and her hands were wrapped in his palms, giving her a feeling of stability. It seems that once this hand is held, it can be held for a lifetime. The two walked hand in hand on the tree-lined path on campus. Moyesi is dressed in a suit and leather, dressed in the style of a social elite, with a deep and beautiful face, a distinguished an aura of aura, and a charm of coldness and abstinence, all of which are eye-catching. Not to mention, he also has a perfect body with long legs and strong legs. With a height of nearly 190, no matter where he appears, he gives a sense of standing out. Along the way, I don't know how many girls were peeking at him, screaming excitedly at him. Do you know who that man is? Super handsome. Is the girl next to him Xiaomian Mian? Xiaomian Mian didn't break up with Suzi. How could he be with another man? I heard that Jiao Mian Mian had split another man. So ZK broke up with her, wouldn't it be this man? So Zi looks so handsome, and she comes from a rich family. She has always been spoiled for her, and she will even go to cheat? I think the man she is looking for now has no advantages other than being handsome. Can he have So Zi and have money? Yes. I also heard that So Zi gave Jiao Mian and Mian and a big breakup fee. Could this man be the little white face she was looking for? Originally, after knowing that So Zi and Jiao Mian and Mian broke up, many people were waiting to see her jokes. Thought she would be miserable. But who knows, they just broke up and immediately found another one so handsome. Regardless of whether this man has money or not, this value alone makes many people seriously jealous. Why does Jiao Mian Mian have boyfriends one after another, and one more handsome than the other? Jiao Mian Mian did not hear these comments. Asterisk. Moyesi sent Jiao Mian Mian to the girl's dormitory. Go up. He let go of the hand holding her and lifted his jaw towards her. I watched you go up. Oh, that. Then I will go up. You should go back to work as soon as possible. The moment he let go, Xiao Mian Mian felt that his heart was a little empty, a little uncomfortable. He was led by him for ten minutes. He doesn't hold her anymore, is she not used to it? She waved at him, goodbye. After finishing speaking, turned and walked upstairs. Mian Mian. Xiao Mian Mian had just taken two steps and heard a man whispering her name behind him. The tone is actually rare and gentle. Xiao Mian Mian felt a sudden movement and stopped. She turned around slowly, is there anything else? Mo Yesi strode forward, looked down at her, and smiled with a smile, well, I forgot something. What? As soon as the words fell, she was embraced by him and hugged hard. The man gently kissed without any end, and gently fell between her forehead, have a good meal, go to school, sleep well. Also. Remember to miss me. My cell phone is open for you 24 hours, call me when you miss me, if you want to see me, I will come to you immediately. Xiao Mian Mian felt his heartbeat stopped at this moment. Asterisk. Mo Yesi watched her upstairs before turning around and leaving. To the parking lot. When he went to pick up the car, a red KN drove over and stopped opposite him. The door opened and a woman in a white long dress came out of it. The woman's long hair shawl, wearing a fairy white lace dress, looks soft and delicate, looking at it makes people want to protect her. She had just got out of the car and another woman came down. 
After getting out of the car, the woman opened the umbrella in her hand and walked towards the woman in the white dress. Her mouth still complained in a low voice, Why is it so hot today? It feels like it's about to be roasted. Reassure, I really don't understand why you have to go back to school at this time. The woman in the white dress is Joan. After she got out of the car, she was attracted by the long, straight figure on the opposite side. The man turned his back to her, walked to a luxurious Lamborghini sports car, and then opened the door to get on the car. At that moment, Joan's heartbeat accelerated uncontrollably. It's him. The man who was intimate with Joe in the revolving restaurant. Even if I saw him last time and hadn't seen him frontally, I didn't know exactly what he looked like, but with this back view, Joe Engson could be sure that he was definitely the man before. Not many men can be impressive just by their backs. But this man, she will never forget it. Chiao Engson had long guessed that the new man that Chiao Mian Mian was looking for must be rich, but after seeing the Lamborghini worth tens of millions, she was still not calm. Whether it was the last Rolls Royce with the global limitation, or this Lamborghini, it shows that this man is not only rich, but also powerful. His identity is absolutely prominent. Last time she wrote down the license plate number, after going back, the trustee asked someone to check, but found nothing. All information about this man is blank. The person she was looking for could not be found at all. It is said that the other party's identity is unusual, and all information is password added. At that time, Joan was very calm. To what extent should the status of the status be prominent to achieve such a degree? Shi Chiao Mian Mian, what kind of big man is there? As soon as she thought that the other party might be more powerful than Su Zi, she felt extremely uncomfortable. It was not easy for her to hook up with a man as good as Su Zi, who thought she was a career love double crush on Chiao Mian Mian, but this mysterious man suddenly appeared, making her begin to feel threatened. Seeing that the man got into the car, he was about to drive away, and Zhou An walked towards him with a heart. Relax, where are you going? Behind her agent, she saw her walking towards a Lamborghini sports car, stunned, and followed with doubt. After Chiao Angzen walked over, he saw that the windows were all closed and reached out to knock on the window next to the driver's seat. Reassure, what are you doing? Do you know the people inside? Linda came over to see her knocking on the car window, and asked in doubt. Chiao Angzen ignored her. The people in the car didn't seem to react. After she knocked on the window, the black window was still tightly closed. Sir, hello, I'm Chiao Mian Mian's sister. Excuse me, do you know my sister? Chiao and persevered again on the car window. After a few seconds, the window slowly fell. When he saw the man sitting in the car, Joe felt relieved that he had stopped breathing. The heartbeat also missed a beat. The car was parked in the shade and the window was only half open, but this did not prevent her from seeing the man in the car. The man is facing her side, just a side profile. It can be seen that the outline of his facial features is very deep and three-dimensional. Every line on his face is like a sculpture. His nose is very tall and very straight, his lips are very thin and sexy, and his appearance is far beyond the beauty she imagined. Not only is not old, but also very young, only 25 years old visually. Chiaoan is in the entertainment circle, there is no shortage of good-looking men around her, and Su Zi's appearance is also one of a kind handsome. She thinks that she still has a certain immunity to good-looking men. But the man in the car gave her an instant feeling of heartbeat. Su Zi's handsomeness is not worth mentioning in front of him. This is a handsome and suffocating man. I'm afraid that any woman who meets him can't resist his charm. The man who thought Chiao Mian Mian was rich, but he was just an old and ugly old man, could not be compared with Su Zi. But now, looking at this handsome and noble man in the car, Zhou An was deeply jealous. What she wanted to see was how Chiao Mian Mian and Su Zi broke up and how sad and jokeful they were. But who could have thought that the little had even found someone so handsome and so rich? If this man is richer and more powerful than Su Zi, 
what superiority does she have in front of Xiaomian Mian? Jealousy distorted her facial expression. She bit her lips tightly and endured the discomfort in her heart. She squeezed a sweet smile from her lips that she thought was the best look, Sir, last time I rotated in Lijing at the restaurant, I saw you and my sister together. So I just saw you and wanted to say hello. Sir, did I admit the wrong person, did you know my sister? In the car. M.O. Yesi raised his head and looked indifferently, are you a young sister? The man's face is even more beautiful, cool and clear, which gives Jiao Angzhen a very strong visual impact. She opened her eyes wide, full of surprise, staring at him staring. She always felt that Su Zi was good enough. She has always been proud and proud that she can catch such a high-quality man as Su Zi. Su Zi is young, beautiful and well-known, and she is very gentle and ready to her. She is a peerless man who is hard to find with lanterns. Knowing that she and Su Zi formally communicated, her good sisters did not know how much she envied her. It is said that her life is good, and when she marries into the Su family later, it is Mrs. Kuamenkuo. Therefore, she has always had a strong sense of superiority. Originally, she thought she was already a winner in life, but at this moment, in addition to being jealous, she was still jealous. Crazy jealousy made her unwilling and hateful. She clenched her fists and said in a charming voice, Yes. Sir, I don't know you. Before the words were finished, M.O. Yesi interrupted her coldly, Mian Mian has not told me that she still has a sister. The smile on Joan's lips froze. Chiao Mian Mian, that little bitch, was it so scheming? I have found such a good man still wanting to hide, so that she will not know? Sir, I am really her sister. After a few seconds, Chiao Angzhen recovered her smile again. She reached out her hair and twitched her hair intentionally or unintentionally, my name is Chiao Angzhen. Nice to meet you. Don't know what to call the husband. M.O. Yesi looked coldly at this woman who scratched her head in front of herself, only feeling disgusted and disgusted. He has seen more women with ulterior motives like Zhou Angzen. She knew what she was thinking. He wouldn't have looked at such a woman unless he wanted to know what idea she had in mind. He endured the disgust in his heart and said coldly, I am not interested in knowing what your name is, and you don't deserve to know my name. If you come here and tell me these words, you can go. The indifference and disdain of the man showed up unabashedly. He only glanced at her then looked away, and never looked at her again. And a glance of only one second was full of deep disgust and alienation. Chiao Angzhen instantly changed his face. For a while, the more ugly the expression on the face, the more ugly. She thinks that she is still very popular in the opposite sex, from small to big, but all the men she likes will eventually fall under her pomegranate skirt. Did Su Zi even break up with Chiao Mian Mian for her? She is self-possessed and beautiful, thinking that her initiative will inevitably make M.O. Yesi hooked, thinking that he will be able to be easily caught by her just like the men in the past. Unexpectedly, not only did he not take the bait, but he also showed a very disgusting look to her. This caused Joan, who had never lost his hand on the matter of sultry men, to be deeply hit. There was a look of shame and indignation on her face, Sir, if you say that you are too gentlemanly. Gentlemanly manner. M.O. Yesi sarcastically raised his lips. You are not worthy to make me treat you like that. After being faced off again and again, Chiao Angzhen was even embarrassed and angry at this time even if he was interested in him, this gentleman, are you a big man? You are too arrogant. As soon as the words fell, Chiao Angzhen felt a cold eye fall on her. The man's eyes were extremely cold without a trace of temperature. When she looked at her, her gaze was sharp and sharp, as if a sharp dagger with a cold mane pricked at her. Uncontrollably spreading all over the body, Joan felt trembling uncomfortably. Fear grew in her heart, and under the oppressive eyes of the man, she dared not say another word. Linda standing behind her was also shocked by M.O. Yesi's aura, and the atmosphere didn't dare to take a breath. 
Mo Yesi looked at the only woman outside the car window, his brow furrowed, and he went to the car window and planned to leave. If this woman is not Jiao Mianmian's sister, he will not waste this time on her. Sir, wait, I have something to tell you. It's about my sister. Seeing that he was leaving, Jiao and hurriedly said, I don't know how long you and my sister have known each other, but she and her fiancé didn't break up for a few days. She was with you so quickly, you don't mind at all. Sister loves her fiancé very much. They have known each other for ten years, and their feelings are not comparable to that of ordinary people. The sister broke up with him, and she will certainly not forget him. But she is with you in such a situation, you just don't you worry that she has another purpose. But if he is really a big man, how can Chiao Mian Mian fit in? How did she hook up? Chiao Angzhen was frustrated by the man for the first time. It was still a man who made her disturbed. This made her very unwilling and unconvinced. A man who can handle Chiao Mian Mian, how could she be at ease with her peace of mind? Since she could so Zi from Chiao Mian Mian, she could also the handsome and noble man from her. Although the man's indifference and alienation hit her, it also aroused her inner desire to conquer. Men in good condition are not so easy to reach. What's more, the man's condition is not looking good. Even if there is such a bit of arrogance, it is normal. The more arrogant he is, the more she wants to get him. She didn't believe it, and there was a man whom she couldn't reach with peace of mind. Sister Zhao Jiaoan felt jealous of Jiao Mian Mian in her heart, so naturally she didn't want to make her feel better. She turned and said to Linda, Did I find a substitute for the next drama? Not yet. Linda was a little puzzled. How could she ask about this matter, but she still answered her words, however, the avatar you used before was not used well. No accident, she was still used in the next drama. Right. Relax, how do you care about your substitute? She used to never ask such trivial matters. Chiaoan narrowed his eyes, his eyes a little cold, my sister has not worked hard recently, let her do this work. Your sister. Linda thought of Jiao Mianmian's face, her brows frowned, and she disagreed, saying, she doesn't look like you. It's not appropriate to use her as a substitute. And, your sister's appearance, once I show my face, I worry. As a star agent, Linda knew that Jiao Mianmian's face was born to eat the bowl of rice in the entertainment circle. Her beauty is rare in the entertainment industry. The reason why he hasn't gotten up to now is because his temperament is too arrogant and too high to be willing to accept unspoken rules. Otherwise, so many investors are coveting her, as long as she can spare, do you still worry about the lack of resources? Linda felt that Jo Mian Mian was like a time bomb, too dangerous. This time bomb must never be placed beside them. Chiaoan felt disapproved with a disapproval, then don't let her show her face. Sister Zhao, what are you afraid of, she doesn't even have a contracting company, what are you afraid of? This matter is so settled, you give the crew the person said, let them inform her. Okay. Although Linda is Joan's agent, she actually has to listen to Joan's mind on many things. From another level of relationship, Jiao Angzhen is equivalent to her lady boss. The brokerage company that Jiao Angzhen is currently signing under is Sui's Zingui Entertainment. Zingui sings her, and almost all the best resources are given to her. Linda thought she was too worried. In terms of Jiao Angzhen's current resources, few artists can match it. Even if Jiao Mian Mian really has a chance to develop, can she still get over her? No matter how beautiful it is, the resources are not in place and it is impossible to think of red. Asterisk. As soon as Chiao Mian Mian returned to the bedroom, Zhang Luli pulled aside and whispered. Zhang Luli looked very excited, the light of gossip filled with eyes, Mian Mian, the mail is coming to you again? The luxurious Rolls Royce Phantom docked on the trail downstairs in the dormitory is very eye-catching. Chiao Mian Mian and his party arrived downstairs. Uncle Li came to her and bowed deeply, calling respectfully, Miss Jiao. 
Uncle Li's name made Jiao Mian relieved. She was really afraid that Uncle Li called out young lady. It seems that Mo Yesi had greeted him in advance. After Uncle Li greeted Jiao Mian Mian, he turned around and nodded slightly towards Zhang Luli and his party, several young ladies, good evening. Thank you for taking a look at the dinner tonight. Our President Mo said that you are friends of Miss Jiao. Which is his friend? He is very grateful to you for your care and concern for Miss Jiao, so set up a banquet in the banquet tonight to invite you to have a light meal to express his gratitude. He may not be able to come tonight because of his business affairs. To express his apology, he prepared a small gift for every lady, like you will like it. After talking, Uncle Lee stooped into the car, and then took out a few bags from it. When Uncle Lee handed the bag to everyone, the few people present were shocked except Jiao Mian Mian. These gifts were naturally not prepared by Mo Yesi. Except for Jiao Mian Mian, he could not spend any thoughts on other women. He called Mo Shi a female secretary to buy a gift. The gift in everyone's hands is the same. It is a set of tens of thousands of luxury brand skincare products. This is undoubtedly a valuable gift for several other people who are still students and whose family is not particularly wealthy. This big name skincare product is something they can't afford. Zhang Luli took the gift, looked down, and immediately smiled and said, Oh, my mail is generous. I have been so greedy for this skincare product for a long time, and I have been reluctant to start. Well, how do I know that I want this brand of skincare products? Baby, did you tell the male god? Chiao Mian Mian spread his hands, I didn't tell him anything. She didn't even know that Mo Yesi was so intimate to such a degree that she also prepared gifts for her roommate. I have to say that his approach made Chiao Mian Mian feel very respectable. The male knows our women too well. Zhang Luo couldn't wait to take a bottle of perfume from it. After it was disassembled, he sprayed a little on his body and intoxicated. I also like the smell of this perfume. Mian Mian, you tell the male that we like the gift he gave very much, thank you for your trouble. Chiao Mian Mian. She felt that these gifts were definitely not chosen by Mo Yesi himself. He was not interested in women at all, how could he understand what women like and dislike? However, the gift was not picked by him, the money must have been given by him. So it's true that it was a gift from him. The other two roommates took the bag of skincare products and stared blankly for a few seconds, but did not behave as happy as Zhang Luli. Until now, they still don't understand. It turned out that the high-profile handsome boyfriend Jiao Mian Mian had just had dinner tonight. The place to eat is in the banquet court. Although they haven't been there, they have heard of this place. Banquet is a very high-level private club. All the people in and out of this club are powerful figures. She once again felt that Mo Yesi was really attentive to her affairs. She offered to invite her roommate to dinner, and the place to eat is so tall, it can be said that she was very face-saving. Baby, this is really your light. Zhang Luli sighed. Otherwise, I can't come to such a place in my life. I was worried that you would find a boyfriend again so soon. It won't be too impulsive, now I feel more at ease. Chiao Mian Mian, how can you rest assured? Zhang Luli glanced at her, my male is handsome and rich, and he pays so much attention to you. It shows that he really likes you. In the future, you should be with him. As for Su Zi, the scumbag. He is really not a good thing, you forget him earlier. Zhang Luli was a little bit angry about this. When she asked Su Zi for help yesterday, she still felt Su Zi was a little conscience. But now. Who? She wants to take back the previous ideas. Su Zi is a true scum. If she hadn't appeared in time yesterday, she wouldn't dare to imagine the consequences. Thinking of this, she took out her mobile phone angrily, turned over Su Zi's mobile phone number, and sent a text message to him, Scum man. You don't deserve it. We now have perfect flower ambassadors that are ten times, one hundred times, and one thousand times better than you. Soon, she will forget you. 
just hold it for three days and go for a long time, there will always be a day when you regret it. After sending the text message, she blacked out Suzy's mobile phone number. Asterisk. Inside a box in the banquet hall. Suzy is accompanying customers for dinner. After receiving the text message, he opened the phone and looked at it, then his face changed. Opposite. A company manager who was talking to him about a contract saw him suddenly sinking his face, and his face also changed, thinking he was dissatisfied with the proposal just now. So it always feels that the condition I just mentioned does not meet your wishes? Are you dissatisfied? The partner's face was somewhat dissatisfied. He has repeatedly withdrawn. Let it go, what else does he earn? If Sue's new president is still dissatisfied, then this business will not matter. As soon as Su Zi looked up, he was slightly dissatisfied with the partner. He was stunned and immediately said with a smile, Mr. Zhang misunderstood, I don't mean that. I'm not dissatisfied with the condition you just proposed. President Zhang's face softened a little, raising his wine glass, and said with a smile, Since President Su has no opinion, then so settled. Su Zi temporarily put aside the unpleasant point in his heart and smiled and raised his glass, OK, Mr. Zhang, I wish us a happy cooperation with this glass of wine. Asterisk. Just in the box opposite Su Zi. The waiter took the menu and handed it to Chiao Mian Mian, respectfully said, Miss Chiao, please order. Chiao Mian Mian looked at Zhang Luli and Zhang Yue next to them, please order it first, I will watch it later. She invited others to dinner, of course, let others order first. Zhang Luli was also welcome, took the menu and said with a smile, OK, let's order first, let me see what's good here. The last few words, after opening the menu and seeing the price in it, stopped abruptly. I wipe it. Zhang Luli's expression was frightened, his eyes widened, and the menu was closed again immediately. Then he poked Jiao Mian Mian's arm and lowered his voice, saying, Mian Mian, the food here is too expensive, it's so expensive. I'm afraid to order. Jiao Mian Mian took the menu and glanced at it, and was also shocked. The dishes in this club are much more expensive than the one that Mo Yesi took her to at noon. No wonder Zhang Luli will be scared. She was also scared, okay? Thousands of vegetarian dishes? Is the dish here grown up by pouring mineral water every day, listening to music and smoking perfume? Will it become white, thin, and beautiful after eating? Otherwise, why is it so expensive? Zhang Yue looked at the two of them, and a smile appeared on the corner of his mouth, and said with a smile, the consumption here is indeed too high. Mian Mian, why don't we just change one? Come all here, and change places. Although Jiao Mian Mian felt that it was expensive here, it was impossible to change places at this time. Anyway, she still has a black card given by Mo Yesi. Each month, you can overdraw one million. Here is no matter how expensive or expensive the consumption is. Thinking of this, Jiao Mian Mian picked up the menu again and handed it to Zhang Yue, relax, he said it before we came, let us order it casually. You don't care about the price, just order what you want, I have the money to pay. She said, drawing the black card from her bag. When she took out the black card symbolizing her identity, Zhang Yue and Bai Xiao looked straight at them, and the expression on their faces could not help changing. After a few seconds of silence, Bai Xiao said jokingly, Mian Mian, your boyfriend gave you this card. Is there a lot of money in it? Did he make you want to buy something when he gave you the card? Just buy it casually. Yet. Xiao Mian Mian remembered what Mo Yesi said at the time and nodded. He said so. Bai Xiao's face changed again. She bit her lip, and suddenly felt uncomfortable in her heart, feeling that Xiao Mian Mian was showing off. Yes, is it? She bit her lip, turned her head to look at Zhang Yue, and gave her a wink. In that case, then we're welcome. Yue, let's order. Asterisk. After a moment. 
When the waiter brought the dishes to the table, Rao was Zhang Luli, a person with such a lively atmosphere, and the smile on his face was a bit unstoppable. There are only four of them. But Zhang Yue and Bai Xia ordered ten dishes. Moreover, there is only one vegetarian dish. Others are all seafood dishes. There are dishes, Zhang Luli just saw the price, more than 50,000. Chiao Mian Mian looked at the dish full of dishes and was surprised. She turned her head to look at Bai Xiao and Zhang Yue, and suddenly realized that the two of them seemed to be a little bit wrong today. She is not stingy. It's not that I am reluctant to invite this meal. However, this approach by Zhang Yue and Bai Xiao is totally out of line with the normal situation. Knowing that the four girls had not enough food, they ordered more than a dozen dishes. Moreover, Except for the plate of vegetarian dishes, other dishes are at least tens of thousands. Xiao Mian Mian was dull, and at the same time he noticed something. Xiao Xiao, Yu Wei, aren't we ordering too much? Zhang Luli took a deep breath and pointed to the dishes on the table. We're just four people, where can we eat so much? These dishes it's expensive, isn't it a waste if you can't finish it? Did these two people treat Jiao Mian Mian as the wrongdoer? I didn't find that they were such a bad person. Zhang Yue was still in the lukewarm manner, I thought that in such an expensive place, the portion of the dishes would be very small, so I ordered these. Now it seems that it is a bit much. What should I do? Did it fall? Zhang Luli In ordinary small restaurants, the prepared dishes are not refundable. Not to mention this place. She is more certain now that Bai Xiao and Zhang Yue are intentional. However, she couldn't figure out what they thought. Xiao Mi and Mian didn't offend them in any way, and they hadn't had a holiday before each other. Why suddenly? Yet, yeah, generally in such a high end place, the portions of the dishes are not particularly small. We are also worried that people will not be able to eat enough to order these dishes. Bai Xiao and Zhang Yue are obviously on the same front. And, didn't Mian Mian just say let us order casually? This is what she said, we didn't force her. If you think we have ordered too much, and don't worry about not being able to afford the food for a while, don't swell your face and become fat. This sentence is a bit excessive. Zhang Luli frowned, Bai Xiao, what do you say? Mian Mian kindly invited us to dinner. Is she still doing something wrong? Seeing that the atmosphere became more and more stiff, Xiao Mian Mian was afraid that after a while, everyone would be unhappy. She stretched out her hand and pulled Zhang Luli's arm, and made a glance at her, Lolo, don't say it. I said please everyone comes out for dinner, I hope everyone is happy, and don't be unhappy for a meal. It's okay to eat these dishes. We can pack them back and eat them at night. Zhang Luli flicked his lips, I just think you are kind enough to invite people to dinner, but they may not necessarily get this feeling. Oh. Bai Xiao put the cup in his hand on the table and made a bang. She turned to look at Zhang Luli and sneered, Zhang Luli, what do you mean? Zhang Yue also frowned, and said in a bad tone, no one is short of this meal, Zhang Luli, you don't have to say that we ate this meal. It seems like we have been blessed with great grace. If you think we deliberately seized the opportunity to take advantage of this meal, everyone AA is just this meal. Zhang Yue said that, it doesn't really mean AA. But only to understand Xiao Mian Mian, knowing that she can't let them AA, said this. Really want AA, where can she afford A? Bai Xiao didn't know what she thought in her heart. When she heard this, she was anxious. Why do you want AA? Chiao Mian Mian said he invited us to eat. The place is also her choice. Such an expensive place, where can we get A? Affordable. Anyway, I can't be AA. Bai Xiao Sheng was afraid that he really wanted AA, and immediately said that he had no money. Just kidding, she would definitely have no money for AA. When I ordered the food just now, she could see what the prices were. Visually, the whole table is eaten, at least two or three hundred thousand. You guys, how can you be like this? 
Zhang Luo was so angry, what does it mean that no one lacks this meal? Mian Mian is kind, you just treat her like this? Zhang Yue, Bai Xiao, you say these things too it's too much. The atmosphere on the dinner table was so stiff that it could no longer be stiff. At this time, Zhang Yue and Bai Xiao also realized that what they said was a bit excessive. However, the words have already been spoken and cannot be recovered. The two thought that they had offended people anyway, and they were simply too lazy to maintain their apparent friendship. Bai Xiao froze his face and said to Jiao Mian Mian, Jiao Mian Mian, for this meal, do you simply want to invite us to a meal in the bedroom, or hold other purposes, you know clearly. Your sisters have been in love for so many years. The boyfriend she is looking for is better than one. Have you introduced good resources to you? You can make a snack, if anyone else treats you as a friend, you're not sure. You. Zhang Luo was so angry that he shivered. Did you say enough? When the two attacked her, Xiao Mian Mian was not angry even though he was angry. But they heard that they attacked Zhang Luo to leave, and her face instantly gloomy, her cold tone no longer has the slightest politeness, coldly said, since you don't want me to be a friend, then everyone should stop being friends yes. I asked you for this meal, and I will not let you aa. But I asked a friend. Since you have nothing to do with me, then leave here. After that, Xiao Mian Mian called a waiter. Miss Xiao, do you need anything? Please tell me. Before Xiao Mian Mian had come over, the club manager received a notice saying that a VIP had arrived, so they must entertain well. So the attitude of the waiters is extremely respectful. Well. Xiao Mian Mian stretched his fingers to Bai Xiao and Zhang Yue. Could you please take these two ladies out? Otherwise, I'm afraid they won't find the way to leave the banquet. It won't be good if they get lost in a while. The waiter froze. Just now I saw a few people who seem to have a good relationship, now how? However, he was shocked for a second, and soon returned to normal color, smiling and said, OK, Miss Jiao, please rest assured that I will send your friends out. No, you are wrong. Miss Zhou. Jiao Mian Mian corrected each word very seriously, they are not my friends. We just know each other, and the relationship is not good. Xiao Mian Mian. Bai Xiao and Zhang Yue were face swept in public, and their faces were green with anger, gritted their teeth and said angrily, Don't you cheat too much? Why are you driving us away? Is this shop opened by you? We want to leave, stay where you want, you can't control it. Excuse me, two ladies. The waiter can now see that the little girls seem to be in conflict. He didn't want to know what the contradiction was, anyway, he only knew that this Miss Jiao was a noble guest they could not offend. As for the others, they can't control it. Our club is not free for anyone to come in. You need to make an appointment in advance to confirm your identity before you come. If it is not because Miss Jiao brought you here, you cannot enter here. Now, since Miss Jiao said that you are not her friends, then just ask you to leave here immediately. The waiter's words made Zhang Yue and Bai Xiao look extremely ugly. Xiao Mian Mian, you. Bai Xiao gritted his teeth, you humiliated us like this. Xiao Mian Mian looked at her indifferently, it is not me who humiliates you, but you. Xiao Xiao, let's go. Zhang Yue knew that staying here would only make her more embarrassed. She looked at Xiao Mian Mian coldly. I will definitely return the humiliation here today. Thanks for this meal, let I see your true face clearly. No wonder Shen Yu hates you so much, it turns out that you are not wronged at all. After finishing talking, she got up and left. Xiao Mian Mian, you wait. Bai Xiao also stood up angrily. You are bullying your classmates like this, your bad behavior, we will be exposed, let everyone know how awful you are. Yes. She just wanted to ask who bought the bill, and immediately guessed that Mo Yesi should do it. He said he would treat guests tonight. Although guessing it was him, Xiao Mian Mian sent him a message, 
Did you pay for the banquet? Mo Yesi returned quickly, Um. It really was him. Xiao Mian Mian was about to send another text message and asked him if he had eaten before, and his phone came over. She picked it up. Have you finished over there? The man's low magnetic voice came. I don't know where he is. Xiao Mian Mian heard him a bit noisy, and the laughter of men and women passed along. Well, just finished. Have you eaten? Not yet. Mo Yesi said, several bunnies are crazy about playing, where can they go to eat? It is estimated that they will eat supper directly. Xiao Mian Mian stunned, a uh, little bunny. Play with me from a little to a few big bunnies. Just after Mo Yesi finished talking, Xiao Mian Mian heard another voice coming from the mobile phone, a humorous male voice, second brother, who are you calling with? This gentle voice I got goosebumps isn't it a woman? Mo Yesi, well. The man who had just spoken seemed to be shocked, with a startled tone, is it really a woman? Who, do a few of our brothers know? Mo Yesi, your sister-in-law. Cough cough cough. There was a violent coughing sound, the laughing man seemed to be choked, and coughed for a while before panting, sister, sister-in-law. My brother, wouldn't you tease me? You have been a single dog for thousands of years, and you still treat women as poisons. Why did I suddenly have a sister-in-law? Are you sure this sister-in-law is alive? Is it a female? Is it a big living person that can be seen and touched, not you imagined? Mo Yesi sneered with a sneer, I have a wife, you are a single dog for thousands of years. I'm fucking. The man exploded. Mo Yesi disgusted, go away, don't swear next to me. You are young, don't bring her broken. I'm fucking. Really dead, for the rest of my life. Even my second brother has a wife, and my mother no longer doubts that the sow will be on the tree. The man burst out again. Xiao Mian Mian who heard the conversation clearly between two people. The man with the sentence I fuck on the left and the sentence I fuck on the right are the little rabbits in Mo Yesi's mouth? Xiao Mian Mian heard another sound of Zizuo Suo, then the sound of opening the door, and then, the noise in the phone became much smaller. She speculated that Mo Yesi should be in a place like KTV. He must have been staying in the box with a bunch of friends just now, but now he went outside. A moment later, Mo Yesi's voice rang again. The young man who was a literary master just 200 and 500 years ago just said that he is always so poor in quality. You don't need to ignore him. E.R. Xiao Mian Mian pulled the corner of his mouth. Did he say his friend this way? I let people prepare a few gifts for your friends. How do they like them? Xiao Mian Mian was silent, and lied, well, they like it. Let me convey their gratitude. Mo Yesi smiled and said, just like it. Do you have other activities at night? Xiao Mian Mian looked at Zhang Luli, no, we are going back to school. Her attitude made Su Ziyi's brows tighter. He looked at her with a disappointed and distressed gaze, and said in a deep voice, Mian Mian, we are not enemies. Even if we break up, you will not be able to treat me like an enemy. I said, even if we are not lovers, in the future if you have any difficulties, you can still come to me. As long as it is a place where I can help, I will help you. Even if you hate me again, you should not fall in love." Xiao Mian Mian frowned as he heard his last sentence. Her eyes became more and more indifferent. She was full of disappointed eyes on Shang Suzi and couldn't help sneering, I'm willing to fall? Mr. Su, who are you, do I know you well? How much do you know about me? Just say I fell. Her cold and alienated Mr. Su made Su Zi look too more ugly. Anger raged in his eyes, then tell me why are you here? Who brought you here? And who was the owner of the Rolls Royce you sat on last time? Mian Mian, you do you really want to be so stubborn? Would you rather betray your body than speak to me for help? Is it more difficult to talk to me than to let you sleep with those disgusting old men? Snapped. 
Just after Su Zi finished speaking, he slapped his face, and five bright red fingerprints were printed on his fair and beautiful face. He covered his face and was shocked. It seems that I can't believe that Xiao Mian Mian would beat him. Xiao Mian Mian had no hope for Su Zi. In her heart, it was only when the past Su Zi was dead. Now standing in front of her is just a stranger who has nothing to do with her. But she was still disgusted. I felt sick until last night's dinner last night. So Zi, you really make me feel sick. I was so blind before that I promised to be with you. You made me think that the feelings of those years, even if I fed the dog, was more wasteful. You're a hundred times better, a thousand times better. Chiao was trembling with anger. This is the man who once said that she would love her for life and never let her down. She would protect her no matter what happened, and prevent her from being a little bit wronged and hurt. He promised that all her things would not be done. It was him who disappointed her. It was he who hurt her and made her wronged. She only hates time now. Otherwise, even if all the men in the world are dead, she will not be with such a scumbag. Being slapped in the face by the public, so Zi couldn't hold his face, his face gloomy. He covered his face, his anger was about to spew out, and his eyes were gloomy, you hit me, because I guessed right? Chiao Mian Mian, are you really willing to fall into this way for money? That old how much did the man give you, 10 million, 20 million, or 100 million? Is it possible to sleep with you as long as the money is given? You tell me the price, and so Zi is not a person who can't afford it. Chiao Mian Mai looked at him incredulously. This is the man she has known for ten years? Ten years of feelings, in exchange for his insult? Lying trough, So Zi, you scum man still has a face in front of Mian Mian. Don't you think the face is so hot? Zhang Luli's temper is so tough, he can't stand it, pointing to So Zi's nose. A curse, you shameless. The little sister-in-law who cut her own future and did such a disgusting and shameless thing, not only did not feel ashamed, but even wanted to rake and pour dirty water on me and Mian. You are so shameless, does your mom know? You say you have abalone and sea cucumbers in your house, and you still don't feel like eating. Why do you have to eat the dung in that pit? Even if you are cheating, don't you find a low standard, it's just spicy eyes. Zhang Luo's words were rough, and after a crackling, So Zi's face was already somber to the extreme. He was so angry that the green muscles on his forehead burst out, and he gritted his teeth and said, Zhang Luli, I want you to apologize for those words. Zhang Luo said cut with disapproval, why should I apologize? Isn't it true that I said? So Zi was very angry, with threats in his eyes, and gritted his teeth, okay. If you don't apologize, then don't want to leave here. After he finished speaking, he took out his mobile phone and made a phone call. Soon, several bodyguards came over. Zhang Luo looked at this posture and was a little flustered. She took a step back, So Zi, what do you want to do? Apologize. So Zi was talking to her, but his eyes were on Chiao Mian Mian, apologize to me for what I just said. Lying trough, So Zi, you are really a scum. Zhang Luli gritted his teeth and said sternly, Dare you dare not to admit it? Never seen a man like you. I don't know life or death. So Zi's eyes were clouded when he heard Zhang Luli scolding the two scum, and he slapped his hand on her face. As the great young master of the Su family, he grew up in a good position, and no one dared to scold him like this. This Zhang Luo left lawless classmates, he was lawless. He will teach her well today. So Zi, how dare you? Chiao Mian Mian saw that, blocking Zhang Luo's departure, and stared coldly at So Zi, saying coldly, the Grand Master Su's family, even one in public woman hands, you are really not embarrassing. So Zi saw her coming out to block her, and her hazy eyes narrowed, it was her who spoke first and if I don't teach her today, she doesn't know that the sky is thick. Why is she speechless? Chiao Mian Mian's eyes were full of sarcasm, 
she just told the truth. I told her these things. If you think she should be taught, do you have to teach me too? So Zi squeezed his lips tightly and closed his hands back. His face is still ugly, and his voice is cold, Mian Mian, I won't do it with you. But Zhang Luli must apologize. I won't apologize to you. Zhang Luli clenched his fists tightly. Why should I apologize to you as a scumbag? Mian Mian has been with you for so many years, you not only betrayed her, but now you still have insulting her so much, so Zi, you are not a person at all. Just do what you want to do with me and just come over. Anyway, you are all scumbags who are eaten by dogs. What is wrong with you, right? It's not commonplace for you. Zhang Luli was very loud. The cashier at the front desk and some passing customers heard it. When they heard the word derailment, they turned their attention to Su Zi. Someone is whispering, is this Su's grandfather? Is that the girl saying true, is he derailed? I heard that Master Su's grandfather had a fiancé. At the dinner of the Su family last time, he took the girl with him. Well, yes, the pretty girl over there. Is that the little girl? She looks pretty, with such a beautiful fiancé, will she still be cheating? Man, you know. No matter how beautiful it is, how can the flowers of the house smell like wild flowers? Rabbits don't eat nest edge grass. Even if you want to go outside to find a woman, you shouldn't find a future aunt, this is a bit too much. There was a loud discussion in Su Zi's ears. His face became darker and darker, his eyes covered with haze, and his fists squeaked, Okay, since you refuse to apologize. Don't blame me for being rude. When he was finished, he told the bodyguard to catch Zhang Luli in the past. Su Zi, as long as I'm here, I won't let you move Lolo. Xiao Mian Mian spread his arms, blocking Zhang Luo from leaving. Su Zi frowned and said coldly, Mian Mian, I don't want to hurt you. This matter has nothing to do with you, you let it go. Impossible. Xiao Mian Mian gritted his teeth. If you want to grab Lolo, then grab me together. Don't force me, let go. Su Zi walked over with a sullen face, and when he reached out, he would pull Chiao Mian Mian. However, before his hand touched Chiao Mian Mian, he heard a cold and dangerous voice coming behind him, Su Shao's great majesty. I just don't know if you can endure the consequences after playing this majesty. This voice. Chia raised his head violently. When she saw the cooler figure in her line of sight from far to near, getting closer and closer to her, her heartbeat instantly accelerated. As he moved closer and closer, his heart twitched faster and faster. Wow, it's my goddess. Zhang Luli looked more excited and excited than Xiao Mian Mian, as if he saw a savior, his eyes lit up at once. Before others could react, she jumped out from behind Xiao Mian Mian. Then, an excited face towards Momo Yesi ran past. Male god, male god, you came too timely. If you come one minute later, Mian Mian and I will be bullied by the scumbag. Your appearance is so handsome, I want to give you a hundred points. Looking at Zhang Luli, who suddenly jumped in front of him, Mo Yesi was stunned. When she approached him, she habitually took a step back. Even if this woman is Chiao Mian Mian's good friend, he is still habitually repulsed as she approaches. Zhang Luli did not care about his avoidance. She pointed at Su Zi angrily. Goddess, you came just right. This shameless man wants to bully me and Mian Mian, you must help us out of breath. Mo Yesi didn't speak, he walked towards Chiao Mian Mian step by step. After approaching her, she stopped. The man lowered his head and looked down at her, his voice was always cold, but he had a little more gentleness than when he faced others, are you bullied? Chiao Mian Mian looked at him in a daze. The speeding heart slowly stabilized as he approached her. She froze for a few seconds before finally regaining her voice, You, how come you come so fast? It was less than ten minutes from the phone just now. M.O. Yesi chuckled, 
reaching for a strand of hair covering her eyebrows behind her ears, I didn't say that, I was near the banquet court. Besides, I will certainly be anxious to see you. I waited for a few red lights on the way, and I will arrive earlier. Mo Yesi reached out and took Xiao Mi and Mian into his arms, one arm wrapped around her waist in a possessive manner, raised his eyes, and glanced at him faintly, with a cold tone, this sentence should change me come ask. Baby, who is he, did he bully you just now? Xiao Mi and Mian also raised his head and looked at Su Zedeo indifferently, an unimportant person, you don't need to know. Su Zi was stunned, and his face gloomed with dripping water. He looked at Mo Yesi's eyes full of hostility. He gritted his teeth and said, I am a fiancé, I and him. Mr. Su, I must remind you that I have nothing to do with you anymore. Chiao Mian Mian interrupted his words with a cold face, we have already dismissed the engagement. Please trouble you to figure this out, don't just talk casually. Broken my reputation. Su Zi met her pair with indifference and alienation, even with a trace of disgusted eyes, and suddenly felt a little pain in her heart. He didn't know why, he suddenly became very uncomfortable. My heart is as uncomfortable as something is blocked. Even if I guessed that there might be another man next to Jiao Mian Mian, but I didn't see it with my own eyes, and my heart was not as blocked as it is now. Now I saw with my own eyes that the other party was not only the old man they guessed, but also an extremely young and handsome man. He and Xiao Mian Mian stood together as well as they were, and Su Zi felt like a thorn in his heart. Even breathing became uncomfortable. Mian Mian, what is your relationship with him? Was he the Rolls Royce owner last time? Su Zi asked angrily. She actually followed other men. It was less than a week before they broke up, and she was with other men. He didn't believe she would change her heart so quickly. They have been together for so many years, and she has always been alone in her eyes. She loves him deeply, and for him, she has changed from a hot girl who does not touch the spring water with her fingers, who can do nothing, to a virtuous and good woman who can make a good dish and wash the floor. She said in person that because of loving him, she was happy and happy when doing these things for him. For him, she willingly changed herself. She also said that in her life, Xiao Mian Mian would only like a man named Su Zi. Will only marry Su Zi as a bride. He remembered all the words she said clearly. Did not forget a sentence. He never believed that she would love so quickly when she loved him so much. She looked for this man just to be angry with him. Or, want to forget him as soon as possible through this man. Not all said, the fastest way to forget a person is to start a new relationship quickly. The more she did this, the more she proved that she still loved him and would never forget him. Su Zi felt a little more comfortable in his mind. Regarding your fart, what kind of green onion are you, why are you so sorry to ask Mian Mian in this tone? Mo Yesi and Chiao Mian Mian haven't said anything yet, seeing Su Zi's extremely uncomfortable Zhang Luo, who was very angry came over. With Mo Yesi here, she was even more fearless pointing at Su Zi's nose and scolding mercilessly, Are you a cheating man, are you eligible to ask this question? Mian Mian said to break up with you now, you are strangers. Does her matter have anything to do with you? Zhang Luli, you are unscrupulous because you are a woman. Do you really think I dare not beat a woman? Zhang Luli repeatedly pointed to his nose and scolded Su Zi, his cold eyes fell like a knife. To her. Oh, you dare not. Zhang Luli is a typical fox fake tiger power, she pointed to Mo Yesi said, I am the goddess here. You dare to touch me, the goddess must tell you to beat you to find teeth. Seeing that she is a good friend of Jiao Mian Mian, Mo Yesi is also very cooperative. He hugged Jiao Mian Mian and said quietly, being moving in front of me. Mr. Su. You so also want to emulate Sheng Hui and experience what it is like to go bankrupt next night. Mo Yesi's light and flirty words made Su Zi's face instantly change. His eyes widened in amazement, the Shengui group went bankrupt, you made you. Mo Yesi said casually, 
Shang Hui lasted 18 hours and declared bankruptcy. With Su's strength, it can be expected to last a few more hours. Su so Zi's complexion changed again and became pale. He certainly knew about the bankruptcy of Shen Gui Group overnight. This incident is considered a lot of trouble. A well-managed listed company, if it's gone, it's gone. Moreover, it disappeared overnight. Inevitably, other colleagues are a bit scared. Even Su secretly investigated what was the cause. But nothing was investigated. Su Zhuan didn't expect that the person who let Shang Hui go bankrupt overnight stood before him. Who are you? Su Zi asked in shock. It can disturb Shen Gui's stock market overnight and let Shen Gui go bankrupt. The financial strength of the other party is beyond imagination. Even Su's has no such ability. Who is this man? If he is really a great character, why look at him like this? Anyone who is a rich man in Yunchinch knows it. Mo Yesi looked like a ant looking down on his feet, his eyes silent and disdainful, you don't need to know who I am. But there is something you must know. Xiaomian Mian is my woman, any man who dares to covet her is in court death. I don't care about your relationship with her before. Since you are separated, her future life has nothing to do with you. If I find you dare to harass her in secret, I will make Su's cooler than Sheng Hui. After saying this, he withdrew his gaze and looked at Su Zi more disdainfully. If this surnamed Su was Jiao Mianmian's former fiancé, people of this status would not even be qualified to speak to him. The Su family is a famous figure in the eyes of others. But in the eyes of the Mahists, it's just a little role. Baby, let's go. Mo Yesi hugged Jiao Mianmian and walked past Su Zi. The bodyguards brought by Su Zi still wanted to stop them. As soon as they moved, they heard a chaotic footstep approaching. A person in charge of the banquet court brought a group of security guards and hurried over. Who makes trouble here, blast out immediately. The person in charge saw Su Zi's bodyguards, and immediately said in a cold voice, it's so bold to dare to make trouble at the banquet. Don't you know where this is? Immediately blast this group of people out. The security guard got the order and immediately passed by. Su Zi only brought four bodyguards. But no matter how confident he is, he has to admit that the man with a mysterious identity is in excellent condition. Looking at the respectful attitude of the person in charge of the banquet court, his identity must also be extremely prominent. Just heard that the person in charge called him Mr. Mo. Su Zi was instantly excited, and a thought came to his mind. His surname is Mo, and he is so young. Wouldn't it be the new president who just returned from Mo? But this thought remained in his mind for only a second, and he was immediately rejected. Impossible. Absolutely impossible. Heard that the president of Mo she hated women for approaching him, and said that there was misogyny, which was very repulsive to women. If he is the president of Mo's, how could he be as intimate as Chiao Mian Mian? Moreover, as Chiao Mian Mian, it is impossible to reach him at all. After thinking about it, Su so Zi felt a little relieved. To provoke the Mahist is death. Looking at the entire Yunchinch, no one dared offend the Mahists. Asterisk. After Su so Zi left, Mo Yesi saw Chiao Mian Mian still cold faced, in a bad mood. He pinched her jaw, looked down at her and said, Still angry? If you think they are not enough to get rid of them, then I will let Su's bankruptcy, too. Chiao Mian Mian's eyes widened in surprise. Others say this, she would think it was a joke. But Mo Yesi said so. Chiao Mian Mian didn't doubt it at all, he would really do it. He has such strength. Farewell, Chiao Mian Mian said hurriedly although I broke up with Su Zi. And I'm getting annoyed now. But the grievances between me and him should not rise to his family. His parents to me, it's good. What she said is true. Su Su and Su Mu have always treated her well. Especially Su Mu, almost treated her like her own daughter. Su mother always wanted a daughter, but after giving birth to Su Zi, it was difficult to conceive again. Therefore, 
she has only one son, Su Zi. She could not have a daughter by herself, so she transferred her desire for her to Jiao Mian Mian. Jiao Mian Mian is disgusting Su Zi now, but she didn't even hate Su Su and Su Mu. Mo Yesi heard this and narrowed his eyes, his parents treat you well? Yes. The man's deep eyes narrowed again, with a hint of dissatisfaction in his eyes, do you like his parents very much? Chiao Mian Mian froze for a while, and then realized that he didn't feel very happy. It's also okay. I can't talk about likes, nor talk about unpleasant talks. She didn't dare to tell the truth after guessing what he might mind. She was afraid that once she told the truth, he was really angry. She now knows Mo Yesi a little bit. He looks like he doesn't care about anything, but in fact, he is very careful about many things. Hearing her say, the man's face eased a little. A warm big hand was covering her head, and she touched, and said in a deep voice, You and Suzi have broken up. The breakup is a stranger. In the future, no matter whether it is with him or his family, they should have as few contacts as possible. Not clear. Oh. Chiao Mian Mian nodded cleverly, I know. Anyway, she said everything to him, surely. Mo Yesi looked at her so obediently, and his face eased by two points. He turned his head to look at Zhang Luli, then looked around again, and asked doubtfully, Don't you still have two roommates? Where did they go? The man's low and gentle words were like honey, sweet to Chiao Mian Mian's heart. Her heart thumped quickly again. As soon as he looked up, he met his deep and charming eyes, and his breathing was disordered. Mo Yesi. How can this man be so sultry? These intoxicating love words, he was completely hand in hand. She had no preparation at all, and a heart was so provoked by him, suddenly, suddenly, quickly. Asterisk. Half an hour later, I arrived at school. Zhang Luo got off first. After getting off the bus, she stood by the car and lifted the bag in her hand. She said with a smile, Goddess, thank you for your gift, and that very delicious dinner tonight. If you if you don't dislike, when you are free, I invite you to eat with me and Mian. Zhang Luli's impression of Mo Yesi is very, very good. She thought Mo Yesi was a hundred times better than Su Zi's dregs. Not only is he handsomer than Su Zi, but also richer than Su Zi, the most important thing is that she can see that he is sincere to Jiao Mian Mian. It can be seen from his attitude towards them. If he didn't pay attention to Jiao Mian Mian, he wouldn't be able to send gifts to her roommate and invite her roommate to dinner. He, like his identity, was very arrogant. Think about it, Su Zi never invited them to eat, let alone gave gifts. And every time he came to the school to find Jiao Mian Mian, he put on a shelf. Mo Yesi hooked his lips and nodded to his face, okay. That's the way to go. Zhang Luli looked very happy. I can't afford high-end restaurants. But I know that there is a barbecue restaurant that tastes great and is very clean. When are you empty, just tell me and Mian. We'll go when we have a good time. You and me and me and must still have some things to talk about separately. I'll go back to the dormitory to pack up. After that, she waved towards Jiao me and me and Mo Yesi, then turned and trod away. In the car. Mo Yesi glanced into the rearview mirror and said with a lip, Your friend is very sensible, what is her name? Zhang Luli. When listening to Mo Yesi praise his friend, Jiao me and me and felt happier than his praise and said with a smile on his face, Lolo is very good, she is my best friend. Okay. Mo Yesi just asked casually, and didn't mean to get a deeper understanding. After a slight response, he said to Jiao Mian Mian, who was still sitting in the back compartment, get off and sit beside me. Jiao Mian Mian thought he had something to say to her, untied the seat belt and got out of the car, went to the car in front, and then sat in the position of the co-pilot. As soon as I sat down, I was pulled away by a strong force before I sat down. A head hit the man's warm and strong chest, 
and his breath was full of the smell of hormonal smell on his body. Xiaomian Mian was intoxicated for a moment, as if he was drunk, his head a little dizzy. Mo Yeji held her jaw up, her deep and charming eyes looked deep into her eyes, her thin lips rose slightly, and her low voice was also and confused, Baby, now your friend is gone now, should you explain it to me? Explain, what explanation? His powerful arms were tightly looped around her soft thin waist, with full possessiveness, and there was only a thin layer of cloth between the palm and the skin of her waist. Xiaomian Mian could even clearly feel the temperature of his palm how hot it is. She just stared at him so much, without saying a word. Teardrops on thick, long eyelashes, and in a blink of an eye, they fell on her delicate and lovely face. Mo Yesi's tears to women never felt anything. He will even be upset. If someone tries to win his pity with tears, it will only be counterproductive. Even Xiao Qing said more than once, saying that his heart was made of stone, too cold and too hard. No woman can keep warm. But at this moment, Mo Yesi felt that he was not immune to women's tears. Looking at the girl with red eyes in his arms and a face of grievance and accusation, he felt a bit distressed. Almost without any hesitation, he apologized, you cried? Is it because you think I suspected you? Baby, I'm sorry, I take back all the words I just said. You just treat me as I said nothing, don't be and annoyed me, Et. Eh? Mo Yesi never knew what it was like to panic. But when Xiao Mianmian's tears fell silently out of his eyes, he felt it for the first time. Slender fingers were awkward to wipe the tears in the corners of her eyes, and her fingertips touched her warm and wet tears, and there was another wave of confusion and irritability in her heart. Fortunately, he didn't apologize. As soon as he apologized, the little woman in her arms seemed to cry more severely. Tears, like beads of broken thread, kept slipping out of her eyes. Hot tears hit the back of his hand, burning his heart. Chiao Mian Mian, don't cry anymore. After feeling that the little woman in her arms couldn't coax up, Mo Yesi frowned tightly, but sighed regretfully, holding her crying wet little. The face and brow furrowed, tell me, what shall I do so that you can't regenerate my anger? I don't really doubt you, I believe you will not do what betrayed me. Chiao Mian Mian looked at him with tears in her eyes. The more the man whispered, the more wronged she felt. Her eyes were full of complaints, her crying was hoarse, and she choked with sobs, you just doubt me. What do you mean by that, don't you think that I and Suzi had agreed to meet there in advance? Mo Yesi, you know, I hate people not to believe me anymore. If you think I still have unforgettable feelings about Suzi, then we might as well divorce. You don't believe me anyway, we are interesting together. Hearing the word divorce, Mo Yesi's face was gloomy. I just wanted to get angry, and the red eyes and the cry of the girl in my arms instantly extinguished the anger in my heart. Turned into a helpless and annoyed sigh. If he knew she would cry like this, he would never ask that sentence. The man's slender white fingers fell to the corner of her eyes again, and wiped off the moist piece of her eyes gently. He reached out and gently circled her into his arms letting out a soft voice and sighing lowly, okay, it's my fault, I shouldn't be suspicious. His confession in exchange for the girl's more grievous complaint, it was your fault. Yes, my fault. At this moment, Mo Yesi didn't know what to do except to coax her and follow her. He has no experience coaxing women. For the first time in his life, he coaxed a woman so quietly that he hadn't coaxed him well. He felt deeply frustrated. Bai Xiao was surfing the internet, hitting the mouse on the table with a snap, raised his head, and looked angrily at Zhang Luli. Zhang Yue is on the same front as her, and she said with a cold face, Zhang Luli, were you just cursing me and Bai Xiao just now? You have to make it clear, who is the one who wants to be shameless? Why, Bai Xiao, are you going to fight with me? Zhang Luli was originally the kind of character who was carefree and fearless. She confronted Bai Xiao's eyes that were about to breathe fire, and put her hands in the waist. And said with a sneer, 
I didn't mention you in a single word. I don't know how you are so sensitive, I think I'm talking about you. Or, I accidentally said something in your glass heart? You didn't mention a word. But don't you think we can't hear it? Bai Xiao said with a gritted teeth. What are you qualified to say to us as a licking dog? Whatever we are, it's better than your licking dog. A hundred times. Shouting, the male and the male shouted, Do you think people will look at you more? If you want to say it, I think you are the real one. I used to like to slap in front of Suzi and watch people treat you not interested, have you changed your target now? He <laughs> he. Bai Xiao looked at her up and down, disdainful, I advise you not to bother, even Suzi can't look down on you, even the male can look down on you. After that, he looked at Chiao Mian Mian with a sneered face, and the air of yin and yang was strange, fire, anti-theft, anti-girlfriend, Chiao Mian Mian, I advise you not to be too careless. Some of the scheming seem harmless, and I have too much calculation in my mind. When the man was robbed, he didn't know what was going on. Bai Xiao, you shut up. As soon as Bai Xiao's voice fell, Zhang Luli rushed towards her with fists angrily. She was originally an impulsive character, and where she can stand Bai Xiao said her, the whole popularity is about to burst. When Bai Xiao saw her rushing over, she rolled up her sleeves and rushed towards her. The two immediately twisted into a ball. Zhang Luli was not as strong as Bai Xiao, and was quickly pressed under her. She grabbed Bai Xiao's hair and pulled it down. Bai Xiao took pain, and reached out to grab her hair. Both men grinned in pain. Chiao Mian Mian watched Zhang Luo's fall, and naturally it was impossible to stand idly by. Zhang Luli was in conflict with Bai Xiao for her. Bai Xiao, you stop. Seeing Zhang Luli got a red seal out of his face, Chiao Mian was anxious and angry, and rushed past with his fist raised. Zhang Yue saw Chiao Mian Mian rushing over to help, and also joined the help team. Two people scuffled into four people. In the dormitory, chickens and dogs jumped suddenly, making trouble. Asterisk. After half an hour. The fighting of the four people disturbed the ante of the dormitory and the counselor. You can do it. You can't sleep well at night, and actually fight in groups. Are you trying to rebel? The counselor's face was black, and his fingers were almost poking on Bai Xiao's nose. Which of you is the one who comes first? The person who caused the trouble first stood up consciously for me. The counselor's He Dong Lion roar scared Xiao Mian Mian and Zhang Luli from shaking. Bai Xiao and Zhang Yue looked very dissatisfied. In the previous vicious fight, everyone was adored. Asterisk. 10 p.m. The huge playground was empty, and almost no figure was seen. Only two petite figures ran round and round the playground. Running down three laps, even if the physical strength is like Chiao Mian Mian, the tired buttocks slumped on the ground, breathless. Sweat rolled down along the forehead. Both men's hair and clothes were wet with sweat. Baby, you, you shouldn't accompany me, together. Zhang Luli gasped quickly her wet and wet face full of sweat. She collapsed directly on the lawn, motionless. Chiao Mian Mian lay down next to her, wiped the sweat on her face with her hand, and said with a smile, If you are not to vent me, what conflict can you have with them? Everything is because of me, how can I leave you a person? Furthermore, I haven't run in a long time. It's cool to run like this occasionally. Ha ha ha, it's cool. I sweated all over. The two lay on the lawn for a while, and waited until their breathing slowly stabilized before sitting up. With a tick, Chiao Mian Mian's phone rang. She took out her cell phone from her bag and looked at it. It was Mo Yesi who sent her a message. Mo Yesi, has the bedroom been moved? How about the double suite? Chiao Mian Mian tapped her finger on the screen and replied, haven't moved yet. Mo Yesi seconds back, why? Chiao Mian Mian thought about it and replied, something happened and was delayed. Mo Yesi, what's the matter? 
Xiao Mian Mian looked at his reply and hesitated to tell him what had happened. Not thinking about it, she suddenly crossed her hand in front of her, and snatched her mobile phone before she could respond. Male God, Lolo is being bullied. Come over and help her out. Zhang Luli responded to a message according to the voice. The mobile phone in her hand was Xiao Mian Mian. Lolo, you give me your phone back. Xiao Mian Mian reached over and grabbed, with a helpless look on his face. Zhang Luli returned to the message and stuffed her phone directly with her. She looked at Xiao Mian Mian and said seriously, Lolo, you have a boyfriend who is so good as a male god. You should use it at the critical moment. Today, this thing was not wrong for us, but now it is ours. Wrong. The more I think about it, the more the person who picks things up is them, but the one who gets punished is us. You didn't see it, when they went out from the training office, their expressions of complacency. I think about it. Xiao Mi and Mian just got the phone back, and Mo Yesi's phone came over. Xiao Mi and Mian. He must have listened to the voice message. She gave Zhang Luo a helpless look and pressed to connect. Are you bullied? At the other end of the phone, the man's voice was low and cold, with a hint of danger. ER. Xiao Mian Mian was a little embarrassed and didn't know how to answer. In fact, she didn't seem to be bullied. After all, before Aunt So came to persuade, she was in 1v2, and she was not afraid at all. Talk. The man's voice was deep, and the dangerous breath in his words thickened. Xiao Mian Mian told the truth, I also beat them, and they are a bit miserable, so they are not bullied. Really fight with people. Xiao Mian Mian. She could hear that Mo Yesi's tone was not very good, as if she was angry. For a time, Xiao Mian Mian didn't know how to get back to him. She couldn't figure out what he was thinking at the moment. I don't know if he was angry about her fighting. Think about it, since they got married, she seems to have been causing all kinds of troubles, and every time he has to help her clean up the mess. Would he think she was too troublesome, so he was angry? That, are you, angry? Xiao Mian Mian silenced for a moment while biting her lips, and asked carefully. If he is really angry with her, she can understand. Think about it differently. If she married a wife who troubled him everywhere, she would also find it annoying. The man's voice was sober, it didn't take long for us to separate, something like this happened. Do you think I should be angry? Xiao Mian Mian squeezed the phone. Sure enough, he thought she was too troublesome. I'm sorry. She apologized weakly, and felt that she could cause trouble. I didn't do it on purpose. I know. Before the words were finished, he was interrupted, and the cold and voice of the man came again, Baby, I didn't blame you. I was angry just because we were just separated, and you were bullied again. You were when people are bullying, I'm not yet by your side. I said I want to protect you and prevent you from being wronged and hurt. But I didn't do it. Xiao Mi and Mian froze for a moment, his eyes widened a little. He was angry. It turned out that she didn't think she caused too much trouble. Instead, he didn't protect her. After a moment of stun, there was a hint of sweetness in my heart. It has nothing to do with you, Xiao Mian Mian said softly to the man who blamed the other end of the phone. You can't stay by my side for 24 hours, staring at me all the time, paying attention to me. You can't predict us what happens when you separate. So how can you blame you? And, I'm really not being bullied. I've been fighting badly, and I usually bully others. Xiao Mi and Mian just said this and regretted it. Sure enough, the man's low and laugh sounded on the phone, the fight is very powerful, eh? Baby, you used to fight with people before. Xiao Mi and Mian. She seemed to have accidentally exposed something. After a moment of silence, the man sighed lowly, Baby, I really want you to stay with me 24 hours, so that I can see you all the time. Otherwise, I'm really relieved of you. Asterisk. Hang up the phone. 
Xiaomi and Mian remembered Mo Yesi's whispered whisper just before hanging up the phone, his cheeks were hot and his ears were red. He whispered to her in a low end voice, Baby, I really want to hug you and kiss you. Baby is not around, her husband misses you. Then the gentle sultry voice made her heart numb. Baby, what did the male tell you, you blushed like this? Zhang Luo lied to her and smiled at her. Xiaomi and Mian reached out and pushed her face away, and said quietly, So curious, you must find one quickly. You will know by then. Forget it. The rest was enough, and both of them got up from the ground. Zhang Luli patted the dirt on his body, looking through the red dust, instead of wasting time and falling in love with a dog man, it is better to study how to make money and make money. Apart from getting rich and getting rich, Miss Ben is not interested in other things. Of course. She changed her voice and said with a smile, unless I can also meet a man as good as a male god. I can also take a moment to talk about love and talk about love. But this, this kind of the possibility is comparable to a needle in the sea. The chance is too small and too small. So, let me just go it alone. Well, we are so good in Luo Luo, if it is not a very good man, where can I deserve you? Xiaomi and Mian nodded in agreement, Ning Kei is not indiscriminate. Before I meet someone I really like. I still compare it alone. It is good. According to Jiaomi and Mian, there are not many men who can deserve Zhang Luli. Zhang Luli is very beautiful, with a height of 170 feet, and has a particularly good proportion of the figure. She and Jiaomi and Mian are of different types. Jiaomi and Mian's beauty is more pure and pure temperament, at first glance is the little fairy who does not eat fireworks on earth. Zhang Luli is that kind of quaint monster. The two are a static beauty and a dynamic beauty, and were once dubbed as unique couplets by some boys in the school. Moreover, Zhang Luli is also a very independent girl. Her family is not very good. Even the three years of college tuition fees are earned in private. She has an outstanding appearance and has served as a bean for many Dobeo merchants. However, all the clothes she took as a model will sell well. Therefore, she is still famous in the Madao circle, and she has also made a lot of money by relying on Madao in recent years. Although no star can make money, it is still much better than ordinary people. Asterisk. The two rested for a while in the playground, and then turned back. As soon as I walked outside the bedroom door, I saw a black shadow rushing out very quickly. Xiaomi and Mian and Zhang Luli both startled. Before seeing the person clearly, I heard an extremely respectful and cautious voice, Classmate Jiao, Classmate Zhang, you are finally back. Jiao Mian Mian, Zhang Luli. This is, the voice of the counselor. The two looked up and stood in front of them, with a respectful expression on their faces, wasn't their counselor. At this moment, the instructor still has half the prestige. His face was uneasy so nervous that both hands were clenched tightly, as if he was not facing two ordinary students, but the superior leader. Xiaomi and Mian and Zhang Luo looked at each other with a look of dumb expression. How is this going? How did the counselor become weird? And if they heard correctly, he just used the honorific you to them? Before the two could figure out what was going on, the counselor suddenly took a step back and then bowed towards them, classmate Jiao. Classmate Zhang, it was my fault before, I shouldn't distinguish between right and wrong. Human mistakes are added to you. After deep reflection and self-examination, I have realized my own mistakes. In the future, I will never make the same mistake again. Please also give me a chance to correct it. Forgive me once. After that, in the consternation of the two, they bowed deeply to them. The two people who continued to be shocked. What's the matter? How did the counselor give them an apology and review? Seeing that neither of them responded, the counselor was anxious, classmate Zhang, classmate Jiao, I really realized that I was wrong. You guys. Counselor. Jiao Mian Mian heard this and slowly walked into the bedroom. As soon as she walked in, 
Bai Xiao and Zhang Yiwei looked at her fiercely. In their eyes, both were dissatisfied and angry. To meet their eyes, Xiao Mian Mian sighed secretly in the bottom of his heart. I had been in the same bedroom for three years, and I have been in peace. Now it seems that even ordinary friends can't do it. Fortunately, there is only the last half of the time in school, and in the second half of the year, basically leave the school and enter the internship period. Moreover, when they moved out of the bedroom, everyone did not live together, and avoided the embarrassment of looking up every day and not seeing it. They don't need to apologize to us. This matter will stop here. Xiao Mian Mian didn't expect Bai Xiao to apologize for them. Anyway, even if they apologized, they were not sincere. It doesn't matter if you apologize. Classmate Xiao, do you mean to forgive them too? Xiao Mian Mian smiled lightly and said, You can't talk about the original forgiveness, nor do they need my forgiveness. That. This matter ends here, Xiao Mian Mian said, If there is nothing else, Lolo and I will go to pack up. Okay, okay. The instructor couldn't wait to stop this, or he would have to worry about it. He immediately nodded and said, Then listen to Xiao's classmates. Since you still have to pack your bags, I won't disturb you anymore. By the way, classmate Jiao, do you need any help in moving the bedroom? Is there anything to ask you to mention come out? Jiao Mian Mian smiled politely, thank you, we can do it ourselves. That's good, that's good, then I'll go first. Come to me if you have anything, and I will solve it for you if you can solve it. Okay, thank you counselor. You're welcome, this is what I should do. Asterisk. After the counselor left, Xiao Mian Mian walked past Bai Xiao and started to pack his luggage. Zhang Luo left to help her clean up together. She didn't have much stuff, and someone helped, and it was quickly packed. After the two men packed their bags, they carried their suitcases and prepared to leave. Hee <laughs> hee. A yin and yang sneer sounded. In these years, it is better to find a man with more skills. You can get a luxury car mansion or even more and better things without any effort. This is no one else can work hard for a lifetime. A man with status and status not only makes money easily, but even your teachers and classmates must be respectful in front of you. It is no wonder that all women in this society who are a little bit of beauty, want to pass a certain these channels were made for nothing. Yet. Yeah, what you can get easily with Zhang Zhang's legs, who wants to work hard to fight for it. It's best to move away. Otherwise, if you live in a dormitory with this kind of person with wrong views, I'm worried that I will be damaged. Oh, what are you worrying about, do you have that pretty face in someone's family? Parents have to be pure and innocent, born to be like the rich people. In your case, there are three things wrong in those rich in the eyes of my younger brother, they can be pure. The two of you sentenced me one sentence, a bitter irony. The acidity and jealousy in the words were revealed unabashedly. Xiao Mian Mian has reached the door. Hearing the words, stopped and slowly turned around. Are you talking about me? She asked with a calm expression on her face, her emotions unexpectedly calm. Bai Xia raised her head to look at her and there was no fear in her eyes. She sneered and said, whoever knows is clear. Ah! Xiao Mian Mian looked at her expressionlessly, without any feeling of anger in her heart, but only felt funny, well, what you said was just right. Bai Xiao and Zhang Yiwei froze at the same time, and looked at her suspiciously. They scolded her, and she was right. Is your brain broken? Xiao Mian Mian looked at the two like a clown, and continued to say indifferently, I do have a pretty face. I was born like a rich person. Rich people have to like me, and I can't help it. Bai Xiao Zhang Yue. Zhang Luli behind her. Baby, are you really saying that? You are going to be angry with their rhythm. You are jealous and useless, because the looks are all given by your parents. They are born. Even if you eat by your face, that is a kind of skill. Not everyone has such luck and ability. After all, 
God's darlings are only very few. People. Like me, it is destined to marry the life of the wealthy wife Mrs. Kuo. How many wives have you seen that you still need to work hard? The hard work of earning money outside is left to the man, and I am only responsible for it just look beautiful. Everyone has their own lives. It's useless if you are not convinced. If you really envy jealousy, there is actually a way to change your destiny. She paused a little, and then said sincerely, cosmetic changes destiny. You can also get into the way that rich people like. Even if it's not as good as my life, it's okay to marry a man with a little money. Come on, I believe you can. After that, she also clenched her fists and made a cheering gesture towards them. Bai Xiao and Zhang Yue's faces suddenly felt like they touched the bottom of the pan, and they turned black. Pooh! Zhang Luli laughed and burst into tears. She discovered that her baby's mouth was too damaged. Without saying anything curse, Bai Xiao and their noses and eyes were crooked. This is probably the highest level of cursing. She hadn't seen Xiao Mian Mi and hurt anyone before. It turned out that she was not harmless, but she didn't meet anyone who made her want to do so. So Bai Xiao and Zhang Yue deserved it too. Who made them smell bad first? Looking at their spitting blood, Zhang Luo was so refreshed. Oh! There was another chuckle, ringing behind them. When the man's low, laugh came into his ears, Xiao Mian Mian froze, then opened his eyes and turned slowly. The lights in the corridor were dim. The man in black clothes and black trousers stood quietly behind her in the cold night. The deep eyebrows and the slightly thin lips were covered with a faint warm color halo. The facial features are exquisite and beautiful, unlike real people. Especially when those deep eyes that could catch people's hearts and souls stared at her tenderly, Xiao Mian Mian felt that his soul was taken by him. He seemed like a demon suddenly appearing from the dark night with fatal danger and fatal temptation all over him. He was black, full of abstinence. Suddenly seeing such a visually stunning beauty, Zhang Luli was completely stunned. Xiao Mian Mian was also dumbfounded, staring at him without blinking. Mo Yesi? He, how could he come? On the phone just now, he did not say he was coming. Watching dull eyes, staring up at his cute and adorable girl, M.O. Yesi tickled his lips, stepped forward, and reached out to pull her into his arms. The man's powerful arms encircled her slender and soft waist, and her thin lips gently picked up, whispering softly, seeing me, happy. Chiao Mian Mian. The heartbeat increased the frequency of the beats uncontrollably. She blinked, staring at his excessively handsome face for a few seconds, and blinked again, You, why are you here? I miss you. If the man is too direct, her cheeks are slightly hot. They are less than an hour apart, okay. As if guessing what she was thinking, M.O. Yesi chuckled lowly, her big hand fell on her head and gently rubbed it, baby, you have to understand a man who is in love. Even if you are separated from you minutes, I can't bear it. Chiao Mian Mian felt his heart beating faster, thinking that Zhang Luli also heard these words and his face became hotter. The sour odor of love did not make Zhang Luli jealous and unrecognizable. Instead, she smiled with ant in her face. The expression of relief and excitement made Jiao Mian Mian's mouth twitch. How did she feel that she was in a relationship, and Zhang Luli seemed more excited than her? Wow, male god, are you here to help Mian Mian move things? Mian Mian is really happy with your boyfriend who is so considerate and caring about her. Zhang Luli said these words in his throat, two people in the bedroom heard. They naturally also saw Mo Yesi standing at the door. A man's outstanding appearance and distinguished temperament are enough to make any woman feel excited. Bai Xiao only glanced at it, and his heart accelerated. When she saw Xiao Mian Mian's bird snuggling in the man's arms, she gritted her teeth and her eyes showed jealousy. How can a man like that excellent and outstanding like green tea like Chiao Mian Mian? Do their men are so superficial, they just like to look good, don't care if the inner beauty is beautiful or not. Just as Bai Xiaozhang looked at Chiao Mian Mian with jealousy, 
Mo Yesi turned his head, and his indifferent eyes fell on her face that had become ugly because of jealousy. Bai Xiao and his eyes met, and his heartbeat missed several beats at once. The man's eyes are really beautiful. When looking at her, Bai Xiao instantly felt that she had a feeling of being in love. At this moment, she hoped that the woman leaning on his arms was her, not Jiao Mian Mian. The arms looked warm and insecure, and the feeling of being held in his arms must be sweet and beautiful. She had just thought about it in her heart and saw the handsome and honorable man walking into the bedroom with Jiao Mian Mian wrapped around her. The eyes that stared at her were extremely cold, and there was no trace of temperature in her eyes. Have you heard what my baby just said? Bai Xiao froze for a while, Mr. Mo Yesi interrupted her disgustingly, My baby is right, she was born to marry the life of Mrs. Dankuo. She has this face and is destined to get everything she wants without any effort. Need. If you are jealous of her, you can only admit it. Destiny is unfair to everyone. Bai Xiao's complexion instantly became ugly. He just heard those words just now? After hearing what Jiao Mian Mian said, not only was he not angry, he was still defending her? Sir, is the appearance of women so important to your men? Bai Xiao was a little emotional, as long as he has a good-looking face, he can overcome everything? I thought you were different from other men, unexpectedly, you would be so superficial. Shallow? Mo Yesi narrowed his eyes and sneered in the corners of his lips, Who are you? How much do you know me? Can you feel that I am different from other men? And, do you think your opinion is important? He looked at Bai Xiao's eyes, revealing unabashed disgust, A woman's appearance is indeed not the most important. But you are a woman with a very ugly appearance and heart, any man will feel appetite. Bai Xiao opened his eyes wide feeling that he was deeply humiliated. Her face flushed instantly, angrily, you. Just said a word, and was shocked by the cold color that appeared in the eyes of men. The cold, sharp eyes pressed down, and she felt the powerful oppression that made her breathless. Fear suddenly appeared, and coldness spread all over her body instantly, scaring her not to say a word. He clearly said nothing and did nothing. But a glance alone is enough to make people frightened. Under the pressure of such a powerful aura, Bai Xiao's body shivered uncontrollably. Mo Yesi didn't want to waste time on these meaningless people. His cold eyes glanced at Zhang Yue again, with threats and warnings in his eyes, and said coldly, Take care of your mouth in the future, and let me hear any words that defame my baby, it is not just a warning. Simple. If you want to graduate ahead of time, you can try not to take my words seriously. The last sentence made both Bai Xiao and Zhang Yue show fear. How could they not know what the meaning of early graduation in Mo Yesi's mouth meant? Since he can let Shen Yuyu and Zhao Wanting graduate ahead of schedule, he can naturally let them graduate ahead of schedule. While the two were afraid, their resentment against Jiao Mian Mian deepened. Asterisk. The new double bedroom is in another building. Even in the same school, many treatments for students are different. Most of the people who live in double dormitory are in good condition at home. After all, a semester costs nearly 100,000 accommodation costs, not every student's family can afford it. The double bedroom is a standard two-unit two-bedroom type, two bedrooms, a living room and a dining room. The most cool thing is that each bedroom has a separate bathroom. And all kinds of furniture and appliances inside are readily available. Wow, is this our new dormitory? Zhang Luli's eyes were so bright that he was shining and excitedly said, This is too great. Baby, you tell me, can we really stay here in the future? Of course can. It was Mo Yesi who answered her. The man carried the suitcase in one hand and Chiao Mian Mian's waist in the other, and looked around, a bit disgusted, this is the best dormitory in your school. Although unsatisfactory, it was barely passable. You will live there first. If it doesn't happen, it won't happen at all. Zhang Luli dragged the box towards the bedroom with a smaller area, and said in a very interesting way, I've packed my luggage, 
I will take a shower and go to bed in a while, no it's out of the bedroom. That, baby, you and the goddess can do whatever they want, and I can be my non-existent. When he was finished, he dragged the box into the bedroom and slammed the door shut. Chiao Mian Mian. Zhang Luo is a little bastard. Do what you want to do directly. Does she want to do anything at all? Hearing a low smile from the man in his ear, the laughter was insultry, she is sensible and will consider it for us. Chiao Mian Mian raised his head and met the man's deep dark eyes. His face was hot, and he bit his lip and said, don't care about her. Mo yes he didn't speak, looking at her with a smile. Chiao Mian Mian's face was even hotter. A light blush appeared on the girl's white and delicate face, took a deep breath nervously, reached out and gently pushed him, snatched the suitcase in his hand, well, I will also sort out the luggage. After that, he took the suitcase and walked into the bedroom. Seeing her back almost running away, Mo Yesi licked her lips and followed her in a hurry. He does not need to be anxious about the prey that is already inevitable. Good things are worth waiting for. Asterisk. As soon as Chiao Mian Mian walked into the bedroom, he saw the big, wide bed. Her bedroom is the master bedroom, with a relatively large area, and a double bed. She didn't know what she thought of, she blushed and heartbeat. Seeing her standing in a daze in front of the big bed, Mo Yesi chuckled and walked behind her, reaching for her and gently embracing her into her arms. The man's arm was strong and strong, and after hugging her, he was forced to circle her in his arms. The back was against his hot chest, like a fire, and Chiao was panicking for a while. Baby. Mo Yesi lowered his head, and his hot breath spattered into her ears. Her voice was in messy. I'm not going tonight, just stay here for one night, okay? The dormitory she used to live in was a six-person room. Many things are inconvenient. Now moving to this double dormitory, with a separate bedroom, Mo Yesi will naturally not leave his beautiful wife, and go back to sleep alone. Chiao Mian Mian's heart beat like a drum, and his face was so hot, no, no. Our school can't live outsiders. She was terribly nervous when she heard that he was staying tonight. Although the two had been sleeping in the same bed for the night, she was asleep that night, and she didn't know anything. Now, let her sleep in the same bed with him in a completely sober state. Just thinking about it, she felt so shy. She felt she was not ready. He has not completely accepted his so-called newlywed husband from the bottom of his heart. I said yes, just fine. The man's wet and hot lips stuck to her tiny red earlobe, causing her to shudder. He mutely said in her ear, Baby, let me stay. Don't be nervous, I won't be kind to you. I promised you would give you a week to get used to it, so I wouldn't gossip. I just wanted to hold if you sleep and stay with you, I will not lose sleep again. I didn't sleep well during the days when you were away. Insomnia is really painful. Do you have the heart to let me continue to be tortured by insomnia? Do you have the heart to continue watching me suffer? Hmm. The man said warmly then it blew into her ears, and the deep, hoarse voice was very sexy. Chiao Mian Mian suddenly felt that this man was coquettish with her. Although he was not the kind of coquettish tone, but was changing her tricks from beginning to end, but Chiao Mian Mian felt this way. Coquettish, selling pity just to stay here overnight. The more straightforward point is to sleep with her. With such a thought, Chiao Mian's white and tender face added a little bit of crimson color, but blushing would not work. Although he said sleeping, it simply meant sleeping with her. But. She still felt so shy. Her heart beats so fast, you lose, no sleeplessness, what does it have to do with me? Of course it does. Mo Yesi's hand tightened around her waist, and with a slight effort, she pulled her body towards herself. The man lowered his head, lifted her jaw with one hand, her deep, burning eyes looked into her eyes, and there was a charming smile on her lips, sleep with you, I will not lose sleep. I held you that night, you are fragrant and soft, 
a small one, so comfortable in your arms. Baby, tonight, I want to hold you to sleep too. During the talk, the eyes of the man's eyes grew hotter, as if there was a fire burning, and his dark black eyes reflected by the fire were a bit amazing. Xiaomian Mian saw her nervous and flustered look in his shiny eyes. The handsome face of the man enlarged from inch to inch in front of her eyes, and the hot breath fell down. M.O. Yesi. She called his name in a panic. Baby, call her husband. Hot thin lips pressed down. M.O. Yesi kissed deeply and hard. His kiss is as domineering as his people, with a deep possessiveness, like tasting delicious food, patiently and meticulously kissed from the corner of her lips, and then her soft and sweet lips. Then, open the lips and teeth, and plunder deeper and harder. The girl in her arms is fragrant, soft, and smells like a delicious meal. A delicious meal that belongs to him alone. Although M.O. Yesi wanted to devour all this delicious meal into his belly, he knew that it was not the best time. He had to wait patiently. He hopes that the little things in his arms are willing, that kind of thing is a very good experience, if it becomes a coercion, then what is the meaning? As proud as he is, he doesn't bother to force a woman. He gave her seven days to have this self-confidence, and she will definitely give him willingly when the time comes. The man kissed too eagerly, and Xiaomian Mian felt that the tip of his tongue was starting to numb, and his breath was almost gone. Because she couldn't breathe, she blushed with a suffocated face. Hmm. She didn't want to be the heroine of the wonderful news that was suffocated by the kiss. When she felt that she would soon faint, she reached out and pushed away the man who had kissed deeply. Fresh air penetrated between the lips and teeth. Xiaomian Mian took a deep breath immediately, his chest undulating violently. She took a deep breath four or five times in a row before she felt like she was alive again. The little face that suffocated due to lack of oxygen gradually returned to its normal color. The pushed man's eyes were full of lust, and his breath was heavy and rapid, and the fire at the bottom of his eyes seemed to burn completely. He looked at her, like a fierce beast staring at a little sheep. A small sheep being stared at is trembling. M.O. Yesi's thick and dark eyes fell on the soft pink lips of the little sheep that he kissed red, and his eyes darkened again. This little sheep is far more delicious than he thought. Once you taste it, you become addicted. Just now, if she didn't push him away, he might not be able to control himself. There was a fine sweat on the forehead. Somewhere in the body, there has been a reaction. Xiaomian Mian saw it, his face was hot and hot, and even his ears and neck were red. She squinted a few times, then panically looked away and squatted down to open the suitcase, I, I pack up. If you have to stay tonight, then, let me go to the sofa. The kiss just now scared her. She felt so clearly. It was just a kiss, and he, then, that. If they lie on the same bed for a while, can he really hold back? Xiaomian Mian didn't believe him anyway. She can feel that M.O. Yesis is very strong. Too strong makes her a little scared. M.O. Yesi stared at her for a few seconds, her thin lips hooked up, Baby, how can I be willing to let you go to the sofa outside? You sleep on the bed, I sleep on the sofa. Xiaomi and Mian immediately thought that the sofa in the living room seemed small. She slept on it, barely able to sleep one night. M.O. Yesi, a man with long hands and feet and a height of 1.8 meters, could not sleep at all. He sleeps on top, he can't even stretch his legs. Thinking of this, she twitched her eyebrows gently, that sofa is too small, you will sleep uncomfortably on it. M.O. Yesi's eyes flashed a flash of light very quickly, and immediately said, then I will sleep in a room with you. Xiaomian Mian was stunned, and his face was hot, no. I sleep on the ground. M.O. Yesi looked down at the ground. There should be extra quilts here. I can hit the floor. Xiaomian Mian. Before she could answer, the man narrowed his dark eyes, Baby, you don't allow me to sleep on the same bed with you. You can't even let me sleep on the ground? Don't forget, we are married. 
Newly married Yenner, you are about to drive your husband out of the room? Don't you think it's a bit too much for you? Xiao Mian Mian. She thought about it and felt like she was a little too much. Before they were married, he said that he would not be a fake couple in name only. What he meant was that her wife needed to fulfill her husband's obligations. It's okay if she doesn't let people go to bed, and then drives people out of the room. It is indeed excessive. After self-examination, she nodded blushing, well then. I, I'll go to see if there are any extra quilts. Hey. M.O. Yes he tickled his lips, and the corners of his lips tickled, you look for it, I'll take a bath first. After he finished speaking, he reached for the tie around his neck and turned to the bathroom. When he heard that he was going to take a shower, Xiao Mian froze for a moment, and then said, I don't have your clothes changed here. M.O. Yes he had already reached the door, his footsteps paused a little, turned his head, and looked at her with a smile. E.R. After hearing this long list of complaints, Xiao Mian Mian felt very embarrassed. So, is M.O. Yesi putting her brother's pigeons for her? What? Xiao Mian Mian's voice immediately caught the attention of the person on the other end of the phone. Yan Xiaoqing seemed to have discovered a new continent, and his tone was very excited, little sister-in-law. This little sister-in-law shouted that Xiao Mian Mian's face was hot. She pursed her lips and shyly said, Words, words, sir, hello. Wow. Yan Xiaoqing shouted excitedly again, Really sister-in-law? Hello, sister-in-law, my name is Yan Xiaoqing, a good friend who grew up with his second brother in crotch pants. Although we not a brother, but better than a brother. In short, my relationship with my second brother is very good. Amount. Xiao Mian Mian twitched at the corner of his mouth, and a polite but embarrassed smile appeared on his lips, yes, is it? Yes. Yan Xiaoqing said excitedly, the second brother told me that I had a sister-in-law, I thought he was lying to me, I didn't expect him to actually have a woman. I can't laugh at him anymore. It's a thousand years old single dog. Xiao Mian Mian. Oh, I'm so excited, so excited. I don't have to worry about my second brother being a baby boy for a lifetime. Xiao Mian Mian. Little sister-in-law, you don't even know. Our second brother is a weirdo. Before you, he didn't even have a shadow of a woman. From childhood to age, I don't know how many girls have secretly promised him, but he just treats others. There is no interest at all. Not only is he not interested, but when someone touches him, he behaves as if he was raped, and he is particularly resistant. What do you say about him? It's because he's not interested in women. I've been worried for a long time. I'm really afraid that he's interested in men. Think about it. I grew up with him since I was a child. Big, I took a shower together several times, and if he was interested in men, suddenly he told me that he fell in love with me, what should I do? At that time, everyone had no way to do it, isn't it a pity? Although I don't despise the love between men and men, but let me go and get involved with a man, I still accept incompetence. Moreover, that man is still my good brother. Think about I treat you as a brother, but you miss me, this what a terrible thing. How does she think this young master Yanjia is an elite? Is this too much play? Just because M.O. Yesi had shown no interest in women before, he could think of M.O. Yesi wanting to get on with him? Moreover, there are so many brain supplements tangled. There are so many plays in his mind, it would be a waste of talent not to be a screenwriter. He thought so much, did M.O. Yesi know? I've been worried for so many years, and struggled for so many years, and now I can finally feel completely at ease. You said that my elder brother is such a good man, I'm really going to get rid of it. Wouldn't it be that his face and such a good figure are white blind? Just the thought of him being crushed by another man. That, Mr. Yan. Xiao Mian Mian couldn't help it. After a few twitching of his mouth, he interrupted him aloud, You don't have to worry about this. 
Moyesi is normal, he likes women, he is not interested in men. How to say, Moyesi is now her husband. Xiaomian Mian felt that she had to clarify her reason. She has to let people know that her husband is a normal to no longer normal man. Yan Xiaoqing was silent for a moment, then spoke again, his voice was low, a mysterious look of the god, sister-in-law, is your second brother next to you? He didn't hear the words I just told you. No, he is not by my side, he went to take a shower. Going to take a bath. Yan Xiaoqing was silent for a moment, and then made an ambiguous chuckle, is the second brother going to take a bath so early? It seems that his combat effectiveness is not very good. But, sister-in-law, you don't worry too much. Old virgins like second brother were like this at first. When I meet next time, I will give him some experience to ensure that he will perform much better next time. Xiao Mian Mian Did this young master Xiao Yan misunderstand? What does it mean that the combat effectiveness is not very good, what does it mean that the old virgin has no experience, and it will be much better next time? Shouldn't he think that she and Mo Yesi just finished, and then Mo Yesi went to take a shower afterwards? With such a thought, Xiao Mian Mian was a little bit okay, and his face was terribly hot, and he hurriedly explained, Mr. Yan, you misunderstood. Not what you think. Okay, okay. I understand. Yan Shaoqing's tone came over, and he smiled cheaply. Since the sister-in-law and the second brother are still busy, then I won't disturb you. You give it to the second brother to pass a word, she said that Miss Shen will return to her country tomorrow and arrive at Yunchinch at 10.30 in the morning. He will pick it up when he has time. In a moment I will send him specific flight information. By the way, we have a party tomorrow night which is to catch Miss Shen. The younger sister-in-law will come with you. Our brothers want to see you. Yes, yeah, sister-in-law, you will come with us tomorrow night. We all have to bring our family members. In the past, as was an orphan, and no family members can bring it. Now that he has a little sister-in-law, he can't return to Tibet let's tempt us to see you. There was an additional man next to Yan Shaoqing who followed him and screamed. Listening to the voice is also a very young man. Xiaomi and Mian got a fever on their cheeks and couldn't stand the warm invitations of the two of them. He blushed and responded, Well, I will tell him later. Waiting for the call. Xiaomi and Mian reached out and touched her still hot cheeks, and she was curious when she thought of Miss Shen, who was just said by Yan Shaoqing. I want to see what kind of person Miss Shen is. After all, it would be a very good girl to be the only opposite sex friend beside Mo Yesi. Not long after she answered the phone, she heard a knock on the door rang. Thinking of Mo Yesi's previous account, she quickly walked to the door and opened the door. Wei Zheng stood at the door with a few clothes bags, and when she saw her, she looked respectfully and called out, Young lady. Xiao Mian Mian nodded gently towards him. This is some clothes that the young master confessed to buying. Please ask the young lady to bring him. During the speech, Wei Zheng secretly glanced into the room. He didn't see his president Mo, but he heard a faint sound of water flowing from a certain direction. Looking up again, seeing the blush that Jiao Mian Mian had not faded, Wei Zheng could not help but crooked. He was still a single dog and had no love experience, so he blushed. Looking at the time, it seems that it is less than eleven. President Mo was so early, did he have sex? Cough, it was really a newlywed Yan Er, passionate. However, it is understandable to think about it. If he had a beautiful wife like Mrs. Xiao, he would not be able to resist it. When Xiao Mian Mian reached out to pick up the clothes and bags, he just saw Wei Zheng's meaningful and ambiguous expression. She was. She didn't need to ask, she knew that Wei Zheng must have misunderstood. 80% of him is the same as the young master Yanjia, thinking that she and Mo Yesi have just passed it. However, she really did nothing. Asterisk. Ten minutes later. The sound of water in the bathroom stopped. 
when Xiao Mi and Mian hung a piece of clothing in the cupboard and turned to pack another one, he heard Mo Yesi's voice coming from the bathroom, Mian Mian, come here. The man's voice is and magnetic. After being scorched by the heat, it was slightly hoarse, and it was very sultry. Xiao Mi and Mian thought he must be finished, and walked to the bathroom door with his clothes on. She reached out and knocked on the door, Mo Yesi, you open the door, I will hand you the clothes. As soon as he finished talking, the door of the bathroom opened with a click. White steam ran out scrambling. Xiao Mi and Mian thought that Mo Yesi had just taken a shower at this moment, and he was definitely not wearing clothes. His eyes did not dare to look over to him. He turned his head and passed the bag. The voice was low and a little nervous, well, here is the clothes. You can take it in and change it. In the crack of the door, there was a man's hoarse and low voice, I'm afraid I won't eat you again. The wrist was tight, and the man's hot palm covered it, pulling her into the bathroom with force. Chiao Mi and Mian exclaimed, ah. The next second, she was ripped into the bathroom and hit the man's hot chest. In the bathroom, it was hot. The man had just taken a shower, and his body was still scented with shower gel. It was a faint scent of mint and a little musk that was unique to himself. The enchanting hormone breathed into the nose. I don't know whether it was because the temperature in the bathroom was too high, or the collision was too hard just now, and Chiao Mi and Mian felt dizzy. The man's heartbeat was strong and powerful, and the entire chest that he hit was trembling. Chiao Mi and Mian pressed her half of his face against his hot chest, listening to his strong heartbeat, and her heartbeat could not be suppressed. Mo Yesi's powerful arm was wrapped around her waist, and she was firmly wrapped in her arms. The other hand raised her jaw. The deep, hot eyes looked deeply into her eyes, and the voice was low and mute, Baby, you seem nervous? What are you afraid of? The girl in her arms was very tight. The small hand was still full of precautions against his chest, shell teeth clenching his pink lips, his eyes were round, and he looked at him with full precautions. It looks like a kitten who has encountered a dangerous blowout. Maybe she didn't know how cute she was. So cute, that he wanted to bully her hard. Just like that night, the more pitiful she cried under him, the more he wanted to bully her. Think about it, his mentality seems a bit abnormal. But he couldn't help it. Her tears can make him instantly out of control. Recalling the process of bullying her that night, he thought he was a beast. The man stared at her pink and delicious cherry lips, her eyes gradually darkened, her warm fingertips slowly moved up, and fell on her soft lips, and pressed lightly. M.O. Yesi. Chiao Mi and Mian glanced at him, panicking in his heart. The man's eyes were too dark and too dark, and his eyes were too obvious. She was a little scared. The girl's eyes were constantly flashing and nervous, and Bainan's little hand pressed against his chest, pushing it gently, trying to withdraw from his arms. She touched the hot skin with her palm, she froze, and looked down to see that he was only surrounded by a bath towel, and her upper body was, her eyes were rounded, and then her face was smeared crimson. In my heart, I became more and more confused. The lone man and the widow lived together in a room, and she was held in her arms by a man who only wrapped a bath towel. The atmosphere is too ambiguous and too dangerous. Especially when the man's dark and deep eyes looked at her, she had a feeling of being stared at by the beast. Her heart beats violently, her eyes flickering fiercely, you, you let me go. Um. Before he had finished speaking, Mo Yesi bowed his head and kissed deeply. The girl's lips were as sweet as ever, and after contaminating the breath on her lips, she didn't want to let go of her anymore. There was a fire on his lips and a hotter mark was printed on her soft and sweet lips. The kiss that resembled the fire of Liao Yuan soon became no longer satisfied with just swiping on her lips, his hot wet lips moved down a little, leaving more marks of her on her. The scorching big hand moved slowly along her slender waistline. Baby. The man buried his head in her neck, his voice was low and dumb, murmured emotionally, Baby. 
Xiaomian Mian couldn't resist the man's too strong kiss, lying softly on his chest. Well, Mo, Mo Yesi, don't. Her small face was flushed, and her eyes were full of tears in the blurred eyes, as if she was about to cry. Listening to her crying voice, the man raised his head, and the dark, hot eyes that were stained with fell on her delicate and moving face, looking at her little pitiful sample that was about to cry soon after being bullied, instead of stopping, he took up her small, slap face and kissed it deeply again. Woo! Xiaomian Mian felt that he was about to suffocate. She couldn't breathe and couldn't breathe. Between the lips and the nasal cavity, there is a domineering strong breath on the man. He seemed to want to swallow her into his belly, kissing fiercely and fiercely, holding his back with his big hands, pressing her heart against himself. The last point of oxygen in the chest was also sucked away. Hypoxia also began in the brain. Chiao Mianmian's uncomfortable tears came out, his small face swelled red, his brows were tight, and his tender white hands thumped on his chest. Her strength is like tickling for Mo Yesi. The man took hold of her little hand that was beating on his chest, raised it to his lips, and kissed the back of her hand. Mo Yesi, you let me go. Chiao Mian Mian was finally able to take a breath. She was tearful in her eyes. When she talked, Ruinyo's voice was all crying, and she was very gasping, you said you won't touch me now. She wriggled in his arms and struggled. Mo Yesi took a deep breath, her arms around her waist tightened, and her strength was so close that she nearly pinched her waist, baby, don't move. You want me to ask in the bathroom you. The girl's soft and fragrant body wriggled in his arms, rubbing between them, his emotions were strong. Almost, I couldn't control myself, I just wanted her. His voice was low and dumb. Between the words, I also wheezed badly. Chiao Mian Mian raised her head in tears, and saw the extremely handsome face on the man's extremely handsome face. He squeezed his lips tightly, and water drops rolled down his forehead. Following his forehead, he slowly slid onto his high three-dimensional nose. The throat knot rolled several times during the gasp. This extremely ascetic and deeply tortured look is an explosive. Especially when he saw his somewhat painful expression because of forbearance, Xiao Mian Mian looked and looked, and even a little dry. The man in front of him was full of temptation. His handsome face is so that he has a good figure, and his throat rolls up and down when he swallows. Everywhere, people feel hormones burst. Xiao Mian looked at him staring blankly, thinking that such an ascetic man would also get out of control for her, inexplicably a little ecstatic and proud. Feel the vanity of a woman is very satisfied. Baby, you're good, don't move. Mo Yesi buried her head in her hair, took a few deep breaths, and said in a hoarse voice, Baby, let me just hug for a while, just hug for a while. Chiao Mian Mian was hugged tightly in his arms, tightly fitting each other. When the man talked, she felt the emotion of his body, and she was immediately frightened into his arms, so she didn't dare to move. A low, gasp continued to ring in her ear for about a minute, and Mo Yesi held her tightly, still motionless. After a while, his breath gradually calmed down. Forbidden hoop arms around her waist, slowly relaxed. Baby. His voice was still hoarse, and he slowly raised his head and reached up to hold her small, colorful face, forehead against her forehead, and rubbed gently, Are you not ready yet? Remember me did you say anything? I will give you a week, and now there are two days left. I hope you can adjust your mindset as soon as possible. I don't want you to resist me like this after a week. I want to be a real couple with you, not just in name. After he finished, he gently rubbed it against her forehead, his big hand fell on her delicate cheek, and stroked it twice, my patience is also limited, I don't want to force you. Do you understand what I mean? He always wanted her very much. The thought of wanting her became stronger after seeing Su Zee today. Even if he knew that she and Su Zee would have no other possibility, but the thought that she and Su Zee had reached the point where they talked about marriage, 
and they still had the special feeling of knowing each other for ten years, his heart would inevitably arise jealous. So Zee is her sweetheart. It is also her first love. It was the man she almost married. If it weren't for So Zee's cheating, she would be happy to be Mrs. Su. Her husband would be a man named So Zee, not his M.O. Yesi. As long as he thinks of these things, he cannot help but mind. She once had a fiancé who had had a relationship with her for ten years. How can she say that you can forget it for ten years? Even if she didn't care anymore, she couldn't have any feelings for So Zee in her heart. And So Zee. Men understand men more deeply and thoroughly than women. At a glance, he could see that So Zee was still thinking about her. If she happens to be unforgettable about him, the two may not know when they will reunite. It's just a well-known marriage, he is not at ease. Only if she is completely made him, will he feel at ease. Chiao Mian Mian met the man's deep, hot eyes, his heart was beating very quickly, and he swallowed nervously. Just want to say something, the man held her face, kissed gently on her forehead with a low voice, and said softly, Well, you go out. Baby, think about me, I am a normal man, it's uncomfortable to hold it like this every time. A week is enough for you to adjust your mindset. Asterisk. Chiao Mian Mian came out of the bathroom, his cheeks still red. The heartbeat has not calmed down yet. She was still thinking about what Mo Yesi said. Obviously, he was reminding her that he could endure not touching her for two days at most. After a week, he would not endure this way. Therefore, in the last two days, she had better prepare in advance. In fact, he already respected her very much. Knowing that she hadn't adapted to the relationship between them, she was given a week. Obviously endured so hard, and refrained from touching her. He could have avoided this. If he had to do that kind of thing with her, according to the agreement between them, she could not refuse. M.O. Yesi's pair of deep eyes filled with appeared in his mind. Chiao Mian Mian's heart beat a lot faster. In the vague memory, the man who had robbed her innocence had gazed at her with such eyes. Thinking of the man that night, Chiao Mian Mian clenched his fists, and he felt a little uneasy in his heart. According to Uncle Li, Mo Yesi had never had another woman before. So, should he still be? Although they didn't know much about him after they were married for a few days, she can also see that he has a certain cleanliness in life and feelings. Then he, can she accept that she's gone? If he found out that he married a wife who was not in office, would he be angry, disappointed, or even disgusted that she was not clean? When I was in a mess, I heard the phone ringing. Mo Yesi's cell phone is ringing. Chiao Mian Mian walked over and glanced, and saw the word Shen Ro displayed on the flashing screen. Chiao Mian Mian was not unfamiliar with the word Shen Ro before it was passed by Lu Rao. Thinking of what Yan Shaoqing told her before, Chiao Mian Mian guessed that Miss Shen should call to tell Mo Yesi that she would come back tomorrow. The bell rang for the third time. Chiao Mian Mian just wanted to take the mobile phone to Mo Yesi, and heard the door of the bathroom opened with a click. Mo Yesi put on his nightgown and walked out of it. The man was wearing a pure black silk nightgown with a slightly open neckline, revealing a strong and attractive chest muscle, wet hair was still dripping and the water droplets rolled down to the forehead, and then fell down from the forehead, following him tall and straight the bridge of the nose slips onto the thin lips. The gown's belt was loosely tied, as if it would be loosened at any time, revealing the and good figure inside that would make people nosebleed. Men's typical dress is thin, and there is meat. The tight, muscular muscles made Joe's eyes straight. She knew that M.O. Yesi was in good shape. But I didn't expect his figure could be so good. As I walked, the looming muscle was simply and tempting. When the man came to her and lifted her jaw, Chiao Mian Mian suddenly recovered when she looked at her with a teasing look in her eyes. Baby. The man's voice was low, with temptation, should I take off my clothes to make you look good? Boom. Chiao Mian Mian's white and tender face turned instantly red. Cough cough. 
she coughed abruptly. No, no more. Are you sure? The man's handsome and deep facial features amplify in front of her eyes, chewing lips, really don't look? I will change my mind later. Chiao Mian Mian, I'm sure. Facing the man's dark, smiling eyes, Chiao Mian Mian's face was hot, and he quickly looked away and changed the subject, that, someone called you. Don't you answer the phone. Mo Yesi seemed to hear the phone ringing. He hooked the corner of his lips, slowly withdrawn his gaze, looked down at the cell phone that was still ringing, picked it up and pressed it to connect. There was a brisk voice on the phone immediately, with a little bit of scorn, as, why did you answer the phone for so long? What are you doing? Just taking a shower. Mo Yesi glanced at Chiao Mian Mian, who was standing beside him, said lightly, what's the matter? Can't you call you if you're okay? The woman seemed a little dissatisfied, but the tone was charming, and there was no real complaint. You guys, I don't call you, you don't know to take the initiative to call give me a call. Mo Yesi wrinkled his eyebrows, and his voice was still faint, since you are fine, hang up. Wait. The woman was anxiously corrupted, and busy, don't hang up, I have something to tell you. What's up? Without waiting for the woman to speak, Mo Yesi reached out and took Chiao Mian Mian into her arms, lowered her head and kissed gently on her cheek, and said softly, Baby, help me blow down my hair. The hair dryer is in the bathroom, you go get it come out. Chiao Mian Mian raised his head, looked at his wet hair, and nodded, Okay, then wait a minute, I'll get the hair dryer. Hey. Mo Yesi kissed her face lightly before letting go of her. When Chiao Mian Mian turned to the bathroom to get the hair dryer, the woman on the other end of the phone came with a bit of doubt and surprise. As, who were you talking to just now? There are women beside you. Hey. Mo Yesi found a place to sit down and gently licked his lips. Shen Ro, I am married. That was my wife just now. After at least a minute of silence. The woman's voice rang again, when have you become so joke-like? Mo Yesi froze for a moment, frowning gently, and his tone was rarely serious and serious, not a joke. Besides, you know me, when do I like to joke about this kind of thing? It was another full minute of silence. Why is it so sudden? Didn't you say that you are not interested in any woman? Was the uncle and aunt forced to marry, so? No. Mo Yesi interrupted her with Shen Sheng, no one can force me to do things I don't want to do. It is my own choice. Then do you like her? The woman's voice was a little trembling. Aren't you unable to touch the woman? Are you ill? She is the exception. Mo Yeji reached out and rubbed her eyebrows, looking at the girl who came out of the bathroom with the hair dryer. The arc of her lips deepened, I can touch her. So you married her because of this? Yes, not all. As. Marriage is not a child's play, you shouldn't just do this casually. Okay. The woman's consolation gave Mo Yesi a trace of impatience in his eyebrows. His tone was cold. My own business, I know what to do. What else do you have? There was another few seconds of silence over there, and the woman's voice became a little dry. I will return to China tomorrow, and I will arrive at Yunchenj at 10.30 in the morning. Can you pick me up? Chiao Mian Mian walked to Mo Yesi with a hair dryer. As soon as the power was plugged in, the man reached into his arms. She was pressed to sit on his lap, the man's powerful arm wrapped around her waist, and squeezed on the soft flesh around her waist before she said to the woman on the other end of the phone, Tomorrow morning there is an important at the meeting. I asked Yan San and the fourth to pick you up. What meeting is so important? Is it more important than me? The woman complained dissatisfiedly. Shen Ro, you are no longer a child, don't be willful. Hey, if it's your wife returning home, wouldn't you pick her up? Wife? Mo Yesi looked down at the soft and cute girl in his arms and met Chiao's long, soft, black eyes. 
His lips were raised, and his voice could not help but softened by two points, of course not. If it was her, I would put down all to pick her up. After a few seconds, the woman's voice rang again, and it seemed to be a little bit harder, A.C.I., is she so good? M.O. Yesi, well. Okay, it's okay if you don't come to pick me up. You always have time to come to the wind banquet in the evening? Bring your newlywed wife together? We said yes at first, and whoever has the other half will bring it out for everyone to know. I asked her. M.O. Yesi took the phone away, touched the girl's head in her arms, and said, Shen Ro returned home and said that they gave her a feast for the wind, just tomorrow night. Are you going with me? They said they wanted to see you. Another day is the weekend. Tomorrow night, Chiao Mian Mian is free. She thought about it and said, Is it convenient for me to go, will it affect you? What's inconvenient? They are all my friends that I have made for many years. I heard that I am married. I am curious about you. I have been crying to see you. Mian Mian, you married me. You not only have to try to accept me, you have to try to slowly integrate into my life circle. I want to introduce you to my friends soon. Chiao Mian Mian was silent for a few seconds and nodded gently, well, then I will go. Mo Yesi's approach is actually an endorsement for her. Only when he really took her as his wife would he be willing to introduce his best friend to her. If she refused, he would be angry. Seeing her nod, the man tickled the corner of his lips, rubbed it gently on top of her head, and then responded to the woman at the other end of the phone, I will take her tomorrow night. By the time you all converge, she is timid don't scare her. There's nothing else. So be it, hang up. After speaking, M.O. Yesi hung up the phone. He threw the phone aside, holding the girl in his arms with his hands, and the cold lined jaw resting on her head and rubbed it, Shen Yuge is more generous, the surface looks like a grumpy, but actually a very enthusiastic person as for Yan San and Gong Si, they usually play relatively well, and their reputation is not good. In the eyes of ordinary people, they are not good people, but their private lives are slutty, and their hearts are not bad. Yan San is a living treasure. Gong Si Ma, his temper is not very good, a little quirk, if you don't look good, you can ignore him directly. In short, you are the one I brought with you, or my wife. No matter what kind of person they are, they dare not be brazen in front of you. You can relax. M.O. Yesi is giving Chiao Mian Mian a vaccination in advance. Those little rabbits are really not good people. He knew their virtues, and the little sheep in his family didn't know. Chiao Mian Mian listened obediently. After listening, he nodded obediently, Well, I know. I will be by your side tomorrow night and I won't go anywhere. Is that okay? M.O. Yeji squeezed her jaw and lowered her head to peck at her lips, Good girl. Asterisk. On the other side of the earth, St. Peter's City. Shen Ro pinched the phone, frowning. She read Yan Shaoqing's phone from the address book and dialed his mobile number. After two sounds, Yan Shaoqing's lazy voice came over, Miss Shen, why did you call me again, just think of me like this? I know your affection for me is like a raging river I think I can't help myself. But no matter how much you think about me, you can bear with me for a while, and we will be able to meet tomorrow. If you really think I'm thinking hard, I'll show you the video first so you can see me. Listening to the voice of Dang Erlang, Shen Ro frowned more tightly, and said angrily, I miss you. Yan Ziyasen, I am not in the mood to talk to you now. I ask you something, you have to be honest. Is it so serious? Yan Xiaoqing smiled, what's the matter? Shen Ro bit her lip and hesitated for a few seconds before asking, do you know the matter of his marriage? You said this. Yan Xiaoqing seemed stunned, his tone slightly serious, he told you. Hey. Shen Ro closed her eyes, and there was a trace of obscurity in her eyes. Although he said it personally, I still don't believe it is true. You also know what his attitude towards women is, how? 
will suddenly get married. He can't be so casual with his marriage. After listening to her, Yan Xiaoqing said after a moment of silence, the specifics of this matter, I haven't figured it out yet. But the matter of marriage is definitely true. You understand the second brother, he will not make fun of this kind of thing. Little sister-in-law's voice is very young, and it sounds like a cute girl. The second brother said she was a student and she was very simple. As for the rest, I don't understand. Student. Shen Ro was startled. Well, student. Is he crazy? Shen Ro took a deep breath and his face became a little ugly. He even found a student? Do Aunt Mo and Uncle Mo know this? It's not clear. But I heard that Aunt Mo intends to match the money between As and Zhao's family. Presumably As is married, they didn't know about it. Is he really crazy? Shen Ro said with air, it's such a big thing to marry that he is hiding all the people in the family. Ro Ro. Yan Shaoqing's tone suddenly became serious, and said in a rare and serious tone, as is not like us, he is a very clear person who plans his own life. He does everything, it's not impulse is not a decision. I believe he did this, and there must be his own consideration. A and D. Yan Xiaoqing was silent for a few seconds before speaking again. I can feel that as cares about that woman very much. So if you see her tomorrow night, don't you like her or not, don't show it in front of as. Shen Ro tightened her fingers, squeezing her lips and not speaking. Yan Xiaoqing sighed softly, I said long ago, if you are really interested in as, tell him earlier. Now, he is married, alas. What do you think you are thinking? Listening to Yan Shaoqing's sigh, Shen Ro's heart seemed to be cut off by something. Her eyes were covered with a mist of water, and she clenched her lips and couldn't say a word. Is everything too late? She liked him for more than two decades. The first time she saw him, she fell in love with him. The more she likes him, the more she fears losing him. She was afraid that her confession would make them unable to do even friends. But now. She seemed to have completely lost the opportunity to confess to him, and completely, lost her love. Asterisk. Xiao Mi and Mian thought that there was one more person in the room, and she would not be used to it and would not be able to sleep. In fact, she fell asleep quickly. The lights went out and there was silence all around. In the darkness, each other's breathing was clear. She was lying on the bed, listening to another breathing sound in the room. Not only did she not feel uncomfortable, but she felt quite at ease. More secure than usual at any time. Just thinking that she actually let M.O. Yesi hit the floor, she felt a little bit sad. She estimated that, this is most likely the first time he sleeps on the ground. I don't know if he is very used to. Although it is summer, sleeping on the ground will not affect too much, and letting the master M.O. Tang sleep on the ground, her conscience will be a little uneasy. M.O. Yesi. She moved to the bed little by little, her voice weak and weak, are you asleep? The man returned in seconds, not yet. Chiao Mian Mian. After waiting for a while, she did not hear her speak again, and the man's magnetic sultry voice murmured in the dark, Baby, are you asleep? This time, Chiao Mian Mian also returned in seconds, no. Mo Yesi gave a soft grace and said, something to tell me. Chiao Mian Mian grabbed the quilt, hesitated for a few seconds, and asked softly, is it uncomfortable to sleep on the floor? Are you not used to it? The man did not answer her immediately. It was after a moment of silence that he replied, well, I'm not used to it. Chiao Mi and Mong stunned. Sure enough, not used to it. She grabbed the quilt in her hand again, biting the corner of her lips, and said in a small voice, Are you the first time hitting the floor? Okay. Although I guessed that he must have slept on the ground for the first time, but he heard the sound of a, and the feeling of being overwhelmed with emotion was again on my mind. Actually, I can go to the sofa. It must be inappropriate for him to fall asleep on the small sofa in the living room, 
but it is appropriate for her to fall asleep. She went to the sofa and he went to bed, and this matter could be solved perfectly. But he, had to share a room with her. This is not easy. Xiaomian Mian did not believe that he had to fall asleep. She is not a sleeping pill. The light was turned off in the room, and the curtains were closed again, almost black, almost without fingers. Xiaomian Mian couldn't see the expression on the man's face at the moment, but listening to his voice, he could guess that he must be frowning and talking, I let my woman sleep on the sofa, I sleep on the bed. Baby, you said come out, I can't do it. Okay, sleep well, don't worry about me. But, baby, if you really distress me, let me go to bed. Of course, if you are still worried that I won't be able to control you, I'll say nothing. Xiaomian Mian grabbed the little quilt, bit his lips and tangled for a while, and shook, then can you guarantee that you will behave properly? No. Baby, the woman you like is lying on a bed with yourself. If the man can still behave properly and sit up, you shouldn't worry if he will touch you, but his physical function is not normal. I can only promise not to do the last step with you. But I will definitely be unable to hold you, kiss you, or make a more intimate move towards you. Chiao Mian Mian's face was hot and there was hot air coming out of the pores. He, is too honest. He said so, how to let her pick up. Can't I lie to her? For a time, each other was speechless. The room was quiet again. All you can hear is the ticking sound of the second hand of the alarm clock hanging on the wall, and the light breathing of the two people in the room. After three or four minutes of silence, Xiaomian Mian finished tangling, turned his head, and shouted gently under the bed, M.O. Yesi. Okay. The man hasn't fallen asleep yet, it's still a second to her. Xiaomian Mian pulled the corner of the quilt, blushing and said, you still go to bed to sleep. After a few seconds of silence, the man spoke again, what about you? Er, this bed is quite big. Xiao Mian pursed her lips and said a little shyly, it's okay to sleep two people, we can sleep alone. Eh, if you don't like to sleep like this, you can. She hadn't finished speaking yet, a dark shadow swayed in front of her, and the other side of the big bed fell into it instantly. The little quilt in his hand was also taken away. Before she could react, a strong arm was wrapped around her waist, hitting her into a strong and hot embrace. The overbearing breath of the man rushed into his nose. M.O. Yesi held the man firmly in his arms, and the other hand pulled the quilt and covered them. The girl in her arms seemed to be frightened, struggling for a moment, thin and weak, with a trace of panic in the soft waxy voice like a little milk cat. M.O. Yesi, you let me go. Don't move, baby. Because of her twisting, the pressure that was finally pressed down was violent in him. M.O. Yesi took a deep breath, her arms around her waist tightened, and in a hoarse voice with restraint and forbearance, I just want to hold you to sleep, not to do anything else. But if you continue to be in my arms I can't help but toss around. Just a few seconds after his words fell, Xiao Mian Mian felt his body change. His place reached her aggressively. They are all adults, and she naturally knows what that is. It's not true that Xiaobai thinks that he is hiding something with a stick. In an instant, she was frightened to lie down in his arms honestly, daring not to move again. Above the head, the man's breathing was a little quick, and after a minute, it slowly calmed down. A soft kiss, without any end gently fell on her forehead. M.O. Yesi tightened his arms, smelling the elegant fragrance in the girl's hair, and closed his eyes contentedly, baby, sleep. The breath on her completely relaxed him. He used to feel particularly irritable, anxious and irritable before going to bed. Every nerve in the brain will be tight. Every night I fall asleep, it is like fighting with another person in my body. No matter whether he wins or loses, he will eventually be dragged into that dark world. It's a world that can't see any light, only the endless darkness can be seen. Every time he woke up and returned to reality from that dark world, he felt very tired. 
both body and mind are exhausted. It is not that he has not seen a doctor. Domestic and foreign, the best psychologists in the world have treated him, but he still cannot get rid of the nightmare that has troubled him for more than two decades. Later, he admitted his fate. He was ready to be troubled for a lifetime. Xiaomian Mian appeared at this time. She was an accident and a surprise to him, and it was a piece of driftwood that people who were drowning in the water could not easily find. She is his savior. If he hadn't met her, he would have passed it in his life. However, since she has appeared in his life, let him discover her, in this life, no matter what, he cannot let go. Asterisk. The next day. When Xiaomian Mian woke up, the place beside him was empty. She rubbed her eyes and sat up, picked up her phone and looked at it, and saw Mo Yesi sending her a few text messages. Mo Yesi, baby, I have gone to the company. Seeing you sleep so sweetly, you won't be willing to wake you up. Mo Yesi, I will pick you up at night and wait for me. Mo Yesi, I asked Wei Zhang to buy breakfast for you. After waking up, I ate breakfast before going to class. After reading three text messages in a row, Xiaomian Mian could not help raising her lips, feeling warm in her heart. He really took her to heart, and even prepared breakfast for her. She hooked her lips and happily replied to him with a message, Well, I know, you should also remember to have breakfast. After the message was sent, Mo Yesi did not immediately reply. After Xiaomian Mian sent the message, he dropped his mobile phone and got out of bed to wash in the bathroom. After she finished washing and picked up her phone, Mo Yesi still didn't reply to her. She didn't care much. Early in the morning, he must be very busy. He is still busy with work at this time. It is estimated that she did not see her information, or that she did not have time to reply. Asterisk. Xiaomian Mian just walked out of the bedroom and heard a knock on the door. She walked to the door, opened the door, and saw Wei Zhang in a suit and leather suit standing outside. Wei Zhang carried a few bags in his hand and met her, shouting respectfully, Young lady. He handed the bag to Xiaomian Mian, Mrs. Young, this is the breakfast that the young master told me specifically for you. I don't know what Mrs. Xiao likes to eat, so I bought everything. If it does not meet your appetite, you can tell me what you like to eat and I will buy it again. Xiaomian Mian reached over and took a smile. He smiled at Wei Zheng and said, Thank you White. I don't pick food, I can do anything. Wei Zheng also smiled, Young Master also asked me to convey a word to you. What's the matter? The Young Master said, Breakfast must be eaten. Let the young lady don't forget it. Xiaomian Mian froze for a moment, his heart suddenly sweet. She pursed her lips and nodded with a sweet smile, Well, I will eat. Then, if Mrs. Young has nothing else to do, I will take a step first. Okay, go busy. Wei Zheng bent slightly and bowed to her before turning around and leaving. He had just left, and the door of the other bedroom opened. Zhang Luli rubbed his eyes, a sleepy look, yawning, and came towards Xiaomian Mian, baby, who has been here just now. I heard the knock on the door. Well, an assistant of Mo Yesi. Bring us breakfast. Are you ready to wash? Come and have breakfast after washing. Xiaomian Mian took out the same thing in the bag. The dining table is not very large. The large pile of breakfast that Wei Zhang bought almost filled the whole table. He really bought everything. On the table are soup dumplings, porridge, soy milk fritters, bread and milk. The two girls could not finish eating at all. Wow, is breakfast so rich? Zhang Luli smelled the aroma of food, his nose moved, and fart ran over. Looking at the table full of food, her eyes lit up and excitedly said, Wow rub, Su Yun Zai's bun. And Lan Faga's seafood porridge. And Tianji bread and cakes. Super expensive. This breakfast is too luxurious. Baby, are these male gods prepared for us? Well. Xiaomian Mian nodded, 
casually took a chair and sat down, picked up a pair of chopsticks and handed Zhang Luli, sit down and eat. If you like, eat more. Anyway, she felt this table breakfast, the two of them could not finish. She will have to tell Mo Yesi later that he will not be so extravagant and wasteful next time. These breakfast shops are very expensive. You can only throw it away if you can't finish it. She wastes so much and so expensive food, she will have a strong sense of guilt. Zhang Luli took a chair next to her and sat down. She took a soup dumpling and took a bite. There was delicious juice flowing out of the bun, and her delicious tongue was almost swallowed. She narrowed her eyes in satisfaction, sure enough, the expensive ones are different. This is the best of all the buns I eat. Then eat more. Chiao Mian Mian put a bun in her bowl. Zhang Luli was completely attracted by the food at this time, and had no time to manage other things. Waiting for a soup dumpling to fall, she seemed to suddenly remember something and suddenly raised her head, yes, the goddess. Why didn't you see him? Chiao Mian Mian. Zhang Luo Luo, this reflex arc is too slow. Until now, did you think of your male god? It seems that no matter how good the male is, it's still not as attractive as the delicious buns. He left long ago. Chiao Mian Mian took a sip of milk and found that the milk was still warm and warm. It must have been heated before it was delivered. That's good. Zhang Luli exhaled gently. I can go to the hospital to see Chen Chen tomorrow weekend. No need. Chiao Mian Mian thought for a while and said, Yesterday the doctor told me that Chen Chen could be discharged tomorrow. Don't you have to take a photo of a Dobeo shop this week, and wait for you to be empty, I will try again tell Chen Chen to come out and have a meal together. Okay. Zhang Luli didn't insist, and said with a smile, After this week, my salary can be settled last month. When I get the money, I invite you to dinner. I said before please you and the goddess, you must not dismiss the place I invited is not tall enough. Asterisk. After breakfast, Chiao Mian Mian and Zhang Luli held hands to go to class. On the way, I met Bai Xiao and Zhang Ye Wei. The two came towards them head on, and when they saw them, they stopped, and then their faces fell cold. Bai Xiao stared at them, staring at them for a few seconds, and gave a deep sneer. Zhang Ye Wei also sneered and then didn't open his face, Xiao Xiao, let's go, people can now have people in the background, we can't afford to offend. They both hold a small book in their hands, and they should go to the instructor with a review book. Yeah, I can't afford to offend. Bai Xiao sneered from the throat again, I heard that Shen Yuyu is still being locked in the police station. It's obviously not a big thing, it should have been released long ago. Some people are really poisonous, and they have to be neglected to death. It takes a day to collapse in such a place. After a long time, people can be depressed. Ah, who can blame? It's not that Shen Yuyu has no one in the background. You just know. Xiao Mian Mian didn't respond, but Zhang Luli couldn't hear their yin and yang, and said with a sneer, If you think Shen Yuyu is pitiful, you can go in and accompany her she will be very moved. Zhang Luli, it's you again. Bai Xiao gritted her teeth and glared at her, angrily, what are you thinking, who do you think you are, and you want to threaten us? Zhang Luli smiled coldly, and just about to speak, Chiao Mian Mian said slowly, Luo Luo's meaning is what I mean. Anyway, I'm a malicious person. Anything can be done. If you are I want to go in and accompany Shen Yuyu, I can fulfill you. Chiao Mian Mian made a noise, and the faces of the two men who were arrogant just now changed suddenly. They also heard today that Shen Yuyu and Zhao Wanting were still locked up in the police station. Both the Shen family and the Zhao family failed to find a relationship to try to get them out. Not only that, they also knew about Chen Gui's bankruptcy. Obviously, these things must have been done by the boyfriend behind Chiao Mian Mian. Even the former Su Ziyi did not have such a great ability to let Sheng Hui go bankrupt overnight. It can be seen that the boyfriend Xiao Mian Mian is now more powerful than the Su family. This is there, 
absolutely incapable person. The two hated each other secretly, but they had to be afraid. They cannot take Zhang Luli seriously, but now they dare not face up to Jiao Mi and Mian. No matter how unhappy they were, they could only grit their teeth to hold back their anger, and dared not say anything. Yu Wei, let's go. Bai Xiao stared at Jiao Mi and Mian angrily, and walked Zhang Yue past them. Zhang Luli made a grimace to their backs, Hey, mad at you. Xiao Mi and Mian pulled her and laughed, Okay, Lolo, just ignore them. Let's go. Zhang Luo nodded, turned around and took her arm, frowning and sighing, The women's jealousy is really terrible. Baby, I guess they all hate you now, be careful, I always have a hunch that they will get some moths. Especially Bai Xiao. When she first left, she stared at Chiao Mian's eyes, which was a bit scary. Asterisk. Chiao Mian Mian's class was over after 10 o'clock in the morning. As soon as she came out of the classroom, she received a call. Miss Chiao, we are the star entertainment film and television company. Recently, the heroine of a drama needs a substitute. We think you are quite suitable. I don't know if you have any intentions in this regard. Chiao Mi and Mong stunned. She froze for a few seconds before wondering, Sing Entertainment Film Company. Yes. I don't seem to have submitted a resume to your company. Chiao Mi and Mian, the company of Star Entertainment, knew. It is also a relatively large film and television production company in the circle. Chiao Mi and Mian has not received a job for a while. There are very few crews who have recently made dramas. There are no people in the film and television city. Many first and second line actors are still idle and have nothing to do. Not to mention her small role of playing soy sauce. Her work was mainly introduced to her by a small studio. She suddenly received a call from a big company like Star Entertainment. She felt a little strange. She has not interviewed Star Entertainment nor has she submitted any resume to Star Entertainment. How did the other party know her phone number? Before she could figure it out, the people over there said, A friend introduced you to me. Miss Jiao, have you considered it? Our salary is over here, and you will definitely be satisfied with the price offered. Of. Jiao Mian Mian didn't think deeply about what he said. She seriously considered it and replied, I'm sorry. I'm not very familiar with the business of stand-in. The other party seemed stunned for a few seconds before asking again, Miss Jiao, do you mean to refuse? Jiao Mian Mian, sorry, I don't think I might be suitable. If she did not marry Mo Yesi, she must be short of money now. Jiao Chen's surgery costs hundreds of thousands of dollars and requires her to work hard to make money. She certainly won't refuse this job as a substitute. But now. She holds a black card with a limit of $1 million in her hand. She doesn't lack money at all, so she doesn't want to take up jobs that will not help her future. It's not as good as her role as a soy sauce. Anyway, the soy sauce is done, and occasionally there are one or two shots, more or less a little exposure. To be a stand-in for someone, isn't that a little exposure? Miss Jiao, have you considered it? Yes. The other party was silent for a while, and said, Well, then. We are not forced to do so. This mobile number is my work number. If Miss Chiao changes her mind, you can call me. Chiao Mian Mian, okay. Hanging up the phone, Zhang Luli, who followed her out of the classroom, asked, Baby, did Xingya call you just now? Well. Chiao Mian Mian looked down at the strange number in the address book, and looked thoughtful. This phone call from Star Entertainment is a bit strange. Although the other party said that a friend introduced her to the past, Chiao Mian Mian still felt that something was unreasonable. It's just a stand-in. There is no need for people from Star Entertainment to call in person. To contact, it should be the person who introduced her to contact her. And the most important point is that she has never taken the job of a substitute before. 
she told the studio she had been working with a long time ago that she would not succeed. Therefore, the other party will not introduce her as a substitute before she has no such requirement. While answering the phone just now, she had no time to think about it. Now that I think about it, I feel that everything is not right. Star Entertainment, a lot of first-line celebrities are from their homes. Have you visited their company for an interview? No. Xiaomian Mian shook his head, raised his head, and still had doubts in his eyes, it is said that there is a drama about to start shooting, and I'm fancy that I will act as a substitute for the hostess. Substitute. Zhang Luo frowned from his brow. Aren't you not a substitute? Yet. Yeah. Mian Mian said his doubts. So I feel a little strange. I never took the job of a substitute. I don't know why someone would ask me to be a substitute. Zhang Luo left for a moment, and stepped forward to hook her shoulder and took her forward, I'll go back and find out if Xingyu has any new dramas to be filmed to see who the heroine is. It's not a big deal anyway. You don't have to study it anymore. Well. Xiao Mian Mian nodded. Baby, can I ask you something? Well, you said. Zhang Luli turned to look at her, hesitated, and whispered, Who is the male god? Xiao Mian Mian froze. There is no so called three chapters of the law between her and Mo Yesi. He did not ask her to be tight for his identity but he never blew himself up in any public place. And they have never been interviewed by any media. Many people know that M.O. Shi has taken up a very young president, but they don't know what his name is and what he looks like. From this, he is quite a low-key person. I don't want too many people to know his true identity. Although Zhang Luli was her girlfriend, she was hesitant to tell M.O. Yesi the true identity of her. Before waiting for her decision, Zhang Luli said first, don't talk about it if it's inconvenient. I don't have to know it. Baby, I just want to know the status of being a male god, can I guarantee that you are entertaining the stability of the circle? If he has the ability to protect you well, you can try to audition some characters with higher exposure. Don't always pick up those who are out of character. Before Su Zi disagreed with you in the entertainment industry, so even if he had so many good resources in his hand, he would not give it to you. This only caused you to never get popular. After all, it was really too difficult for me to rely on myself. But if the male doesn't object to you doing this business and is willing to support you, as long as he can guarantee that you don't encounter any unspoken rules and qualifications under your conditions, are you still afraid of getting red? Zhang Luli is telling the truth. Xiao Mian Mian is beautiful. Still the kind of beauty that makes people feel comfortable and pleasing to the eye. Her face is the standard screen heroine face. Zhang Luli always felt that Xiao Mian Mian's external condition was to eat the bowl of rice in the entertainment circle. Moreover, she is not lacking in strength. What she lacks has always been an opportunity to show herself. The Sua family has an entertainment and media company with a lot of artists and it has also won many artists. Xiao Angzen signed the contract with the Su family company. But Su Zening could hold Xiao at ease, and he would not hold Xiao Mian Mian. He is also well known, because he cares about Xiao Mian Mian, and he wants to marry her home in the future, so she doesn't want her to flow into the big dye tank of the entertainment circle. As a result, he cares about derailing Zhou. Now that Su Zi has officially taken over the family business, Xiao Angzen's career is also in full swing, which is a triumph for all kinds of scum men and women. Think about it, I feel very angry. The conditions of her baby's various aspects do not know how many times better than Joan's heart, if someone is willing to take it, you can easily crush the little white lotus of Joan's heart. Xiao Mian Mian pursed her lips and was silent for a while. In fact, Zhang Luli said these reasons, how could she not understand? She also thought about this matter seriously. Mo Yesi did not support her on the road of entertainment, she did not know. But, he didn't seem to object. Of course, she also knew that if he could be her backstage, all the problems she worried about would no longer be problems. 
The MO school is a no offend existence. MO Yesi has the absolute ability to protect her comprehensively. In contemplation, the phone rang again. She picked it up and glanced at it. She saw it was from the Chiao family. Her face changed slightly, and she frowned and answered the phone, Hey! Miss! Miss Chen came with a crying voice, You will come back soon. Chiao Mianmian's heart was instantly raised, What happened? Today, today, Miss Tu said that the lady's room had good lighting, was leaning against the small garden, and the air was good. She wanted to move to the lady's room. What? Chiao Mianmian's face changed suddenly, and her face sank, she wants to move to mom's room? She dreams. Does dad know about this matter, what did he say? Mother Chen cried and cried, the old man also opposed it at first. But the second lady said she was pregnant with a child, and a fortune teller said that the bedroom she was living in had bad feng shui and was not good for the children in her stomach. She had to live to her wife. Only in the bedroom can the child be born peacefully. In addition, Master Su also helped Miss Tu to speak, where did the dare dare to offend him? So, he agreed. At this moment, Miss Tu is asking her to pack up and say that she will move in today. Miss, please come back quickly, that is the wife's room. The old man clearly promised that the wife and you, she passed away after that, the room must be kept as it is. No one but the lady can live in that room. Miss Er and Mrs. Zhen are aware of this matter. They do so to be bullying too much. Chiao Mianmian's face sank a little. By the time she hung up the phone, her face was ugly and extremely gloomy. She was so angry that she almost smashed her phone on the ground. It's really deceiving. Chiao Angzen snatched Su Zi, anyway, scum man is not worth her nostalgia she recognized. But she wanted to take away Chiao's room again, and Chiao Mian Mian could not tolerate it. Mian Mian, what's the matter? Zhang Luli asked, looking at her immediately. It's okay. Chiao Mian clenched his fists tightly, his lips sneering, Lolo, I'm going home to deal with some things. If you can't come back in the afternoon, you can ask me for leave. Go home? Will you go back to Jiao's house? Yes. Zhang Luli could not help showing a little worry, Baby, do you need my help? Can I follow you? Jiao Mianmian's terrible home, Zhang Luli also knew a little. After seeing the spiciness and arrogance of her stepmother with her own eyes, Zhang Luo couldn't rest assured that she would go back alone. No, I can do it by myself. Rest assured, I have my own sense. Chiao Mian Mian reached out and patted her shoulder, gave her a relaxed expression, turned and hurried away. Asterisk. Outside the school, she called a taxi. On the way back, Chiao Mian Mian thought about it, took out his mobile phone and called Mo Yesi. Outnumbered. Since the last quarrel with Chiao father Lin Huijin, she hasn't been back for a long time. When she returned home once a week before, the Chiao family was already the home of Lin Huijin's mother and daughter, plus a father Chiao, and that was the happy family of three. Nothing happened to her. This time it has been two months since we last returned home. I'm just afraid that the Chiao family has no place for her. Except for a mother Chen, everyone else is Lin Huijin's mother and daughter. She went back alone, apparently she would lose money, and she could not stop her. Since she now has a wealthy and powerful husband, when she should be allowed to support her, even if she is cheeky, she has to let him help. She won't be so stupid to fight alone. The phone only rang and it was connected there. Baby, miss me. The man's low, sultry voice reached her ears through the handset of the phone, rustling and magnetic. M.O. Yesi, are you busy now? Chiao Mian Mian opened the window and took a deep breath. Before he said anything, he said in a huff, I need your help. Sorry, I'll find you again trouble, but, I really need your help this time. There was no impatience in the man's voice, but a little bit more worry, baby, where are you now, what trouble are you having? I'm fine. 
Xiaomi and Mian looked at the building passing by the window and hesitated for a few seconds before saying, I'm going to go home now, it might be a bit troublesome. So, I want to borrow someone from you. It doesn't need too many people, five or six is enough. Last time, she had already seen the skills of Mo Yesi's bodyguards. One can definitely beat three or four ordinary people. Mo Yesi didn't ask her what was the matter, she agreed to her, okay, I will arrange for people to pass immediately. Baby, are you sure you are safe now? Do you need me to pass? Hearing the concern and worry in his words, Chiao Mianmian's heart was warm and sweet, and even the sullen anger in his heart dissipated a lot. The corner of her lips gently raised, I'm safe, don't worry. You are busy with your work, don't worry about me, I can handle those things myself. Mo Yesi was silent for a while before he said again, OK, don't be brave. If you can't solve it, just call me and I will help you solve it. Baby, you are no longer alone, you still have me, no matter what happens, I will face it with you. Remember, your husband will always be the background you can rely on and rely on. Your current identity is Mrs. Mo, and no one can grieve you. Whoever dares to have this courage, you can use your current identity to learn lessons they. Mom, can she live alone as a dead person? Even her living daughter can't compete with me, let alone she is a dead person. I just want Xiao Mian Mian to see everything she cares about, and I want to grab it just grab it. She has no qualifications and no ability to compete with me. The man she likes, the bedroom where her mother lived, and the identity of her Miss Chiao family, everything will belong to me. The maids on the side listened to the conversation between their mother and daughter without any surprised expression on their faces. Today, Chiao's house is full of their mother and daughter. But everyone who was still loyal to Chiao mother and Chiao Mian Mian was dismissed by them. The reason why Mom Chen can stay is because she is a distant relative of Father Chiao. He took him for a few years when he was a child. Father Chiao's old feelings are impossible to dismiss her. My daughter is so good, of course, it deserves all the best. Lin Huijin reached out and touched her daughter's head with a look of pride. You don't call it robbing, just take back what should belong to you. If it weren't for that paper marriage contract, where could the Sui family be like her? Chiao Mian Mian. You and A's are just like Lang Cai, a natural couple. Now you and A's are also fair, and you are pregnant with his children. It's time to pick a time for the two to meet and talk about this matter. Hearing the word pregnancy, Chiao Angzen's eyes flashed a strange color very quickly. She looked down at her flat belly, covered it gently with one hand, and lowered her eyes to hide the abnormal emotions in her eyes. Madam, Miss Tu and Missy are back. When the mother and daughter were talking, the maid saw Chiao Mian Mian, who was sullen and approaching them with anger, and he hurriedly reminded. A second before, Lin Huijin still had a smile on her face. When she looked up to see Chiao Mian Mian, the smile on her face disappeared. His face was suddenly cold. Yo, who am I? It turned out to be our Miss Chiao family. But I remembered that I still have a family, and I am willing to come back. Lin Huijin said, and she was ironic. Chiao Mian Mian walked in front of them and stopped. She ignored Lin Huijin's mean irony and sneered at Chiao Angzen who was standing aside, her lips sneered, Chiao Angzen, I really underestimated your shameless ability. What's wrong, being a third person destroying people's feelings can't satisfy your awkwardness disgusting, you have to do something to show how shameless and disgusting you are. Joan's face changed suddenly. She wanted to get angry the first time, but when she glanced at Chia Ruhe standing at the stairs, she immediately turned into a weak and pitiful appearance, saying wronged and innocent, Sister, have you misunderstood me? I never I never thought about intervening in the relationship between you and Brother Azer. You will break up, not caused by you. Brother Azer said that you always go out to film, and he and you can meet up to three or four times a month. Your mind is not on him at all, he can't bear to continue to get along with you like this before breaking up with you. 
I can understand the pain of your falling out of love. But have you ever thought that you and Brother Ace have known each other for so many years and have come to the point of talking about marriage, why did he break up with you? Sister, if you don't love, you don't love any more. You have to recognize the reality. Yes, Dad, you need to take care of yourself. Otherwise, Mom and I will worry about you. Chia Ruhe looked at the mother and daughter who were filled with concern, and then looked at the indifferent Chiao Mian Mian, who didn't show any concern in his eyes, and sneered out loud, Fortunately, I have your mother and daughter beside you, who else cares about me? It seems that I have a white-eyed wolf. I knew that it was a poor feeder, so I might as well give it away as soon as possible. Dog-raising dogs also know the gratitude for repaying their masters. This daughter from pain to big is not as sensible as animals. Chiao Angzen listened quietly, but he persuaded, Dad, don't be angry. In fact, my sister is also concerned about you, she is just not good at expressing. You see her, isn't it coming back to see you? Chiao Angzen just said Chiao Mian Mian when he saw his father. The reason is to make Chiao Mian Mian angry. The more powerful Chiao Mian Mian is, the less sensible she is, the more sensible she is and the more ingenious she is. Father Chiao's disappointment and disgust towards Chiao Mian Mian will also deepen his point. Of course, Chiao Angzen knew that Chiao's father had hurt Chiao Mian Mian for so many years, and the relationship between father and daughter could not be completely destroyed by her overnight. But as long as Chiao's father's dislike of Chiao Mian Mian increases a little each time, it will become a complete disgust and disappointment over time. By that time, there will be no more father-daughter feelings. With her persuasion, Chia Ruhe's five points of anger became eight points, and she couldn't help sneering again and again, where does she come back to see me? I don't think anyone but her mother will care about her in her eyes. Now? Not really. Lin Huijin also said with a sneer, Master, I think your daughter is in pain. You have been taking her for the pain of liver and baby, but for her, does she have you as a father in her eyes? You were sick some time ago. I called her to let her go home. Did she come back? At that time, Angzen was still going around to announce. When I heard that you were sick, I flew back from abroad the next day to see you. Now. Which of these two daughters is really good to you? Think about it yourself. Chia Ruhe's complexion was not good. Hearing Lin Huijin mention this matter, his face was somber for two more points. When he looked at Chiao Mian Mian, the disappointment in his eyes deepened a little, you haven't been home for two months. You will get this when you go home. Are domestic dogs restless? Chiao Mian Mian had long known that this place had no place for her. She has long known that Chia Ruhe now is not Chia Ruhe now. Now he has only Joan's mother and daughter in his heart. They are his wife and daughter, and his family. And she. It's just a white-eyed wolf who doesn't understand the gratitude. Despite this, her heart was tingled when she met Chia Ruhe's eyes, which were filled with anger and disappointment. Still inevitably feel a little sad. At this moment, she deeply and truly realized that this family really has no place for her. Her surname is Zhou, but no one in the Chiao family takes her seriously. Including the father who loved her most. Chia Ruhe's words were full of accusation and disdain, just as if she were a of plague. As soon as she returned home, the family would be restless. Chiao Mian Mian glanced at the proud Chiao Angzen and Lin Huijin, and then looked at Father Chiao, the lips and lips sneeredly hooked up, it turns out that I have such a great skill that can make this chicken and dog restless. It seems that my existence is really a mistake. I shouldn't have returned, disturbing your happy family of three. Chiao Mian Mian. Chia Ruhe frowned, what the are you talking about? Chiao Mian Mian hooked the corner of her lips again, and the smile was even more mocking, is that wrong? As soon as I came back, the family was so restless. I really shouldn't be back. But do you think I am willing to come back, do you like to come back? She was talking, her voice gradually chilled, her eyes sinking, 
and she looked coldly at the side of Jiao Angzhen, if someone hadn't the idea of hitting the mother's room, this home, I'm really not interested in coming back. Dad, I don't care how you promised them. I will never allow Zhou to move in. Mom's room must be left as it is, no one is allowed to move in. This is what you personally promised her. Are you going to regret it now? Chia Ruhe's face changed suddenly, and it was even uglier than before. He pressed his lips tightly, and after a few seconds of silence, he said angrily, it's a special case to be at ease. She will live for a year, and when the child is born, she will move back. Your mother was a good solution before she was born. A lovely woman, if she is still there, she will certainly understand my approach. It is you, Mian Mian, when did you become so aggressive? Reassurance is not an outsider, she is your sister. Oh. Chiao Mian Mian felt extremely ridiculous. My mother is so empathetic, and she certainly wouldn't want to vacate the room to a third daughter. As for the sister. She looked at Chiao Anking with cold eyes, one by one, and sneered coldly, I don't have such a younger sister who destroys the feelings of her own sister. Slap. As soon as Chiao Mian Mian finished speaking, he slapped in the face. This slap was so powerful that she directly swayed her face to the side. Between the lips and teeth, a smell filled out. She was beaten with buzzing ears and short-term tinnitus appeared, and five bright red fingerprints quickly appeared on her face. Bainan's cheeks swelled instantly. Chia Ruhe still didn't feel relieved, pointing at her nose and scolding, You are a rebellious girl. Your Aunt Lin is your elder and your stepmother. You actually said such a big deal. Why did Chia Ruhe raise such a naughty one? Heartless daughter. Lin Huijin and Chiao An felt stunned for several seconds. Neither of them thought that Father Chiao would actually start. After all, he still loves Chiao Mian Mian, and has never beaten her since childhood. This should be the first time. After a moment of stun, Chiao Angzhen's face showed a happy smile. Seeing that Chiao Mian Mian was beaten, she was as happy as she wanted to be. Chia Ruhe slapped Chiao Mian Mian directly. After a few seconds, she recovered. Her ears were still buzzing, and there was Venus floating in front of her. She clutched her half-swollen face and turned her head slowly. At first, it was unbelievable and hurt. After a while, all turned to cold sarcasm and indifference. Father Chiao's slap was a bit regretful. He was dazed just now. After the fight, my mind became awake. He has never played Jiao Mian Mian since childhood. Although there are now Lin Huijin's mother and daughter, he loves this daughter less than before, but the father-daughter relationship for so many years is not to say that it is gone, it is gone. I just felt a little annoyed in my heart, and when I met Jiao Mian Mian's eyes full of indifference, the anger that calmed down a little was stirred again. Reverse Girl he scolded Chiao Mian Mian's nose angrily again, what kind of expression do you think, and I think I am wronged? You can't succeed? There is not even the most basic respect for the elders, it's true that no one has been taught this way. Shame my Joe's face. Look at your sister, then look at yourself. Your sister has simply failed. Dad, you get rid of it, get rid of it. When Chiao Angzhen stood behind Chia Ruhe and looked up at Chiao Mian Mian, his eyes were all proud and provocative. She stepped forward and held Chia Ruhe's hand, pretending to be a smart and sensible figure, and said softly, The doctor said that you should keep your body well. If you get angry, what can you do? Sister, you really are too. She frowned, raised her head, and blamed softly, you know that dad is not in good health and can't be too angry, you still be angry with him. You can't say less. You have to make him feel angry again, are you willing to be reconciled? I know you are in a bad mood now. It doesn't matter if you scold me or hit me. But, don't make dad angry anymore. Sister, even if I beg you, don't make trouble anymore, okay? Or our family is at ease and sensible. Lin Huijin pointedly said to Jia Ruhe, Master, this is your daughter. 
who is sincere and good to you, you should be clear in your heart. Chiao Ruhei glanced at Chiao Anking with relief, and when he turned to Chiao Mian Mian, he was left with disappointment and disgust, as soon as you come back, this home will be sullen. In the future, it is better to return less. Your antlin and peace of mind, don't care about what you just said, I'm too lazy to say anything about you. Okay, go, I don't want to see you now. Chiao Mian Mian covered her face and looked blankly at the three people standing opposite her. Opposite, it is a family of three happy. They are the real family. And she is just superfluous. This picture is really ironic. Sure enough, she should have known for a long time that this place is no longer her home. In fact, she has always been clear. It's just that this time I feel more profound than any time. Sister, please go back to school first. Chiao Angzen kindly advised her softly, Dad is in a rage now, he is all angry. Don't be too real. Wait for him to get angry. You can still go back. Joan, please shut up. Shut up your hypocritical face and it makes you sick. Chiao Mian Mian was disgusted to see her pretending to be clever and sensible. Sister, you. Chiao Angzen immediately pretended to be hurt, and blinked, his eyes instantly turned red. Master, look at what she has become. In front of you, she can bully our mother and daughter like this. When you are away, she doesn't know what she wants to be like. You always believe what I said to you before. Angzen and I just moved in the past few years, but she was bullied a lot. You can't manage your daughter well, I'm afraid she won't even you put it in my eyes. Lin Huijin also reached out and wiped it in the corner of her eyes, quite sad and sad. Then he said quite respectfully, Miss Chiao, I'm sorry we are late. Is there anything that we need to do for you? As soon as the man in black came out, everyone except Chiao Mian Mian was shocked. Lin Huijin's eyes widened, her face stunned. Chia Ruhei was also extremely surprised. Not to mention Chiao Angzen, he was surprised and surprised, and then his face became ugly. Who are these people in black? How could they be so respectful to Chiao Mian Mian? Could it be, that the distinguished man shouted to support Chiao Mian? Chiao Angzen suddenly remembered that before Shen Yuiyu called Du Zi to go to school to find Chiao Mian Mian trouble, but also a group of people in black appeared, giving Chiao Mian Mian a support. The final result was that both Du Zi and Shen Yuiyu were miserable. I heard that the two are still in police station. Thinking of this, Chiao Angzen's complexion sank two more points. If it was someone called by the man, that means he really cares about Chiao Mian Mian now. And the mysterious man who can make Du's enterprise bankrupt overnight, definitely has the ability to deal with the Chiao family. She now only hopes that the man's power is not as good as that of the Su's family. Otherwise, wouldn't Chiao Mian Mian still press her on her head? You, who are you? Lin Huijin originally thought that Chiao Mian Mian had caused trouble to go home. Who knew that this group of people was so respectful to her, as if she was the helper she called? and she was all alone the child exploded. She yelled angrily, this is a private residence, you are breaking in without permission, you are illegal. I want to call the police and let the police take you away. Master, you're calling someone to drive them away. Chia Ruhe was stunned for a few seconds. He recovered, his brow furrowed deep, and his face looked somber, who are you? Mian Mian, do you know them? Of course I know. Chiao Mian Mian didn't say anything, Lin Huijin gritted her teeth and said with a sneer, My lord, your daughter is really getting better and better. What does she mean? She called back so many people to come home, this is with us demonstration, still want to threaten us. Dozens of people in black. Standing upstairs and downstairs, at a glance, black crushed a group of people and each of them has a height of at least 1.8 meters and is sturdy and strong. It looks like a ruthless character. Not to mention that Chiao Zai's gang of servants will be afraid. Even Chia Ruhei saw a little fear in his heart. Is this true? Chia Ruhei didn't dare to look at the man in black, 
but said with a cold face to Jiao Mian Mian, These people were called by you? What are you trying to do, tear down the house, or want this group of people to do something with your Lao Tzu? Jiao Mian Mian looked at him calmly, and his voice was very calm, I don't want to do anything, but if someone has to force me, don't blame me for turning my head away. Reverse girl. Are you threatening your idiot? Chia Ruhei's breath stretched out on his forehead. Chia Mian Mian's face was very weak, and the tone was still calm as before, but there was a bit of toughness and strength in this calm, mom's room remains the same, no one should move in. Chia Mian Mian turned his gaze to Chia Ching's peace of mind, saying clearly and clearly, this is my only request. Whatever my fortune teller said, it is your business, not with me or my mother. Relationship. She said, raising her hand and rushing towards Jiao Mian Mian. But before this slap fell, he was intercepted from midair. A bodyguard stood in front of Jiao Mian Mian, squeezed her wrist, and shoved her away. Lin Huijin was directly thrown away for several meters, staggering a few times, awe screamed, and fell to the ground. In the public, he fell back and forth. Ouch, my waist, my waist is broken. She yelled in pain on the ground. Mom. Chiao An's eyes widened, his face blue, and he hurried over and reached out to lift her from the ground. Lin Huijin put a hand on her waist, and all the facial features were crumpled, crying with pain in her face, Master, you must make the decision for me. Wu, I can't stay in this family. Oh, I was bullied by a junior like this, what other face do I have to stay? Several servants who wanted to block the bodyguard were also knocked to the ground. These servants of the Chiao family have not undergone any force training. Where can they be opponents of professional bodyguards? A bodyguard hit a group of people. When other people saw this battle, where did they dare to step forward? Chiao Mian Mian, you deceive people too much. Chiao Angzen helped Lin Huijin stand up, his face sternly said, My mother is your stepmother. She is your elders anyway, how can you treat her like this? You really think you have a backer now, you can do whatever you want. Fuck things. It's a big deal. Chia Ruhei was so trembling that he raised his hand and wanted to slap Chiao Mian Mian's face again. This time, Chiao Mian Mian didn't stand still, and took his slap innocently. She ducked sideways without expression. Chia Ruhei's slap, fell through. Seeing that Jiao Mian Mian dared to avoid, an arrogant gesture that did not put his father in his eyes at all, Jia Ruhei became more and more angry, and became angrily angrily said, Sin obstacles, you dare to hide. You can even do things that bully your mother come out, I have to teach you this bad barrier today. Then he raised his hand again. Jia Ruhei is a good looking person. He was so embarrassed by his daughter in public. Now he just wanted to recover his majesty as the head of the family by teaching Chiao Mian Mian. Mr. Chiao, if you don't want the Chiao group to become the same as the Shengui group, I advise you not to be impulsive. If you slap it down, you may not be able to afford the consequences. Father Chiao's hand just raised, and he heard a cold and majestic voice ringing after himself. The man's voice was not loud, but the moment he spoke, the surroundings suddenly became quiet. Joe standing next to him was relieved, his face changed suddenly. She opened her eyes wide and turned her head in surprise. Her eyes widened when she saw the noble man who stepped up the steps step by step and had a very powerful aura. There was a flash of surprise in my eyes. It's him, the man with that mysterious identity. Even though Jiao Angzen was ridiculed by him before, afterwards, she found that she still missed the man. She also dreamed about him. She had always thought that Su Zi was her true love. But after seeing this man, she knew that her real son was him. When she saw him at first glance, she was moved by him. The tension, excitement, shyness and expectation when facing him is something she did not have when facing Su Zi. It was only after meeting him that she knew how it felt to like someone. She found out that her feelings for Su Zi were not really like. 
she just thinks Su Zi Yi is in good condition and suitable for her husband. Chiao Angzen did not hide the joy and excitement in her eyes, let go of the hand holding Lin Huijin, and greeted, Sir, we met again. Do you remember me? We stopped at the school last time I have seen it before. I am. Before she introduced herself, she saw that the distinguished man walked straight in front of Chiao Mian Mian, reached out and gently stroked her face, and then asked in a cold, dangerous trembling tone. You were beaten? Who did it? Chiao Mian Meng stared at the man who had come to her, his eyes wide, and his eyes were full of surprise, you, why are you here? When Mo Yesi's hand fell on the half face of her beating, she gave a sneer of pain. The man immediately put his hands back, and his dark eyes were colder. There was a chill in his body, his lips tightened, and he turned slowly. The deep cold eyes that had been quenched by ice passed by Chia Ruhe, Lin Huijin and Chiao Angzen's faces, and there was no trace of temperature in the voice, who hit you? But everyone who had looked at him with his eyes seemed to be soaked in coldness, only to feel that a coldness penetrated into the body, so cold that he shivered. Lin Huijin is so screaming, he dare not shout again. Chia Ruhe has been in the shopping mall for many years, and he is also an old man in the business world. He has developed a pair of eyes that can understand people. At a glance, I can see that the identity of this young man with excellent looks is not easy. Such a powerful and imperial emperor's aura is not something that ordinary rich children can have. Those who grew up in a very prominent and powerful house will have it. This gentleman, who are you? What is your relationship with my daughter Chiao Mian Mian? When Father Chiao spoke to Mo Yesi, his tone was very polite. When he did not know the specific identity of the other party, he did not dare to offend people at will. In particular, the young man just said a threat to him. It sounds like he did the bankruptcy of Shengui Group overnight. Thinking of this, Father Chiao's face changed again and he felt a little bit more worried. Mo Yesi glanced coldly at his face, you haven't answered my question just now, did you hit her? Chia Ruhe froze for a moment, frowning, feeling that the young man was a little too unpretentious. He was so intimate with his daughter, looked like a lover, and treated him as an elder without the respect he deserved. This is too bad for him. If he really is his daughter's lover, he should be honored to call him Uncle Joe. How can such an attitude be used? Annoyed, his tone rose strongly, how is it? She is my daughter, I am her old son, and my father can't teach his daughter anymore? Who are you, and who do you ask me? This is a matter of our own family, it doesn't matter if you are an outsider. Mo Yesi had no expression on his face at first. After Chia Ruhe admitted that he had beaten Chiao Mian Mian, he saw the expression on his face cool down bit by bit with the speed of the naked eye. The man's eyes narrowed, and the dangerous breath emanating from his body was frightening. He only said two words coldly, very good. But these two words changed the faces of the three people on the opposite side. Sir, my dad didn't hit my sister for no reason. Chiaoan explained anxiously. It's the elder sister who made a move to my mother but dad just slapped her. The elder sister was really excessive. Dad should teach her what she should. Yes, she has no esteem, and even her stepmother doesn't look at her. What happened to slapping her? Who are you, what does our Chiao family matter to you? What's the matter, you want to hero save the beauty do you think you said a few tough words, we will be afraid of you. My Lin Huijin is not scared. Young man, I advise you not to do much business, otherwise you will not blame me for a while. Just after Lin Huijin finished speaking, she felt like she was falling into an ice cellar. The whole person seemed to be wrapped in a cold air. It was so cold that she couldn't help shivering. As soon as he looked up, he met a pair of extremely cold eyes. There was no temperature in the man's eyes, and when he stared at her, his eyes looked like a sharp knife. She froze for a moment, a moment of fear came into her. Mo Yesi looked at her for a few seconds and looked away. The man's thin lips slowly lifted, 
and a dangerous arc was raised at the corner of his mouth, Mr. Chiao, since he is teaching his daughter, how can he teach only one? Your second daughter disregarded courtesy, justice, and shame, and did something to seduce her future brother-in-law. This is not a good lesson, and it is impossible to explain. After finishing speaking, when several other people have not responded, they instructed the bodyguard, you help Mr. Chiao learn a lesson for Miss Chiao ER. Don't take it lightly, so that Mr. Chiao is not satisfied. Yes, President Mo. The bodyguard moved quickly, and when Zhou Angzhen just wanted to turn around to escape, she already caught her. Holding her from left to right, restricting her movements, opening her bow to the left and right, she slapped her slap on her white and tender face. These bodyguards are professionally trained. Naturally know how to use force to get the best results. With a slap in the palm, Joan was immediately bleeding from the mouth. In front of me, there was a burst of Venus, turning around. After turning his eyes, he fainted. Relief, reassurance, what's the matter with you? Lin Huijin saw her daughter was stunned and rushed to the ground, you let go of your peace of mind, if there is something in my baby, I want you to pay for your life. She hadn't pounced yet, and was caught by two other bodyguards. Let me go, let me go. Lin Huijin shouted like a lunatic, you bandits, robbers. Ah, I fight with you. She said that she wanted to take the head and hit the bodyguard. As a result, the collision was knocked out. For a time, both mother and daughter fainted. Sin obstacles. Chia Ruhe saw his wife and daughter fainted and shivered and pointed at Chiao Mian Mian, scolding angrily, You are ruining this home, are you willing to know it? You are such a wicked obstacle. On the day you were born, I should strangle you. Sin obstacles. Chia Ruhe saw his wife and daughter fainted and shivered and pointed at Chiao Mian Mian, scolding angrily, You are ruining this home, are you willing to know it? You are such a wicked obstacle. On the day you were born, I should strangle you. He raised his head with a pale face, looking at Chiao Mian Mian as if looking at something that disgusted him the most, and gritted his teeth and shouted at her, Sin obstacles, you are not leaving, what are you doing standing there? Your aunt Lin and Angzen have been harmed by you like this, you are not satisfied yet, do you want someone to do it with me too? Let's go, go now. I don't want to see you anymore. Don't you come back in the future, I will be your daughter." Chiao Mian Long's hand fell tightly on his side. She pressed her lips tightly, took a deep breath, lifted her slightly pale face, opened her mouth just to speak, and put a hand on her shoulder gently. She froze, turned her head, and was gently embraced by the man beside her. Mo Yesi hugged her, another big hand fell on top of her head gently stroked twice, the voice was low judo, baby, we really should leave. This terrible place, there is no need to continue to stay. The man's arms are warm. The big hand that was constantly stroked on her head was also very warm. This warmth seemed to penetrate her body, warming her little by little. The moment he was embraced in his arms, Chiao Mian Mian seemed to be cured instantly. Although I still feel sad, it is much better than before. Mo Yesi finished talking with her, turned her head, and the dark eyes with temperature and spoiled eyes became cold for a second. There seemed to be a layer of cold air around the eyes of those ink eyes, which had condensed into frost. The quenched cold eyes gazed sharply at Chia Ruhe and Chiao Angzen, his thin lips gently raised, but his voice was not loud, but it could clearly fall into everyone's ears, Chia Ruhe. I think you are a continuous father this relationship has given you a bit of politeness. But now that you have made my baby wronged, you won't deserve it anymore. You listened, what did Aunt Jo's bedroom look like before, it still looks like now. My baby said others if you can't go in and live, then no one is allowed to move in. Greeting me already, if you insist on fighting against me, believe me, the consequences are definitely not something you can afford. This time it should be a warning, and the next time it will not be such a simple thing. Also, 
He reached out and touched the head of the little woman in his arms, and when he looked down at her, his eyes softened a lot at once. My baby has my pet, and it hurts me. She is so good, you it really is not worthy of her father. Since you have said such things as severing the relationship without her daughter, you should do it clearly. Speaking of which, M.O. Yesi hooked the corner of his lower lip again, slowly raised his head, and met Jiaruhei's anger-burning eyes that were about to burst into flames. Send over. Jiaruhei was shocked and angry, who are you? This is our family's business, it doesn't matter if you are an outsider, you are not qualified to intervene. M.O. Yesi chuckled, but there was no smile in his eyes, my identity, you still don't need to know better. In the future, everything related to Jiao Mian Mian, I will not only intervene, but also control it. You know one will dare to grieve her in the future, no matter who it is, I will not let go. The man's voice is not loud, but every word he utters makes people dare not take it lightly. Especially the last sentence. Rao is Chia Ruhe who is accustomed to various scenes and has lived for most of his life. There is a trace of fear in the uncontrollable heart. He knew it clearly. This young man who looks young is definitely not just talking. He can say it, he can do it. Chiao Angzen looked at him as he did to maintain Chiao Mian Mian, jealously twisted inwardly. She has been desperately brushing her presence. But the man didn't even look at her with a straight eye. Isn't she pretending not to be pitiful enough? This trick she used from childhood to big, has always been very good in front of men. Isn't Su Zi the same? Has she stepped on her hook step by step? Men like weak and poor women. Such women will make them feel pity and protect them. This is the result of her years of experience, and she has never made a mistake. Why is it hard to get to this man? Joan's heart was filled with all kinds of jealousy and unwillingness. She gritted her teeth and secretly told herself that she was going to make up this man. She will never lose to Jiao Mian Mian. As long as she wanted it, she couldn't get it. Baby, let's go. M.O. Yesi turned around Jiao Mian Mian after the threats were released. The two of them surrounded by a bodyguard and left with mighty power. Asterisk. Out of the Jiao family. There was a black Rolls Royce parked outside. Uncle Lee has been waiting outside the car, seeing M.O. Yesi and Jiao Mian Mian coming out, and immediately stepped forward to greet, young master, young lady. As soon as he looked up, he saw the fingerprints on Chiao Mian Mian's cheeks that hadn't faded yet. Uncle Lee was stunned for a moment, and said in surprise, Young lady, your face. It's okay. Chiao Mian Mian pulled the corner of his lower lip, touching the wound on his face, and the pain sneered. Mo Yesi immediately frowned and took a look at her face, does it hurt? There was a hint of distress in his eyes. The distress and concern in the man's eyes made Jiao Mian Mian's nose sore, and his eyes sore. She had been aggrieved so much, and she did not cry. But at this moment, I couldn't help it. The uncontrollable wetness in her eyes gathered at the corners of her eyes, and she would slip out of her eyes. She reached out and pushed him away, turning her back, not wanting him to see her crying nose. I, I'm fine. The choking voice revealed her emotions. When she heard that she was crying, M.O. Yesi frowned more tightly. The man hugged her later, are you crying? No, no. Then turn around and let me see. I really didn't cry. It was still a choking voice, saying that people who didn't cry, choked on their shoulders. M.O. Yesi was distressed and funny again. Regardless of her struggles, she pulled her heart against herself. Seeing the girl's pair of eyes that had cried to redness, the distress in the eyes added another point. He lightly pressed her shoulder, frowned, and looked at her for a while. After a while, a low sigh, cry, cry if you want to cry. Just cry this time. People shed tears. After that, she reached out and took her gently into her arms. Slender and clean fingers gently flicked away the hair that was stuck in tears on her face, picked up her crying pear flower with rain, and bowed her head gently on her wet cheek, baby, 
don't be sad, don't hold back. If you want to cry, cry, no one will laugh at you. I am your husband, someone who will stay with you for a lifetime. In front of me, you don't need to be strong or have any worries. Xiaomian Mian lay on the man's warm and strong chest, listening to him say those words in her ears in a low, gentle voice, tears became more and more uncontrollable, and she burst into tears. She remembered the scenes of Jiao's life. I remember how Jia Ruhe used to spoil her in the past. The more memories, the more sad. The negative emotions that have accumulated in my heart for a long time are all vented. She held Mo Yesi, crying dimly. Asterisk. Finally, Jiao Mian Mian was picked up by Mo Yesi. She was crying for too long, too long, and was so weak that she was crying. He cried a lot and was more tired than running thousands of kilometers in one breath. Get in the car. Mo Yesi didn't release her, so she held her in his arms and let her sit on his lap. Chiao Mian Mian was soft and leaned against him. Mo Yesi stretched out her hand to straighten her hair, took out her handkerchief and wiped the tears on her face little by little. Lying motionless in his arms, Chiao Mian Mian, who allowed her to wipe her tears and manage her hair, was like a soft and cute kitten, squinting slightly, and enjoying the service of his master gently. Master, are you going back to the company? Uncle Lee also got in the car and asked in congratulations. Mo Yesi raised his wrist and looked at the time, nodding, well, back to the company. There are still many things left in the company. He had to go back and deal with it. In fact, he is very busy today. There are many things to do, and they are all important things. Even he himself didn't know, how could he let go of so many important business matters? Although she said she could handle it, he didn't have to worry. But he didn't feel at ease in this trip. Worried about her being wronged, worried about her being bullied, worried about her. Worry a lot. At first, it was only because of her particularity about him that he married her but it took him a few days to get married, and he really felt that he cared about him. Chiao Mian Mian raised his head when he heard that he wanted to go back to the company, and said in a hushed voice, Are you going back to the company? Mo Yesi looked down at her with a soft voice, Well, there are still some things that have not been dealt with, so I have to go again. Since it's so busy, why do you still... Chiao Mian Mian bit her lips and looked at the handsome and noble face of the man, his voice gently asked. Don't worry about you. Mo Yesi looked at her still half-swollen face, his eyes cold, and sighed softly, I'm afraid I'm not here, you will be bullied. I didn't expect that I was going to be late. Still let her take this slap. The man said directly. The phrase don't worry about you made Chiao Mian Mian's heart beat faster. Especially when the dark and deep eyes looked at her, she felt like she was dragged into the abyss under his eyes. If you are not careful, you will never get out again. It's clear that they haven't known each other for a long time, and their feelings haven't reached a very deep level yet, but he is so good to her that she has been panicked. There is no one who does not want to be rewarded. He treats her so well, how should she reward him? Thinking about it, he seemed to lack nothing. The only thing she can reward him, only her body. Asterisk. Before crying that scene, consuming too much energy, not long after getting in the car, Chiao Mian Mian fell asleep in Mo Yesi's arms. Feeling confused, he felt his phone shaking. Then I heard him answer the phone. Indistinctly, I heard him saying, Now is not available. Well, with my baby, I have to accompany her. You have arranged it, as long as it is not in a mess. Well, that's it, hang up. Mo Yesi hung up the phone. Looking down at the girl who was sleeping in his arms and sleeping soundly, he whispered to Uncle Lee, the air conditioner is turned up twice. Yes, young master. Uncle Lee drove out the car for a while, and when he passed a bifurcation, he asked aloud, Master. Do you want to send the young lady back to school? Mo Yesi pondered and said, Go directly to the company. In her current situation, 
how can he be assured of letting her go to school? In front of the red light, Uncle Lee drove the car to the street leading to the M.O. mansion. Buzz. The phone that just hung up vibrated twice. M.O. Yesi glanced down and saw that Shen Ro sent him a WeChat, as, I'm back home. I am now with Xiao Qing and they said that they just called you, and you said that you have no time to come and have dinner with us. Are you free this afternoon? After reading it, he replied, no time. Shen Ro returned quickly, then I will go to your company to find you this afternoon? I haven't seen you for a whole year, so I want to see you soon. Mo Yesi looked at Chiao Mian Mian, whose cheeks all turned red during sleep, hesitated and picked up his phone and replied, I am busy this afternoon and I have no time to entertain you. Shen Ro, you don't have to worry about me, you are busy with you, I can play games in your office. Hasn't this always been the case before? Shen Ro's words reminded M.O. Yesi of some things in the past. Previously, he and Shen Ro were indeed in this mode of getting along. When he was busy, he had no time to greet her, and Shen Ro didn't mind. He would find something to do and pass the time. Shen Ro grew up with him from an early age. The relationship between the two looks like friendship and affection. Getting along with each other is easy and casual. Originally, M.O. Yesi felt that this mode of getting along was also quite good. If he is still single now, if he is not married to Jiao Mian Mian, he will agree. But, even if his love experience is zero, he knows that some things are inconvenient to do now. He and Shen Ro, after all, are not real siblings. Now that he has Jiao Mian Mian, he has to draw a certain distance from other women, even if the woman is Shen Ruo. After thinking about it for a moment, he replied, She is here, too. See you in the evening. After this message was answered, Shen Ro didn't return to him for a long time. A few minutes later, her message was sent again, Did you tell her our relationship? She won't be so stingy. Mo Yesi frowned. She didn't mind but I did. Shen Ro, do you mind? What do you mind? M.O. Yesi, Shen Ro, I am married. She doesn't have any requirements for me, but she must have the consciousness of being married. No matter what relationship we used to be, we must keep some distance in the future. If you get married first, I will do the same. This time, Shen Ro didn't reply to him again. M.O. Yesi didn't care either, and locked the phone's screen, and left it aside. Asterisk. To Mo's. After parking the car, Li Xu walked to the rear compartment and pulled the door open. Asterisk. When passing a pharmacy, M.O. Yesi asked Uncle Li to stop the car and went to the pharmacy to buy some ointment to come back. The finger marks on Chiao Mianmian's face had disappeared, but his face was still swollen. M.O. Yesi took the ointment, squeezed it on her fingers, and applied it gently to the half of her face where she was beaten. Chiao Mian Mian had fair skin, so the injuries on his face were obvious. While rubbing the medicine, looking at her red face, M.O. Yesi's eyes were dark, and his whole body was cold. To Mo's. After parking the car, Li Xu walked to the rear compartment and pulled the door open. Chiao Mian Mian was still awake. Uncle Lee looked at the sweet young lady who was sleeping in the arms of the young master and was thinking about whether to wake her up. Go. After dropping this sentence, M.O. Yesi took Chiao Mian Mian to the place where he took the elevator. Uncle Lee stood behind him, froze for a few seconds before he recovered and quickly followed. Young master is too fond of young lady. Just because she was afraid that the young lady would be bullied. She threw down a bunch of important things and hurried over to support her. You know, in the young master, time is absolute money. The time he just spent was enough for him to make a lot of money. Now, in order not to wake up Mrs. Xiao, should she still hold her to the company? So many employees watched, it was estimated that the chin fell to shock. Asterisk. M.O. Yesi took a special elevator for the president and went directly from the parking lot to the office floor of the president. 
Despite avoiding the employees on the first floor lobby, there are several female and male secretaries on the office floor of the president. When these secretaries watched Emo, who was never close to the female in their family, even took a woman out of the elevator, everyone was stunned. Shocked, he forgot to say hello to him. Until Emo Yesi held Jiao Mian Mian and walked past them, several people seemed to suddenly return to their souls and they kept busy and congratulated, M.O. is good. Just after greeting, M.O. Yesi frowned. A few secretaries frowned when they saw him, and his face changed in shock. They thought it was because they did not greet them in time, so President M.O. was angry. Just about to apologize, I saw M.O. Yesi turned around and glanced at them with a little dissatisfaction, squinting halfway, lowering his voice and saying, Be quiet. Don't wake her up. A group of secretaries? Isn't President M.O. angry because they didn't say hello in time? But they felt that their hello was too loud, worried that they would wake up the mysterious woman in his arms? Several people were stunned again. What kind of fairy-level characters are they that can make them so motivated for years? Two female secretaries raised their heads secretly and glanced at M.O. Yesi's arms trying to see what the woman he was holding looked like. It's a pity that apart from seeing the long hair of a crow, I saw nothing. The woman's face was buried in M.O. Yesi's arms. You can also see her skin is very pale and very white, the kind of cool white tone from white to shiny. Without waiting for them to take a closer look, President Mo's family took the woman into the president's office. As soon as the office door was closed, a group of people who were shocked to no avail immediately discussed it immediately, I am not dazzled, is President M.O. holding a woman in her arms. Dazzled, it is indeed a woman, and we have seen it. Where his fragile little heart could withstand this threat of three pitfalls. Problem. M.O. Yesi glanced at him with a slightly bitter expression, and his deep eyes narrowed. No. Wei Zheng immediately straightened his body, straightened his back and looked at him with confident eyes, affirming, there is no problem at all. President M.O., please rest assured that I will do what you tell me. Okay. M.O. Yesi waved his hand, go out. Someone in the room is sleeping and moves a little light when taking the door. Wei Zheng, yes. Asterisk. Hospital. After Lin Huijin woke up from a coma, she kept crying. Mom. Don't cry anymore. Chiaowen was bothered by her crying, and the tone was unavoidable, is crying crying all the time, what is the use of crying crying? I'm tired enough, can you please keep me quiet for a while? Chiao Angzen's assistant was holding an ice pack and was covering her face. In half a month, her new play is about to start. At that time, of course, you can't shoot with a swollen face. And... Two days later, she still has a notice, she must get rid of the bruise on her face before the notice. Lin Huijin raised her head with red eyes, her expression on her face was angrily, You girl, what do you mean? Your mother is bullied like this, you don't feel hurt, and you're annoying me? This is what you deserve to be a daughter attitude. Chiaowen squeezed his lips tightly, and also had an expression of anger, gritted his teeth and said in a deep voice, do you think you are being bullied alone? What is the use of crying at this time and what problems can be solved? I just want Jiao Mian Mian at a painful price. Listening to her mention of Jiao Mian Mian, Lin Huijin's eyes showed resentment, and the expression on her face became distorted. She gritted her teeth and said, that little is really abominable. I wish I had peeled her skin. The wild man who didn't know where she hooked up actually bullied our mother and daughter like this, it's hateful. I couldn't swallow the evil spirit when I thought of the little writing on us. Oh, did you call Suzi? Chiaowen listened to her muttering complaints, but her mind had already flown to other places. Chiao Mian Mian hooked on the man, where is the wild man? It was a man of much better quality than Suzi. Before meeting the man, she felt that Suzi's conditions were very good, and she was very satisfied. A man like Suzi can make her have a long face wherever she takes. But now. She began to be dissatisfied. 
As long as a mysterious man took it out and compared it with Suzi, she found that those places on Suzi that she thought were the flashpoints of merit were not worth mentioning at all. The gap between him and the mysterious man is like a sky and a ground. No match at all. She has always been strong, and how can she tolerate the men Xiaomi and Mian is looking better than hers? Relax, are you listening to me? Lin Huijin brought an angry voice to her ears, which brought Jiao Angzen back to reality from the wandering state. Lin Huijin frowned and looked at her, I asked you if you called Su Zi. When will he come to the hospital? What the are you doing, in a trance-like manner? And the wild man with Jiao Mian Mian is who, do you know him? Jiao An was troubled in his heart and replied quietly, he said he was talking about a very important contract and would come back later. What? Lin Huijin's dissatisfaction, when such a thing happened, he still had a mind about what ghost contract. You didn't tell him, we are in the hospital now. Said. Speaking of this matter, Chiao An also felt a little uncomfortable, he thinks the situation is not very serious. Thinking of how the mysterious man made his head for Chiao Mian, and then thinking about Su Zi's attitude that he didn't particularly care about, Jiao An's heart burst into flames. She thought that Su Zi would come over as soon as she knew she was beaten. But no. He just expressed a few distresses on the phone and went to his business again. Even if Jiao Angzen now has a new goal, Su Zi's attitude will still make her feel embarrassed. Because she remembered clearly that one year Chiao Mian Mian encountered a similar thing. Su Zi was also talking to people about business at that time but soon rushed to her. She looked in her eyes at the time, not knowing how envious she was. His girlfriend and his future mother-in-law have been beaten into the hospital. Isn't it serious? Lin Huijin almost jumped up from the bed. He didn't take our mothers and daughters into the eye too much. Didn't you say he was very serious? I care about you, do you like you very much? You are still pregnant with his child he is such an attitude, how can he get it in the future? Isn't it? Lin Huijin's face changed suddenly, grabbing Jiao An's heart, and said nervously, is he someone outside? Thinking that her daughter is pregnant now, Su Zi must not be satisfied in that respect. Su Zi is also the boss of Zingui Entertainment. There will inevitably be some Humi Aiza who wants to seduce him to the higher ranks, and now, it is the best time. Thinking of this, Lin Huijin's face was a lot uglier, relax, you quickly called and asked Su Zi where. You look at it in the past. I suspect he was dragged by a Humi Aiza who couldn't get away. He's in such a good condition, there must be many Humi Aiza who want to hit his idea. You must guard against it, don't let people take advantage of it. Joan's face changed, Mom, Brother Azer is not that kind of person. Lin Huijin sneered, man has few good things, there are a few women who can refuse to take the initiative to come to the door? If he is not that kind of person, can you grab him from Jiao Mian Mian? It seemed like a slap on Zhou Angzen's face. The fierce pain in her face. She shouted angrily, mom. Lin Huijin found out that she was wrong and scolded her daughter. She hurriedly lost her smiley face and explained, cough, that peace of mind, mom didn't say you, mom said the shameless Humi Aizi. This is more like darker and darker. Chiao and cold faced, slap a slap on the little assistant's face beside him, venting her anger on her, bumpy, such a simple thing can't be done well. The little assistant was trembling with horror and shouted with a cry, I'm sorry, reassure sister. The assistant looked slightly similar to Chiao Mian Mian. Chiao Angzen would choose her as assistant at the time, and there are reasons for this. Any dissatisfaction with her is vented on this little assistant and bullying her is like bullying Chiao Mian Mian. It will make Zhou feel comfortable. At the pitiful look of the little assistant, Chiao An felt even more flamboyant, and slapped her face in a slap, hatefully said, crying all day long and crying, looking at it, get angry. Get out. The female assistant grieved her tears, but dared not refute a word, wiped her tears, and turned away. Seeing this scene, 
Lin Weijin waited for the female assistant to leave and frowned and said, Don't be too fierce to your assistant, are you afraid that she will expose you? You are now a public figure, and the image cannot collapse. Chiaoan dismissed her lips with disapproval, I know her, she doesn't have the courage. Lin Weijin wanted to persuade her again. Chiao Angzen interrupted her impatiently, OK, Mom, I know what to do. When she finished, she took out her mobile phone and made a call. Soon, it was connected there. Chiao Angzen asked in a cold voice, Did you call Chiao Mian Mian for the substitute? After a few seconds. What? Chiao An gritted his teeth, his face ugly. She refused. After a few more seconds, she hung up the phone angrily and so badly that she smashed her phone to the ground. Lin Weijin was startled, what's wrong with this? Chiaoan didn't speak at all, thinking of the phone call she just squeezed her fingers. Chiao Mian Mian rejected the job as a substitute. It must be because of the man whose identity is mysterious. He has now become Chiao Mian Mian's backer. Chiao Mian Mian naturally doesn't have to pick up those small roles without money. Chiao Angzen suddenly felt a sense of crisis. If the man is like Su Zi holding her, willing to hold red Chiao Mian Mian, wouldn't that little have a chance to become red? Chiao Angzen knows better than anyone, and Chiao Mian Mian is better than her in every aspect. There were a few audition roles before, and the director originally wanted Chiao Mian Mian. She asked Su Zi for help before snatching those roles. Otherwise, where is that little still running around? Chiao Mian Mian didn't know these things. Chiao Angzen was too clear what would happen if Chiao Mian Mian was given a chance. The little may not only get red, but may exceed her current results. How can she tolerate this happening? No, she must find a way to stop the little before it becomes red. Mom, you have a good rest. I'm going out to see you later. Chiao Angzen took out huge sunglasses from his bag and put it on, carrying the bag, and turned away from the ward. Asterisk. Lin Weijin lives in the second inpatient department. Chiao Angzen walked out of the gate of the second inpatient department, turned a corner, and walked towards a path toward the third inpatient department. She remembered that Chiao Chen lived in the third inpatient building. But when she used her memory to find the room where Chiao Chen used to live, she found that she had changed people in the ward. She asked a nurse. The nurse glanced at her and asked, This lady, what is your relationship with Mr. Chiao? Joan thought for a moment and endured the disgust, I am her sister. The nurse stared at her and looked up and down for a few moments, wondering, Mr. Chiao had a sister to see him in the hospital, but... I am his second sister. Chiao Angzen showed a trace of impatience on his face. Did he not tell you, did he have two sisters? Just tell me, has he been discharged? The nurse looked at her second sister, who dressed in extraordinary clothes and claimed to be Chiao Chen, thinking that it should not be deceiving. Suddenly, her attitude towards her was respected for a few points, ah, uh, I'm sorry. Miss Chiao, Mr. Chiao hasn't been discharged yet. But he changed a ward and now he can't live here. Chiao Angzen blinked, can't stop here? Where did it go? The nurse glanced at her, whispering in her heart, since she is a younger brother, how could she not even know this? But still politely replied, Mr. Chiao has long moved to the VIP ward in the special zone. Chiao Angzen suddenly changed his face when he heard the words special zone VIP ward. There was an incredible look on her face. Are you sure Chiao Chen moved there? Since it is a VIP ward in the special zone, it is not a place where ordinary people can live. Not even if it is rich. Those who can live in that area are extremely powerful figures. Su so Zi's father was hospitalized when he was sick. Su so Zi's father had so many connections and failed to get him into the VIP ward of the special zone. Chiao Chen's short-lived ghost, poor and white, could actually live in it. But she soon guessed that it must be the mysterious man who arranged Chiao Chen. She became more jealous in her heart. Even the Sui family can't do things, but the man can do it. Who is he? 
what is his identity? She asked herself most of the wealthy sons of Yunchinch, she had seen them all, but she really had no impression of that man. Is it possible that he has not lived in Yunchinch before? I'm going to see my brother. You take me there. Zhou En took a deep breath and endured all the unwillingness and jealousy in his heart, and ordered the nurse with a commanded tone. At this time, the nurse doubted her identity. Miss Chiao, you can call Mr. Chiao, he will tell you which ward he lives in. What do you mean? Chiao En frowned, do you suspect I lied to you? Miss Zhou, no. I am Joan at ease. Chiao Angzen reached out and took off the sunglasses, revealing her covered face, and said impatiently, Now do you still think I'm lying to you? As soon as the nurse looked up, she saw her face that had not been swollen, and she was startled. Recognizing it carefully, it seemed that the woman with red face and swollen face was indeed a popular red flower. But why is Joan Xian's face swollen like this? Like being beaten hard. Moreover, she is actually Chiao Chen's other sister? This is surprising. Chiao Chen has been in the hospital for so long, and he hasn't seen Chiao Angzen come to visit. Before Chiao Angzen accepted various interviews, she never said that she had an older sister and younger brother. The nurse guessed vaguely. I'm afraid that the relationship of this family is a bit complicated. Also, before I always heard people say how Chiao Angzen has affinity and how to be grounded, it seems that all are fake people. The impatient look she had just had a little affinity. Sure enough, the public image of celebrities to the outside world cannot be over-trusted. Asterisk. Chiao Angzen was taken outside the VIP room where Chiao Chen lived. When she saw that there were still a few bodyguards standing outside the ward, she froze. The nurse stepped forward and explained her identity with the bodyguards. The bodyguard looked at her for a few seconds with a scrutiny, and said to her coldly, Wait a moment. After talking, he turned and walked into the ward. Chiao Angzen stood at the door and tried to go straight in, but was stopped. Several other bodyguards staying outside said coldly to her, To visit Mr. Chiao Chen, he needs permission to enter. She was so angry. Chiao Chen's short-lived ghost dare to put such a big shelf on her? What is he? You give up, I am Chiao Chen's sister. Do I still need to get permission from my brother? The bodyguard still stopped her and said coldly, Sorry, Mr. Chiao Chen's sister, we only know a Miss Chiao Mian Mian. Who are you? Damn, I am. Chiao Angzen was about to self-report the portal. He heard Jiao Chen's voice coming out of the ward, I don't know this woman, please drive her away. When Jiao Chen said she didn't know her, Jiao An almost jumped, but thinking of her purpose of coming here, she held back her anger and changed her tender tone, Chen Chen, I am your second sister. Why don't you know me? Are you mad at the second sister who didn't come to visit you? The second sister was really too busy some time ago and she was helpless to want to see you. No, I came here as soon as I was empty. Don't suffocate me, let the second sister come in and talk to you, okay? The teenager in the ward looked delicate, with a cold face, and looked at her expressionlessly, second sister? I have only one sister. Who are you, I don't know you. After being faced repeatedly, Chiao and vomited to vomit blood. The gentle disguise on his face also began to ossify. She took a deep breath, clenched her fists, opened the corners of her lips, and squeezed a stiff smile, Chen Chen, I have something very important for you. It's about your sister. Do you really not want to know? Chiao Chen frowned, staring at her for a few seconds. Chiao Angzen saw that the expression on his face was loose, and immediately said, I know you care about your sister most, but I also care about her. So, you must let you know about this. Sister, she always values you, and only you can persuade her. What are you talking about? You let me go first, these things are not known to outsiders. A little hesitation appeared on the teenager's beautiful and delicate face. After a moment, he said to the bodyguard outside, let her come in. 
asterisk. When Xiao Angzhen entered the ward and closed the door, Xiao Chen immediately asked, Speak, what the is this? Xiao Chen has only had a good relationship with Xiao Mian Mian since he was a child. Both the siblings and Zhou and didn't quite match up. When I grow up, it is even more disappointing to each other. After knowing that Xiao Angzhen was still with Su Zi, Xiao Chen was even more disgusted with her. If it weren't for what she said was related to Xiao Mian Mian, he would never see her. After Xiao Angzhen walked into the ward, he looked around, wondering if anyone with a little money wanted to live here. The wards here are very different from those in other places. She saw precious flowers on the bedside table and the coffee table, and all kinds of expensive supplements could not be seen. The more you look, the more uncomfortable you feel. It can be seen that the man also attached great importance to Jiao Chen. This shows that he cares about Jiao Mian Mian very much. Just thinking of this, she was sour in her heart, especially not taste. She slowly walked over to the bed, looked down at Jiao Chen, and asked hypocritically, Chen Chen, how are you doing now? Is it better? Jiao Chen was too lazy to engage in this hypocritical set with her, and replied unkindly, I can't die. Chiao Angzen. Damn it. Now, like his sister, relying on her dependence, she will be dragged into heaven. Say something directly. Chiao Chen was upset when she looked at her. She was impatient and didn't give her a face. What's the matter you said about your sister? Switching to usual, Chiao Angzen used to watch his face. But at this time, only endure. She was terribly angry, biting her teeth with anger and pretending to be worried, and said with a sigh, It's not my sister's personal problem yet. Do you know that she recently met a man, Chen Chen, have you seen that man? Chiao Chen narrowed his eyes, You say brother-in-law. Joan's face changed suddenly, What do you call him? Brother-in-law. Chiao Chen sneered and said with some contemplation, Of course I have seen it. The first time I met, the brother-in-law gave me a multi-million watch. The brother-in-law looks good and has money is so good to my sister, he and his sister are really a natural match. Ah, my sister is such a good woman, and only her brother-in-law is worthy. Chiao Angzen was completely stunned. Chiao Chen's brother-in-law, like a thunder, made her speechless for a while. Chiao Chen looked at her stunned face, tickled her lips, and was very happy, this is what you want to tell me? Then you don't need to say it. Chen Chen, do you call his brother-in-law? Do you know what this title means? Joan clenched his fists, his voice trembling a little. Of course I know. My sister is married to him, what do I call my brother-in-law? Hey, he wanted to let these scum men and women know that his sister wasn't abandoned by anyone and no one wanted a poor worm. His sister is happy now. Happiness is a hundred times and a thousand times happier than when he followed Su Zi's scumbag. Mary? When Chiao Chen said these two words, Chiao An stepped back in surprise. Impossible. Absolutely impossible. There was an unbelievable look on her face, Chen Chen, did you hear it wrong? You said they were married? Who told you? Xiao Mian Mian didn't break up with Su Zi soon. How could it be possible to marry another man? Zhou Angzen never believed that this thing would be true. It was my sister who told me personally. Xiao Chen looked at Xiao Angzen's reaction, and the young Zheng Ziyu's eyebrows frowned, and said with a little precaution in his eyes, Xiao Angzen, do you want to fight your brother-in-law's idea again, I tell you, stop dreaming. The brother-in-law is not like Su Zi's who can't stand the temptation. He only has a sister in his eyes. Don't think about it. Chiao Angzen's thoughts were just pierced, and she was a little bit angry and angrily, What did Chiao Mian Mian say, what do you believe? She and the man were not married at all, she was adopted. I came here for this matter today. Chen Chen, the relationship between her sister and the man is not what she said at all. She is now being taken care of as a mistress, she is completely lost in doing this kind of thing. 
the face of our Chiao family. I think you don't want to see her continue to fall down? She refused to listen to what we said, she can still listen to a few words. You'd better persuade her and let her break the man quickly. Even though Jiao Chen said so, Jiao Angzhen still didn't believe Jiao Mian Mian was married to the man. How can that be possible? So the noble man would choose Jiao Mian Mian's woman as his wife? The giants are all right to be right. She can be with Sozi because she is well mixed in the entertainment industry, even if the Jiao family is not good, her own ability to make money is also good. Ken Jo Mian Mian? A poor woman who has nothing but a little beauty, at most, is to be a lover, to be played with. She was nothing more than a mistress supported by that distinguished man. Even if I'm petted now, I will get kicked if I get bored after a while. You fart. Chiao Chen listened to what she said, and was furious and scolded at her, sister is not the kind of person you said. Chiao Angzen, don't you think everyone is as shameless as you? No bottom line. You get away, get away now. Don't you dare to say bad things to my sister in front of me again, don't blame me. Chiao Chen waved his fists and looked at her with teeth. Joan's face was green. Unexpectedly, Chiao Chen would maintain such a degree to Jiao Mian Mian. She was scolded to the stomach, and the gentle disguise was almost unsustainable. She took a deep breath and endured the urge to get angry, but also wanted to persuade again, Chen Chen, what I said is true. Sister, she was wrapped by that man. Get off. Chiao Chen's face was blue, and he picked up a glass on the bedside table and smashed at her. You get out of here. Before Joan finished his words, he saw a glass flying towards her. She changed her face and immediately turned her head away. The cup snapped to the ground, and the water inside splashed all over. Chiao Chen, are you crazy? Chiao Angzen finally couldn't bear it anymore, and broke out, gritting his teeth. Not yet. Chiao Chen picked up a vase. You, you madman. Watching him about to smash the vase over again, scared Zhou immediately turned around and ran towards the door. I ran to the door, stopped again, and said unwillingly, Chen Chen, what I said is true. My sister knows that you can't accept this, so she lied and said it was marriage. You need a lot to do surgery money, she refused to accept the help of Brother A's and me. Speaking, she is also for you, but... Speaking of which, she sighed again, this is not a glorious thing after all. I have already said what I should say, believe it or not, whatever you want. After talking, Chiao Angzen walked out of the ward. Asterisk. After Chiao Mian Mian woke up, he found himself in a strange place. She walked out of the break room and pushed open the door, and she saw Mo Yesi sitting at her desk and concentrating on her work. The man's sleeves were rolled up, and the buttons on the chest of the black shirt were unbuttoned. The muscle lines of the exposed arm were very beautiful. The angle at which he lowered his head, the curve of his jaw also looked very and charming. Quietly in the office, he could occasionally hear the rustling sound of him as he flipped through the documents. The jealousy was rolled in half, and dappled sunlight spilled in from outside the window, falling on the dark grey floor. It is said that men are the most charming when they do things seriously. Chiao Mian Mian felt right. Mo Yesi's concentrated attention to work is really fascinating. When he didn't speak and there was no expression on his face, he was really full of ascetic breath. It was difficult to associate him at this time with him who had all kinds of enthusiasm in front of her. I always feel that it is not the same person. She didn't want to disturb his work, so she walked out lightly, just stepped forward, and saw that the man who was seriously reading the documents the previous second slowly raised his head and looked straight at her. Opening, her voice was soft and and asked her, Baby, do you sleep well? Chiao Mian Mian she bit her lip corner and walked towards him a little embarrassedly, Did I bother you? No. Mo Yesi put down the pen in his hand and hooked her finger at her. As soon as Chiao Mian Mian walked in front of him, he reached out and dragged her into his arms, 
his strong arms wrapped around her waist, and she sat on his lap with her delicate body. A warm breath sprayed into her ear, and the man was almost talking to her ear, You are more important than work. Chiao Mianmian's face suddenly turned red. Because she was awake just now, her face was still red, so it was not obvious. The man who exhaled abstinence the previous second, held her fancy open next second. She made her small heart pounding. You, why didn't you send me back to school? His breath kept on her ears, like feathers gently stroking her earlobe, Chiao Mian Mian felt itchy in her ears, and leaned her head to avoid it. The man smirked, you fell asleep in the car. Seeing you slept so well, I couldn't bear to wake you up, and I took you directly to the company. Chiao Mian Mian greeted Zhang Luli in advance. So if you don't go to school in the afternoon, it's nothing. Can you let me go? Chiao Mian Mian was embraced by the man, his breath full of his body, against his warm and strong chest, and her heart was beating particularly fast. It's almost, the kind that makes her a little scared. This feeling was very strange to her, so strange that she was a little panicked. This was not the case when she and Su Zi got along. Perhaps it's because she and Su Zi have known each other for too long, and she and he know very little about each other. Therefore, she would not be so used to him being too close to herself. No. The man smiled lowly again, reaching for her head, and there was a spoil in her eyes that she didn't see, baby, I like to hold you like this. Don't you like me to hold you? Chiao Mian Mian. Hey? Do you like your husband holding you like this? When she didn't speak, the man reached up and lifted her jaw, staring at her with deep and charming eyes, answer me. Chiao Mian Mian's face was hot and hot, and there was constant heat coming out of her pores. Her eyes flickered a few times, M.O. Yesi, I. Knock knock. At this time, the knock on the door rang. There was a sound outside the door, M.O., President M.O., you need to have a look at the document yourself. Chiao Mian Mian immediately reached out to push M.O. Yesi away. The man seemed to realize that she would do this, her arms were tight, she hugged her firmly, and she lowered her head and gently bit her ear, don't move. Chiao Mian Mian stiffened, and even began to heat up with his ears. Looking at her shy blush, M.O. Yesi happily hooked her lips and looked up at the person outside the door, come in. Asterisk. Wei Zhang pushed the door open and saw a scene of dog abuse. His family's president M.O. was sitting at the desk holding Mrs. Young, holding a document in one hand and arm around Mrs. Young's waist. Wei Zhang. I really didn't expect his M.O.M.O. to be such M.O.M.O. Usually looking at such a serious person. Actually at work, and my wife Ching Ching mine. Moreover, they did not avoid these subordinates at all. Wei Zheng exudes the grievances of a single dog all over his body, and walks into the office with the documents. Mr. M.O. He presented the document with both hands. This is the latest financial statement for this quarter. Hey. M.O. Yesi took over and responded lightly, Notify me, I will leave work one hour early today. Wei Zheng. He raised his head in amazement, his face full of disbelief, for fear that he had misheard, get off work an hour early. Isn't he dreaming? Why, unwilling? M.O. Yesi glanced at him, the expression on his face remained the same as usual, but there was a little more joy than usual. Wei Zheng looked at him, and then looked at Chiao Mian Mian in his arms, and suddenly understood something. Sure enough, love makes people beautiful. Even M.O. Zone, who is in love, is no exception. More than usual, it has more affinity and more humanity. For the first time in his life, he could get off work early, even if it was only an hour in advance, Wei Zheng felt particularly satisfied. He immediately replied, Will, willing, I will immediately notify. Well, go. M.O. Yesi waved at him, indicating that he could leave. Wei Zheng did not dare to stay too much, immediately turned around and quickly left, leaving the space for the young couple. After he left, 
there were only Mo Yesi and Chiao Mian Mian in the office. Mo Yesi hugged Chiao Mian Mian, picked up the financial statement and looked at it. Chiao Mian Mian lay in his arms and waited for a while, seeing that the man still didn't mean to let her go. She looked up and bit her lips and whispered, Can you let me go now? The man lowered his head and looked at her charmingly, Hey! Aren't you still going to work? Chiao Mian Mian glanced at the financial statement in his hand. I will disturb you. Will not. Mo Yesi gently hooked his lips, and the smile on his lips made Chiao Mian Mian's small heart pounding again, hugging you to work, the efficiency can be much faster. Baby, you obediently let me hug for a while, wait for me earlier you can stay with you after work. Chiao Mian Mian. Who, who is rare he accompanies. Mo Yesi finished speaking, reached out to touch her head, and then looked down at the report. He quickly entered the working state, and it was the serious working state that made Chiao Mian Mian amused and fascinated. During this time, she did not tease her anymore. Chiao Mian Mian lay in her arms for a while, and slowly fell asleep again. Asterisk. When she woke up again, she found another place. She was still lying in Mo Yesi's arms, but the person was transferred to the car by him. She reached out and rubbed her eyes and looked at the buildings passing by the window, blurring for a while before asking softly, Where are we going? Her voice was soft and sweet. When she first woke up, she was even confused, and Mo Yesi was so cute by her voice. Looking down, slender white fingers clasped her jaw, raised her head and kissed. Chiao Mian Mian is still confused, Wu. She was kissed by the man's unpredictable kiss until she almost fell asleep again, and the man who rubbed her lips to the red and swollen eyes let her go. No matter what kind of person that woman is, since a C, likes her, she is also married to a C.I., we, just settle in. Humph. Okay, you whisper, don't wait for a while, I will hear. At this moment, Chiao Mian Mian, who stood outside the door and listened to the conversation of several people in his ears, said. Should she leave quietly? This is too embarrassing. Coincidentally, let her hear these. It sounds like a few people in the box seem to have a whisper to her, thinking that she is too timid and weak, and all show that she doesn't like her so much. Especially the man whose voice sounded gorgeous seemed to have the biggest opinion. Miyazawa just called him the fourth. So, he is the quirky man Mosi said before? Although he hasn't seen anyone yet, Chiao Mian Mian has foreseen that this man is not so easy to get along with. She heard all the conversations inside, and the man next to him naturally also heard. Chiao Mian Mian turned his head, and saw Mo Yesi's thick black eyebrows curled tightly, his face sinking, his thin lips tightened, and there was a sign of anger. She quickly pulled the sleeve of his sleeve. When the man looked down at her, she shook her head gently at him and whispered, I'm okay, don't be angry. I believe none of your friends malicious, they just haven't seen me and don't understand me. Chiao Mian Mian didn't want Mo Yesi to quarrel with his friends for her. The group of people inside had a bad impression of her. If he is in conflict with her again, it is estimated that they will really hate her. This is not what she wants to see. Mo Yesi frowned and stared at her for a while, his dark eyes narrowed, and it was estimated that she had also taken into consideration her concerns, and the expression on her face eased slightly. But his face is still not good. The hand that held her was tight, and she clasped her fingers tightly. After looking at each other for a while, he gave a soft um sound and reached for the door. As soon as the door was pushed open, the sound in the box disappeared. The people inside turned around and looked at them. In an instant, Chiao Mian Mian felt like a monkey kept in a zoo, and counted or curious, or inquired, all fell on her. She felt a bit cautious all at once. Fortunately, Mo Yesi accompanied her to avoid a little embarrassment. Chiao Mian Mian was sitting opposite a man in a dark purple shirt. The man was wearing black diamond ear studs on one ear, and his slightly long hair was tied up. There was a fine bang on his forehead, covering half of his eyebrows. 
He has a very flamboyant peach face, and his facial features are beautiful, more delicate and beautiful than many women. The pair of fine peach blossoms showed some kind of unreasonableness and evil spirits, giving a a sense of sight. Next to the man in purple clothes was a man in white clothes and white pants. It is also a very handsome and outstanding man. Compared with the man in purple clothes, he has a softer and darker sense of evil. The white man exuded cold air all over his body. When he saw him for the first time, Chiao Mian Mian couldn't help but shuddered, and he also brought goosebumps. She thought of an animal that would make her afraid. Snake. The white man felt like a cold-blooded viper without temperature. Before Chiao Mian Mian had time to look at Shen Ro, he saw that the man in purple had his eyes widened and stood up suddenly. The man's slender peach-eyed eyes looked straight at her and Mo Yesi's tightly clasped hands, his eyes widened, and his face was incredible, second brother, this is a small, sister-in-law. Yan Shaoqing seemed to have ten thousand grass and mud horses running past. At this moment, there is only one sentence lying trough that can express his current mood. He knew that his little sister-in-law was a student and was not very young. But... When Yan Shaoqing stared at the hand they were holding, his gaze fell on Chiao Mianmian's fair-skinned white face, and his heart was full of various lying troughs. His little sister-in-law is too small. Is it adult? This face looks like a high school student who is 16 or 7 years old, some people believe it. Second brother, won't real beasts touch minors? That's a real beast. Even if they were good friends who grew up wearing crotch pants together from an early age, he would resolutely resist such beast behavior. Looking at Yan Shaoqing's pair of inquiring eyes still on Chiao Mian Mian, Mo Yesi's eyes sank, and he stretched out his hand, possessing the possessive arm around the little woman's waist. The man's chilly gaze looked at Yan Shaoqing, implying a little warning, Is it enough? Have you seen your sister-in-law greeted you? No tutor. Yan Shaoqing. Why didn't he have a tutor? Also, how does he think his second brother just looked at his eyes, it was a bit dangerous. It's like, treating him like a rival. Looking again at the possessive expression on his second brother's face, Yan Shaoqing twitched the corner of his mouth. In order to save his life, he quickly looked away. Cough cough, sister-in-law, how are you? Yan Shaoqing raised her lips and extended a hand towards Chiao Mian Mian, My name is Yan Shaoqing, my second brother, good brother. We used to be live in a large courtyard. The grandfathers of Mo Yesi and Yan Shaoqing were soldiers. When they were young, they both lived in the military compound for several years. Hello, my name is Chiao Mian Mian. Yan Shaoqing is still very friendly and friendly and Chiao Mian Mian still has a good impression of him. She also extended a hand towards him. Yan Shaoqing just shook it up, and had not yet fully touched Chiao Mian Mian's hand. A long, slender, white hand traversed over and blocked him. Yan Shaoqing! Damn it or not! Don't you just shake your hand? Did you stop him? The second brother's possessiveness is too abnormal. Make him like a pervert who is cheap. Mo Yesi directly ignored his eyes full of complaints and dissatisfaction, and held Jiao's soft and tender hands in his palm. Yan San is the third of several of us, and he will be called the same as me in the future. After that, I went on to introduce the other two people in the box, that's the old fourth Miyazawa, the old fourth among us, you can call him the fourth. Miyazawa raised his head slightly dissatisfied. Let a yellow-haired girl looking at him still call him a little four? He can't accept it. He frowned, trying to say something, and Shen Ro beside him gently pulled his arm off. Miyazawa pressed her lips tightly and turned her head to the side. Mian Mian, hello, my name is Shen Ro. The woman sitting beside Miyazawa stood up and greeted Jiao Mian Mian actively, it's nice to meet you. Our group of people and us are very good friends. As and I grew up together. I heard you are married. I wish you a happy wedding. When Shen Ro spoke, he secretly looked at Chiao Mian Mian. Looking at it, 
I feel a little bit disgusted in my heart. Yan Xiaoqing told her that the other party was a student girl, but did not tell her that the girl looks so beautiful. Even though the face in front of me looks a bit young, the delicate and beautiful facial features are very eye-catching. Not to mention, the girl's skin was as white as snow, and she watched her glow all over. The place where Shen Ro waited was very strong in sunlight, and the ultraviolet rays were particularly strong. Even if she wears sunscreen every day and has not been tanned as much, she is much darker than the snowball girl in front of her. The girl's face is small, her palms are large, her hair is black and bright, her temperament is clean and ethereal. Shen Ro looks good, has a good background, and has a high academic background. In the circle around her, no girl can match her. This led to her arrogance and seldom put someone in her eyes. But the girl named Jiao Mian Mian. For the first time in his life, Shen Ro felt a crisis and a trace of jealousy. She had to admit that, regardless of the origin of the other party, she did not lose to her in appearance. Even, a little prettier than her. The emotions between the girls were very delicate, and Chiao Mian Mian felt a bit of hostility in Shen Ro's eyes almost immediately. She couldn't help but stunned. Shen Ro is hostile to her? Where did this hostility come from? Hello, Miss Shen. Chiao Mian Mian shook her hand politely. When she held out her hand, she felt Shen Ro glance at her hand, and the next second, the hostility in Shen Ro's eyes subsided. You don't have to be so out of touch. Shen Ro raised her lips and said intimately, You are the wife of Ez, and our good friend. You can call me my name or you can call me Rira. During Shen Ro's speech, she glanced at her other hand, and then the smile on her lips deepened. Chiao Mian Mian also looked down at her eyes, and there was a trace of doubt in her eyes. She didn't know what Shen Ro was looking at. Asterisk. After her seating, the waiter brought the menu. Today is to give Shen Ro the wind, so Shen Ro first looked at the menu, and then ordered a few dishes. After she ordered, she returned the menu to the waiter, raised her head and smiled at Mo Yesi, saying, As, I'll order your dishes for you. We haven't seen you in a year, your taste shouldn't be changed it. I don't know if it is Chiao Mian Mian's illusion. She always felt that Shen Ro's words deliberately revealed a close relationship with Mo Yesi. Women's instincts are very accurate. Mo Yesi looked up at her. With a charming smile on her lips, Shen Ro held a jaw in one hand, as if talking casually, I still remember when you used to go to my house, my mother made a chopped pepper fish head every time, she say you love this. Originally, I didn't like this dish at first. Later, after eating so many times with you, I thought it tasted good. In foreign countries, I really miss this dish. Thinking that if I go back to China, I have to pull you out for a meal. Speaking of which, she smiled slightly, I don't know how this chopstick fish head is made. Yan Xiaoqing, sitting next to her, changed his face slightly, frowning. Miyazawa squeezed her lips tightly, put down the glass with a bang, and stood up coldly, I'm going to the bathroom. After talking, he turned around and walked out of the box quickly. Yan Xiaoqing looked at Shen Ro, then at Mo Yesi and Chiao Mian Mian, his brows were tighter. If it was just Chiao Mian Mian's guess just now, after Shen Ro said these words, she is now sure that her guess is definitely correct. Shen Ro was intentional. Chiao Mian Mian slowly realized what was going on with the hostility that Shen Ro exuded to her at first. She, like Mo Yesi, for this reason, she couldn't think of anything else. But Mo Yesi seems to be unwitting. Subconsciously, Chiao Mian Mian glanced at the person beside him, but Mo Si turned to look at her. He looked at each other with a gentle smile on his lips and took her hand softly and asked, Are you hungry? Is there anything you want to eat? I. Before Chiao Mian Mian answered, he asked the waiter to take the menu. Order a few dishes you like to eat. Mo Yesi put the menu in her hand. Tonight is a three-party treat, don't be polite with him, pick the expensive ones. 
Yan Shaoqing. Sure enough, there was a wife who forgot her brother. The guy who loves the light. Chiao Mian Mian. Mo Yesi looked at her dumbfounded look, then reached out and rubbed it on top of her head, the tone spoiled, help me also order. Er. Chiao Mian Mian glanced at Chen Ro, who had a slightly bluish face across his eyes, and bit his lips and said in a small voice, isn't Chen Ro ordered it for you? I, I don't know what you like to eat. How did she think Mo Yesi was also intentional? Shen Ro said so much, even if he didn't reply. Now let her help order. Isn't this a deliberately slapping face? Mo Yesi smiled and said, I will eat whatever you order. I like everything you order. She felt Mo Yesi's face turned greener when Mo Yesi said it. This is not over yet. After Mo Yesi told her, he turned to look at Shen Ro, and then he replied lightly, Everyone will change. I don't like to eat chopped pepper fish head now. Chiao Mian Mian. Does he want to be angry and soft? It's too bad to give others face. Isn't it a good friend who has played together since childhood, is this really good? Yes, is it? I thought, you still love to eat. Shen Ro nails pinched into the palm of your hand, as hard as the smile on the corner of the lips became stiff. How could she not feel it, Mo Yesi deliberately maintained Chiao Mian Mian. At this moment, Shen Ro felt particularly wronged and sad. She knows about Mo Yesi. He has never been a person who will consider the feelings of others and who he will deliberately defend. He was indifferent by nature, and he would not be too intimate even with these friends. She and he have known each other for more than twenty years, but they have only a little more so-called special rights than the women next to them. But this special power is nothing compared to the woman beside him. He does not like women to touch, and will have a physical aversion to women's approach. However, Chiao Mian Mian could touch him. He never intentionally defended anyone, but just now, he defended Chiao Mian Mian. For the woman whom he knew not long ago, she was embarrassed in public. Before, he never did. Why did he change the whole person as soon as he got married? Cough, that, little sister-in-law, the second brother is right, please like whatever you want, I invite you. Seeing that the atmosphere on the table was a little stiff, Yan Shaoqing immediately came out to be active and said with a laugh. It's all expensive, don't look at the cheap ones. If you order them cheaply, you won't say anything to Xiaoqing. Chiao Mian Mian. She also knew that Yan Xiaoqing was playing round, so she said in coordination, Well, ha ha ha, then I'm welcome. After that, I took the menu and buried my head to order quietly. She ordered a few dishes casually. After finishing the order, Mo Yesi took a look and added another ice cream. She smiled and said to her, you don't like ice cream, you have to eat one after every meal. Is strawberry flavor okay? Chiao Mian Mian, yes. Shen Ro, who was sitting opposite the two, bit his lip, and his heart seemed to be hurt by a knife, and there was a trace of sourness in his eyes. Sorry. She took a deep breath and stood up suddenly. I'm going to the bathroom. Having finished speaking, he pushed away the dining chair and hurried out. Yan Shaoqing looked at her back in a hurry and sighed secretly. I'm afraid that some things will deteriorate in the future. In the past, Mo Yesi was cold to any woman, even if he would not like Shen Ro, Shen Ro would not be too sad. But now. He was married and had a wife, and he seemed to spoil his wife. For Shen Ruo, who had been in love with him for more than ten years, he was undoubtedly stabbed in her heart. Yan Shaoqing felt that it would be better for the two to meet less in the future. Otherwise, Shen Ro will only feel more and more uncomfortable. Asterisk. When Shen Ro walked out of the box, tears shed. Before that, she had hoped that Mo Yesi didn't like the girl very much. He only stayed with her because he did not have an allergic reaction to her. Just now, when she saw that Chiao Mian Mian didn't even have a ring on her hand, she was even more sure of her thoughts. She also rejoiced for a while. 
As long as Mo Yesi doesn't like that woman, even if they get married, it doesn't matter. There was originally a marriage of interest among the giants. There are a few more because they really like walking together. In the future, she may also marry a man she doesn't like. He doesn't like Chiao Mian Mian, he won't touch her, and her marriage will not last long. As long as he doesn't like Chiao Mian Mian. Everything is not too late. But just now, his various maintenance, as well as his gentle and spoiled eyes when he looked at Chiao Mian Mian, did not seem to dislike her performance. Quite the contrary. Mo Yesi only works when he likes a person and cares about a person. Shen Ro cannot accept this fact. She can accept Mo Yesi marrying other women, but she can't accept his heart also belongs to other women. How can you do this? She has stood by him for more than twenty years. If he wants to like someone, the person he likes should be her too. What a woman who hasn't known him for a long time. Rura. A slightly surprised voice rang in her ear. Shen Ro raised her head and looked at the man who called her with tears in her eyes. Seeing her crying, the man not far away was stunned again, his face suddenly gloomy. He quickly walked towards Shen Ro, walked to her frowned, what's wrong with you? I'm okay. Shen Ro reached out and wiped her tears, and a smile came out of her lips. Chiang Yan laughed, it's a bit uncomfortable to accidentally get something into your eyes. Knowing that she was originally a shy personality, it would be a little uncomfortable to meet with his friend for the first time today, basically a few minutes later, she would order her food, order drinks, or talk to her sentence or something. Chiao Mian Mian ate almost all of the food he caught in the bowl. His thoughtful and thoughtful behavior saw Xiao Qing expressing emotion again, Hey, if I hadn't seen it with my own eyes, I wouldn't believe it. You tell me, when did the second brother take care of whom? He turned his head and asked Miyazawa, Fourth brother, have you been a good brother with your second brother for so many years, has he ever caught you a dish? Miyazawa glanced coldly at him. Yan Shaoqing did not wait for his answer, reaching for his nose and smiling, said, Anyway, I have never had such treatment. Little sister-in-law, you are the only one to enjoy the treatment. You don't know that our second brother is a the arrogant man, apart from himself, is estimated to be nothing in his eyes. But now, he has one more person in his eyes. Little sister-in-law, all of us who are brothers are envious of you. Miss Shen, did you say that? You haven't had such treatment when you were a kid, second brother have you served any dishes? Yan Shaoqing intentionally. He wanted Shen Ro to see the facts clearly, and stop holding those thoughts that he shouldn't have. Because he knows Mo Yesi too well. If Shen Ro can adjust his mentality in time and treat Mo Yesi as a true friend or brother, his friendship will be maintained. If she still holds those thoughts, just fear. Friends for so many years, Yan Shaoqing does not want to see bad things happen. Shen Ro squeezed the finger of the glass tightly and raised his head to look at Yan Shaoqing. There was a hint of anger in her eyes. Yan Shaoqing looked directly at her and smiled, Right, you haven't been treated like this. You're just like his sister, but he doesn't do that to his sister. It's better. Alas, this second brother is a typical heavy color relative and friend. Yes, yes. Shen Ro gritted her teeth and said with a stiff smile. How could she not know what Yan Shaoqing thought? However, she liked Mo Yesi for two decades. How can this feeling be said to let go, kin let go? Why should she let go? It was she who first met Mo Yesi and discussed her feelings. It was also her deeper feelings with Mo Yesi. Apart from him, she could no longer hold anyone in her eyes. She used to think that if Mo Yesi would not get married in her life, she would not get married in her life. In this way, she will silently accompany him for life. She knew very well that she couldn't like other people anymore. She gave him all her time, all feelings, all her sincerity. Under such circumstances, how can she quit willingly? Chiao Mian Mian, who has been silently eating, was suddenly named. 
She looked up and smiled embarrassedly and politely at Yan Shaoqing, is it? Of course. Yan Shaoqing smiled, sister-in-law, you shouldn't think that the second brother is so considerate to anyone. I tell you that I have never seen the second brother be so careful and gentle with anyone except you. Yes, really. He finally increased the volume and emphasized it specially. He has never been so considerate to Aunt Emmo. Today Aunt Emmo is away, otherwise she will definitely be jealous when she sees it. Eat your meal. So many things can't stop your mouth. As soon as Yan Shaoqing finished speaking, he was kicked. Mo Yesi kicked him on the lower leg with no effort at all. Wow, second brother, are you gentle with your own woman, and are you so cruel to your brother? It's too obvious to treat you differently. Yan Shaoqing loud in pain. The grin of his teeth was really gone. Xiao Mi and Mian burst out laughing. Her smile made Yan Shaoqing's eyes straight. The man who had just gritted his teeth and shouted pain just now stared at Xiao Mi and Mian in a daze, like he was stunned. Suddenly Yan Shaoqing felt that he seemed to understand why his younger sister-in-law fell in love with him. Wow, the little sister-in-law smiles so beautiful. There are actually dimples. God knows how much he likes girls with dimples. If you add two little tiger teeth, you shouldn't be too cute. Few people know that the young master who claims to like beauties is actually an uncompromising low ICN. What he likes most is not a glamorous and woman, but a little lowly taking the cute line. If it is the kind of girl with big eyes, small mouth, white and tender skin, dimples and small tiger teeth, ponytail, about 1 meter 5 or 6 meters tall, it can almost kill him. He will be lost on him. Although Jiao Mianmian's height does not match the height of Little Loli, and her appearance is not very consistent, when you laugh, two shallow pair vortices will appear in the corners of your mouth. At that moment, Yan Shaoqing seemed to see his first love. With a heartfelt feeling. Wow, brother, why are you kicking me again? It hurts. He was fascinated, and the pain from his calf made him almost jump. This time, Mo Yesi played harder and harder. He almost didn't kick him on the ground. Yan Shaoqing rubbed his calf bones and turned his head in tears. Mo Yesi looked at him expressionlessly, Your eyes are scrambled everywhere, and I will dig them out for you. Yan Shaoqing. Just because he stared at the little sister-in-law just a few more times. So his second brother is, jealous? He never found out before that his second brother is a vinegar jar. Opposite, the wine glass in Shen Ro's hand was almost crushed. As she took a deep breath and maintained a decent smile on her face. She asked casually, when are you and me and me and planning a wedding? I can make time in advance. Cough cough cough. Chiao me and me and just took a sip of juice and was choked. Okay, what a wedding. She didn't even think about what wedding to hold. If a wedding is held, isn't it completely open? Drink slowly, why did you choke? Mo Yesi patted her hand gently on her back, and waited for her to get better, before returning to Shen Ro, look at what she said. When, whenever. I listened to her. Such an answer made Shen Ro's face transient. She gritted her teeth, Aunt Mo and Uncle Mo haven't urged you. Mo Yesi slowly raised his head. When the dark eyes looked at Shen Ro, Shen Ro instantly felt a sense of panic that he saw through. Before waiting for what he said, she explained in a panic, I mean, you are already married. Uncle Mo and Aunt Mo definitely want you to get the wedding done soon. Mo Yesi looked at her for a few seconds and ticked his lips, they still don't know about the marriage. What? Shen Ro pretended to be surprised, did you not tell them? How come you are such a big thing? Mian Mian is not yet mentally prepared. Mo Yesi turned his head, looked at the girl sitting beside him, reached out to touch Jiao Mian Mian's head, and said softly, when she is ready, I will take her home whenever I can. Before that, if she didn't want to go to my house, we wouldn't go. His tone is not particularly gentle 
but it can make people hear a hint of indulgence and indulgence. His meaning is obvious. All in all, he respected Jiao Mianmian's decision. How is she going to be like that? For a man like Mo Yesi, if you like someone more, will she be spoiled like this? In particular, he has always been a man who has become accustomed to himself. It was always others who accommodated him, wherever he went to accommodate others. Not to mention Shen Ro, even when Yan Shaoqing and Gong Zili listened to what he said, their faces all showed surprise and surprise. Shen Ro asked this, thinking that Mo Yesi did not want to take Jiao Mian Mian back to Shen's house. She wanted Jiao Mian Mian to know this. But Mo Yesi's answer undoubtedly flicked both of them on her face, or they slapped the face. Yes, is it? Shen Ro bit her lip tightly, her hands hanging on her side shaking. Hey! Mo Yesi just responded faintly. At this time, the waiter brought an ice cream after the meal. This is what he ordered for Chiao Mian Mian. Mo Yesi reached out and took it, handing it to Chiao Mian Mian, don't eat too much, be careful for a while if your stomach is uncomfortable. Chiao Mian Mian. She would like to say, President Mo, don't take care of me like that. The pressure is really great. Since she saw that Shen Ro liked Mo Yesi, she felt very stressed. Sitting at the same table with a woman who treats her as a rival, can she not be stressed? But Mo Yesi also showed various care for her, and Chiao Mian Mian could feel Shen Ro looking at her with a knife in her eyes. As now, she felt Shen Ro's sharp eyes again. She took the ice cream and just took a bite, and heard the man beside him smile and asked, Is it delicious? Er. Chiao Mian Mian swallowed the ice cream and licked her lips. It's delicious. In such a high-end place, can you make something bad? Uh. Mo Yesi nodded. I'll taste it too. Chiao Mian Mian. You, you want to taste? She looked up at him. Mo Yesi raised an eyebrow, can't it? Of course can. But, did he not say that he didn't like to eat these things before? She never saw him eat it. Then let me try it. Mo Yesi said again. Oh. Although Jiao Mian Mian didn't know why he was on a whim, he handed him the spoon. Who knows, Mo Yesi didn't answer, the man's thin lips gently raised, and his eyes stared at her, you feed me. Cough cough. The wine that Yan Shaoqing just drank into his mouth spewed out. Miyazawa sat next to him and was sprayed all over him, and his white shirt was immediately stained with a little fuchsia. Miyazawa's face instantly darkened, and he looked at him murderously. Cough, fourth son, me, I didn't mean it. Yan Shaoqing's face was choking red, and his eyes were coughing with tears, gasping and whispering, but, don't you feel horrified? You look at the ghost of the second brother, really evil same. Do you believe that he is the second brother we know? What the is ice cream? I've played with him since he wore his crotch pants. But he's never seen him eat this stuff. He clearly said he didn't like dessert. Every time Yan Shaoqing said something, Shen Ro's face was ugly. After he finished speaking, a blood mark was bitten out on Shen Ro's lips, and even the smile he maintained at the beginning could not be stretched. Yes, Mo Yesi never eats sweets. She had made desserts for him before, and he didn't taste them. She told her directly that he didn't like it. Also asked her not to do it again. But just now, he said he wanted ice cream. Is it because Jiao Mian Mian ordered that ice cream, and because Jiao Mian Mian likes to eat, he loves the house and we view, and he wants to eat it too? Deep jealousy surged into her heart like a tide. She banged the glass in her hand on the table and stood up suddenly. Her move surprised everyone else. Yan Shaoqing frowned, looked worriedly, and worried that she would do irrational things if she was stimulated. He shouted Shen Ro with a reminder, Ro Ro. Mo Yesi narrowed his eyes and raised his head to look at her. I am a little uncomfortable. Shen Ro took a deep breath, suppressing the abnormal emotions in her heart, desperately regaining her sanity, 
struggling to squeeze a very unnatural smile from the corner of her lips, I want to go home first. I will invite you again someday. Uncomfortable. Yan Xiaoqing rolled his eyes, and immediately said, Is the jet lag not reversed yet? Then go back to rest early. Anyway, everyone is not an outsider, just pick another time and gather again. In this case, Shen Ro will be better off. Otherwise, what should happen if she can't hold back for a while? Just when Shen Ro said to go back, Miyazawa also stood up. He put his hands in his trouser pockets and said softly, I send Rira back. Fourth, do you want to go? Yan Xiaoqing frowned, you are all gone, wouldn't I be a light bulb if I stayed here alone? No one ignored him. Mo Yesi looked at Shen Ro for a while and nodded, since it's uncomfortable, go back early. Shen Ro's nose suddenly became sour. Didn't he ask her what was uncomfortable? Now, can he see only one Xiao Mian Mian in his eyes? Then, I'm leaving. She held back the sour tears in her eyes and slowly turned around. Correct. As if thinking of something, she stopped again and took a small box from her bag. She handed the box to Mo Yesi, this is the gift I brought to you. I have given them the gifts of Zi Li and Xiao Qing. Mo Yesi hesitated and reached for it, thank you. This thank you made Shen Ro's nose sore. Her lips twitched a smile of self-deprecation, as, how many years have we known each other? Are you still seeing me like this? After he finished speaking, he turned his head and said sorry to Jiao Mian Mian, sorry, Mian Mian. When I bought the gift, I didn't know that you were married to Ez, so I didn't prepare your gift. I'll make it up for you right? Xiao Mian Mian froze for a moment, and immediately said, No, no, it's okay. She is still very self-aware. People are good friends who have known each other for more than ten years. Although she was right to marry Mo Yesi, it was also the first time to meet them. To them, she was still a stranger. See you next time. After Shen Ro finished speaking, he turned and walked out. Miyazawa left with him. When he left, he didn't even say hello. Chiao Mian Mian felt that the air pressure beside him was getting lower and lower. Turning his head, he saw Mo Yesi's face sinking, and there was a sign of anger faintly in his eyebrows. Shen Rong Gong Miyazawa walked to the door. Stop! Mo Yesi suddenly made a loud voice, and his voice was very cold and harsh, Gong Si. If you don't want to come out next time, then don't come out. Also, since your sister-in-law came to the present, you have greeted her no, she is my wife, that is your sister-in-law. If you think you don't want to recognize this sister-in-law, you don't have to call me second brother anymore. I don't have a brother like you. Mo Yesi's words made the atmosphere on the spot instantly freeze to the extreme. For a time, no one spoke. It was so quiet that everyone disappeared. Miyazawa has come to the door. The back stood stiffly, and a hand on the side tightened tightly. Yan Xiaoqing uttered a lying trough in his heart, frowning tightly. Damn, I'm really afraid of something. He knew that Miyazawa's ghostly appearance tonight must definitely make his second brother angry. Whether he is maintaining Shen Ro or not, it is all wrong. What kind of person is second brother? Super short. After eating a meal, even Xiaoqing understood that Mo Yesi was really rare for Chiao Mian Mian. That kind of rarity is the rarity of a man to a woman. Nothing else. Can such a rare person tolerate others' contempt? Not even if that person is his good brother. Second brother, fourth elder. Xiaoqing, who was afraid of the two, was trying to comfort him by saying good things. Only, just now, Mo Yesi's voice was so cold that there was no trace of temperature and fell into his ears, if you have nothing to do, shut your mouth. Yan Xiaoqing. Turning his head to look at Mo Yesi's expressionless face, he was trembling with fright, and suddenly he dared not say anything. The second brother has a bad temper, as everyone knows. But he rarely gets really angry. The few outrages were very impressive. 
if he was really angry, Xiao Qing would not dare to provoke him. Looking at Miyazawa's ah was stiff back, Yan Xiao Qing could only pray for him silently in his heart, hoping that he wouldn't be able to stay in the end, and the matter was irreversible. That would be terrible. Moyesi's move surprised Jiao Mian Mian. It was also very unexpected. She never thought that he would do it. In fact, Miyazawa didn't like her, and she didn't even bother to greet her. She didn't care. They are Moyesi's friends, but not her friends. It's normal not to like myself. And she can see that the relationship between Miyazawa and Shen Rou is very good. He is indifferent to her and may have a relationship with Shen Ro. M.O. Yesi, it doesn't matter, I. Chiao Mian Mian wanted to say that she didn't care. She felt that M.O. Yesi did not need to stiffen the relationship between her brothers because of her. But before he finished speaking, he was interrupted coldly, Don't talk. This is something between me and him. Chiao Mian Mian. The man's voice is not as gentle as before. It sounds cold. Although talking to her was much better than talking to Yan Shaoqing, Xiao Mian Mian was frozen and trembling. Accustomed to his gentleness in front of her, she was so frightened that she was so cold at first. I wanted to persuade me a bit, and looking at his somber face, I had to dispel the thought. After a moment of silence, Shen Ro saw Mo Yesi had no intention of giving in. She felt sore in her heart biting her lip and whispering to persuade Miyazawa, Zili, just make a mistake with ACI. Do you want to do such a small thing? Are you froze with him? Miyazawa's soft and beautiful face was covered with a gloomy face, clenched her lips, and turned around after a long silence. His indifferent gaze fell on Chiao Mianmian's face, staring at her for a few seconds, slowly raising the corner of his lips, Miss Chiao is really good. Once you come, our brothers with more than ten years of affection can make trouble for you. In this way, do you feel very fulfilled? Chiao Mian Mian opened his eyes wide and looked at him in amazement. This, has nothing to do with her. She didn't do anything. I heard that Miss Chiao is still a student. Oh, he is not very young, but he is quite capable. As soon as he finished speaking, he saw a wine glass flying towards him froze, and hurried away. The wine glass that was about to hit him hit the wall beside him. With a snap, the crystal cup shattered and fell to the ground. Ah! Shen Ro was so frightened that she screamed while covering her mouth. Gong Zili slowly raised his head and looked at Mo Yesi incredulously. Go away! Mo Yesi's voice was cold and heavy, as if it could condense a layer of ice, go out of my sight immediately. Don't force me to do it myself. As, you. Shen Ro was shocked, as if he couldn't believe he would really smash Miyazawa with a glass of wine. Just for a Joe? Is that woman so important? More important than the brother he has known for so many years? At this moment, Shen Ro felt that she did not know Mo Yesi. He is different from the one she knew before. Mo Yesi didn't look at her but watched Miyazawa leave coldly, did you hear? Haven't you rolled? Miyazawa's face was extremely gloomy, and he sneered suddenly, okay, very good. M.O. Yesi, you is a with a despised friend. Okay, this woman is more important than anyone, okay, then when we all met in vain before, you don't need brothers anymore, just hug your woman for a lifetime. After he finished speaking, he turned and left angrily. Zili, wait a minute. Shen Ro looked at Mo Yesi deeply, sighed, and hurried out. Yan Shaoqing also sighed silently, feeling very tired. Well, what he worried about finally happened. Asterisk. Leave from the club. Second brother, I don't know which elder brother got the wrong link today. You also know that his temper has always been weird, and he is often inexplicable and angry. You just think he is at menopause, don't know him like that. When he calms down, he will surely realize his mistakes and take the initiative to apologize to you. I will also persuade him. Also, sister-in-law, I'm sorry to tell you for the fourth son. 
In fact, he has a strange temper, and he is not bad. He should not be malicious to you, but he is not in a good mood today, so. What's the real reason, Yan Xiaoqing knows? Only with this, he couldn't tell Xiaomian Mian. Otherwise, the second brother knew that he had to pull his skin. It's okay. Xiaomian Mian smiled at him and said broadly, I don't mind. When she said she didn't mind, Yan Xiaoqing froze for a moment, sister-in-law really doesn't mind. Xiaomian Mian nodded, well, anyone will have a bad mood. I can understand. She has a superficial appearance, but she thought to herself that she would never meet Miyazawa several times. It doesn't matter whether he likes her or not. Thank you sister-in-law for your understanding. When I saw Chiao Mian Mian's two dimples, Yan Xiaoqing had a good impression of her. Now she thinks she is cute, not only looks good, but also has a good personality. If Miyazawa wasn't because of Shen Ro, probably, she would think she was good. Then I will take a step first, and I won't disturb the world of the two brothers and sister-in-law. Yan Xiaoqing finished and glanced at Mo Yesi very quickly. When he saw that he was still gloomy, he could not help but sigh in his heart. Took a breath. It seems that the fourth elder brother was really angry with his brother this time. This thing, not easy to handle. Yan Xiaoqing's car was parked opposite, and it was a Lamborghini sports car with a lot of colors. Before long, a green supercar drove out of the parking space and quickly drove out of the parking lot. At the same time, Uncle Lee also drove the black Rolls Royce over. He parked the car, pulled the door to get off, and then went around to the rear compartment to open the door, Young master, young lady, please get in the car. Go. Mo Yesi reached out, took Chiao Mian Mian's hand, and led her into the car. Asterisk. Arrived in the car. Mo Yesi confessed Uncle Lee, go directly back to Lushan Biwan. Yes, young master. After the explanation, Mo Yesi closed his eyes, reached out and rubbed his eyebrows, a very tired look. That, Mo Yesi. There was a speech by Xiao Qing just now, and some words were not easy for her to say. There are no outsiders in the car now and Chiao Mian Mian feels that she needs to talk to him. In her heart, more or less guilty. Although she felt that she was actually wronged. But in any case, Mo Yesi did it for her, and it was like that with his friends. Mo Yesi opened his eyes slowly, and the deep, dark-colored eyes condensed to her, Hey. The man's voice was slightly hoarse, and it sounded extremely and magnetic. Chiao Mian Mian bit her lip, her long, thick eyelashes trembling, and raised her eyes anxiously, that. I'm sorry. Mo Yesi stunned and narrowed his eyes, what are you sorry for me? What happened tonight? It's all because of me that you and your friends. It has nothing to do with you. He interrupted her. You're sorry, you don't have to say anything, and you don't have any sorry for me. But. Chiao Mian Mian bit her lip and sighed softly. If it weren't for me, you wouldn't have a quarrel. I'm really sorry. If I knew he didn't like me, I shouldn't. Shouldn't it be? Shouldn't you come with me? But. Chiao Mian Mian bit her lip and sighed softly. If it weren't for me, you wouldn't have a quarrel. I'm really sorry. If I knew he didn't like me, I shouldn't. Shouldn't it be? Shouldn't you come with me? Mo Yesi frowned, holding her hand tightly. After a short while, she reached out and gently took her into his arms, Mian Mian, you are my wife, they are my best friends, I don't ask they have to like you, but if they can't do even the least respect for my wife, what do you think in my heart? If you don't let them know how angry I am this time, they will only be more disrespectful to you in the future. I said I won't let you suffer any more wrongdoing, and I will do it. Lao Siming knows that I care about you, value you, and dare to show my face to you. He doesn't give you a face, nor does he give. My face. How can it be done without giving him a lesson? Chiao Mian Mian was a little speechless. 
suddenly her heart was trembling so fast. Just now he said he cared about her and valued her. Even if she didn't know whether these words he said were true, at this moment, she admitted that she did have a little bit of trouble. I would like to ask, under such circumstances, which woman would be unimpressed? When you really feel that the other party really cares about you, values you, and maintains you everywhere. And this man is an excellent man like M.O. Yesi. Beautiful appearance, dignified temperament, supreme power, and tenderness and pampering for you. Under such circumstances, if she can still be completely indifferent, she is not a person, but a god. Unfortunately, she is not a god. Therefore, she will inevitably have a heartbeat. After all, a man like M.O. Yesi is really sultry. After M.O. Yesi finished talking, he found that Jiao Mian Mian was stunned. He stared at him stunnedly, without blinking his eyes. He froze again, reached out and pinched her jaw, her slender and beautiful fingers rubbed gently on her jaw, his deep eyes narrowed, what are you looking at? Did you suddenly find your husband is particularly handsome? Chiao Mian Mian nodded dumbly. A pleasant low laugh sounded in his ears. The man swept away the haze before him, and a faint smile appeared in the charming dark black eyes. Since you think your husband is very handsome, let her husband let me listen, eh? What? Chiao Mian Mian blinked, and when he met him with some teasing and anticipating eyes, he instantly recovered. Then, his face was hot and his face was stammering with red face, why, what? I didn't hear what you just said. Ah 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 ah. Why did she stare at M.O. Yesi just now and commit a nympho? Moreover, he was discovered. It's really embarrassing to die. Chiao Mian Mian thinks she is definitely not that kind of nympho. She did not commit nymphos to any man. But, in front of M.O. Yesi, she had committed a more than once. This must not blame her lack of concentration. Blame it on the man beside her is really charming. Don't hear it clearly. The man's throat gave another low, laugh. Well, then I'll say it again. Baby, call her husband to listen to me. We are all married, you haven't called my husband. His small and delicate jaw was pinched between his fingers, gently raised, and Chiao Mian Mian slammed into the man's deep and charming eyes. It felt like something was hitting lightly in my heart, and I couldn't calm down any more. The heart's pounding acceleration accelerated. Screaming husband, eh? There was a hint of temptation in the low magnetic voice, and the heart of the sultry person was soft and crisp. Chiao Mian Mian was shaking when he was touched. In front of him was a man's beautiful and incredible face, listening to his sultry sound that made his ears pregnant, and his nose was full of the charm and charm of his body. Chiao Mian Mian seemed to be gutted, and the whole person was a little dizzy. Her faces were hot, and her face was flushed like blood. Emo. M.O. Yesi. Call him husband? <laughs> I feel so ashamed. Although according to the relationship on the marriage certificate, he is already her husband. However, she really feels awkward and ashamed to ask her to call him that. She felt, she couldn't scream. Well, baby, I'm here. The man moved closer, and Jun Mi's suffocating face was closer to her and his voice was deeper and sultry. Chiao Mian Mian's small heart beat hard again. Looking at the beautiful beauty in front of her, she swallowed and said, I, I can't scream. It really can't be called. Think about it, it will feel particularly awkward. You didn't call, how do you know you can't call it? Two more calls, you get used to it. Be good, call your husband quickly. Chiao Mian Mian's face suffocated and wanted to cry, I, I really can't scream. Can you give me some time? M.O. Yesi saw that she was about to cry because she was so anxious. Although she was a little disappointed, she did not force her anymore, okay, I will give you some time. But I promised you, should you also satisfy me a little claim? What? Chiao Mian sighed, blinking, and looked at him curiously. M.O. Yesi ticked his lips, if you don't call your husband, 
then you will be called dear. Chiao Mian Mian. Otherwise call your husband, you choose. Chiao Mian Mian. I feel ashamed of any title. But by comparison, it seems to be dear a little better, not so difficult to tell. Okay, okay. She took a deep breath and bit her lip, holding back the shyness in her heart, and yelled very quietly, Dear. The soft voice is charming. M.O. Yes he had an impulse almost instantly. His eyes dimmed, Baby, call it again, call it louder. My dear, well. Chiao Mian Mian's lips were deeply kissed by the man, and the hot lips were like a fire, burning wildly on her lips. He kissed deeply and hard. Soon, the air in the mouth was stripped away, and even the air in the chest cavity became thinner and thinner under the men's increasingly strong strategy. When Chiao Mian Mian was about to suffocate, M.O. Yesi let her go. Baby. The man's voice was dull and hoarse, with the that had not completely dispersed, and holding her face with one hand, do you remember our week's appointment? Are you ready? Chiao Mian Mian, paralyzed in his arms, gasping. A week's appointment? What a week's appointment? The man's hoarse and voice sounded in her ear again, today has expired. Don't tell me, you are not ready yet. This time, even if she was not ready, he did not intend to let her go. When Chiao Mian Mian remembered the so-called appointment of the week, she opened her eyes wide and was so nervous that her body was stiff. Is this so fast? The warm and humid breath seemed to be like feathers blowing across my heart, which made Chiao Mian Min's heart tremble. When she met the hot, shiny eyes of the man, her heart was beating faster, her breathing stopped for a second, and there was obvious confusion in her eyes, M.O. Yesi, you, don't do this. M.O. Yesi has unbuttoned the second button of his shirt.